Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Eddie here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the very fantastic We Happy Few. This was developed by Compulsion Games, published by Gearbox Publishing and is available to you for usually £54.99 slash $59.99 but um, at the time of this recording it's on a massive sale, it's constantly on sale as well plus it's all just, just gone back on Xbox Game Pass so yeah, there's also that. So we uh, basically play as three sort of uh, terrible people who are in a sort of cheerful denial of sorts Basically, a whole bunch of people are taking this drug called Joy, and the three people we're going to play as ain't going to do that, and then it's all going to kick off, and we get to do some Fallout 4 looting, and we get to do some Bioshock tasering and stealthing and stuff. It's all cool. Uh, there's a whole bunch of achievements to grab, um, a lot of miscellaneous ones, completing quests, collecting all types of stuff, so the best thing is to just have a look at the timestamps. There's a lot that we're going to get through. So, now this is going to be just the main game, and then for the subsequent DLCs, I will put as separate 100% achievement guides later on. So for now, we can start it up. We can only play as Arthur for the time being, and we're going to set the difficulty to easy, because, you know, we always want an easy life, and then we can B9. I mean, begin. Um, now, if you want, you can... Uh, it, it's always worth looking at the cutscenes, because if you don't look at the cutscenes, it is kind of hard to understand what's going on. But, you know, just for the sort of purpose of time on this video guide, I'm not go I'm going to be holding the B button to skip. And we're also going to be getting our first achievement straight away. So we get a choice. Hold X or hold Y to take joy or not take joy. We're going to hold the Y button in order to take the joy. And then the 1,000 out of 1,000 is done. The game ends. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Tuh, if only games were that easy these days. Oh, wait. There is the 5,000 gamer score ones for dying 100 times and jumping 50 times. Here's your 5,000 gamer score. Uh, anyway, once we have that, we can, uh, we'll start back at the same place. And once we skip the cutscene again, we can hold the X button to remember. Okay, so our friend here, Mrs. Joy of Joys, she's gonna keep talking. We're gonna not bother, we're just gonna pick up the empty power cell, press the X button to stand up, go to the right of the room, and you can see another power cell chilling. There's a cell chilling on the shelf, that's what I was trying to say. And then pop that power cell back in, and then we can sit down and go ahead and get ourselves another achievement. So, we've basically got to accept or basically reject the document. So the first one we're going to do there is accept it. So we will accept the first document. And again, this is for another achievement, so, you know, take it down with it. Uh, this time we are going to hold the Y button, uh, as long as old yappy yaps will shut up. supposed to be coming back today. So just go ahead and press the Y button in order to reject it or censor it, whichever the f whichever. And then for the third and final one, you're gonna you are then going to hold the X button in order to accept it, and then that will get us the achievement employee of the month. SpongeBob SquarePants is jealous right now, so hold the X button. <laughs> So, when your Employee of the Month achievement unlocks, let's stand up, go, and go to the right, into the next room on the right here. We'll open up the door. Now, you can press Y to read, or X to just pick up. A lot of the times, we'll just be pressing the X button to pick up. And then, we're going to get another achievement. So, go down to this next machine, the Redactor machine. This time, what we're going to do is basically mess up Clive, because Clive sucks. He sucks. Total daggy bad. So, we get, but we are going to approve this first document. So again, press the X button in order to approve. And then what you're going to do for the next two is censor the next two documents. So for the next two, press the Y button and that will get you the enjoy the view achievement for watching someone walk away. Because he's about to get fired from his E. I think we can look with that.
nothing wrong with that one. There we go, so enjoy the view, sunshine. Right, so once we stand up, we're gonna come out of the room, go to the right, basically follow it around, um, and go all the way to the central processing unit, or the kapoo for short. Uh, head around, there's only one uh, particular way. There's no point in looting anything just yet, because it'll get taken off you anyway. Once we get into the conference room again, it's gonna be another cutscene, and oh, it's a birthday party for Deirdre. Press the right trigger then to attack, and then what you're gonna see is... Oh, it doesn't turn out that it is delicious sweets. It's all delicious rat meat, of course, because these are all on the Joy of Drugs. We didn't take ours. And she's like, hmm, blurred. I'm, I'm off my Joy. I don't I don't want your damn Joy. Anyway, uh, after the cutscene then, we skip into this room. So we'll climb up onto the shelving units there and climb down. Press the B button to crouch or to sneak. We will, of course, be doing this a lot. And then we're just going to hold B to skip a bunch of cutscenes and end up in the underground tunnels. Leave me alone! So yes, we have done the Arthur intro, so now it's time to get into the good nitty gritty stuff. So if you press the select button, slash back button, whatever you want to call it, you can have a look. Now if you uh, go right trigger to your notes and go down to statistics, you can see third one down there is total kills. For this playthrough, we are going to get zero kills for Arthur. Uh, this again is for an achievement, so... What we'll be doing for the majority and all of Arthur's playthrough then is taking down uh, by basically pressing the Y button. Or if you, you can actually punch someone out, that's fine as well. But basically as long as they say that they're not dead and they're just unconscious, you will be fine. So very important, we're not going to be killing anyone in uh, this playthrough with Arthur. So apologies, I should have uh, explained that first. But just so you know, don't kill anyone in this playthrough. Right, so after now we can start looting stuff, the good stuff. So... Um, you're not going to get much yet, um, but make sure to pick up the Diary of Prudence Homes here. Again, this is for another achievement later on called Hot on Her Heels. So, um, any, literally anything you can grab, grab it because we'll be able to sell it and plus we'll be able to craft a lot with a lot of stuff later on. Plus the old sovereigns as well because we're going to need some money of course later on. So, yes, just take everything they can, even searching in the disgusting, bog-riddled, ad-riddled, AIDS-riddled toilets. Um, now, you will eventually end up basically getting random items, um, so you won't always get the same items I do. I think bobby pins and stuff will normally be in the same place, but, um, yeah, in every playthrough, every desk we search and everything, you may have something that I don't, and vice versa, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we're just basically having a little look around. There's no enemies to speak of and think of just yet, so don't even worry about sneaking and trying to do all that stuff. But again, like I said, for the majority, in fact, for all of Arthur's playthrough, we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking around and a lot of takedowns or beatdowns. We're not going to kill anyone. So remember that in time. So once you've grabbed absolutely everything you can, what you can do now is press the select slash back button. And then what we're going to do, because we have a certain number of items, of course, we can now craft. And the first thing we're going to craft then is lockpick. So you go down, you press the left trigger to go to tools and then uh, the uh, crafting, sorry, and then the right bumper to go to tools. Press and hold the A button as long as you have the requirements. And then you can just go up to any door and then skippity do. I want to pick down with you. And then we can open the door and head on through. 
So we're actually going to be getting our first mask collectible here as well. So we're just going to pick up this electrical shocker docker. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, because obviously if you ever see a dead body in real life, what you're going to do is loot him. And then to the right here, promises this is the first out of 44 collectibles. So there's 44 mask collectibles, but then of course we do have to um, grab some other stuff as well. Like the Diary of Prudence Holmes and etc, etc. So... But they are the main collectibles. So grabbing the bobby pins on the other side. Grab the empty syringe here on the left hand side. And then we're going to uh, use this hatch. Basically turn it on. Uh, now these hatches as you can see there. It's basically for fast travel. So we're going to get uh, quite a few of these fast travel hatches throughout the game. So we can basically just go from one place to the other. Without uh, the fear of getting knocked out by any enemies. This is a pneumatic stash as well, so if you go ahead, click on it, and then click in the right stick, that is going to put you to your inventory. And then what you can do is press the X button, and that will put any of your crafting items into this pneumatic stash. So that will obviously, because you can only carry up to £100, as you can see at the top of the screen there, so it's always worth getting rid of those, popping them in there so they're nice and safe. Uh, hold the Y button to hack. Now, there is going to be a fight coming up. So I'm going to tell you right now, uh, left trigger is to block, right trigger is to uh, punch, and you can click in the right stick to shove the enemy as well. So he got the first hint in there. So it's always worth um, just pressing the left trigger to block, and then wait until he uh, has his hands down, and then give him the old punch to death of life. Have it! Yes, son! Right, so what do we need to do, so basically what we're going to do, after every enemy that we take down, we need to look and make sure that it says right there, unconscious. Uh, and then obviously if you want to, you can always uh, double check your stats, your statistics, make sure it's total kill zero and total takedowns, whatever it is. So, like I said, if you do, it, and you can actually manually save in this game as well, so... It, if, if at any point you're going to come up to some enemies and you feel like you've killed one or you've accidentally killed one, um, just reload your l uh, last or latest save and you should be good to go. But remember, we're not killing a single soul in this playthrough. Uh, but we're going to nip through the file cabinets. Now, as you can see there, I didn't have to craft another lockpick myself. It will just come up with uh, hold the Y button and you'll be able to... Uh, Arthur will do it for us. auto schmatically. Which is very nice of him, isn't it? Spank you, Arthur. Spank you very much. Right. So we're going to go ahead and get to achievements now. They're going to take about 10 minutes in order to grab. So you can interact with this bed here. Sleep for 24 hours. Job done. We basically have to survive until we get to day 50. Because, of course, it is kind of like a survival game. You do need to eat and sleep and drink as well. Now I lay me down to sleep. Now I lay me down to sleep. But what is easier? So basically, what I'd done first was... Do the 50 days, and then I actually done the next achievement, which requires us to come back to the hatch and go to sleep anyway. So, um, so if you just want to have a, a couple of sleeps for a couple of days, that's fine. But when we get out of here, what you're going to do is take a left. Now, this should be the same for everyone. So take a left, and you can see the phone box. Now, it's always going to be ringing, so press X to listen. Wait until the um, secret, secret decoding secret message is done. And then what you can do is actually hang up. So once he's done talking, make sure to hang up the phone. And again, there's a, a coin box there if you want to press and hold the white button in order to get some money. And then we're going to go back to the hatch and then fall asleep. So basically, um, I don't think it works if the bed is like right next to a phone box, but this is uh, far enough apart. So basically, I believe there are 12 messages. I had to do this over 13 days because uh, the, the one day didn't seem to work. But you basically just have to keep going back and forth. So back up the hatch. And then, of course, left again. And then head through to the phone box. And it should be a different message. If it's the same message, that's fine. Just keep going back and coming out. And then eventually, after the 12th day... You should then get the Our Prudent Friend achievement. And that's for listening to all of the phone call conversations. Um, So, yeah. So, that's what we're just going to be doing then for the next sort of 10 minutes. I've obviously edited the video down some. So, you know, you're not... Uh, it's it's not just a boring... You're not just boringly watching me. 
Perchance to dream. Perchance to dream. Yes, Arthur, that's what normally happens in sleep, my friend. Um, so, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out now if I've smashed out all the basics. Uh, which I believe I have. You can manually save, as I said. You can sprint with the left stick. Um, done the fighting bits. Yeah, I think we're all good. So, yeah, and any time you can see some loot, we're going to loot it. Right, so this is going to be the last one, I think. Oh, did it now? Yes, this is the last one. So as long as you just uh, cracked on doing this, again, just ignore the day 62 in the corner. I've um, uh, basically edited it and turned it around. But once you've listened to all 12, it should unlock right here. So then what we can do, if you're probably only going to be on day 12 or 13. So we're going to go back to the hatch. So again, take a right, of course, and go back to the hatch. And then just keep sleeping until you get to day 50. It should unlock the achievement on smack on day 50. But if it doesn't, um, just fall asleep again and try and put it to like 8 or 9 o'clock the next morning. I think it only seems to unlock when it's in roughly around the morning time. So that is the two of those achievements done. Make sure to grab the diary at the top of the bed as well. And then we are good to go. So, uh, so apologies about this bit, but I just came from the phone box. So we're back at the sort of phone box point. So what we're doing then is following the little, um, li the little uh, point. And you're going to come to this table. And again, we're just going to loot everything off it. The rotten stuff, everything. You might smell like absolute crap, but uh, hey, it's probably worth a, a sweet pony or two. So this is definitely not seemingly in reference to Alice in Wonderland. But once you've grabbed all that, what we can also grab, and we're always going to be looking out for these bushes. So we can basically pick a lot of these, again, ready for crafting um, and healing yourself with later on. So you can actually use some of these berries to create a healing balm, which you can obviously heal yourself with if you get hit in damage. So obviously, whenever we go into a... Uh, to our next uh, checkpoint. You can see you can only get those in the night as well. Um, so every time we are going to start walking towards our next checkpoint, it's always worth just having a little look in the bushes. You know, not not in that particular way, not in that sort of sense, but um, have a look in the bushes. Out, Not that you're in the bushes looking out, because that is arrestable behaviour. And yeah, it's always worth looking. So, just before going to the checkpoint, we're going to head into this house. Again, there's nobody in here, but there is a whole lot of crappy stuff to uh, loot. So, again, it could, there could be a lot of random stuff. There was one more thing I wanted to say, actually. Now, as the game uh, sort of continues and carries on, the maps will be more procedurally generated. I.e., it's going to be random. Um, it's, it's not too much that something sort of randomly generated but for instance there may just be a side quest which is on a different location on your map than it is to mine but in terms of these said missions everything's pretty much the same all that it is is just obviously the people uh, walking about as we head upstairs and head upstairs again so yeah the people walking about would be maybe in random locations the things that we can uh, loot will be sort of random and the map sometimes will be randomly generated as well So once we've gra uh, grabbed everything that we can up here, we're gonna jump across Ooh, Just a second Just having a little look some creepy old stuff. Why are they crying because the kids it's what kids do all kids ams All kids ams dicks. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's all true, but that's why we live in Anyway, uh, grab what you can. Make sure to grab the mecha uh, mechanical bits as well before we can drop down the stairs and carry on. So we're just going to stay in this middle of the room. Again, just grabbing everything that we can. It's a bit creepy here. This is a uh, hell, hell of a kid's room. And it's even worse with the record blaring as well. So make sure to jump across the gap. Again, there is going to be a chest and a small dresser. So make sure to grab everything that we can from there. And yes, you can even search the rubble piles for some glass bottles. They'll come in handy later. And the toilets as well. 
Right, so now that we've done all of this, we can uh, just drop down here. You shouldn't take any fall damage. If you do, it doesn't matter. Uh, but what we're going to do from here, we're going to go straight down the path. So basically, if we're just looking from where we drop down, effectively, we're going to go straight down the path. Again, in this little grassy area, just to see if there's any more bushes we can steal. But go to the well, and what we can do is get some water. So, as you can see there, when we consume food, our, our maximum stam stamina will increase if we consume water. Uh, more good stuff will happen uh, for our stamina. Anyway, what we're going to do, there will always be a deceased person here. One who, I hope's leg hasn't gone straight into the ground like hers. That's very unfortunate. That's probably why she died. Stuck in the ground. But anyway, you get a canteen and then you can hold the Y button in order to fill up said canteen. And you can also take a drink while you're here as well to get your stamina looking good. And grab stuff from the rubble pile, because we're not. Right, and then we can continue on our merry way. So now we're going to continue forward to the checkpoint. We can see um, in the distance. Again, just having a look. Just having a look, seeing if there's any more bushes I can stick my nut into. And then just uh, follow all the way down. And we are going to speak to a guy called Die Livingston. Die, boy. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village. Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> right, cheers, die boy. Uh, right, so off he runs. Just before we go and follow him, what we're going to do is have a look at this vending machine on the right. We're going to go get another achievement here. We need to look for Flash with the PH. It costs £4, which by now we should have plenty. So uh, hold Y to... Oh, just press Y to buy it. Now, what you can see then, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see, like, four different items. So, press left on the D-pad, then the left bumper. That will take whatever it is in your inventory right there. So, basically, the top is... I think the top is food. There's one for food, one for medicine, and one for, um, like, glass bottles and stuff. So, whatever food that you've got, as what we're going to do now is just go ahead and follow the uh, checkpoint... So, effectively, if you just keep pressing up on the D-pad, it will actually scroll through for you. So, rather than you having to go to the inventory, Heavens into the God. pause menu, it's a bloody if you just keep pressing up on the D-pad, it'll scroll through whatever you've got available. Same then with the bottom. Um, it's the same, yeah, same with the, the bottom of the D-pad. If you've got glass bottles, if you've got something else, you will scroll through and find the specific one. Uh, now, what I'm actually doing here is I'm just going to find another house to loot. So... It was effectively off to the left from the checkpoint. I do apologize. I did get a little bit lost here, as it was. But uh, it, basically, I ran past it. So that, <laughs> it's that, uh, yeah, delicious-looking house right there. So I actually ran past it. So it's literally just, you know, just in, just in the distance there of the point that we need to go. So this is just another house, then, that we are going to oh, rob and enjoy. And it does smell awful in here, I know. Welcome to those who do not take drugs. Apparently, those who don't take drugs smell. So that's what this game is trying to get at, I think, there. So, hmm. uh, so yeah, for now, just uh, keep slamming around. There's nothing There's nothing of uh, importance to collect in terms of achievements. Um, but obviously, just keep having a look around and grab what we can. Like I said, obviously, you will have some... You'll have different ones to... I remember what we did. <laughs> Me too. Uh, but obviously, like I said before, you will have random ones. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get better than me, and sometimes you get unlucky, but that's fine. Uh, again, this diary here. We're going to pick up the diaries, but I'll obviously tell you which ones are more important for the old achievements. So we'll just keep on cracking around. <laughs> Oh boy, this is a uh, no. This is a scene. Huh? They had each other until the end. 
uh, well, let's uh, let's just. We're sorry to. Oh, a rotten onion. You had a rotten onion on you. That's that's. Uh, hmm. Don't know what else to say about that. But we'll just turn around and leave them. We'll just leave them. Uh, just leave them to hang out. Uh oh, that was actually very unintentional. Uh, we'll just leave them to. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Uh, once we've done that, let's just get the hell out of the house. And now, as I said, we can go towards the the uh, checkpoint, the point mark, the mark point, whichever you're going to call it. I'm just going to call it the checkpoint because, you know, it's a point of check that we need to go to. Um, okay, now, good. what we cannot do is head straight through, which is fine. We can't get through the front door because that would be too obvious. So what we actually need to do is go left. Uh, I was just trying to check if there was a nice bush that I could stick my nugget into, but I can't. So head to the left of the door and then just keep going all the way around following the path. And then on the right, here is the very convenient with no door and no people there uh, back access. So somebody didn't think this through, did they? Right, so what you can do then, just make sure to, uh, there's only those, uh, that chest and the bobby pins to grab. Then we can hold the X button here to unpick and unlock the pick lock, lock pick, and head yourself in. Oh, now it's going to start getting tasty, sort of. Uh, right, let's carry on. We'll just keep going down the steps for a minute. There's no enemies here to worry about for now, uh, so do not worry. We're just going to go into every locker that we find. And if you think that's a World War Three siren, well, it's not. Uh, but we are going to take the elevator to get up. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you. Alive? I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I'd won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Somehow these guys don't strike me as very violent or athletic, but apparently they are in this uh, era and time. So for now, we do have to put our stuff in the box, which of course we will get back later on, so nay bother. You can gird your own lines, you doity basket. So here we go then, we're making the X symbol, because we are an X-Man, yeah! Anyway, so we're going to be coming up to a few fights uh, in just a minute, just after these scenes of life. But again, the fight's not so hard, so no worries. Oh, I've seen all, according to his wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur King of the Parade! line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy. He looks bitter and fuming. Right, we get a choice of two weapons. Now, remember, we are going for the no kills playthrough. So make sure not to grab the pointy stick. Make sure to grab the padded branch. Um, of course, we want it to be not as effective because we need that sweet, delicious, beloved achievement. 
Right, so, it's basically... It's kind of a tutorial, even though we've already had a fight in the game. Now remember, left trigger to block, uh, the right the right trigger to smash, and you need to press the right bumper to get your weapon out, by the way. Probably should have mentioned that earlier on. But your right bumper will get your weapon out, and your right bumper will put it away. So keep blocking, and then shove Danny again twice with the right stick, and then just beat the crap out of him. Now, we're going to get an optional objective here. If you press Y to pick Danny up, um, you can throw him onto someone fighting you, or fighting us. So, as soon as the doors open, what you can do is uh, right trigger to throw Danny at one of the girls that's going to come out and try and beat the snotting bejeebus out of us. So, go straight in, throw one, and there you go. That's the optional objective complete. If you don't complete the optional objective, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um, so don't worry if you don't get it. Otherwise, just block, shove, and beat the crap out of these women. Oh, that's... In the game, that's that's it. That, that probably sounded a lot harsher than I meant it to. So again, now that all three crackheads have been defeated, um, again, just make sure that... By each body, it says unconscious and not deceased. It should be okay since you use the padded branch. So just go ahead and... Uh, oh, I got kind of lucky there. A couple of le uh, lead pipe and a couple of branches. But once you've got all of those, we can then head back down the elevator and to freedom-ish. Now remember, like, like the game's already said as well, the more you use weapons and the more you use items, such as uh, jimmy bars and everything like that, the more you use... Um, they will break. So eventually, they will, uh, yeah, break. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, God, these are. Oh, God, these aren't. Oh, God, these are. These are dead people that got trapped down here and couldn't get back out. Even though somehow, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you why, but um, I don't know how some of these didn't even get out. So just grab everything that you can, search every body. Um, there's a couple of metal bits on the floor as well. So just uh, grab what you can. And obviously make sure that you picked up the jimmy bar there as well. So somehow uh, there was a jimmy bar there and uh, none of them decided to think, oh, I could use that. Oh, look, there's nothing up these pipes that we're just about to climb up to. If we have a look up, oh, I can climb up there easily. Oh, I'm there. Oh, there's a vent. Let's use the jimmy bar. Hmm. Some sort of vent. What if I can pry it loose? Uh, yeah. So for some reason, none of them thought of that. So... I'm sorry, but you deserve to die. So, uh, chuck your way through. We're not quite done yet, because this is where the uh, real sort of stealth in sessions are going to begin now. Uh, but we're going to actually use a skill point now, which is exactly what we need. So just close this, press select, slash back, whatever you call it, on your Xbox. And then go over to stealth. So obviously the more points available, the more we can use. Use it on the sweet dreams perk. That's going to come in handy for, you know... Suffocating people, but not to death. Clever. Right, so st remember to stay crouched by pressing the B button. Go up to someone behind, press the Y button to take them down. Job done. Now, if you want to, you can move the body just so he doesn't... That's a hilarious way to get knocked out. But just in case he decides to start drowning in his own urination, um, hopefully he won't be deceased. But anyway... Have a look at the medicine cabinet, and again, just have a little look around. A couple of toilets in here to look out for as well. And of course, always look in the rubbish bins as well. So there's going to be another guy here. Now, uh, obviously, we should always be in sneak mode. Now, one thing I should say as well, and obviously you can see the footprints as well. 
So it's always worth just waiting until you see the footprints in an opposite direction. So we can go straight up to this guy and choke him out. Lovely. Now what you're going to see as well, every time that we do take someone down, we automatically stand up. So there's going to be a couple of times or quite a few times in the game where we're going to have to crouch back down immediately. So just keep that one in mind. Uh, it can be very easy to think that you stay in sneak mode when you don't. Uh, so again, just have a little look around. We've got a rotten onion. We've got a couple of bins in here, a lot of bobby pins as well. Uh, so just check, check every shelf. Again, it is always worth making a manual save in each room just in case or before each room. Like I said, remember, you do have the option to do a lot of manual saves, so keep at them. Now, this was actually supposed to go a lot better. Now, this is where, obviously, it's going to say it's up, uh, up on the D-pad for healing, right on the D-pad for food, down for tools and throwables, and left for drugs, which is what we got with the flash earlier. So, obviously, what we can do... Uh, in order to use a distraction, we can keep pressing down on the D-pad until we get what we want. This time it's the glass bottle. And then what you'll do then is press the left bumper to obviously get the glass bottle out. And then obviously right trigger to aim it. Now what we're going to do is wait for the enemy to pop here. And what he's supposed to do, if you give it a throw, immediately go back. Now what i done stupidly was wait there. And then he sort of seen me, and then that, that ruined it. What he's supposed to do is head over to where the glass bottle was, and then you were supposed to go down and press Y to take him down. So that was me being a bit silly there, so my apologize. But yes, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So what we need to do then, again, I tried to do it again, um, and it just didn't seem to work. So we're going to wait for him to start going back. As soon as he starts going back, remember to always look at the footprints as well. Pick up any glass bottles on your way as soon as he starts going back. Uh, you should be able to just take him down here. There is another guy as well, but he is sitting down. So you should not be caught here. Uh, in fact, you can see the other guy there just to the right. So this time what we're going to do then is go around. And again, I almost missed I almost messed this up because he just catches me in the act. Now, obviously, because we're playing on easy, he gives us not a very hard time. But obviously we're supposed to throw the glass bottle. He's supposed to go and look at it. And uh, yeah, so I, I messed that one up again. So, so that's that, that's what we're supposed to do. Um, but yeah, like I said, obviously on normal and hard, they, they'll be chasing you a lot, a lot faster than they're doing here. But again, you know, again, you, you see someone crawling through somewhere you're not supposed to be and you're just like, eh, get out. So... Ah, see? See? Being a bit crappy. But anyway, you know the drill. As soon as you can, just uh, throw the glass bottle. There we go. And now you'll be able to, as soon as you see the footprints start turning to where the glass bottle was, go up behind him, take him down, and that's job done. What the fuck was that? Oh, look, it's not... It's me. Okay, so, good stuff. What we'll do then is have a little cheeky look around, make sure to loot the bodies as well. You may get some good stuff, uh, a couple of lockpicks. Obviously, try and get as many glass bottles as you can. Even if you don't use them sort of now, we can use them, uh, we can sell them later on. That's what we're going to be doing in order to get a few bucks, a few quid skis our way. Um, so, yeah, again, press the left bumper if you want to put your glass bottle away. Uh, there's a couple of bins in here as well. But that is one thing as well to get used to. Um, now, uh, you can't obviously just press the left bumper and then it'll work. You've got to press the right trigger. And then if you want to get your main weapon out, press the right bumper and right trigger. It's It, it can get a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit of time to get used to, but it's not so bad. So go into this room with the pink water stuff, climbing up, grab a couple of bobby pins here. And this is where the power cell is. So... There we go. Here's a power cell right there, mate. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. We're English, aren't we? 
Oh, pure resemblance, me did huffs and puffs. Right, so continue climbing up. Um, now, actually, because there's no enemies, what you could have done was actually just gone up to this door just below us and uh, just lockpicked it because um, it doesn't make a difference. Or you could have gone the way we went. Either way, here we are. We're going to turn off the radio because screw you guys. Uh, again, a little bit of looting we're going to do here. Some bobby pins, some metal bits, a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Uh, search the toolbox as well. And, of course, grab the glass bottle and search the desk. The main thing on what we came here for, though, is da 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 to the left, to the left, to the left, buddy, look up, you stupid butthole, to the left. There it is, the war medals. That's what we came here for, for Big Die, or Skinny Die, whatever you want to call him. Um, and that's what we got, but it is not, we are not done just yet. We do still have another three enemies that we've got to stealth through, not just yet. But we'll head down the steps, take a left, and go through this door here. I do actually make a save here as well. Again, any time that I say there's going to be some enemies coming up, it is always worth making a save, just in case you get caught, and just or just in case you accidentally kill someone. So here's our stuff. Now what we're going to do, when we climb up the ladder, you need to immediately press the B button to sneak. So immediately when we get up, press B to sneak so you don't get caught. And you should be okay for a minute. So we'll grab a couple of these glass bottles. Four of these glass bottles. Nice. Wish they had some drink in them, but there we go. A uh, couple of seeds there as well. Now, if you hide in these yellow flowery bushes, you get hidden. And you can tell when you're hidden because at the top there it says you are concealed. Now, there's one guy walking around in the middle. And there is one guy to the left. So when the uh, guy in the middle is walking around the other way... This guy is either standing where we were, just on that platform, or he's taking an old whiz right here. So, give him the old uh, academia choke down of life, and so he just lands in his own pee, basically. And that's the first one done. So what we're going to do now, we will... There is another guy sitting down, so don't worry about him for now. Him for now! So what we're going to do then is just simply wait. Obviously, just keep looking at the footprints as soon as he starts walking to the left. You should then be okay to head back, or sort of to the right and back into the flowers. So then what we're going to do, don't get him here, because you will be seen, you will be caught. Um, again, it doesn't matter if you get seen or caught. Um, just as long as you're able to fight him, uh, fight anyone without killing them. Um, so again, I'm obviously trying to do this as stealthy as I can to make it as easy as we can. But again, don't panic if you do get caught. Just as long as you don't kill him, you can just punch them down Charlie Brown. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to wait for old musket face right here to walk around. And as soon as he starts walking past you, we're just going to take it slightly to the right and then give him the choke down. When we give him the choke down, immediately press B to sneak and get back into the bushes. There we go, because the guy will see. And then he'll run over and then we can... Yep, just, we should then be able to just turn around, get behind him. Sorry, William, Bi <laughs> William, Billiam, Dickiam, you guys are done. So there we go, that's the three enemies of this area done and completo. And now obviously we can do a little bit of looting. So if we have a look on this platform, there's a chest, of some bobby pins, a toolbox to have a look at. I mean, eventually we got the chest anyway. And then uh, go over, you can have a look at, uh, again, a couple of bobby pins, glass bottles. Um, fight to the death. Ding, ding. And I think that's it. A couple of more glass bottles here, and then we can just head left through to the exit. So again, the map for both of us should generally be the same for the minute. 
Um, I think it's only when we get past the next bridge where the map starts getting a bit more random. So again, just head for the checkpoint. And because it's night time as well, we can now start picking up these night bushes. These non-suchens. Non-suchers, yeah. So just keep looking out for the uh, pink boys of life. And obviously any other bushes as well. So just keep having a look for some while you are heading towards the uh, marker point. I'll just call it the marker. Marker. Yeah. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. So we're going to come into Edenham and after we skip the cutscene we'll basically end up inside the church but we're basically in an area where remember we are in all beautiful suits and uh, this area is basically full of torn suits so we really don't fit in uh, so we just need to change our get up in just a bit but for now we'll head to the left we'll grab uh, some scotch have a look in the dresser see what we can get and then if we have a look at the next one, we can uh, grab a, a, whatever's in the bin. Now let's head upstairs. There's a couple of items to pick up here as well. And we're going to be coming up to collectible number two, the mask. In just a minute, uh, just decided to head right since there's nothing there. But before speaking to Die Boy, uh, we are going to go up these little bits of stairs, pick up the scotch, and grab the Lies of P. Oh no, wait. No, not Lies of P. I lied for you today at 4.15. That's not good, person. Okay, so that was actually more... I mean, technically it was Lies of P, wasn't it? Lie of Percy. Anyway, once that is done, we can speak to Die Boy, and we got his medals. He's going to give us the card that we need. So you could have done that yourself, Dave, but never mind. It's all good. So, we got what we need off him. Couple of things still left to do in here. You should be able to unlock the safe now, so just hold the Y button. It's just a couple of items. There's nothing too amazing in here, but we get a lockpick and some caltrops, which are very good. Uh, they're basically like spiky balls, like stepping on Lego. Uh, more or less, <laughs> so just grab everything that we can here and then what we're going to do, we'll head to the left basically on this altar and then we are going to grab a cup, we're going to grab the scotch, grab a first aid kit grab a couple of rocks as well and we will get that done in this room there may be a book uh, basically there are random sort of magazines and books which we can, which will help us um, with our as you can see in the bottom left there, we can, it basically helps us with Stats and stuff, you know, very fallouty. So uh, another uh, bit, a bit of scotch on the floor there. So grab a couple of rocks, and then what we're actually going to do, we're going to go onto the workbench. Yeah, we're going to go onto the workbench. Hey Amen. Okay, there we go. Now, if we scroll over to outfits in the crafting menu here, go to torn suit, and we should have enough rocks. And, of course, a suit, so we can go ahead and use that one, so that's done. What you can do as well here, and it, you might as well do it now, it depends on if you've got any sewing kits. Luckily, I've managed to grab two, so if you've got one or even two, make sure that you just get one proper suit as well, um, because that will just come in handy for a bit later. Yeah, because we're going to need a proper suit. So, basically, when we're in the... Uh, you know, the prim and proper area, we're obviously going to need a proper suit. When we're in this garden-y area, we're going to need a torn suit. So, hopefully, again, sewing kits were random, so hopefully you've managed to pick up at least one or two. If not, do not panic, because you will end, uh, eventually end up getting one, and you'll be able to get a proper suit later on anyway. Right, so with this area done, we can now head outside, and basically it's going to tell us um, what people are, uh, obviously, you know, NPC health, filled as a red triangle, etc, etc. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to sprint across to the other house. But what we need to do, when we get in here, we're going to crouch and we're just going to hide in this area. Because if anyone 
as you can see there, we are trespassing at the top. So obviously if somebody does catch us, the whole town's going to go nuts and beat the absolute living snot piss out of us. And, but again, we're going to need to sneak throughout this entire uh, area. But if we come into the living room, you can see Mr. Kite's instructions. That is actually uh, for the Hot on a Heels achievement. So that's the second one. Remember, we got Diary of Prudence Holmes earlier on. Um, very early in the game, actually, before the first hatch. This is the second one for it. So make sure to pick that up as well. So just, um, obviously, just be aware. Keep having a look. As long as there's nobody sort of outside there... You can just go ahead and pick up everything from this little sink area. But we are going to keep sneaking around because there are people sleeping upstairs, since obviously it is still night time. Uh, so again, just grab everything that you can. And again, definitely very important to remember those Mr. Kite's instructions book on the table that we already had. So there you go then. We can already see there's two people in this room. So you're just going to go up to them and you're going to press the Y button. Now, you'd think suffocating them to death would actually kill them to death, but all it does um, is, after a couple of orgasm noises there from everyone, it just chills them out for five. So, yeah. So, again, sneak over to this broski. And after a real intense orgasm noise, he will just be even sleepier. Again, where the pillows go afterwards, I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So, again, search the bodies. And have a look. Oh, that's a nice crate. Should get a couple of nice things out of that one. And after you've interacted with everything and looted what you can, we're going to head upstairs again, remaining to be sneaking. Right, so there's, there's sure to be one Ledia or Mania up here. So again, we're just going to have a little look around. A bit of scotch, something in a small dresser. Just again, have a little look around. This safe you cannot get yet. We need a uh, safe cracker. Uh, we need the blueprint for that. And again, that'll turn up randomly. So this little area should be done. Um, another small dresser there. So what we're going to do then is up on this bookcase, we can actually just climb up. And sneak on through to the other side. Now, another thing I should mention as well, because of the randomness of the game, somebody may actually start walking downstairs. Um, and also, if you save the game somewhere, um, and then you completely quit out of the game, or you come back into the game, if you do come back into the game without quick resume, uh, you will actually start back at the hatch. So, obviously, that's another thing just to keep in point. Uh, so... Uh, keep in mind, sorry. So, again, loot everything that we can. Jimmy bars and a couple of good healing bombs and everything there. Okay, so now we've looted this entirety of the house, we've grabbed that Mr. Kite's instruction book, and we're all good, we can actually now get down. So, for me, there was nobody downstairs, but again, for you, somebody might have come in, so again, it's just a case of being extremely careful and take them down wherever you can, or throw a glass bottle in their way to distract them, or anything like that. And then, what we can do when we eventually stumble on outside, we can actually start heading again towards the marker. Yeah, I'm not calling it a checkpoint anymore. It's definitely a marker. So again, just make sure nobody's around as long as you're good. Let's go, go, go.
So, of course, you know, every time we go into a particular marker, um, obviously try and grab as many bushes as you can, especially the ones in the night. So we're going to head through the window. We're going to grab this chest or have a look in it. Then we are going to put this power cell in. We're going to then use the key card in order to uh, hold the key card. And obviously we can rob the payphone while we're here as well. Why not? Petty theft for a couple of sovereignias. Once that's done, we can now head through and into the next area. So what would normally happen is there's basically a machine on the other side. If you haven't taken your joy, there's a machine on the other side that would zap us. Not enough to kill us, but enough to, you know, hurt us and wound us greatly. But luckily, that boy just imploded on itself. It's probably because we're so goddamn good looking. Possibly. So, uh, another sewing kit there I managed to grab, luckily. So have a look in the bin, grab the glass bottle as well, and then we can just be on our way. Um, and I'm off to the train station. Yes, off to the train station, mate. So, uh, nothing else but enjoying the view of death and despair. This is where we hang them, isn't it? I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. Oh boy, we're starting to find out how naughty Arthur was. Now, this is where it's going to... We're going to head to the left because we're just going to try and find some more bushes to bush up. But this is where we're going to start getting a bit more random in terms of the maps and where things are placed. So again... Uh, these things might not be placed here for you. They might be placed there for you. Um, but again, it's not too bad. So you're not having to totally go out of the way. But it's literally just the locations. The buildings are pretty much the same. It is literally just the locations. Uh, so for now, we're just going to have a look in this little area. Plus, there are also a lot of sort of guards walking about. Now, obviously, we want to try and avoid them. Uh, we don't. We can't really be asked for fighting. Uh, if you do end up having a fight, again, just run, try and find, if you want to run away, try and find some of these yellow flowers in order to get in and just uh, conceal yourself until they go away. Um, but eventually then, we are going to get, when we come to this area, we're going to get a side quest, which we are actually going to complete and do now in order to get our second hatch. So we're going to go and scroll over with the right or left trigger to the map or the quest first. And go to Stranger in a Strange Land. So once we've uh, equipped that. Now, again, this is where it was on the map for me. But it could be anywhere in the sort of general vicinity for you. Um, now, as I also make my way there uh, to the marker. I, I do end up popping a side quest. Which hopefully you should uh, as well. But if not... I'll obviously show you exactly what you need um, in order to um, get that up because we're going to do the site. We're going to do that specific side quest in a bit. So if you see this uh, dialogue, that means the side quest has well, it's a side quest that you can do and we are going to do. Um, but basically, after we just do this little uh, section with the hatch and everything, you can just run around eh, pretty much freely and try and find that side quest. But this is the quest that we are going to do in just a little bit. So for now, continue heading to the marker, watching out for any guards. Again, can't be asked to be in a fight. My fists are brittle. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the garden district at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Home. You'd have to be crazy to be sane in this world. So we are in the area we need to be. So again, this should look uh, pretty much the same to you. But what we're going to do then, uh, so it should look effectively the same. But what we're going to do first is have a look. Um, for this sort of park fenced looking area. There's a crashed plane in the middle of it and on the tail spin fin is nye, 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 nye. It's another It's another mask. It's un Uncle Henry Cavill So make sure to pick that up for number three out of 44 When is Uncle Henry coming back? 
I don't know. But Is Uncle Henry coming back to The Witcher? No, because the Netflix writers screwed it all up. So, good stuff. Right, anyway, to the left of where we were then is a house that we're going to go in. We're going to go into the left side window first. And yes, I'm still bitterly disappointed of how the Witcher series ended up. Aren't we all? So what we're going to do then is just flick on these switches and then use the uh, valve wheel. Once that's ding ding dinged and powered up, head back out of the window. Uh, take a left and a left again. And we're basically at the front door, but we are going to just nip in through the window. I'm not sure if you can go in through the door actually or if it's jammed. Anyway, uh, it is jammed, yeah, so we can't get in. Uh, so what we're going to do then is follow the cable, um, we can just pick the lock and uh, unlock the door there. A couple of toilets and stuff to have a little search in, and then we're going to come up to a pretty random puzzle, which is not difficult, um, but it is kind of just guess-based, so yeah. So have a look at the counter there, and then in this room there is a gas mask that we can grab as well. And then what we're going to do, we will... Turn around, have a look at this painting, get rid of it, and job done. Now, you can see this four colored code, so what you need to do is basically, um, well, as you can see here, choose a symbol for each button, check with the lever. If you get it wrong three times, the puzzle resets. So you may get lucky like me and get it the first time. It, it may take you a couple more attempts. So what I ended up doing first then, I'll just put, um, there's only four, obviously four different buttons. So we're just going to do four different buttons first. Once you then click the lever... The ones that shine green will tell you which are correct. So for me, it's the two. So again, what you can do then is just uh, go through each one and see which pops up next. Again, for me, I got the second one right there. And then, um, oh, that's completely up to you. So again, what I ended up doing was just keep going through the next one. Luckily, I did get kind of lucky with that one. So ding, ding, got lucky with that. Yay! Jumping, yay! So, nipping through the secret door. I don't know why we couldn't have just pushed it. There we go, and then we can head in through the hatch, and we're just gonna power it up, and this will be our second fast travel point, yes. So, head into the right room, interact with the valve wheel. Let's get some light up in this BR, schnizh, schnizh. Thank you, thank you for the light. Uh, it, uh, put the access hatch on, there we go. As we can see there, so we don't need to cross bridges to get here. So, on these tables are going to be a bunch of random blueprints. So, just keep having a look. They're not going to be the same for you as they were for me. There, once you've grabbed everything there, there's two maintenance lockers to have a look inside as well. So, we'll just go ding a ling, -ling. Um... Nothing in here just yet, but we are going to go into the opposite room. And this is where we can st um, obviously have a look at a chest. There's a pneumatic storage in here as well to put all of our crafting items in. So, again, just have a little look around, you know, take it in. If you need some health or if you just need a bit of a sleep bonus, have a little kip. You guys deserve it. Now, what we are actually going to do is have a little sleep, but only till about sort of seven-ish in the morning, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, one of the two. It was been a hard day's night, am I, hasn't it? Uh, but anyway, that's going to give us a little uh, sleep boost. Plus, it's just easier now in the daytime to get where we're going. So, we're not going through the hatch, but we are going to go back and up the ladder. Right, okay then, so, um, now we're going to go and do that hot cuisine uh, uh, side quest. Again, if it hasn't popped up for you just yet, just have a little uh, wander around, have a little run around in the general vicinity, and it should pop somewhere. Um, now, like I said, the buildings are always exactly the same, 
So when I show you what the building is, if it hasn't appeared for you yet, you will uh, at least have an idea of what building to look out for. So you see the one in the distance there kind of looks like a kind of looks like a Far Cry base, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, it's got like a big round tower type thing. Yeah, so this is what you're looking for then. So if you are having any issues, that is exactly what you're looking for. But again, if you just have a quick run around, the quest should pop up anyway. So what we're going to do, there's a guard. There's basically four guards then that we need to take down. There was one at the front there, so we are going to go into the right. Obviously, we need to press the B button to sneak, make sure no one's come in, and then just dive into the set of flowers here. So, what I tried to do was choke out the first guard by... The, obviously, I was trying to wait for... There's another guard walking around. So, I was trying to wait for him to uh, go away, choke out the first guard by the gate... Wait till he runs over, choke him out, and then it's good. It didn't happen exactly like that, though, um, as you'd be able to see. So I do end up running away. So, but if you can, if you, like I said, if you can get this first guard out of the way, immediately sneak back and go into this uh, little concealment flowery area and deal with the second guard. Or, if you're like me and it didn't work, this is what will probably happen. Please just lie down. Okay, so we've got the first guard, but I, I what I meant to say was this one. This is what'll happen. Uh oh! Right, so. Now, the villagers will try and attack you as well, as you can see. So don't worry about hitting anyone. Just run, absolutely run as far as you can, and then try and hide in some yellow flowers or behind buildings or something. As long as you've run far enough away, the um, they will eventually stop looking for you and go back to the respective stuff. Even if the villager sees you again, don't worry, they won't attack you. Um, so don't worry about that. But that's just the easiest way to do that, rather than trying to fight off three... Just easier to run away, hide, and wait for a moment. Okay, so we're going to sneak back, but again, now what's happened is, because they've come out, but they've basically re they've reset their patrol route. So you may get lucky, and the one guy will just be standing here, or you may get unlucky, and he'll still be walking around, or he'll still be in a different position. So again, it's annoyingly random how it works out. So that's the second guard taken care of anyway. So what we're going to do, there is a guard to the right of us. Now normally, he should be sitting down. There is a guard up in the tower as well, so don't worry about that. But there's a guard that's either standing or just where we passed, or he's standing, having a little look out there. Again, hopefully you get lucky with that, and you can just choke him out. Job done. So, uh, that's done. So now we can loot the three bodies, or the three incapacitated, unconscious bodies, as it were. And there's a couple of things to loot as well. But again, don't go running about, because the guard at the top will see ye. Right, so let's sneak our way up. Now, the guard is either going to be sitting down. So, just around this rubbish, rubbish bin. He's either going to be sitting down to the right, or he's going to be standing where we need him to stand. So, if he's standing there, that's even better. Uh, luckily, he didn't end up... I thought he was going to fall straight off. Luckily, he didn't. So, if you're a bit paranoid, again, just carry him and put him in the middle. Uh, but he could be eating some stew right there. If he does... 
if he is sitting there eating stew, he will catch you and you probably will have to fight him. Uh, so I didn't actually mean to do that. We're not actually wanting to sit down. What we are trying to grab, though, is the key, which is where the guard was standing. Plus a chest as well, because, you know, might as well loot the crap out of everything. So once you're all keyed up, Lav, let's go down the opposite side of the steps. Not the ones we came through, uh, but rather the ones down here. So uh, again, I'm just having a quick look at your uh, my statistics. Make sure I haven't killed anyone. Nope. Total kill zero. Again, always worth, as I said, always worth manually saving and checking your kill statistics from time to time. Right, so what we're going to do now is, once again, before speaking to Broski behind the toasty, we are just going to loot everything that we can find. Now we're going to talk to the incredibly beautiful Nigel... Oh, it's Nigel Lawson. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, I, th I was hoping that was Nigella, but there we go. Never mind. So once you've spoken to him, skip the cutscene, make sure to grab the chunky stew, and then when we turn around, oh, you can see that it's all changed. And that means more stuff to loot. So have a look at everything again, including the till. You can usually get some good uh, sovereigns. Right, now then that we saved the day, let us continue on and now head towards the marker once again. And um, we're going to come up to it quite quickly. Again, it's not as straightforward. If you can, try not to go through the tins, because uh, I thought they were going to chase me out of the village, but luckily they just came round and was like, Oh, what's going on? What is going on? Uh, it's okay, guys, it's okay. They were already like that when I found them. I, I don't know how that happened. So anyway, uh, sneak, uh, well, cautiously find him. He's killing us. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm trying to get an achievement for not killing you. So if we head to the marker, what we're going to see is this fence. Now, this is where we actually need to go. But once we head in here, basically, that's the front of the train station there to the left of us. Once we get in here, a cutscene's going to start. And I just love what Ollie here at the top says. I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your boar bags, I'll piss in your corpses! Hey, you boar bag, I'll piss on your corpses! Beautiful. Right, uh, I almost messed up there by pressing the B button to stand up when we were already in sneak mode. So just wait for the footprints then to go in opposite directions. Head up the stairs straight in front of us. Uh, we'll take down the guy straight in front of us again. I haven't been in here since. Yeah. Uh, Look, it it's not help? you, it's yeah. me. Well, that's the poshest name, isn't it? Hello, my name is Rupert Fotheringill. <laughs> so, again, just have a look at the medical supplies there. Good couple of things that we can grab. And that's all there is to grab in this point. So, what we're going to do, we'll head sort of slightly back and then we're going to climb up onto this thing, up onto the roof, grab the bottle of scotch. Now, make a save here, and I only say that because you can actually fall off and die. So, make a save here, and then we're going to go to the right of the beam first, and then we're going to jump across. And the same thing. We're going to make a running jump. A normal jump should be fine, but, uh, you know, either way, jump up. Go to the left, jump over again. And ta-da! We not die. We not die today. Right, so obviously there's going to be another couple of guards here. So this guy we're pointing out right now, we need him to be basically looking away, going towards the door, which he is doing. Um, if you do drop down, just wait for a second. You'll be behind some cover anyway. But the guard on the left will be like, hello? That was noisy. Nothing, nothing. Don't bother looking around here. So once he, off, once he nobs off, the guy on the left, just wait until the guard in front of us is walking uh, away from us. And once he's back by the door, we can actually just drop down and hide behind the bar. 
Again, somehow nobody hears a ting. Grab the Jimmy Bar once more. We're going to need plenty of these because lots of stealing. Uh, till uh, a little bit of money, that's all. So again, what we're going to do then is just wait for the... Remember to wait for the guard on the left-hand side there. We'll just wait until he starts walking away. And then, and then, and then. Oh, whoa, that was lucky. That was lucky. There you go. So once he starts walking away, then hopefully this guard here should be in that position. So we can give him a little choke out. And then we're immediately going to go and hide behind the boxes just behind us. So sneak, hide behind the boxes, wait for the other guard to come. And that is boom, bow, skilly, boo. It's better this way. So there are two guards there, but all we're going to do then is interact with both of these boards, immediately walk forward, and then we're going to the underground. Oh god, my back. Oh my ass. Oh my god. Right, so let's pick up the torch. Again, it will be on the bottom of your D-pad. It'll be in your bottom, the torch. So obviously you can press the left bumper. And you know, like I said, you know, keep pressing right and you'll find some stuff and you can find the torch and glass balls as long as you keep pressing down to the D-pad. But of course, this does have a power cell as well. So just uh, you know, try not to take too much time, otherwise you won't be able to. Well, see. So, a couple of things to loot in here. Then we can head into the parts storage room. I hope this isn't body parts. Oh, thank God. Uh, not a lot in here, then. There is a um, filing cabinet that we can have a look at. Uh, also, a piano. We'll just play a note, huh? Do, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's my piano noise, apparently. So we're just going to grab a couple of notes here. Kind of depressing. A lot of these are super, super clever and super depressing as well. I mean, the story on this is genuinely awesome. Uh, but that's all there is in this room then, so we will crack on. Go to the left. Make sure to go to the left into the bathroom. Pick up a whole bunch of awesome medicinal cabinates. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Oh, Bryce, it's like a game of Saw. John Kramer's back. Empty syringes in the toilet. You're either going to grab a syringe or a big fat dookie. Make your choice. Right, anyway, so uh, needed a little bit of healing there. So obviously if you pressed up on your D-pad until you find healing balm, then press the left bumper and then right trigger. That will have used that, of course. So, um... Yep, yeah, we spin payphone. There's a lot of these payphones underneath here, so obviously we are going to be grabbing as much as we can. So into the next area then. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm feeling a bit overnumbered right now. So if you go to your inventory menu and then you click in the left stick, that will actually sort by uh, that. That'll sort by weight. So what you can do then is find. You can see the little bars underneath. If it's a full green bar worth hanging on to. If it's only got a little bit and it's in the red, just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Uh, because you won't be able to sell them anyway. So, into this room. It's a little bit dark, but on the left-hand side there is a filing cabinet we can have a look at. And then there's also a glass bottle, empty glass bottle. But if we have a look at this valve wheel, uh, it's it should be the same uh, every time. Always do be careful. Okay, I'll always do-do. But basically what that means is, in order, it's A, D, B, C. So A, D, B, and C. And that'll open up the door to the right of us.
Okay, so if we take a look to the left, we're going to see another payphone. This is where the lot of Jimmy bars will come in quite handy because there's going to be a lot of these payphones about. Uh, right, so we'll just head straight forward. And again, there's another payphone over here, and then we'll just continue on to the right. And then what we'll do then, to the right of us is a broken window we can actually climb out of. Now pretty soon we are going to be coming up to a fight. And the way we're going to do that is obviously with our batted, uh, padded bat, sorry, with the right bumper. Plus we're going to use the caltrops, which should be uh, at the the bottom. So bottom, uh, bottom uh, the, the down on the D-pad, get your caltrops up. But uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean now. So, after the cut scene, we are going to grab everything that we can again. Some more duct tape, lock picks, and some shovels. Now, we are going to need a shovel or two as well. So, if you... Um, obviously, we've, we've grabbed a couple of shovels on our way. And as you can see, you may or may not be over number number numbered. Uh, so, again, like I said, click in the left stick, and obviously that is going to uh, sort it out by weight. Uh, weight or recent. So, obviously, what we're going to do is pretty much find the ones that we can... Uh, as you can see, where it's red right there, it, 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 can't be, it can't be sold anyway. So, you might as well just get rid of them. Apart from the torch, because that's the only one we'll have. Um, and I decided to keep two of these shovels. If you want to get rid of one of the branches, one of the full health branches, that's fine. Um, but, yeah, just as long as you've sort of got enough to uh, just carry on and then when we get to our next hatch we will obviously pop that straight in get rid of a lot of them so this is where now again worth making a save here but what we're going to do press down the t-pad until we get to the um, the old caltrops get your right bumper pad out now remember i was making a mistake here i was getting my caltrops out pressing the left bumper but i kept forgetting to press the right trigger to actually put them down and then click right bumper to get my padded branch out and then smash them. So don't make that mistake. What you can also do here is if you go into your inventory, go into food and drinks, get a nice cup of brew down here. Typical British person always carries a nice cup of tea in their briefcase or suitcase. Also have a bit of chunky stew. Now what this will do is get give you more stamina and it will last for longer. And again, like I said, make a save as well. So once we've got everything nicely set up we can begin again don't do what i done and press the left bumper to get your caltrops out and just look at the floor Rem remember to press the right trigger so do it now so left bumper and then right trigger to throw it down then the right bumper in order to get you i just wasted another one right bumper then to get your padded uh, thing out make sure to if you can just try and focus on one guy so that it just makes it a bit easier then you can go ahead, sort of run away back behind you, get your caltrops back out, and then just uh, continue on. And obviously don't get too close, because they smash you in the face. Sleep! Drag! You can't just call it a victory! Now, another thing, my branch will actually run out here, so 
If that happens, make sure to press the right bumper to get rid of your pointy stick. Otherwise, that will kill them. And obviously, we don't need to be killed. So, again, just be careful about that. So, if you have to, just use your fists. And then it should be golden as nuggets. Again, do not use your pointy stick. Otherwise, that means certain death for them. So, again, just to be on the safe side there, just make sure that everyone's unconscious. Uh, search all their bodies. And, oof. Man, that, that definitely looks... Uh, dude's looking a bit twisted. Oh, he's looking even more twisted. Jeebus. Uh, so, yeah, have a look at your statistics as well if you want to be uh, just definitely sure on the safe side. So, now that that's over with, again, if you wanted to use some healing bombs like I just did there, remember, up on the D-pad until you find healing bombs. You know, hopefully you're just sort of getting used to that little inventory section down there. Otherwise, we can head in through the door. There is another bit of healing bomb as well, just in front of us. Uh, well, to the right of us now. So, interact with the locker. There's a bin as well. And right in front of us there is the healing bomb. So, if you need a heal, there we go. Uh, so... Uh, nip on through, keep having a look at some lockers, see what you can grabity grab. And in this area, again, there's going to be a lot of bins and there's going to be a lot of payphones as well. So, you know, just, well, phone, lead pipe. Um, I think I was... Oh, no, I was all good here. But, yeah, just so just have a look, grab some stuff, and enjoy the shimmy jimmy. And then when we go through the door on the right-hand side, we, uh, well, we will finish the section and we will finally meet our boar bag, our boar bag friend, Ollie. Yes. Oh my God, Artie. Of course I'm Artie. Right, yep, yeah, so uh, before we let ourselves out, uh, we're going to have a look. Make sure to grab this victory meat off the table, if you want to have a look at the table there and be like, uh, have a look what happened to uh, Margaret, what's her name? And there's also a filing cabinet and a bin to have a look out, uh, just to see if there's any more loot in there. And once you've done that, uh, sorry, bit of an edit there, it's because I turned the Xbox off and then it just put me in the same place, but a uh, different location. So, uh, yeah, go ahead, there's a filing cabinet here and a bin, otherwise we can just nip out to the waypoint, and out we go! Now let's get the Scottish play done! Now of course, like I said, the marker, or the waypoint, whatever you want to call it, is going to be in a different location for you, but everything should remain pretty much the same. So, once you've seen the waypoint, Make yourself, um, well, make yourself scarce and try and get there. Now, the game will say that if you are sprinting, that the villagers might not like it. And if you're climbing, the villagers may also not like it. Apparently, there's not a lot that these villagers don't like. Or oh, there's nothing that they do actually like. Apart from wearing torn suits and just generally 
bitching. So obviously just be careful of those, uh, just so you don't get in, in into any pointless trouble. So again, if you just want to have a look in the fields and obviously look out for some bushes, that old 70s bushes, uh, be my guest, otherwise just head to the waypoint. Where are the Russians? My God, isn't there anything that's not suspicious? Climbing on things is suspicious now. Je Jesus, breathing suspicious. Anyway, once we get here, there's no enemies just at this point, so we can have a look in. Again, there's going to be a whole bunch of glass bottles and a little bit of loot to loot. So, well, go ahead and loot. Nice, nice. Can't beat some nice healing balm. That'll be good for Lissandro Martinez, Man United's defender. Uh, anyway, sneak here. There are two guards on the left, but they won't see you. There's also a guard sleeping right in front of us. So pick up the scotch from the floor. Uh, make sure not to turn the radio off, because you may get discovered easily. Um, so a couple of things that we're just going to grab here, again, as usual. I mean, glass bottles we've got enough of, but eh, might as well sell them for a pound a pop. God, I wish it was that easy to get money. I'd, I'd, I'd have the world's biggest collection of glass bottles. Uh, anyway, so where the sleeping guard is, we're going to take a right, right, meow. Uh, and by the way, I'm over numbered numbered. That's why I'm going super slow. But what you can do is if you scooch over to where it says outfits, uh, under the inventory, you can see if you have got like a little expansion. So for me, what I do have is a little pocket extender, which I will actually show you a little bit later on. Uh, but if you need to get rid of some weight, there are things you can attach to your suit in order to get rid of the overkinumberness, even though it's still attached to your suit. So anyway, all good. So again, branches and everything, we, we don't need any branches. Spiky branches, we don't need. Uh, again, keep a shovel, keep your gas mask. Uh, and generally... Yeah, should should be enough. Get rid of a couple of glass bottles as well if you need it, because really, you know, 55 Budweiser bottles in you, on you is not going to help the situation much. So open up this door, and then what we're going to do is climb up the ladder. We're actually going to be getting another mass collectible in just a mo. Again, more scotch. Tell you what, the more scotch, the better right there. Uh, but up we climb. Now, I do end up falling, so just, you know, climb up again. Somehow, didn't it break my ankles, which is nice. Anyway, turn around, you're going to see the next mass collectible there called Battleship, so make sure to pick that up. Uh, skip or don't skip, whichever you want to dip and do, that's fine, but also make sure to grab the scotch here from the window and uh, uh, just just leave the dead guy just, uh, just, <laughs> just chilling. So we'll nip down. Now, what we're going to do is go towards the fence, but this old drunken man will wake up and he'll be like, ah, Jesus. By the way, all these guards are extremely old and slow, so you can literally just run away from them uh, very, very easily. So we're all good. So you can actually just sprint straight ahead now. What we're going to do is take a left. We are trespassing, but don't worry. There's the guards... In front of the doors who could clearly see us, couldn't actually see us. So that worked out well. So just follow this whole path around. There's a little campfire to loot from as well in just a little bit. Right then, so after cutscene, there's a whole bunch of tanks, but there's going to be a big secret about these tanks and why they never move. Now, uh, we're going to start a quest here called the Band of Brothers, but make sure to pick up the moonshine recipe there from the table. That will always be there. That's for another quest. But the Band of Brothers quest that we're going to do is actually, actually counts for an achievement as well. So, job done. Right, now we're going to get into sneaky sneak mode for pretty much the majority now of this section. So we'll head down the steps and head left. There is going to be a another 
mask just on the left. So we're heading into the old dump, which I tell you what, no dumping, but <laughs> can't dump on the floor. Anyway, there's the next mask anyway. There was a, I'm so sorry, there was a poop joke in there somewhere, but uh, no. I'm more mature than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, open up the gate once you have collected the mask. And what we're going to do first is head towards the left-hand side, because there's a whole bunch of loot chilling out. So, head towards the left. Stick it with the sort of left-hand wall. Uh, there are enemies, or two guards, but don't worry, they're over the other side. They can't see you, so just be careful. Don't play any records. Just grab carrots and chests and things. Some may be rotten. Although, again, somehow they didn't hear a big, big bleeding chest just get open right there. That'll do us. That'll do us. So, again, again, grab rocks. And there is going to be another bush with some black currants or whatever they're called in it. There they are. Those ones. Right. So, what we're going to do now. Now, this section can go one of either three ways. So, don't worry. They're looking straight to hell on. So, we will get in the... Uh, flowery bush here, make sure you're concealed, grab a glass bottle. Now, when you throw it off to the left, usually only one guard appears, which would be fine. If that happens, quickly go and choke him out, and then you can go and choke out the other guard. Sometimes the two of them might uh, run off together, which does happen to me, which you'll be able to see. But if this happens, where you accidentally get caught, like now, just make a run for it. Run, go to the left, outside of the dump, and you should literally be... Sometimes there's some yellow flowers here, but if not, if you turn around, you'll see because there's no arrows, it means they've already stopped looking, which, I mean, to be honest, they do look like 70-year-old pensioners still doing this. And why run when you can just not give a crap? So, again, if you get caught, just run out there and you should be fine. Um, but, again, so what we will do... Oh, just uh, make sure to grab some stuff from the old rubbish bin. So, as you're going to see, this time... Uh, the two of them start going. Now, the one of them actually runs outside, and I am able to quickly um, choke out the other guy. So, quick as you can, choke out this guy, and immediately, of course, get back into the old concealment center, which is the yellow flowers. And, again, sometimes he may go looking for you. Now, these guards can actually walk in the bushes as well, so just be careful of that. But he can... Again, either one way, he can look for you, or what he's going to do for me is just sprint away because he's just crapped his pants, which uh, I would too. Don't get paid enough for it, and bro, I'm 70. I just want to enjoy my retirement in peace. So he's like, screw you guys, I'm going home. So yeah, that worked out pretty well for us, and he won't be back, which is nice. Right, since we are happy enough with that one then, I will, uh, well, let's just go and loot this little place. Again, you can walk around now because, uh, I mean, if you were to smash them both unconscious, then uh, it would have been pff, even better. But there we go, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a bin, there's a file cabinet, and on the right-hand side where they were looking, there's a couple of darts and everything. So, just over uh, what's in front of us now. There is water as well, so if you've got a canteen... You can obviously fill up the water as well, just in case. And once you're all happily done, climb up on the rock, climb up onto the roof for a little cutscene and the secrets about the tanks are going to start and it's uh yeah it's not going to look well but anyway this is a big stealth section um where there are obviously a lot of old guards old guys running about so we just need to be careful so what we're going to do first then is obviously go straight in front of us here and we'll take a left now there are going to be three guards so once we get out of the gate here there's going to be three guards that are roaming so Get into this left-hand side bush if you can see these three guards coming towards you. But if not, and they're walking away, just uh, quickly get behind them, quick as you can, and dive into these flowers on the right. 
So that should be good. We basically have to get around to the back of this canteen. So you don't need to worry about them. So we can just continue heading forward. Now go into the left-hand side bushes. Because as you can see, there are another three guards here. Uh, now our prime directory is to get to the door. Which is to the direct of the left of us. Again, remember these guards can actually walk in these bushes. So, um, yep, just be careful. Also, with these three guards, sometimes they can walk together other times as you can see they are completely separate so as soon as the second guard goes you can nip it into the third bush as i do here i actually forgot about the third guard behind me make sure that he goes quickly go to the door open it up now what you're also going to see is the guard going oh there is somebody breaking into the canteen oh wait not looks like i've uh, looks like i've lost my glasses again sorry enough man nobody was there because <laughs> they're all old, and that's how I assume all old people talk, apparently. So, yeah, you should be all good. There's another mask here, so make sure to grab this next mask as well. So that should be three for this area. And then it's just a case of having a look on all the tables to see um, what you can loot. Plus getting to the stove at the end. So, it's, again, just having a little look at everything, just to loot it all. Nobody's going to come in. So, that's near bother. As, as Ollie would say, I think. Attention all personnel. To allow time to repair the mannequins, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're heading back out. Just have a look at where the footprints are going. So obviously we know that there are two that are on their way. So remember there is a third one. Hopefully if they've already nipped off to the right, you uh, should be able to snap it through to the flowers on the left, there's the third guy, whoops there, let's just uh, take a moment here. Again, it's funny, he's still like, man, I'm sure I just seen someone coming out of there. The same guy that was breaking in. And I crapped my pants because I thought he was actually coming in. But no, he's just nipping off to the right so we can make a break for it to the left. Again, try and stay in these yellow flowers as much as he can. Uh, take a look back, see if anyone's coming. If not, we can stick it in these flowers. <laughs> now... All three of them are together. But what we're going to do is head for the left-hand side. That little opening that we just seen there. So wait for the old guys to nip past. Don't break your hips there, guys. <laughs> and then as soon as they're gone, go into the left. But then make sure to stick with the right-hand side path and head all the way up to the back. So there are a couple of guards in here. And they will spot you. But again, just keep going. Stay, stick into the right-hand side wall as much as you can. And they won't actually bother you. So just keep on going. Uh, and just stick with these right-hand side flowers. Again, I mean, we are playing on easy. Don't get me wrong. But it's just funny how they're going. Well, that guy looks suspicious. He's not in our uniform. And he doesn't have a mask on. And he looks very suspicious. But uh, eh, on your way, mate. Uh, you don't want to run and break my false teeth. Anyway, head to the left. And we're going to be doing a little bit of breaking and entering. And stealthing. And more breaking and entering. So there's no uh, enemies, guards here. Don't worry. Nobody's going to come into this area. <laughs> so hold and get yourself in. Now there are a good bunch of goodies to loot in here. Which is nice. So immediately on the left, make sure to grab the guide to fitting in. That will always help. And again, if you have a look on these small tables, the bookshelves. There is another book here as well called Survivor. There it is on the left. So grab that one. And then grab everything that you can from the, uh, there's, yeah, the file cabinets and everything off the desk. Attention all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. And he's absolutely not in his desk. Why doesn't that surprise me? For the love of God, do not trigger the alarm. Um, now, there was something on the desk. If we can actually jump up and go up to find some more loot. Uh, but we can open up this uh, painting and it'll say note, chord, note. What a jolly tune. That's basically going to open up a secret doorway. So you can grab some glass bottles if you want. Um, but oh yeah, there we go. So I just remembered now. Oh yeah, by the way, let's, let's jump up and grab some more loot. It's Lutitious. Oh, that sounds like Nicki Minaj's understudy. Hi, girls. It's Lutitious here. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats at Ramsgate. This stirring war movie shows 
one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Okay, once you've lutitious to everything, we can head uh, to the piano now and play. Remember, it's note, chord, note. So X, Y, X. Ta-da! There's the key, plus there is a hatch, which we are going to go into later. So don't bother going into the hatch yet, because we still have a couple more things left to do before we nip it in. Yes, that's that's true, Artie. That's, that's exactly the point. Again... For the love of God, do not trigger the alarm. That would only end badly for us, of course. So, heading back outside the door, we are now going to head back to the right. Again, do not worry about the guards to the left. They are looking straight in front of you. And again, all people have no peripheral vision, so it works out well for us. Now, what we need to do is he uh, head basically to the opposite end of where we are now. But there are two guards that are going to be roaming. The first one is going to be coming down this hill just straight in front of us now. There he is, so quickly get into some yellowy, delicious, flowery flows. And then we'll just wait a moment until he starts nipping up. Ten hut. Well, back in my day, it was eleven hut. Eh, during the war. And then just continue on your merry way, getting in the flowers as quick as you can. Always be aware of the guards. There's that one, and there is another one that will be entering that section here on the right. So quick as you can, get into the flowers. And you should be now, you should be okay. He can come out of this area as well, so just be aware. But otherwise, once we get into this section, we should be good to go. So head around the back of this shed, and then, since we've got the key, we can nip straight in ski. So again, few things to loot, bins and filing cabinets and desks and everything, so loot what you can, and then eventually we're going to have to pull some switches and make an ep epic break for it. But again, remember, the old guys are about as quick as a bullet if the bullet have never actually left the gun. Attention all personnel, the Merry Band players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. If you are theatrically inclined, please talk to Sergeant Oldcastle when he's not on the bridge. See if I don't. Gotta drop some stuff, Arthur. Or it's gonna be tedious. So, once again, we have some. <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, we have some overkin number number num. So, this is where I'm actually gonna show you. Go to your inventory, go to outfits. And as I said, um, I actually picked up a pocket expansion kit. So, hopefully, you've got one as well, which you can actually use. Which, again, you can get rid of it in your inventory to put it on your suit, which is going in the same inventory suit. But, uh, anyway, that gets rid of some weight. Uh, hopefully you've got one. If not, don't worry. Again, just try and get rid of a, a couple of things. Anything that you don't need. Uh, a lead pipe you don't particularly need either, so there's no point keeping that if you don't want. But remember to keep at least a shovel and a rusty pipe as well. If you need to, of course.
Okay, so we are actually going to make a break for it. Now, don't worry, this part is not hard at all. It's not like there's a million guys after you, but we do have to, obviously. It's it, it's basically quite a long run. So what we're going to do is use the switch. Get all the switches going and just make a break for the door. Head to the right. Now, again, like I said, this, this run is quite long uh, as opposed to a whole bunch of guys chasing you. So don't worry about that. We're going to head to the right, then to the left. And we go into... Well, you can either go through the training yard here or keep going right and then all the way to the left. Doesn't matter. Head left. We're basically heading back towards the hatch. And there we go. Once we're in the hatch, we are nice and tidy. So again, if you want to... Um, you can actually use uh, either drink a bit of water or drink a cup of tea in order to get your stamina more upper-upper. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it now. So we've got another little section that we're going to do. Um, so if we head now towards the Still of the Night, uh, rather than finishing the Band of Brothers quest. So make sure that you've got the, the Still of Night. I'm just going to get rid of this custom waypoint because we don't need it. We haven't needed it for a long time, actually. Um, so you can run, and then we're just going to stop in a little while, because there is one guard who is about to diarrhea his own butt snatch off. And you can see him just working on some stuff there, and then what he's going to do is actually go, Oh my god! Wait, nope. I'm about to explode. So the way we're going to do this then is, and we're sorry to do this, I never like to, uh, disturb anyone's mega diarrhea day, but we have to. So, you're going to throw a glass bottle. Sometimes you'll get up straight away. Sorry, mate. I know you were half into it there, but my apologies. So, again, if he doesn't move the first time, just throw another bottle or two. And as soon as he moves, as soon as he starts walking towards it, quickly go behind him and choke him out. Otherwise, he will quickly uh, see you and you'll just have to run away and try again. But once that's done, uh, we're all good. So, it's, uh, yeah, nice. Right, uh, we're going to get the guide to fitting in book here. It might be different for you. Luckily, that was on the shelf rather than in the toilet. Otherwise, I would have just left that completely there. Uh, so if we turn around now, you're going to see, yep, these little wooden ledges. So we're going to climb up. We're going to steal two bags of sugar, which are needed. Uh, so again, don't need the rifle, though, so don't worry about that. But anything else you can pick. People get angry when you steal from their homes. Well, <laughs> luckily, that guy's choked out. And this is a hell of a home. Uh, again, have a look at some maintenance uh, cabinets. Again, like I said, I've said again for about the last 16 times now. But if you need to drop some stuff, obviously by all means do that. Because we we're going to be getting rid of the bags of sugar in a bit anyway. So, uh, what we're going to do first then. Now, this bit's very easy. It's going to tell you where you have to go and what you have to do anyway. So, once you sort out the heat valve, the waypoint will tell you to the next one. And it'll tell you to the next one. So, very easy. I mean, we ain't going to get far with no sugar right there, are we? Hmm. Right, so with that done, we now actually have to use our gas mask for the first time. And no, it's not from uh, the old guard just absolutely destroying his own bowels. It's actually in this part where we have to go to the bog where I bet it ended up. So, make sure to pop your gas mask on. If, for whatever reason, you got rid of your gas mask or you forgot to pick it up, uh, you can actually use the victory meat, or the war ration, sorry. Um, yeah, you can use the war ration, and that will give you a bit of anti-choke, so you won't die nearly as quickly. So, that's all good. But anyway, whichever one you've got, you can just go ahead and pick up these histoplasmic mushrooms. Now, if you have a look all around... Plus, there should be two on the body. You should pick up about seven or eight. Well, no, man, what a waste. There was nothing on him. Right, so head back to the waypoint, take your gas mask off. This ain't COVID country no more, boy. You can take your chin diaper off. Your chin nabby. Uh, so again, head to the waypoint so we can get back to the uh, moonshine area. 
Now, if there's one thing that rednecks do incredibly well, it is make up some moonshine. And that's that sounds probably pretty prejudiced, but that's all I get from watching just TV shows. So apologies if I just sounded like a prejudiced douchebag right there. Right, so again, just interact with the couple of waypoints. And uh, yeah, that should be it. This should be the last one we're going to do. We're going to make some moonshine. Noise. Let's collect it and get out of here. Sick up tea to cure food poisoning by making myself throw up. Oh, God. So now this is all just a case of um, just going, getting back to Ollie now to complete the Band of Brothers quest. So again, this is where it's actually going to be a longer run than I said earlier. So if you want to, and you've got a bit of water, or you've got a bit, just, just something to give you that little bit more stamina boost. A nice cup of tea will always do it. Um, but the victory meat will do it well as well. So if you want to, again, you can do that. Uh, like I said earlier, this is only because, once again, it's a bit of a longer run, rather than having a whole bunch of enemies chase us and potentially killing us dead. Uh, so it's literally, as I said, just a case of following the waypoint. Any enemies, you can literally sprint past. Remember, they're going to break a hip if they run, <laughs> you know, at least one centimetre or so. So don't even worry about it. But if you are going to fight, make sure not to kill anyone, of course. Remember, we are not killing Ernie Birdie. Also, while you're here, and if it is night time for you, just have a look in these fieldy, grassy areas and pick up these night-blooming non-suches. Always comes in handy. come in the way I got out in the back of the station. <laughs> well, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> so somehow they're just getting completely lost, which sounds about right for me. Anyway, once you have gotten back here, he will open up the door and all you've got to do is follow the waypoints in order to get the levers to get up and you will then follow the couple of quests. Plus, you will get the Mother of All Victories achievement, which doesn't actually unlock for me on screen for some reason, but it should unlock for ye. Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I... Now, I was actually waiting for the achievement to unlock. So, uh, yes, now it should unlock for you. And then it's all good. Now, what you're going to see is a bit of an edit skip. Because I um, loaded back into the game, it just put me straight down directly on the floor. So, yeah, let's just do that. 
Okay, so here we go then. So after you jump down and the cutscene plays, we will start heading towards the marker, for, uh, the waypoint for our next quest called Oh, Behave. And if you don't get that reference, then man, just watch the Austin Powers and stop being so young, damn it. But also, while we are going for the waypoint there, wherever yours may be, of course, uh, make sure to get on some fields and try and get in many berry, berry bushes as you can. Oh, in fact, uh, what we'll also do, now we're going to check up some skills. So we're going to go to the skill tree. You should have around 19 available. Uh, so what we're going to do is do the smooth talker skill at the top there. Uh, the next one down, which is uh, tippy toes. And also the most important one is OU. Now, basically, the OU one will uh, basically leave us free. So people will leave us alone from sprinting and jumping. We're basically free to do whatever now. So incredibly, that cost us eight skill points, but there we go. So go ahead and speak to Cunt Stubble Right. Yeah, you heard what I said. Uh, have a look in the, uh, in the bin next to us as well for some loot. And then we're going to basically just head around the corner here. Nip in. We are not going to be able to get through the elevator, of course. But we will just head around the back. Uh -huh. I'll behave. Nipping through the door and go and speak to the, as always, the helpful. Now, basically, this receptionist is like every reception receptionist at the doctor's. They just don't care. Tell you to take a seat in the number and then you wait in there for what seems like an eternity. Anyway, just wait until she calls you. Stand up and we can go on. Number two, now serving number two. Now, just get ahead and go and see the doctor. He's at the, all the way at the end, so if you've got any leg problems, you are the furthest away. Uh, right, thank you, helpful receptionist. That's how it normally goes, isn't it? It's like, you've got the sniffles, right? Just to that door there, that's where you got to go. You've got bad legs, you can barely walk right at the end of the hallway, okay? Uh, at least a mile walk away. Right, so this part is easy enough. We've basically got to wait for the announcement to finish. Then we can head through each, I mean, what kind of look like sphincter holes um, as we just grab what we can. Uh, you can grab a, some apple, a tea, a nice sandwich, and some healing balm and a bandage right there. Uh, have a look through all the lockers, but there's not really anything else to grab. Uh, a couple of cloth scraps we can grab, so just make sure all we're doing is basically... Oh, hello, sir. You are going insanity, yes. Anyway, just go through each area, um, grabbing what we can, and um, yeah, it's uh, just nip through each sphincter, or what they look like sphincters, and enjoy the worst singing I've ever heard in video games. God to make the mighty, make the mighty yet. Lord, to make the mighty, make the mighty yet. Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Wee, wee. Nice and splashy. That's the way we like like it, flashy and splashy. Right, so grab the cloth scraps, a couple of cloth scraps here, three I think, and then continue on towards sphincter fill after we grab a suit. You look wonderful. Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odour of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. So in this area, we're going to see what happens if you do not take your joy and you go through one of these things. You get zapped. Oh, damn. And that, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not even a good zap. That's not even like a 
kink zap. That's just a dead zap. Anyway, head left into the bar. There should be two bottles of scotch on here to grab. Uh, if it's not scotch, it's going to be something else. So whatever you can, uh, just grab those two. And then what we'll do after this part, we're going to go into the phone box right there. Uh, now, if you're a Futurama fan, that just looks like a suicide booth, doesn't it? But no, uh, in this game, it is a joy booth. So we're going to take one of those. We do have to take one. So it, it, literally all it does is give you a little uh, tutorial here. If you take too much joy, you overdose, you'll come down. You have withdrawals, basically means that you can't fight as well, etc, etc. Um, so it's all good, but otherwise, the world feels better. <laughs> yes. So effectively, as we take a seat here, we get, we got to take a seat. We can't skip this part as we listen to Big Jack. Um, but yes, this is basically saying, if you're on LSD, this is what the world looks like. S sometimes. But my advice is, don't take any drugs. You're better as you are. Better in Hamlin Village. Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> And don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax, and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. These masks kind of just remind me of uh, basically Slipknot being in their elder years now where they can't scream as much. This is like, this is like a, 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 a you know, like a pop version of Slipknot. Kill pop, more like, yeah, I love pop. <laughs> Uh, right, so anyway, we will nip through the elevator and joyous of joys go up the elevator. Yeah. Now we basically have to take a quiz. Uh, the quiz is very easy. The answers will be the same every time. Uh, what I will say as well, as you can see at the top right now, where it, um, at the uh, when it says day 64 and my little map at the top, it's red. Now, basically, that means we are outside of curfew. Now... Obviously, after this whole quiz thing uh, nips off, we will eventually go outside. But there is a chance that you can sleep in a bed until morning. Do that, because... Now, uh, because obviously it, it, it's past curfew, so anytime you see police, they will try to chase you and beat you down. So I made this unnecessarily more difficult for myself. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, we'll just worry about that in a moment. Let's just get past the quiz first. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. So, the first answer is A. You have to say hello. What it is with the eyes, I have got no idea. Not the eyes, the eyes. But it's A to say hello. And the next answer is going to be B. It's going to be B. So B. So get some clothes on you and get some... <laughs> Effectively, it's basically telling you to get dressed and get drugged up for a grand old day. What is this game teaching us? Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two, I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, 
Here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. And once again, the answer is going to be A. So, number A. Mrs. Sackville. Incredible. Uh, so the next answer is also going to be A. So give me some flowers and <laughs> don't give me anything to do with any sacks. No sacks in my face, please. Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. And the next answer will be... B. So, B... B. That's right, clear one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench, no worse for the wear. Oh, clear two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seven try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's all right. So we still can't move yet, but what's going to happen is she's going to come back, she's going to uh, tell us to take the quiz again, but thankfully we can just eventually run away, even though we could just run away right now, uh, but anyway, so just keep wiggling the control uh, until we can move, then we're going to go to the room in the right. Get out of here. Are you ready to behave now? Ah, there we go. Now it's not timed or anything, so don't rush too much, but uh, grab the locker, there's Jimmy Bar in here. We need that bit of gym bar. There's a toolbox at the top as well with some stuff in it, and that's about it. So we are going to gym bob our way through. Hello. Uh, search the toolbox. Hopefully you get like you can get some good stuff. Uh, filing cabinet there as well. Otherwise we can just carry on continuing down. And there's some more lockers and filing cabinets and everything here before we head into the room on the right. Now this is basically the room which we are going to sleep. Um, if you are like me and you, uh, uh, and it's red at the top of the screen, make sure to sleep until at least 7 a.m. Uh, for one, so that you are not going to be chased by cops. So again, just make sure to sleep until at least 7 a.m. Then what we need to do, we can actually pick up all of our items, but, um, annoyingly, we have to do this one by one. So, uh, yep, that's what we're going to have to do then. Eventually. So two things here, pick everything up one, one by one, and if you are outside of curfew and uh, the things are red at the top, just go ahead and make sure to sleep until everything is back to white, so you know that you're not going to be chased by cops, as long as it's in the daytime at some point. So once you have, there was a bit of an edit there, only because it took a while, but basically what you can then do is just drop off all your uh, crafting components, once you've picked everything up, you can then place all your crafting components in, and if you want to get rid of just some stuff as well, like the dirty bandages, some rotten food, it's always worth doing that as well.
So if you're satisfied, we are good to go. Remember, make sure that you press, uh, make sure that you went to sleep, so that is at least in the daytime, because even if you run about in the daytime and everything, as long as you've got the skill OU, nobody will pressure you. But because I'm such a stupid person, I am, obviously I'm gonna be chased more by cops because we're outside of curfew, so yeah, I'm just stupid. Anyway, it's how we go. So, what we're gonna do now, we're actually going to get a story-related achievement here. You're not in Kansas say anymore. Or however Kansas City's people speaks. Plus, we're gonna go ahead and get another achievement as well for dying while overdosing on Joy. So, uh, head into the Futurama suicide booth slash the Joy booth slash the telephone box. You're gonna automatically take... Uh, it, it should only be one Joy that we need to take before we get told that we are overdosing. So once we've done that, yeah, yeah. what are you going to do? Wow, it does look good, mind. Spewing up butterflies and everything. Anyway, what we're going to do is just sprint straight forward and jump off the edge of the cliff. Hooray! It's a suicide mission! Yow. And then we will get the achievement. Now, I can die happy. <laughs> um, And apparently, we didn't overdose on joy. We just overexerted ourselves swimming. So we'll just be... On holiday, apparently, according to the papers. Hilarious. Hilarious. Right, so with that one done, you should start off in your... with uh, sitting down on the bench. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, mate. Right, mate, no worries. Okay, so, again, if it's in the daytime, great. All we've got to do, all you've got to do anyway, obviously we all know by now the maps are randomly generated where they put the markers and waypoints and everything. But uh, the next quest here, should old acquaintance. So all you need to do is happily and merrily just run to the waypoint wherever it is for you. Um, gra obviously grabbing some bins and some post boxes along the way as well. Uh, just to see what kind of um, good uh, loot that we can get out of them. And obviously for me, because I am so stupid and I forgot to fall asleep... I'm having to do things the careful way, slash I'm going to get chased. But anyway, all you've got to do, loot everything and just make your way, uh, make your way to the waypoint. <laughs> Look what the cat did. <laughs> we'll laugh about this later. Shit. <laughs> bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Oh, what a cat druggy. <laughs> Like I said, I just made that harder than it needed to be. Um, right, so once, well, for me, once the coast is clear, hopefully you had a nicer, uh, easier, smoother time. Uh, there's going to be a conversation here with Sally, and then, uh, again, we're just going to skip a bunch of, a uh, couple of cutscenes here. Then what we need to do, we are basically going to be chased by three thugs, so all we need to do then is event, is basically make our way to the left, to immediately turn around to the left, and then just nip through to the right. And you will be escorted by a police officer, and then it's job done. Yes, mate, an altercation in the alley. This is why Americans take the piss out of us, by the way. Or all the Brits, anyway. 
So interact with the rubbish bin there. Now, what you're going to see is... Uh, now, we are going to change the quest up. So basically, we need to go to the Shocking Revelation. So if we go all the way over to quests there and make sure to choose Shocking Revelation. Now, what's annoying is I chose Shocking Revelation and then the Finding Faraday quest came up, which I didn't realize. Make sure that in your quest, it is Shocking Revelation because, again, very silly me. Um, because I didn't realize this, I was finding the Finding Faraday waypoint instead of the Shocking one. So you're going to see a little bit of an edit because it literally took me about five minutes of trying not to get my ass bust. And uh, yeah, so again, make sure that your quest is Shocking Revelation. And then again, make sure to just head to the waypoint. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, again, making life way more difficult. Uh, what you're also going to see as well um, is, if you have a look at the map, hopefully if you've been running about places as I get whacked in the nugget, um, a bunch of side quests are going to appear. Uh, oh, Jesus, run! So, yeah, so in random locations, a side quest is going to appear for you, but for the shocking revelations, as soon as you see this little garden area, head to the sort of back right of it, and we can now enter the hatch. Uh, not quite done, though. We do have to get over here without shocking ourselves to death, which I almost do, because, you know, it's the way I play, baby. So, we're going to sprint and jump over, and then make sure to jump over. Give yourself a little run-up, because that's what happens. Again, you just get stuffed right in the old electricity butt. Uh, we can now climb up. And we're going to climb up onto these pipes where we can take a left. Then we are going to carefully drop down. Make sure to carefully drop down. And then just give yourself a running jump over to the other side as well. Which again, I do with absolute stupidity. And I miss the platform there. So, yeah. Ha! <laughs> what an absolute douchebag! Anyway, once we have deactivated the power, we need now need to go ahead and just get rid of all the water. So if we head up and then to the right, into uh, this little bathroom area right here, interact with Valve, and that's job done. Now, if you uh, have a look at the top left-hand corner there, if you get into a position where you are with me, the skull will obviously start going down, and you basically just have to take some healing balm in order to sort yourself out. If you want to drink the tap water to give yourself some more joy, that's fine. I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> but again, just have a look in the toilets and have a look in the bathroom mirrors and everything as well. Ah, man, that feels a lot better. There you go, if you get electrocuted, bit of healing balm there on the butt will work us every time. Right, okay, so now we do have to switch the power back on. Before obviously getting the hatch right there. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I really don't know what I'm bloody doing here, mate. So yeah, we obviously need to turn the power back on before we can <laughs> get the hatch going. Here we go, lovely. Um, also what you would, and also make sure to grab this damp diary here. This is actually the third out of seven parts for the Hot on Her Heels achievement. So right in that desk, make sure to grab the damp diary. Over by the chemistry set and everything, there is a, another couple of random blueprints. Um, it's going to be one here and just to the opposite side of where we are. There we go. So make sure to be grabbing these blueprints as well. Again, it's all going to come in handy a little bit later on. Even though we've got the backpack of a million backpacks and then what we can do is if we head into the main area again and we are going to take a left there we go now this is where we are finally going to sleep and get some health and have some chill out and everything uh, but you can obviously also loot the guards sometimes they've got some good stuff like bobby pins um oh that's what i was going to say with the withdrawing from joy like I said, just like when you're overdosing, when you're withdrawing, you just get a bit more unsteady on your feet. You run a bit stupider. Uh, you can't fight as well, so obviously just try and avoid that. Uh, right, so that's pretty much everything in this area. 
What we're actually going to be doing now is going for the achievement you do know Jack. You do know Jack. And that's for basically watching all of the television shows. Now, this isn't, <laughs> again, it's one that is, in fact, it is the most annoying achievement in the game, purely because we've got to basically do this. So make sure that it is morning, again, so you don't get up and, you know, it's all busted and everything. Um, but basically, we're going to find a house. There's a, where, Whatever you're running on the map, you will see that there are uh, house icons. That means we can go inside those houses and watch TV. Obviously, you can't just be let in, so we have to do it in the night and very much carefully. Um, yeah, so what we do actually need to do is... Oh, there we go. There we go. So if you have a look at the map there, we've got a couple of houses. Um, hopefully there's one a little bit closer to you, so you don't actually encounter any guards. Um, but wherever there seems to be a house, we are eventually going to be going to there. But what we are going to do first is actually we're just going to quickly nip around the map. So before we go into You Do Know Jack... Um, again, I'll just get in a little bit more into that in just a minute. So what we're going to do is basically unfog the map and effectively find a whole bunch of other quests. I think there should be five in total, which we are going to grab. So uh, it's obviously worth doing this just so we have a clear... Oh, God, what, the, what was that guy doing? Not sitting on the bench. Um, it's worth just having a quick mosey on around the streets just to get uh, all the side quests appear. Now, if the side quests do not appear... Sorry, I know it's a lot of talking right now. Uh, but if the side quests do not appear or that there's one that is on mine, which isn't on yours. Do not worry, it won't affect your gameplay too much. It won't affect any achievements either. It's pretty much just for XP, these side quests are. So we will be doing a couple of these side quests. But again, if one doesn't appear, there is five, but if one doesn't appear, don't worry about it too much. Um, Yeah, it's mainly just for a bit of XP skill pointing later. So, yeah. So, now what we're going to do, again, we can't actually... <laughs> that guy was real happy. So, obviously, we can't go into people's houses in the daytime because they're awake and they're doing stuff. So, what we're going to need to do is head back into the hatch. We're going to sleep now. Now, with this You Do Know Jack achievement, there's basically a whole bunch of different shows. Uh, there's 45 in total. 45, yeah. 45 in total, I think. Four, yeah. So, 45 in total... Now, specific TV shows only appear at certain times of the day. So, we basically, what we'll have to do is go to 7 a.m., then 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and then 10.30 p.m. There's, I think there's like five shows in the 7 a.m. slot. There's like uh, eight or nine in, in the 4 p.m. slot, um, etc., etc. So, once you have got it down to about, uh, around 8.30-ish, if you can do that, Again, like I said, hopefully there is a house that is closer to you than it was to me. Um, otherwise, we are going to have to do some sneaking around, which is fine, just fine. Uh, because there are a couple of guards. Again, make a custom waypoint on the house. Now, just wait. Again, I'm going to have to wait because, uh, yep, uh, a couple of guards everywhere. And, you know, you can run away from them, or you can just beat up, as long as you don't kill the police officers, but it's easier just to um, do this as stealthy as you can. So, wherever you're going, make sure to obviously run past all these uh, red bloody things that will detect if you don't have joy. Uh, keep checking the map if you're ever getting lost and you're getting a bit stuck of where to go. Just follow the waypoint, though, to the house. Poor thing. What's she on about? Now, remember, of course, because it's random, your house layout is going to be um, different than mine. Um, but providing it is about 9 o'clock-ish now, everyone should be asleep, so you literally don't have to panic. Uh, but what we do have to do is find... Um, we obviously have to find everyone asleep in their comfy, comfy beds and give them the pillow choking of a lifetime. Just enough, of course, so that they don't die. Uh, but if you want to, of course, just um, save the game. If you particularly want. Uh, another thing I should say as well. That if you have. 
um, gotten rid of all the people in their beds and everything, and you've come back into the game, and it sits you outside. So basically, if you're back at the main menu and you start back, um, it will actually just place you outside. But that is okay, because you can actually just come back into the same house. And for me, anyway, all of the people that I basically got rid of uh, never appeared again. So that's something that you can't So you can just come in here in the daytime anyway without having to mess around. So again, that's if you've gotten rid of all these people in the houses. You've turned your Xbox off or whatever. You've come back in. It's booted you back to the main menu. You continue. You will be sitting outside. Um, yeah, you can just come straight back into this house without any issues. Because there should be nobody here. Uh, but again, so what you're going to do, whatever house it is... Just make sure that you are sneaking, always sneaking, and just pillow the crap out of everywhere. There isn't. Oh, good. Well, you know what to do if there is. And for the rest, you safe in your bed. I've got a lovely bedtime story to tell you. Right, so, uh, I'm just going to get rid of this guy. This is where the TV is, actually, in, in this room. And it's coming up to 10.30. So, what you're going to see for the, again, you do know Jack achievement. Um, if we go over to the TV, sometimes you might have to turn it on, I think. Sometimes it should already be on. But once it hits 10.30, or any other time, what you're going to see in the bottom left-hand corner is, uh, it'll say, added collection with whatever it is. Um... But again, it's not going to... It's going to be random, uh, whichever ones pop up. So you may be sitting there for about two hours getting the same show on each time, each time slot, which is just a pain, especially for the last two, which I currently need. Um, so there you go. You've just seen that one which has just popped up, which you've gone, right, so that's the first one out of 45 collected for the 10.30 nighty night section. Now, what I'm actually going to do... Um, there are another two people in here, actually, so we're just going to go and get rid of them. But what I will do is I will add the list of all the TV shows in the comments section. Uh, in order, so basically, when you get back to the main menu, if you have a look in the extras part and then the theatre, it'll tell you that's where all the collectibles are, so that'll tell you in order uh, which ones you've gotten. So I'll put that in the theatre order so you can tick along and uh, which ones you've got and which ones you are still yet to get um you know it's a simple enough achievement but the grind of course on it is just freaking annoying because as i said you know you'll go to seven o'clock and then it might be the same one you go to 12 o'clock it might be the same one and same one over and over and over uh, a lot of people have said that they've uh oh in fact we'll just get rid of this guy here we'll just we don't want to sleep on the guy you know that's a bit weird so we'll just get rid of him but uh, a lot of people have said that they got to basically the last two TV shows they needed, ended up ignoring it, came back as Sally in the next playthrough later on, and then the uh, achievement unlocked. So if you're struggling with Arthur here to get this achievement, just come back as Sally and, um, yeah, grab this one a little bit later on. So, like I said, I'm going to put the list of shows in the comments, and the times for the new shows are, as I said, 7 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and 10.30 p.m. So once you have... Uh, so it's effectively, that's what it is. So we get to 7, 7 a.m., there we go. That'll be the first one collected for 7 a.m. Um, and then we'll just go straight to... <laughs> again, what's annoying is we can't go just straight to uh, 12. We have to go to 11.05, and then we have to wait a couple of minutes in order for it to hit 12, so it does get very, very tiresome very fast. What I highly advise is um, popping on a bit of Netflix or something and having a chill out there. What I actually did, I um, during this whole thing, 
in fact, only getting 43 out of these 45 collectibles right here on TV shows, I actually managed to watch six episodes of Boy Swallows Universe on Netflix. Genuinely one of the best shows I've seen. So good, genuinely fantastic. So I highly advise watching that if you uh, if you like those kinds of shows. Boy Swallows Universe, awesome. And trust me, you're going to need something to help with the boredom of doing this over and over and over. Um, so again, you get to 12, then we need to get to 4 o'clock. So again, you go to 5 past 3 or 3-ish. And then you have to wait another couple of minutes. And it's just, yeah, the routine is just <laughs> so much fun. It wouldn't be so bad if just every time you'd done it, you would get the collectible TV show. But no, it's just random whenever it appears. So again, if you're struggling to get the last two and you've been on here for hundreds of days, just do a playthrough with Sally and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll get that one then. Um, could also be worth um, writing down the TV shows in order and then ticking them off as you go along if you want to do that. Um, but it's probably worth just um, going through here first and then having a look in the theater section of the extras menu. And then just ticking them off with the list that I put in the comments, just placing them to that. So again, I don't actually get the achievement here because I'm gonna come back through with Sally and hopefully grab the last two that I need a little bit later on. But that is how you do the, you do know Jack achievement if you are needing that. Today's edition of Well, 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 the show where we talk about. <coughs> Welcome to today's well, edition you've of. You've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? Late, isn't it? And when he woke up, he realized it had all just been a bad dream. Good luck with your waiting, mate. No, in fact, uh, we are just going to carry on there. There's no point you watching two hours of me doing that. So you know what to do. So we can now just crack on with the main stuff. What exactly are you doing? Yes, you there. This is Uncle Jack. Ah, 
And yes, for the next uh, couple of quests that we're going to do, we're probably going to be picking up and dropping a lot of items. Anyway, you can either walk out the front door or we can drop down, but obviously whichever house that you're in. And we are actually just going to be going for the uh, main mission now for finding Faraday. So wherever you are, uh, providing that it is daytime, of course, so you're not going to be all left out in the cold. Um, we will be going for the Finding Faraday. And eventually we are going to be going to a shop in just a bit as well and selling a whole bunch of stuff so we can get some more money and finally get rid of a lot of items. So what we are actually going to do, just before we uh, carry on with the main quest, Finding Faraday, which should be on your screen right now, we're actually going to head back to the hatch, which by the way, if you want to, if you go onto the map and you find the hatch, the arrow next to it, you can actually fast travel straight there, so it saves you having to run about, but we are heading back towards the hatch because we do actually need, uh, for the next side quest that we're going to do, uh, we need one non-blooming non-such you know those night flowers the night flowers uh, so we are just gonna go ahead grab one of them you know get yourself nice and fresh and topped up and everything So once you're all good, you're ready to go. We are now going to actually find, we're going to go to the map and we're going to find a, um, uh, have, if you have a look on all the eye icons, we need to find a place called Dogberry Park, which sounds very doglicious. Eh, get it? Nah, me neither. Anyway, whatever it is for you on the map, put a custom waypoint on it and follow that tracker. Get yourself to that park. We're going to help someone with his love life. Oh, and actually, the reason we've been getting so much scotch is to bribe police officers with. So as long as there's only one police officer about, he'll grab it off you. You can press the Y button to bribe him. He'll take it off you. And then as long as you've got uh, some of these electrical shock trap things, you press and hold the X button and you're free to go. But bear in mind, if there is another police officer, uh, he will obviously catch you in the act, and you'll have to run away. Also, if you don't have any of those electric shock uh, thingamajigas, you can actually just run straight through the lasers, but obviously people will be after you, so you'll just have to go and hide for a minute. So that's that little tutorial on that one done. But obviously, if you can bribe a police officer, it'll be a lot easier. Joy comes from scotch, and scotch only. Okay, so once you've made your way to the park, let us open up the uh, Adams Family looking gates. First of all, we're going to take a left and you can see the obvious looking mask right there called Rain. Pick it up and make it rain, baby. But not in the sense of this one. This is a depressing make it rain. I want to see more rain in my face. Uh, whatever. Anyway, that's the next mask done. So now we can actually go ahead and we're just going to put the Lovebirds quest on. And there it is. So it's not too bad. Obviously, it's, it's a lot of cutscenes. As I said, we're obviously going to be cutting, uh, skipping the cutscenes. So hiding these flowers behind this couple here. Um, again, obviously, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, oh, and she disappeared. Cool. So after you've skipped the cutscene or watched it, uh, go ahead and speak to the guy. Uh, important equals alcoholism. Uh, but if you just go ahead and speak to him again, you will be able to give him the non-such flower, which uh, he apparently, she apparently loves, which is awesome. 
But we're not quite done yet. So again, we're going to need to go into sneak mode and hide behind in the flowers again. This time, Arthur Boy's going to tell him what to say. It's effectively just going around the benches and effectively just skipping the cutscenes. And that's all we got to do. But, darling, I could never forget you. But, Beatrice, oh, I could never forget you. Look, you never know when you'll see someone for the last time. And there we go. It is as easy as that. Mate, we just helped you out. Look, she's sitting down. Good, get, get, she, she's right there. You just told her you loved her and now you're leaving her. She, nah, anyway, you two can sort that out. So what we're going to do then is if we have a look at this statue, you can see the lovebirds dig spot. And what the hell's going on there? Oh, she's just lying down in his lap. Sorry, thought that was something totally different. Uh, like Drake's meat. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the dig spot's discovered. If you just turn directly around 360, you can see the dig spot there. So give that a little chunky chunky. Uh, dig it up a couple of times and search the chest. So hopefully you got a nice couple of goodies there, mate. Right, the next side quest we're going to look for is called Tits Up Downer, which is hilarious to me. Uh, again, it's obviously going to be somewhere on the map for you, so have a look for Tits Up Downer, and then we are going to run towards that one. Um, now, again, it, it could be a case where one or two of these side quests might not appear for you, and if that's the case, don't even worry about it. It's basically just for a little bit of XP... Um, just for more skill points, which you can obviously get a little bit later on anyway. So, you know, I'll obviously only mention if there's something that's related to a specific achievement or something. But so don't worry if one or two is missing. It's literally, you know, you should be absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, we'll just crack on and get some titty up downer downer. So the reason we're just doing these two quests, by the way, uh, is just for the quick bit of XP, that's all. Now, what you need to do here is bribe the three police officers. Now, I actually get caught stealing a empty pill bottle. That's why everyone starts getting pissed off with me. Uh, so all we got to do then is bribe all three guards and then interact with the suitcase only. So interact with the suitcase only, and that should finish the quest. But because I accidentally grabbed the empty pill bottle here, everyone's all like, oh my god, you son of a bitch. And then obviously everyone, all the cops sober up, and then everyone's chasing us. So, uh, ah, my head. God damn, douchebag, that hurt. So we've done the quest, but obviously now we have to run and hide. So, um, yeah. Just make sure you don't pick up anything else. Uh, but just run run into a bin, find somewhere to hide for now. Forever. At least until I starve to death. Now, you're going to see a bit of an edit here. So basically, there was one person that was still very angry with me. So I had to run away even further and hide. And that was all good. Um, but anyway, again, wherever you are, next up, we are going to the... Uh, it's called Odds and Ends Shop, or whatever it's called. Uh, basically, there's two pound sign 
uh, two pound signs on the map. One is the Shady Dealer, which we won't go to yet, but this one here is the Odds and End Shop. So what we're going to do first is actually speak to Mr. Caster Sugarman. And he's basically going to, again, we're just going to skip the cutscene here, but he's basically going to give us a side quest, which is important for an achievement uh, tied to another side quest later on. And then we're going to press the Y button to barter. So now we're going to start getting rid of some stuff. So, you know, things like cricket bats, um, whatever, literally whatever items that it is that you've got and you don't think you need, um, you should be good. You know, things like, you know, food. Have we eaten any food yet? Possibly not. Um, I do have over 100 glass bottles there as well. So whatever you can get rid of to save on your infantry and uh, to get a little bit of money, you do that, man. But I am one of those that, if I could, I would just hoard everything, which probably doesn't bode well for me in real life. Um, not that I'm a hoarder, but in video games, I do like to try and keep as much as I can, even though we probably don't even need it. So, uh, next up then, what we are going to do is we are going to find, finally do the main quest called Finding Faraday. So, again, it's... Now, I, I'd actually come to this place first a little bit earlier on, um, so you won't actually see, if you haven't been here yet, you'll obviously see the Wellington Wellington Constabulary uh, appear for you. But obviously, I, I came here a little bit earlier on, which I edited out. Uh, I didn't do anything. It was literally just a case of me running about, that's all. Uh, so anyway, head to the Finding Faraday quest marker. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Do you want to try it? I can't keep doing this. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Right, so here we are then. Wellington, Welly, Welly, Wellington, Beef Wellington Police Station. So, nip in after you've uh, got rid, uh, looted the two bins. Uh, again, we'll just go ahead and skip the cutscene. And then we're going to take a right. So there we go, take a right. And when we get down here, we're just going to do some looting of the lockers before we uh, proceed. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival, when a You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm 13. They 
tight my breath over on the card. So, why are you here? Dude, why isn't that policeman retired yet? He was from many a year ago. Anyway, uh, it's creepy uh, Slipknot, Slipknot masks uh, with all these cops going on. So we're going to speak to Hello? this guy on the room on the right. Oh, a chap. Um, but he doesn't actually want to give us the address, so we're going to turn around. We're going to go into the room in front of us just to do a little bit of looting first. So again, there's a wardrobe, there's a bin to your right, uh, there's a... Uh, key card, which I don't actually think we need, um, but pick up uh, everything that you find. And once you are fully satisfied, we'll head down the hallway, and we're going to take the next room on the left. Here it is. Uh, now, I don't know if anyone can actually catch you, but it's worth just closing the door anyway, because we're going to do some dodgy dealing stuffs. Uh, why anyone's let some random guy just walk freely in a police station? I don't know, maybe that's the future, or the past, or whatever we are now. Uh, so search everything, and then we're going to open up this uh, vent, and we're going to crawl in. So basically, we need to find the uh, Dr. Faraday's address ourselves. But there is one police guard that will be roaming about. So once we open this here, now we, he basically does one, effectively one big circle. So you're going to have to stay sneaky, and that guard there will always uh, be front-facing, so nay panic. Just watch out for the footprints, of course. For me, they should be on the other side, eventually. Yep, there he is, look. So, again, just wait, and then obviously we need to go into the sort of second area, which I think was like um, E to J or something. So what we got to do then is just go through each filing cabinet, basically until we have found his address, and obviously we will know that because the quest will update for us. So... Now, the guard's going to start walking to the right, so just be careful there. And then just smash through every filing cabinet now on the right. Oh, and then get yourself back through the vent. Easy cheesy. He certainly does have this place organised. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Aren't they renovating it? Now just act as nonchalant as possible. I've done nothing in this room, this room that seems abandoned and no one's using it for some reason. Uh, but anyway, that's that for us. We can now head back to the elevator and head back to the outside. By the way, when people say act nonchalant, why do then people start acting more dodgier than usual? Nonchalant means just... Just, you know, just act natural. And then everyone starts looking up at the sky or looking at the invisible watch on their wrist that they don't have for some reason. It's always funny to me. Right, so anyway, next up then, what we're going to do now is find this um, uh, side quest. Lilies of the plant, or lilies of the whatever the hell it just said. So we are actually going to be heading for that one. Joy detector. I better take my joy. Would you like this? Oh, 
I'm getting old. You will take your joy Oh, it seems like such a short walk on the map, but Jesus Christ, my legs are tired. Right, so we are here. Um, it's basically a little garden. As soon as you see this little garden here, we are just going to... We're going to start this one. <laughs> Mrs. Sackville. <laughs> uh, but we are going to start the side quest. We're not going to finish it until a little bit later, because we basically have to go back to the garden district. Um, and we're just going to steal all her tea and uh, her tea leaves as well. Sorry, bro. And as a British person, if somebody steals your cup of tea... We're going to be downright pissed off, we are. Uh, right, anyway, so once we have started that one, again, we won't be doing that till a little bit later on. So the next thing we are going to find then is the English Vice, which should already be on your waypoint. Oh, in fact, no, we're just travelling, sorry, before that, before that, we're heading back to the hatch. And it's primarily just to stuff some stash in the stuff in the uh, pneumatic storage. Now, obviously, what we can do, um, if you're needing a bit more money or whatever, we can obviously take a lot of what we need, or we can obviously take a lot of crafting components. Uh, remember, if we go to our inventory, just press the X button to place all crafting components. But again, obviously, if you need more money, you'll probably have a lot of stuff that we can sell. All right, pig, that'll do, that'll do. Right, now we're going to sleep till around 9 o'clock. We are going to sleep till about 9 o'clock. Now, of course, we do need to remember that... Um, it, is a, it is still a curfew, of course. Now, there is actually a skill point, which we need, I think, uh, about 17 skill points. It, it costs about 10 skill points. Uh, but basically, there is uh, one called... I can't remember what it is. And that's not what it's called. I actually can't remember what it is called. Um, <laughs> but we need uh, 10 skill points to basically... Uh, we won't be caught uh, after curfew. The police won't care about this. But we need a couple more skill points to do that. So for now, we're just going to head to the English Vice. So what's going to happen is... We're going to have to run and hide and run and hide and hide and run. And then run and hide until we get there. Right, that We'll laugh about this later. Shit. Sorry, just always like to have a little look at the statistics just to make sure that we haven't yet killed anyone. Remember, we're going for a no-kill playthrough. Now, the reason I hid in here, because I thought these two police officers would go to the right, and they continue going the way that we need to go. So, that was pretty damn pointless. yourself, Arthur. Odd. Why are there papers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. Safe. Good night. Club. 
This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lutz Hall. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. I see you. You're coming with me. That's it. Keep running. Oh my god, thank god. That was a hell of a chase. But obviously the reason that we have come out at night is because we need to go to the Reform Club, which is basically, it's a brothel with gimp suits, which uh, I know a lot of us are thinking, uh, as long as Drake's not there with his big swinging meat, we should be good to go. Um, <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, so we basically have to go to this club. It's obviously open at night because all of the pervs come out at night. So if you're a night owl, you're probably a perv. It's just, it's just, I didn't make the rules. I merely just made them up and wrote them down. Okay, so once you are, you might obviously not be, you might be all good. You might have already gone to the reform club. But if you were like me and had to do a bit of running, gunning and hiding without the gunning, just wait until there are no police about and then just make a break for the reform club. Now, I probably could have gone in there, but uh, there was one policeman who came out. So nip in, have a look at the bench, and you will find an invitation. That's what we want. So grab that and turn around. Hold it up to the scanner, and we will be let in. Now, if you do need to come back here after you've completed this mission, you can still do that. Just turn up in your gimp suit, and um, yeah, you should be good to go. You can just be let in. I did have to actually have to come back because I forgot to pick up that mask that you just seen. So, what we'll do then, um, we're just gonna lock, we're just gonna close the door while we do a little bit of looting in this room. And then we're gonna go ahead and obviously pick the lock. We're gonna go through, but we're gonna leave this, there's basically a, a, a person sitting here. Uh, it could be a lady or a man for you, whichever one it is. So just ignore them. Don't worry about them. We'll just go to the left and go into the vent. Now, what's going to happen here? So this is bathroom, bath overflowing, unlucky mucker. Again, we're just going to rob everything that we can in this room and the next room. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing Oh yeah, definitely make sure to grab the electric truncheon. So that's basically like a non-lethal way of uh, getting rid of some enemies, which we are going to need in just a bit. So I, trust me, it comes in very handy. So make sure you've picked up that electric truncheon and make sure that it is actually is equipped and in your inventory. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and make a save here. So what we need to do, there's a police officer that is looking directly at this woman who we need to choke out. So what we need to do is basically choke her out and then quickly run back into the bathroom and get into the vent. So as soon as you do that, turn around, run, go back into the vent until Mr. Angry Man, well, chills his tits, basically. <laughs> yeah, I was just teasing him, singing off key. Me, ma, 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 ma. Right, so what we're gonna do? Make sure to grab the mask. I actually forget to pick it up here, so I'm, I'm reminding you a couple of times. Pick up the mask, which is above this lady whose neck looks a bit brokey. Um, so we can interact with the safe as well. Grab a couple of things from there. Um, there is also a chest, I think. Nope, that's it. Remember to grab the mask as well. I think it's called caning. So make sure to grab that caning mask. Again, I've said that a couple of times. Make sure to grab that caning mask. Again, so what I had to do, I actually forgot it in this playthrough. And then I uh, obviously came back. So make sure you put on your gimp suit as well. The rubber cat suit. Sorry, that's what it is. Not a gimp suit. It's a rubber cat suit. And once we come up here, we are going to sneak just behind this bar. Because we don't want uh, anyone to see us stealing some scotch. And a whole bunch of coins. Ah, 
And once you've robbed everything from behind the bar, or looted, sorry, we can just... Uh, don't worry about... Uh, we're in a rubber cat suit, so no one's going to say anything, but we're going to head back to the other side of the room and apparently fall straight through the hole. Okay, get back in the hole. Now, what we're going to do then is... We Now, there is a person that will be roaming this area, so obviously you need to be careful. For me, luckily, this lady was completely stuck on a stairs. She doesn't know how to get down. So grab the scotch, grab the ID as well, uh, and uh, uh, just enjoy the noises. I haven't got an idea what's going on, but I am curious. I would like to see. Uh, so you can choke her out if you want. In fact, it's probably worth choking her out, actually, right there. Only because, what we're going to do, we're knocking on this old little lady's door. She is... Damn, I wouldn't want to see what she wants to do for me. And then what we're going to do is, two or three sixty, go through this door. Now, re remember, now we need to get our electric truncheon ready. Obviously, we're not going to want to kill these people. So if we get our electric truncheon ready and on the go, it's obviously only going to in uh, incapacitate them slightly. Now... You may get lucky, and you may... Again, it's the right trigger, so don't press the white button to zap. You've got to hit these people. So what we need to do, if you get lucky, like I said, you can just get away with uh, hitting all four of these. Or if you're very unlucky like me, the whole bloody place knows, and there's like a whole crapping bunch of them that comes up, including big angry policemen from downstairs. So hopefully you get a bit luckier with me. Oh, and little old lady comes out as well, so... Just smash them all down, son. Smash them down. You can't hide forever. You had all the nonsense to And of course, always remember to heal, because, uh, you know, in combat, if you were in a fight like this in real life, you could always just say, oh, 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 excuse me, can I just heal up? I just need some healing balm for a sec, and they'll go, yeah, sure, go for it. And then, there we go. Sorry, dear. Sorry, you horny old witch. Hmm, but I am intrigued. Right, so, now I think that's everyone done. We're going to interact with the couch there. That will actually grab... Now, what we were supposed to do is actually grab the key and then give the key to little old madam. But we needed to knock her out anyway, so it doesn't matter where you knock her out. Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we just needed access to her room, so apparently search everyone that you possibly can. There are two chests in here as well, so make sure to loot those. <laughs> <laughs> night fever, night fever. What a way to get unconscious. Bam. Oh, and uh, we got Peter Griffin old lady looking thing there as well. Nice. But that police officer, that is a groovy way to get knocked out, son. You're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. So hilariously then, I went from 31 takedowns to 43, so that was decent. Make sure to grab this next electric truncheon as well. Obviously, just have a look. Always just double check uh, just to see that you haven't accidentally killed someone. And obviously, save manually often, as we all know. So what we're going to do, we're going to come around to the desk here. Uh, we're going to have a little look in, but all this work is basically for crap all. I think I get duct tape and a bit of scotch. 
I mean, the scotch is always a winner. Now, obviously, if you were on a killing playthrough, what you could do is press that button, and we could use that trap machine, and we could grab that big, massive wand, which that little old lady seemed to enjoy a lot. Okay. Uh, so grab everything that you can, a couple of tranquilizer darts, and make sure to grab this blueprint as well for the electric truncheon. And that should be all she wrote in this area. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to head downstairs, just making sure that I've looted everyone and everything that I possibly can. There we go. So we're just going to head back downstairs. Don't worry about, well, for you, there might be a policeman there, so don't worry about him. And then we can just head outside. Lovely. <laughs> well, knowing the fact with what the hell did we just see? And why did I beat so many people up? I just don't know. So, uh, right. Hopefully you have... What we need to do is go down to Night Stalker right there. So hopefully you've got at least 18 points available. Um, so you can buy Night Stalker and the next one, nothing to see here. Which basically means you can be out after dark and nobody will care. Um, but obviously I didn't have enough points, so we'll have to just grab that one later. If you sit on a bench, now for some reason... It, it, I don't know if it's random, but there's only maybe some benches that you can actually sit on and actually wait until the morning time. Um, so I didn't know if it was something to do with what I was wearing, but oh, let's go and grab a non-such as well. <clears throat> but yeah, so we basically now just have to wait, uh, wait on a bench somewhere until the morning, or if failing that, just head back to the hatch, or fast travel your way back to the hatch and wait till morning again. Interesting things you smell when you barely see. Yeah, that's exactly what I done. Go to sleep. Go to sleep in my bed, Sam man. Oh, now I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, but one thing about the mask collectibles: once you've collected a collectible, that stays collected. So even if you reload an earlier save or anything like that. It's always going to stay collected, so as long as you've got it, then you should be good to go. So technically, it makes it sort of unmissable, but obviously, we need to know where they are anyway. So, uh, yeah, so just keep that one in mind. If you think you've missed one, that's fine, because we can still go back and get it. So, here we are then, day 92. Just going to wait till 7 a.m., so I don't get my ass handed to me, or I don't have to hide in stinky bins again. Job done. Right, once we've done that then, we are now going to head towards the Odds and Ends shop once again. The reserve of a cast and only slightly red, with occasional patches of lovely sunshine. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Afternoon. Watch your fancy. So what we're going to do, obviously we're going to, uh, if we've picked up some stuff, we're going to sell some more stuff. Plus we are going to, uh, no, we're not going to, oh, in fact, I think we are going to buy a couple of stuff. So sell whatever you can and whatever you want first. I hope you'll consider us for your future perk.
Now, sorry, I am just looking. There's basically a weapon that we want to eventually do. The Mother's Little Helper one here. You might have got a rolling pin from the uh, Reform Club. If you did, uh, you can go ahead and craft the Mother's Little Helper. That's basically another weapon with uh, uh, which doesn't kill anyone. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to grab that one. And then we're going to go to the Churches of St. Sam's. Wherever that is on the map for you, that's where we're heading next. The Churches of St. Yeah. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Oh man, I told you, didn't I? This uh, last hour has had a lot of running. So, this is the church, and then what we're going to see is this, yeah, this laser thing. So, we can just actually just run straight behind it. If you start walking towards the metal door, it will actually open back up. Kind of tricking the system. Interact with the um, sign, and then knock on the door when Arthur stops yammering to himself. The winner gets a medal. And I'm not less suspicious looks, I bet. You can trust a man who wins at Simon's test, can't you? That'll never work, Arthur. You'd be up against people who devote their lives to Simon's says. You have to see who wins and then take the medal from them. Well, that's a plan, I suppose. Are you here for the Simon Says? I'm sorry, dear, we're full up. So before cracking on with finding Mr. Lightbearer, what we're going to do, Mr. Lightbeer, uh, we're going to go to the map and we're going to find a particular dig spot. It's actually called um, this one here. What we have, what we have owned. So that is the dig spot. Again, could, uh, obviously, as we know by now, it's on a random spot for you. So find that dig spot and we are actually going to head for that one first. And now. So, when we get to the park, you can't actually just run and jump straight in it because they are being patrolled. It's trespassing. They're being controlled, uh, patrolled by drones. So, what we need to do then, we're going to find a specific spot. This spot here. You can see the dig spot right in the middle of the yellow flowers. So, we can seal ourselves lovely. So what we're going to need to do is, if we go to the left here, we're going to jump up on one of these bushes and then immediately crouch down. So immediately crouch down in the flowers. You will get spotted, but not enough to get mashed up. And then what you need to do is dig, crouch straight away. You'll automatically crouch, so don't worry. Just wait until the sign there goes and then dig again. Wait again. And then once the... Once the arrows have gone, there we go. We're going to dig it up again. Now, hopefully you get lucky like I did, and you don't have to lockpick it. Because uh, I think if you do end up having to lockpick it, you... Oh, where, what have we buried? Sorry, not of, what have we owned. Um, but I think you might get caught if you have to lockpick it, and you have to go and run and hide, and then come back. So hopefully you can just grab that, a uh, whole bunch of stuff, plus a couple more XP. Okay, right, next up then, we are going to go to the Shady Dealer. So go ahead, find the Shady Dealer on your map, and head towards him. Luckily for me, he's not that far away, and you can't beat a good Shady Dealer. Slim Shady. I, <laughs> I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Okay, that first area wasn't it. But here we are. This is him. Now, again, he is going to have random items. But one thing that we will hope he has is a boiler suit. Now, for me, He's got five, so we're good. So we're going to grab one boiler suit. Hopefully you got the same as well. I'll tell you why we're going to grab one in just a minute. Plus, we are going to grab as many short spikes as he's got and the electro lock shockers. So as many lock shockers, short spikes as he's got and one boiler suit. 
And then, of course, if you want to sell some stuff, that's also good to go as well. So sell what you want. Um, as for the boiler suit, basically, to get into Lightbeer's house, it's not just a case of knocking the door and letting yourself in. We're going to have to do some platforming and sneaking around in the garden, which is patrolled by cops and drones. But if you're wearing the boiler suit, they don't actually care about you. They just think you're working. So, works out well for us. So, hopefully, you've got a boiler suit. If not... That's obviously also fine, you just have to be a little bit more careful while sneaking around, that's all. This will be very helpful. Right, so once we've done that, make sure to put your boiler suit on. So now everyone's just like, oh, that worker who uh, was in a rubber cat suit and then a proper suit is now hmm, interesting. So what we, what we will do then is now head for the waypoint. Ah, oh, bloody hell, mate. Now, <laughs> as you will have noticed, sometimes, even though you uh, put a, a certain quest on, it actually sometimes goes back to the main quest, which is just annoying. Luckily, again, for me, we... Uh, <laughs> it's not too far from us at all, but this is the house we're looking at. So, again, there's going to be police and drones guarding. If you've got the boiler suit, you should be fine to go, but just uh, follow the same path as me. And you'll be good to go. Um, hopefully we can wait because we actually have to come here um, around midnight-ish. So about between 11 and 12. So hopefully you can wait just on this bench here. Uh, no, it actually comes in the day as well, arty boy. Right, so once you're up, let's just go again. There's obviously yellow flowers to conceal you. Then we'll take a right. And then take the next right again until you see this sort of scaffolding section. Uh, there is a blueprint on the workbench, so make sure to pick that up. And there's a couple of goodies just here as well. Well, a dirty bandage and some metal bits. Not not the best goodies, but they're goodies nonetheless. So, again, we are going to have to do some platforming. Up here. Um, some, dra uh, some drones may see you, so obviously just be, uh, just be careful. But what we're going to do then is we're going to pry open this window. Now, the reason... The, the main reason that I thought we could come here at night is because uh, everyone would be in bed and we could just easily take them out. As it turns out, that's not the case. So this guy was here for me. Luckily, he ran downstairs. But there is another woman that will start walking up from downstairs. And obviously, if you crouch, there she is, look. So somehow, somehow she missed me breaking in. But she's too quick. Do not go through the uh, dete downer detection point because you will get zapped, zapped. Um, so we'll just head into the right here for a minute. We're just going to... You can hide behind the shower curtain if needed. Um, but they're going to do a little bit of walking. The man and the woman. She's going to start coming back down. There she is. So as soon as she nips off to the right, just take her out. The is rolling in and oh dear, time to go. About. <gasps> this won't take a minute. And obviously, because I've uh, choked her out right in the middle where everyone walks, we'll just go ahead and chuck her sort of in the bathroom right here. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, don't, don't be, uh, don't be uh, popping your legs open for me, Lev. I, no, no, you're making me sick. Anyway, grab whatever it is that you've got on her. And then, again, it, it, they should all be sleeping in their comfy, comfy beds. And they're just not doing that. So, obviously, this has been made a little bit trickier. Slightly. Only slightly. Uh, but what we're going to do now, we are actually going to... I'm just having a look to see where Broski is right there. Um, there is a uh, dude standing here in the bedroom. So, we're going to take him down as well. Rip Von Bubble Tits. 
Oh, pfft. Sorry, mate. Just, oh, he's having a seizure. Oh, crap. Well, just don't die on me, okay, sir? Thank you very much. So, again, have a little loot around, as always. Oh, um, was that big brosy coming up there? I think it was. I think it was. Ah, no, he's nipping off back downstairs. Right, so, big broski is nipping back downstairs, so we're actually all good. Um... So once you have looted everything, what we will do now is actually head upstairs. And of course, what makes this even funnier is they've put the downer detection point there and then realized that uh, they thought nobody could actually climb over these banisters, which we're going to do. Um, there is a TV, of course, but, you know, we're not going to bother with that one. We're going to interact with the trap panel, pop our electro shocker in it. That will destroy the downer joy system. And then from here... What we can do, there is another person in this room to the right, so just be careful. She, uh, oh no, in fact, I thought there was someone. I thought there was someone, but as it turns out, there's not. Or there might be a few. I don't know. Either way, loot, loot, loot. Again. Sang out the wolf. It's Little Red Riding Hood, said Little Red Riding Hood. Come and see in here, sang out the wolf. I mean, uh, uh, come in. Uh, mother, I've... Come to bring you a pint of milk, sir. Wow, good way to waste a lockpick, douchebag. And I mon joy because I actually forgot. Uh, I just accidentally drank water. So, uh, yep, the the open room that we were just in. Um, uh, yeah, I just wasted a lockpick. Anyway, that's all good. But once you have looted everything from here, um, we don't need to go downstairs again. But in this room, we're going to find the window just after we loot as much as we can again. And we're actually going to head through the window that is in this room. Who said, oh, do cats ever tell the truth? So sure the cat, and you won't bother you anymore. Okay, so a bit of platforming we're going to have to do. So we'll duck here. Now you need to run and jump over. So if you can, just sprint yourself over. You know, line yourself up nicely and then sprint and jump over. So we're going to have to do this for a little bit. If you fall down, you basically just have to go back through the house and come back up again, like I actually did once, and almost did again. Um, otherwise, just continue on your way, again, just running and jumping. Once you got here, we're going to take a right, just over this uh, little tiny bridge, or whatever it is. Um, we're going to actually drop down, not all the way to the floor, but just to the next platform here. And something tells me we could have just... Um, uh, climbed our way up if we really wanted to but grab the toolbox there's another couple of goodies right here as well before we jump up again Ooh. and together we made it we made it even though we probably should have broke our legs <laughs> right so we will open up the window nobody should be in here so you don't have to worry about sneaking about for the moment. Uh, but you can't, again, you can't go through the detection, down a detection point, but you can hold the Y button to hack. Now, if you want to, you can actually leave that room. Um, if you haven't got a hacker or you can't hack through it, just go ahead, take a joy pill. We should have plenty of them. Go through the downer detection point and you can actually get your key card off Nick Lightbeer and then come back into this room later. Um, but obviously if we can hack it, we've hacked it. So, again, grab everything that we can in this room. We will be sort of back and forth. Just take my joy and have done. Also, make sure to grab the... Excellent anchorman looking wig and hit and then we can we're gonna come back for all this stuff a little bit later on So I think I do yes, I do have a rolling pin So if you manage to get a rolling pin uh, Craft the mother's little helper. It is always worth crafting some stuff as well pretty much in order just to get rid of uh, Some of your items if you're struggling with <laughs> carrying a load of items fallout there Right, so once we've grabbed everything in that room, then we, again, we do have to take a joy pill. So find that in your drug section. Uh, 
And once you are all la 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 up, nip it through. And again, we are going to uh, sneak for the moment. There's nobody downstairs uh, where we are, but she can still hear you and will be suspicious. She's in the next room. So what we're going to do is go towards this electrified doorknob. We should have picked up one of those electric shock locker docker things from the shady dealer. Open up the trap panel and get rid of that. And the reason we're getting rid of that is it would it it's effectively now just opened up the shuttered doors for us if we head out and to the right. Plus, it's also disabled an alarm, which is just at the top there. So the woman in the room here, then we're gonna open and lock pick it. Just wait until she stops uh in a position where you're able to go ahead and take it down. What's that smell? Like Sorry, mate, that's me. Cat. So, once she's all good and she's looking at the wall for some reason, take it down. Take it down to Soap's level. Soap! And, of course, we're obviously going to grab her as well. She's got a rolling pin on her. So, um, yep, yeah, tidy. Happy with that one. Uh, grab an empty syringe as well. Again, a little bit of loot in the loot. And also, make sure to grab this combo to Nick's safe as well. So, you'll need that in order to, well, get in his safe, which, remember, was just upstairs. So, upstairs. Yeah, I was having annoying problems with just over number numbering. Um, but yeah, that's it for this room then. So what we're going to do is go forward, take a left down the stairs. So not this way, but left down the stairs. And a cutscene will appear with Mr. Lightbeer. Mr. Lightbearer? Duck! Sorry. The very large bat! Don't worry, he's not going to attack us or anything like that. Uh, so, again, if you want to, if you think you've got enough room or whatever, uh, loot this room uh, in the kitchen as well. You can loot what you want if you can. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Yes, I know it might be worth be tempting to keep, but if anything is quite heavy, like that rolling pin there, just knock it down. So nip into the bathroom, and then you're going to see what's going to happen to Mr. Lightbeer. Once we skip the cutscene... Oh, no, he electrocuted himself in the bath. Unlucky Maka. I wouldn't do that, personally. Uh, just, just, again, it says deceased, but just make sure there that you've got the total kills still as zero. Um, so the main important ones here is obviously the small table if you want it, but the room key card and the glass case key, which is what we needed. Plus there's a rubber duck there as well if you want it, because that's key. So, uh, right, yeah, what we're going to do then, we're going to head all the way back upstairs and go into that first room that we came across. First of all, of course, we are going to go ahead, unlock the case, and get his little uh, My Chemical Romance jacket right there. Plus, remember to have a look in the safe to the bottom left, just by the mirror. There it is, so you get some goodies. And again, obviously, what you're going to need to do is um, uh, just, yep, sort it out, because I'm going heavy again. Oh, no, I'm not actually this point. Thank God for that. Right, so we can head downstairs, and we have now effectively finished this area. 
So unless you want to do a little bit more looting or anything, there's nothing else left to do. So head out of the door through the um, through the kitchen. Again, remember we've got a boiler suit on there. If you don't, remember just to avoid the police as best you can. Otherwise, you run and hide. And then ah, let us continue forwards. But what we're actually going to do now is get a skill going. Um, so the ones that we are now going to go for, it should be, you should have enough for nothing to see here. Again, that basically, um, gets us off scot-free in the night. Nobody's gonna, no cops gonna chase us or anything, so quite important to get that, so just, just so you're not being chased. And then what we are going to do is look for, in fact, we are going to head back to the track access hatch. Again, obviously, as you know by now, there's going to be a whole bunch of dig spots. So if a dig spot is on your way to any sort of side quest or main quest or anything like that, then it's worth getting it out. You might get something grande. You might get something uh, crappy. Uh, a lot of the time it is something crappy, but it's all good. And while you're here, you might as well get rid of your stashy stash. And just, again, just get rid of whatever you want. A uh, little bit of an uh, that wasn't an edit. I don't know what happened there. Uh, anyway, turn around, head out, and like I said, I've got a dig spot literally right in front of us now. There it is. So it should be there for me. So again, I don't, I'm not going to go out of my way to get dig spots, but if it's close by and it's near enough, then it's all good. We will crack on. So a couple of things there. Nice cricket back. It's a vomit bomb. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're actually going to start the Secrets Corner side quest, wherever that may be. But we actually have to wait until at least 7am. So, again, wherever you are, find a bench or just go to sleep in your track access hatch. Get a little honky-donky uh, waiting time going. And, ta-da! Just like that, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't imagine reading the paper from like 2 in the morning till 7 I can't imagine being awake at that time. Anyway, uh, once it is in the morning, oh, always make sure as well to um, pop your... Uh, what are we wearing? Uh, pop your proper suit back on, of course, yeah. So do always forget to do that. So pop your proper suit back on. That's where uh, he would be, but we just need to hide out for a second. Once they're gone, head into the garden and the side quest will start. They gone? Perfect. Goddamn good. Right, so there we go. So now Big William, big old Willy boy should be there. You're obviously a man of great. Uh yes, I am. Now what we have to do is basically just put three flares out. A lot of these side quests are very easy and they're always worth doing just so you can get your skill points up in the daisies. So look at the map and you'll be able to see the main story. Uh obviously we need to put it in the quest, but you'll then be able to see the story. Uh, waypoints. Again, it's obviously going to be random for you. Uh, so what I ended up doing, if two are quite close together, like mine are, basically at the top there, rather than hiding, because like I said, as soon as you put one, um, as you'll see, as soon as you put one on, uh, everyone will start getting right pissed at you and try to fight you and stuff. So with this first one, I'm going to hide so I don't get my ass kicked. And then the last two, I'm just going to go bam, bam, from the second straight to the third and then hide. Anyway, whatever you are, go and pop this one on the first notice board. I don't think he's terribly popular. I better be discreet about posting these. So then, this is the first community board. As soon as they do that, as soon as you do that, people ain't gonna like it, so pointless uh, fighting your way out. Just go ahead and find an alleyway, chuck yourself into a bin, and somehow the tall Arthur doesn't get spotted, uh, yeah. Diving into a bin and staying there. Shit! Look at them! They've got blood on Why don't you cheer up? <sighs> bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Thank you. 
Bloody hell! Imagine being so angry at someone for just putting up a flyer of somebody unpopular. That's like me if I put up a Boris Johnson poster on how great he is. Oh, let's not bring politics into this now. <laughs> Tory scumbags. Uh, right, so here is the next community board anyway. And like I said, if the second and third one are quite close together, it's pretty much, it's pretty much worth just running straight to the next one, popping... Popping your uh, the next flyer down and then go into sprint, run and hide somewhere. So let's do that. Get out of my way! I can't keep doing this. Cheer up now. <laughs> Their hands are all bloody. Look, they've got blood. There they are. Stop them. <laughs> well, I'm glad all the knocks are done. That's the one who did it. <laughs> we'll laugh about this later. <laughs> Save a bit for the next down. minute. The killer's oh, really right there. Oh, there he is. Down. Yes, take your choice. The killer's right We won't have any more violence in our bulletin boards. Hopefully not a violent one. You have to wait for the best. He's pacified while he gives his speech. He's going to get himself hurt. Lovely day, Barrett. Lovely day, Barrett. to get excited after all. I don't see what's all the fun about. He's covered in blood. Why? There he is. Get him, lads. That's them. There's the murderer. Right there. The killer's right there. Okay, so uh, the, the, it was pretty far away, but still, it's all good. And, uh, yeah, everyone's... Come on, Dal. If you can't see my face in you, and in fact, one copper actually just looks at me now, and he still misses me. And what are you going to do, sunglasses face? Yeah. He just looked at me. I actually did uh, poop him a little bit. I thought he was going to expose me for the rubbish bin that I am. Uh, but yeah, so after that one, it's, uh, yeah, we're happily enough done. So as soon as we're all good, now we can just... It's discreetly, well, not discreetly, it doesn't even have to be discreet. By the way, I also love that the copper with uh, that we gave Scotch to earlier is still dancing around steaming. That must have been one hell of a bit of vodka, that uh, Scotch. So we can just basically now head back in order to finish the quest. Very easy. Now, also, what you're probably going to find as well is you may have some different side quests than I do. Because um, even if you do run around the map, it literally doesn't matter. Everything is just so random that, uh, yeah, you may have some different ones than I do. One is called Poppings, Poppers Popping or something like that. But I didn't get that one. So if you get that one, again, they're all very easy enough to do. So, you know, don't panic if, you, um, if you've got a different one to me. It's still very easy enough to do. Um, but, yeah, that's just it about side quests. Sometimes it'll pop up. Sometimes it won't. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, Big Willy. He has had his Big Willy chopped, and he's been sat on the floor, so thank you very much. What he's going to do, that's going to complete the quest, and we can also unlock his suitcase as well for a couple of good, good goodies. There's an axe in there as well, which is nice, but we don't particularly need an axe, so that one is definitely worth uh, selling, which we are going to do now, actually. So if, hopefully, you are quite close to a shop, whether it's the Shady Dealer or whether it's the Odds and End shop, um, it's going to take um, a minute or two here for me to slowly walk over. Um, but yeah, so it might be worth now. What well, I'm on £675 personally, so yeah, I think it's time. We'll, we'll, we'll nip to a shop again if you want, um, and we can uh, sell some stuff. Get a little closer to the thousand pounds, which would give us the achievement for getting a thousand pounds. Would be an achievement in real life for me to get a thousand pounds, actually. <laughs>
Why do you all look the same? My God, there's too many of the same, same old people in here. Lovely day for it. Morning. Okay, that'll do. That's got us a good over £200 there. Um, the rubber cat suit we got rid of, basically we can uh, just pick up another one if we need it later on. Um, but yeah, so if you've sold what you sold, we can actually just travel back now to the access hatch. Yeah, mate. Old, old George V. Yeah, George Vikram. Okay, so again, we'll just nip into our pneumatic stash, get rid of all the crafting items and pop whatever you want want in. Uh, just in order, of course, to save some weight, as it were. But what we do need is a couple of things here for the next quest, as you can see. So I've picked up a sewing kit, a sh shredded, <coughs> excuse me, a shredded raincoat, and a night blooming such, or non such, whatever it's called, the, the pink night flowers. So they are the neck, the other three items that we do need for the next side quest. It's very easy, literally all we've got to do is give it to old little Doris. Um, I don't know, whatever her name is. But yeah, so that's all you're going to need then. Remember, just pick up one sewing kit. Uh, again, I'll just show you here. So one sewing kit, one shredded raincoat, and one night blooming non such a change. And then what we're going to do is if we... Well, we'll head out now. And then we will put the side quest... 
for Dancing in the Rain or Singing in the Rain, something like that. So for me, it is at the top of this area here. There it is. Or looks like rain, sorry. That's what we're after. Yep. So uh, if you've got, like I said, grab, the, grab those three crafting components that we need and then be on your merry way. Looks like rain. Purple rain. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. You can take your joy in me. What's your pleasure then? Lovely day for it. We're expecting a new shipment any day now, so do check back in a day or two. You know what, I know we're probably getting annoyed with Arthur's sprinting and the ability that he doesn't have any sprinting, um, but to be fair, he does run quite a lot. Um, and in fact, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it knackers me out watching him, so we can't be too complaining, I suppose. Anyway, here it is, old little Doris lady dancing in what looks like acid. So we're going to go ahead and speak to her. Again, you can listen to the conversation if you want, but we're actually just going to skip the conversation and then press Y to give her the blooming nonsuch and a therapist number as well. Get out dancing of the acid, bruv. Uh, again, we're just going to, like I said, as always, we're just going to go ahead and keep skipping the cutscenes. Once we have done that, we can then give her the shredded raincoat. Hello, love. Yes, this is what every British man's like. And then they feed you. Feed you until you pop. Which, that's why we love our nans. Anyway, once you've given her the sewing kit, that will be the Looks Like Ring uh, quest complete. And because we've given her three things, she gives us three full massive plates of dinner to take home. Nans, beautiful. Only nans are awesome. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Anyway, we're going to go for the Church of Simon Says now. We're going to go ahead and finish that quest. Um, just while I get the image of only Nans out of my head. Ugh. Save a bit for the next minute. So, once we get to the church, make sure to go into your inventory and pop on the mask and the uh, Nyx Glad Rags. Otherwise, we ain't getting in. So, we're going to do the same sort of thing we did earlier. We're going to sprint straight past and then we're going to get closer to the metal door, knock on the door, and she will let us in. Now, what we do have to do is a Simon Says type game. And you're going to see it exactly right here. So, basically... We have to get people to do Simon Says stuff wrong. Uh, we're going to be in front of a control. There it is. Love me, babies. 
Uh, <laughs> yes, and we are very uh, egotistical. So, eff effectively, what we have to do then is press the big Simon Says button there on the left, and then click any one, doesn't matter which one. And then you're going to click Simon, so the first one, whichever one it is. Then you're going to click it again, and click the next one. Again, doesn't matter which whatever one it is, and we're going to do it for one more time. Simon Says, something else, and then immediately click the one below it, without pressing Simon Says. Now, if you do it that way, somebody's going to get it wrong. And they're going to get zapped. Ba -ba 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 -boom. So, effectively, we're going to be doing this until um, they all drop. And it starts going nuts. So, remember, you're going to have to click Simon Says and do whatever. Then Simon Says, do whatever move. Simon Says, do whatever move. And then quickly hit another button without pressing Simon Says. And then hopefully one of them will get it wrong. Sometimes, as you can see, it doesn't always go completely right. But again, that's all you're doing. So... One last time for Charlemagne. No, uh, just one last time. So Simon says three times, and then the fourth one you're doing it without pressing Simon says. You get it? Awesome. Goddamn good. Now go get it. Run it, guys! <laughs> Stop it, work, customer! <laughs> All right. That's a bit too easy, isn't it? How about if I make it a bit harder? Simon says... Throw your back out! Simon says... Twist in the wind! Simon says... I am your god! Helicopter! I didn't say Simon says... Alright, that's a bit too easy, isn't it? How about if I make it a bit harder? Simon says, slap your face. Simon says, monopod. Simon says, keep your hair on. Go nowhere fast. Sloppy work, customer. It's not supposed to spark like that, is it? That's so, apparently, when you're on Joy, Simon Says is the go-to game for everyone. Anyway, once the last two have gone, the last one should be zapped. And we're actually going to go ahead and grab a mask while we are here as well. This is actually the main reason why we've uh, done this side quest. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, groovy, baby. So, anyway, head all the way out. Don't go to the exit. Take a left when you're here. And there is the mask, the old cojones. I mean, uh, caning. Yeah, close enough. So that is, again, obviously we can't get into the church without doing the side quest. So that is the main reason we've done that. And while you're here, uh, make sure to steal from the poor if your conscience lets you. I'm sorry. I mean, technically Arthur Hit is homeless. So, you know, he's technically, we are technically for the poor, even though we've got about a grand on us. Right, anyway, heading up the stairs, uh, you can go ahead and search this guy. Um, but he's only got a couple of joy pills on him, so head up the ladder. And this is where we're going to deactivate the power. There it is, so get your deactivating in force. Uh, nothing else to steal in this room, so we can actually just drop back down. And away... We go! So we're going to have to go and take the medal, which is basically in the middle of the room. There it is. So there's also a bag of flour. Um, so we've got the medal, plus a bag of flour, and why not grab some salt, Peter, and a pile of coins for your trouble. Uh, also, I'm, so I'm sorry, cheeky old lady, you had a hell of a tumble there, didn't you? Well, well, we'll just move that hip right there and grab that fine linen off you. Sorry. Uh, rest in peace and overthrowing. Um, now, I did... Uh, you can grab that one as well. It doesn't matter if you grab the sermon or not. I did have a little look here just to make sure that uh, the statistics still say total kills at zero. And again, I advise you to be doing that every so often just in case. But anyway, that one is done. So we have done the Church of Simon Says. Now we're going to go ahead and do this last 
um, uh, this last side quest. Again, like I said earlier, you might have one called Popping Poppers, you might have another one, or you might have, a, I think one of them is French, Sur ne du be du bedu. I can't actually remember the name of it, I remember it says C. S-E-S-T at the beginning. But there's that, there's the Popping Poppers one, or because I didn't get those ones, I had this Moon Juice one, or whatever it was called. So, uh, again, whatever side quests you've got, I promise they are generally very easy and should only take pff, a minute or so, if that. Um, this one, though, if you're wondering, what we need to do then is just climb over the fence right here, or climb over the wall. Somehow they don't see you escaping in. Uh, if we just nip down there, what they're going to do then is the police are going to effectively just walk off to the left. All we've got to do is loot the body, and that is that. He had a short spike. He could have disarmed the trap. Why didn't he? Oh. And like I said, it's always worth doing these little side quests because they give us, you know, effect. Sometimes they give us up to three skill points. So it's if, if there is a side quest, it is definitely worth doing, especially if it is on your way. Like, uh, well, like it is for us, because what we're going to do now is we are going to start heading over the bridge into Leperland. Yes. So we're going to speak to El Bobo right Excuse now. Faraday, where's Bobby Hickenbotham? <laughs> Okay, so once we've been let in... God, that is a scary mask though, isn't it? This is, uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, go to the left, push the button, and we are going to just nip through. And there we go, job done. We don't actually have to do anything. Now, I'm also wondering, by the way, um, as we're going to come up to a cutscene, are there any Americans out there called Hickenbottom, or is it strictly just like a posh, very posh sort of English name? Who oh, Hickenbottom. Can't imagine Mary, uh, many Americans or Canadians or anything with the name Hickenbottom. Anyway, once you skip the cutscene, quickly run to your left. Whoopsie. There is going to be a leper after us, and hide in these flowers for a second. They're not called lepers in this, are they? So they're called wastrels, which makes me just think of... Uh, uh, just it, could, it, it, it just sounds like a galaxy chocolate bar, to be honest. Try the all-new galaxy wastrels. Yum. Right, so... Um, yeah. This is where we are in Lud's home. Now, of course, what we need to do is also do the Lilies of the Field and the Golden Records. Obviously, as always, it's going to be in a random location for you. For me, luckily, the Golden Records were in uh, quite a decent spot all over each other. So, or close to each other. So that's not too bad. But for now, we are just going to head wherever it may be. Wherever it may be. Go to the Lord, Dr. Faraday said me. Uh, also, make sure to get a torn suit going as well. You should have some rocks and you should have a proper suit on you. Obviously, the one you're wearing. So make sure that, uh, to get a torn suit. That's the only way that you're going to fit in. So, uh, yes. So, obviously, what we're going to do then is obviously the main quest line for Dr. Faraday. And we are also going to do the Lilies of the Field and get the three golden records as well. But for now, uh, just head straight for the main quest line. And again, obviously pick up any items and, well, you know, you've been doing it for a couple of hours so far. So, so just grab what you can. Uh, by the way, the Galaxy Wastrels, they only come out at night. So don't worry about um, enemies or anything. Just take care not to... Piss anyone off. What happened to the gardens? We used to have gardens. Doesn't kill you. <laughs> she 
shit. I wish I kept in shape. Woof. They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Jesus Christ, why'd you live all the way out here, damn it? Anyway, once we come here, we will... You can either open it and talk to James, or you can go in the shed, grab the pipe valve first. It doesn't matter, but uh, you've got to grab that pipe valve anyway. So I just grab it first, and then we're going to start talking to James. Or is that Roger? Uh, I forget which one. Anyway, uh, skip the couple of cutscenes, or have a look at it, whichever one it is. And then once you've done that... Oh, it is James, sorry. Yeah, it is James. Uh, so go ahead and give him the pipe valve. Oh, bruv, you, you've only just met him. You, we, we appreciate your moustache, I suppose. Anyway, once that's done, we can steal the uh, bunch of flowers here. Uh, nope. The non such is only for night, and there's those galaxy wastrels out, aren't there? Right, anyway, now we can go in, and obviously we can do a whole lot of looting. Nobody's going to say anything to us, so it's all good, so make sure to grab a couple of blueprints. I think it's just one on this workbench. Uh, the small dresser, of course, and I think that's it. Then we can just carry on. Now, what we need to do as well is make sure to get, uh, sort out the trap control box. So, you should have enough of these electro lock shocker things on you. Um, that's why I've always kept them on me. I've, I've never put them, in, put them in my inventory, but that will smash out the trap. Um, and then, yeah, effectively, all we're doing then is looting whatever we want. If we uh, trap out the security system as well here, that's going to not get us smashed up in the next room. Plus, if we go straight ahead here, I think... Oh, there it is, just to the left. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Bacon. Oh, jeez, you've got a... Oh, uh, well, I'm just going to loot you instead. Again, don't worry, Mr. Roger Bacon here will not try to attack us. He just tries to seduce us, and he's got something called the Tickler as well, which I'm kind of worried about. Or curious about. <laughs> Either way, I'll use the Tickler in my own time. Uh, just, uh, goodbye, Mr. Bacon. Right, so we're going to head <laughs> through the door. Uh... If you want to steal some stuff from the kitchen here, that's fine. But most importantly, when we go through the other door, there is going to be another mask. So we'll uh, grab what we want here. A couple of bobby pins off to your left and a duck. I think this is called, um, what was it? Rick the Stunt Dick. Duck. Rick the Stunt Dick. Duck. Oh, okay, now I'm just getting my uh, <laughs> English all messed up. But there's the uh, next mask anyway. So just make sure to grab that one called Latin. And then head upstairs and we can talk to Dr. Faraday. Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. In fact, actually, what we need to do is sprint upstairs and quickly disable the trap. So quickly get in there, trap it, destroy it, job done. And now we can walk freely and turn to the right and go and speak to the Faraday herself, just after you get this chest, which can be easily missed. Although we are coming back here a few times anyway. You're not 
Lord James and Roger. Did the executive committee... Okay then, so, uh, we need to get some molotine, which is basically what that old lady was standing in, uh, dancing in earlier on. So grab the molotine hoover, or whatever it is, and then what we're going to do now is actually crack on with the side quests. Eventually. Yeah, 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 right, that's where I am, that's where we're going. Um, we are going to use some skill points first though, so we're going all the way to the right under super duper And you should have enough for three So the super duper skill line you should should have enough there for the first three Herbalist and then the second one and then big game hunter for ta being able to take out uh, Big enemies, so always worth chucking in your skill points there Obviously, we don't need it for attacking or anything because we're not attacking so, uh, before we just do the Golden Oldies quest, what we're going to do is called is the quest called Meet the Neighbours. Uh, that's basically for getting the hatch sorted in this area. So, again, like I said, before doing the Golden Oldies, if, if there is one of the go uh, Golden Oldies houses on the way, then obviously, by all means, get ahead and do that. Because, uh, obviously, the, the locations, as I always say, are random, but uh, the... Whatever house you go into, there's three houses we've got to go into, and they are always the same. Uh, where we have to just get rid of a couple of enemies, etc. So, yeah, it's not it's not so bad. Excuse me, Mr. Bacon, sir. How do I get out? Oh, this way. No problem. Okay. So, like I said, uh, again, whatever it, the location is, on your marker, you are going to go to the Meet Thy Neighbours. I'm going to get a couple of hatching quests done. Or one hatch quest. So you know when you're on the right path, because we're going to turn around and we're going to see the underground, plus we're going to see the next mask in full view. So it's going to say you're trespassing, but don't worry about that. Nobody's actually going to come kick your ass or try and chase you. Uh, but make sure to grab this next mask called Underground. Wasn't there a song years ago called London Underground? But it was hilarious. I wonder if anyone remembers that one. London Underground. It, and it's got some swear words in it, because but but because I'm a professional YouTuber, pff, um, I'm not going to swear. Anyway, uh, just to the back of here is the shelter, but of course we've got a couple of things to do. It's not quite as easy as just flicking on a light switch. Um, but have a look. There's a couple of filing cabinets in here. A few things to loot first. Like he was trying to get out, and like something ripped him apart. What a jolly place to go exploring. Okay, so we're gonna see some of these galaxy wastrels in the next room. There's five of them. Um, but what you need to do, they cannot fight back while you're shining a your torch in their face. So make sure, or uh, pre keep pressing down on the D-pad until you get your torch out there. There it is, left bumper. Now, if you put that away, press the right bumper to get your shocker out. Now. If you keep pressing the left bumper, it switches from weapon to weapon, from torch to weapon. So once you've done that, make sure your torch is ready. Go straight forward and you should see the first one. Press left bumper, get as close as you can to them, and give them the whack of life. And they should, t should take about four or five hits. Now, again, just keep doing the same then. But if you want to, if you think anyone's going to come up and creep attack you, 
They shouldn't really. They should all be just in front of us. Um, there. Uh, but there should be another three to go. So again, just get close. Give them a whack of life. Keep your eye on the other red thing ahead, just in case they start coming towards you. Hey. Sorry. What am I doing? And when the last broski is toasty, we can interact with the uh, with the valve wheel here to get the lighting going. Now, I did actually try to just run here the first time and see if I could just pop the light on without having to fight. But as it turns out, uh, you'd have to be some kind of unstoppable killing machine. Or not killing machine in this case. So grab the loose screws and get a couple of, cu couple of coins out of this payphone here. And that should be that for this area. So uh, have a look. There should be another two. There it is. Two blueprints to grab from the workbench. So we will grab those. Then we can do uh, some looting of the corpses. Or the unconscious corpses, as it were. Plus, there is... because We've got the loose screws because we need to nail up the board. And it's this board to the left of us, precisely. Hold up before I have any uninvited visitors. So there are some more loose screws in one of these boxes here. Uh, just having a look at old Crip Leg right there. Old... Now, a couple of these, like I said, a couple of these may have some hisoplasma mushrooms, which will come in handy for the Mysterious House. Um, the Mysterious House quest later on, which also houses an achievement. So we are going to try and gather as much of these hismo, hismo, hismoplasma mushrooms as possible so you grab some loose screws there's also some loose screws on the table there if you want it but we're going to board up this part and that should be it so the galaxy wastrels are contained as it were okay now we can have a little look around make sure to pop the track access hatch on yeah mate and there's another two blueprints over on this workbench so we're gonna grab these as well sunshine well, baby, it's sunshine. And of course, while we're here, we can do some pneumatic stashing. Okay, and with that one done, so if you have a look on the bed now, there is a fenicillin, fenicillin jab. Basically, uh, in this area, you can be infected with the plague by those galaxy wastrels. Um, and those fenicillin jabs, or whatever they're called, uh, basically cure you from it. So if you're ever getting yourself really infected, just jab yourself with one of them, and you'll be uninfected. Uh, by the way, that inventory expansion, you can just press the... Um, if you go, if you go out of your pneumatic stash, make sure, I think everyone should have one at that point, uh, at this point, those inventory backpacks. They basically add another 20 pounds, uh, where we can carry a little bit more. So it's definitely worth using that. Otherwise, get rid of whatever you fancy. And then we're going to go to sleep until morning.
Oh. Oh. Your move, Sandman. So, next up then, we are actually going to do the Lilies of the Field side quest. And again, this one is very easy. We're literally just uh, going to put it in our quest. So, we're going to pop it at the top. And then, we are going to follow the location of where it is. Like I said, for me, it was a decent it was a decent thing, actually. It was quite close to the Golden Records in a little triangle there. The, the yellow circle is where the Faraday main quest takes. Um, so again, obviously, if you find some dig spots on your way, then that's awesome. Go get those dig spots. Otherwise, this is, again, just a simple case of following the waypoint until we get to the lilies. It's, uh, yeah. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the morning. The morning fresh sun of brown, ground brew coffee. Man, my English is taking a battering so far, isn't it? Jibus. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. I am abs actually absolutely knackered watching Arthur sprint all the time. Uh, you know, we're complaining about this guy, but I don't think we'd do it. I definitely wouldn't do it. Anyway, what you're going to see then is like a little lamp, lamp post or something. And in this area here with the water, there are a few lilies to dig up. So I think you only need, I think you just need the one, to be honest, for the side quest. But there's a couple to grab. I think we can probably sell these lily bulbs or, you know, plant them in our hat to make us look... Fancy, super hickam bottom posh. Uh, anyway, once you have grabbed those, we will obviously come back. We'll obviously go back and finish that quest later on. So for now, we are going to go to the do the golden oldies. Now, as I said earlier, random locations, but the three houses will all have the same sort of thing as you, in terms of the same layout and the same sort of enemies, etc. But of course, I don't know which house they're going to be in. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little different. So we're just going to run to the closest house first of all. Ah. 
So in this first house then, what you're going to see, there's people talking in the kitchen. So what we're going to do, make sure to get your electric shocker out. We're going to take down this first woman. And then with the right bumper, with the right trigger here, we're going to just get rid of this guy. There is also another woman upstairs, so just be aware of that. Um, so, yeah. So that's how we're going to do this one. Uh, they're all generally easy enough, all the houses. But obviously going to be doing a lot of electric whacking. Um, but yeah, just make sure then to... I mean, you can sneak if you want, but she might hear you and start coming down and trying to bash your head in with a lead pipe. Uh, grab the two blueprints as well. There we go, job done. Oh, and the torch as well. Yeah, nice little torch for us there. And that's it. So, we will head upstairs again. Remember, the woman is up here. She should be somewhere. Oh, Jesus, there you are. Sorry, I, <laughs> I thought she was going to... Oh, we doing this to each other? <laughs> we are. I thought she was going to come sprinting a lot quicker. But anyway, that's all there is. So if you do a little bit of looting, have a look in this bathtub. You might get lucky and get some histoplasma mushrooms. But the golden record is always going to be in the main bedroom in this chest. So there is gold record number one. So loot what you want and then we'll get out of here. So in the next house for me, there is going to be a total of, I think, five women and maybe one man upstairs. There's two ways you can get in. It doesn't matter whichever way you want. But if you go in the other way, you might get a takedown or two. If not, we're just going to go in all guns zapping, all electric zapping. Um, so, yeah, remember, if you want to push uh, left trigger to block, of course, um, there's oi, 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 your cheeky little dill doll. Yeah. Just fight your way in and make sure to take uh, get some healing stuffs in here if you need it. Because as you can see, I need it. <laughs> Oof, getting my ass handed to me by three women. I, I think I'm slightly turned on right now. Anyway, uh, up the stairs there's going to be another woman and the man might be there for you, he might not be. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, once that's done, again, obviously make sure to check that none of them got killed. They shouldn't have done. But, yeah, there we go. Hm. I, should be, I should be scared, but, uh... Oh, no, I, I, I don't think I'd mind three women uh, trying to beat my brains out. I think that's quite a, a turn on, you know. Anyway, enough about my weird stuff going on in my brain. Uh, search everyone. In fact, there's four. Oh, my God. And then, of course, we are here to only find the golden record. Nothing else. So don't even think about it. Yeah. Up we go. Uh, it should be to... Well, to the right, there is a little small dresser we can have a look in. Um, and an empty torch, which will always come in handy. Drop a few things if you need it. I've been going a bit nuts carrying a bunch of crap that we I don't really need. There she blows. So once that's done, we will head to the opposite side of the room. Have a little look in that toilet. Oh man, that must be stinking right there. Having a toilet with no walls right in the middle of the... Uh, just at the top of the stairs there. Oh. Oof. Imagine. Ugh. No, don't imagine. Anyway, there's the chest. There's the second golden record. And that's job done. Why wouldn't you put the toilet with some walls surrounding it? Eh? Jesus. Right, we'll, we'll head now to the third and final house.
So, here it is then, but it's got some tin cans connected to it. And if we try going in there, um, people will try to beat us. So we need to just nip around to the back, so head around to the back. Just There shouldn't be any people here, but if you want to just have a little, little look, you should be golden oldies. And then you can nip straight through. Now, there's no one in here yet, but when we do grab the golden record, three women are going to come. Uh, <laughs> so grab the... There was a book and there was an empty torch there on the bookcase. Bit of rubbing alcohol as well. Again, it's the same sort of stuff. Obviously, we're going to loot what we can downstairs uh, before we start heading upstairs. Uh, there's... Uh, you can actually crawl under here. It doesn't matter if the alarm goes off. Really doesn't matter. I don't think, anyway. And then we can just continue to head upstairs right after we grab stuff out of this low dresser. And the chest is going to be right in front of us there. Now, like I said, as soon as we pick this one up, arm yourselves. They are going to start coming, and they're going to start coming up the stairs. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a little bit of a sneaky surprise attack. So get your electric yum yum ready your electric billabong, and then sit and wait patiently, like Batman. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And then... Surprise, Mother Ducker! Yeah! Well, I didn't expect that, did you? Yeah. Anyway, beat the three, and then you are free to flee. Do we really have to do this? Oh, that's cute. Look, she was just lying on her lap, unconscious. Yeah. If you're going to be unconscious, I'm going to be unconscious next to you. I'm just that kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice man that uh, apparently... Makes women unconscious and holds them next to each other. Now, if anyone else is listening to that um, around, hopefully you don't take that in the wrong context. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Um, and that's it. So, once we've grabbed everything that we can grab out of Mia, well, it's time to disappear. And, in fact, what we're going to do is go to the next track access hatch. So, it should be somewhere close to you. Um... Obviously, if the arrow track access hatch is blue, that means you've obviously already done it. If the, the one is yellow, that means that we still need to get that one done. And, of course, there is an achievement for uh, getting all track ac access hatches. So, hopefully, that one should be close to you. So, have a look. And then, that's what we're going for next. And you'll know when you're at the right one, it's this building with a whole bunch of smoke coming out of it. So what we're going to do then is just pull the planks off the side of this um, window, because there's a couple of guys the other side, and they will chase us and beat us down. Um, I don't think there's anything to loot here. Nope, so we're just going to nip straight in. Keep it! What do we got here? Yeah, it's a nice little one, to be honest, so... Just do a bit of loot in, a couple, you may get one or two dig spots, get the track access hatch going. Come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, make sure then, like I said, that before you leave, make sure you've grabbed the couple of blueprints. There was three, for me anyway, the the um, fentacillin jabs, whatever they're bloody called. And uh, yeah, the couple of chests as well. So make sure you grab them. Otherwise, we can now just crack on with the main story, the Faraday cage one. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a little nip out. Nip out of the ladder. Breathe in that fresh galaxy wastrel air. Don't go out the door stupidly like I did. Because, uh, uh, yeah, technically we're trespassing. So that was just a bit silly. So if you do that, just hide for a second, Zaflores. But a silly, silly man. Anyway, head to the main quest. The old Faraday complex. Oi, mate, what's going on in here? Fight me. Nah, never mind. Okay, we'll come back later. That was rather brilliant. So then, this is the house. So we will be able to remove the wood planks. That's fine. And... What we are going to do... Yes, sorry. So, yeah, pop on your gas mask. Now, if you want, you can... You can, you should have enough items to craft a repair kit. Because um, what we're going to do after we steal a couple of things from here... On the right-hand side, there's going to be a pipe that needs repairing, but we need a repair kit. You might have already picked one up, and if that's the case, that's great. Um, but you can craft one. There it is, then. Like I said, I don't bother because we're not staying in the house that long. And so far, the use of the gas mask has only been like a slightly tiny, tiny bit. So it really doesn't matter. Make sure to pick up the sewing kit there off the table as well. That is always there. Sort of all the random objects in the game, that sewing kit just decides it wants to stay there. Uh, so whichever you do, if you've managed to repair it, you can now take your gas mask off. Or if you just wanted to crack on, we can just come upstairs Loot what we want, stick your hand in the toilet. We've done enough of that throughout the game. And if we go into the next room, there should be a couple of chests as well to grab. So another power cell. They all come in handy. And then up the stairs. Another couple of bits, but the main part of what we're after then is this bit. The, me the um, yes. Yes, the, uh, the, the leak of melatonin. Or blue liquid Jimmy stuff. So all we got to do then, there should be a prompt in just a second somewhere, uh, just to hold X in order to grab a few. You can also, if you if you've got empty power cells on you, now for some reason, a motoline, yeah, that's the one. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't figure it out. Figure it out, but apparently you've got to get your empty power cells to hand, and then you can, uh, then you can fill up your power cells this way as well. So. But uh, I didn't end up doing that here. We'll do that later on anyway, so it doesn't matter. But once you've got your Motoline spill, away we go and away we down. And we can simply now head back, take your gas mask off, and get back to Dr. Faradar. That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. Why did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? Well, that was scenic.
Did you notice, by the way, how I said Farda? Now, by Farda, I meant obviously Faraday, not uh, Farda as in the Florida Joker, who thinks he's some hot stuff because GTA uh, and Rockstar took the piss out of him. Yeah, bruh. I'm so cool, bruh. Man, is Florida really that wild? I really want to visit now. Anyway, uh, obviously, we don't have to worry about anything, so we can just go all the way up to Dr. Florida Joker. And, uh, yeah, that's jammed. And we can give her the blue, liquidy, yummy, delicious stuff. God damn it! So she wants us to do another thing. So we have something called the extractor. And we have to extract three things. So what we're going to do is do the three. Plus we are going to get a couple of side quests going and completing as well. Right, so the first things first. The first one is the car right outside this building here. So all you got to do is just hold the X button until it's complete. Now Arthur may take it away early, but you just keep holding the X button and it will complete that way and you know when you've done it right when the smoke starts billowing and the cutscene starts starting oh god that sound oh god that sound that sound where she screamed her ex's name in bed <laughs> Anyway, uh, we are going to the next one now, so the closest one should be the one in the park, so that's what we're going to next. Female hot. Female cold. How many homes would it take to fill the Albert Hall? Oh, sure. Oh, I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Well, now, it's actually going to say that we're trespassing, but nobody has ever called me out on my trespassing ness, so don't worry about that. But for some reason, what I was... I kept releasing the X button too early, so he kept saying, oh dear. And I just didn't think it was working. But again, hold your finger on the X button until you see the smoke billowing and the scene scene starting. You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? No, no. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. Oh. Ah, you make what you want of that, young man. Oh, God. Young man. I don't think I like this device at all. I do. It's a good device, bro. Okay, so the third and final one we are actually going to run to. Plus, we're going to get, like I said, another quest or two popped up. And again, when you're on your way here, you may, you may get another couple of side quests potentially on the way. Uh, I wasn't as lucky, in all fairness, with the side quests, so just remember, you may, you may get some. And it's always worth doing, like I said, to get the skill points up and crack a lacking. Filthy bastards. I did think I used to run a hundred meters. Where 
are the Americans? Where are the Russians? I wonder if he ever figured it out. Why I wasn't on the train. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? Of course you can have your cake. You need it too. Diamonds and bridges falling down. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Oh my god, that was a run. Right, so when we get here and we start, somebody's going to be annoyed, but by the time we've done it, um, they'll actually just forget that we've done that. So, it's all good. So you're not going to get pummeled. See? You just went, hey! Oh, you've done. Okay, I'll just walk off then. Come here. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But... We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Bloody hell. Right then, so with that done, we will come back to the main quest a little bit later on. But for now, what we're going to do is head into the treehouse here. Now, again, there may be another side quest where you can basically see like a pool of green. Um, it's a very easy side quest. If you see it on your map and it pops up... As we go ahead and talk, make sure to talk to this guy first, John Bolton. Um, and then we're going to go and do that. But yeah, with the side quest, all you got to do is go into the toxic green looking sludge, uh, speak to a guy and then help him clean up the pool. And that'll be the side quest complete. So that's if that one pops up for you. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, you should be able to see it. It should be quite close by. But again, for me, it wasn't. So yeah, well, that sucks. Okay, so since we ain't doing the Faraday cage, um, there is a couple of dig spots here which we will be taking a little nip out. Um, in fact, I am just trying to look for that side quest to see if it was anywhere. And again, as it turns out, <laughs> nay, it wasn't. So, since I apparently couldn't find it, we're just going to go ahead and crack on with the treehouse one now, where we have to rescue Peachy. So, again, wherever it is on your map, you're going to nip yourself straight there. Let's rescue an insane bro by getting his dolly, yo. And, of course, if it's even better for you, get into the track access hatch if it's a bit closer, so you're not wasting any more time than you need to. God damn, five hours already. Woo! Well, you're not my problem, I guess. Well, I hope Mrs. Hudson feeds Sparky and doesn't eat him. Okay, so in this house, what we're going to do is basically, for the most part, we're just going to run. We're going to run upstairs, grab the dolly, and get the hell out of here. But hopefully you might be able to get a takedown or two on the first two stairs. Again, it's, you know, it's easy enough. But if you can get the takedown, then obviously uh, on one enemy or two, then it makes it just a little bit easier. So we're going to head in through the front door first. 
Oh, we've got to unlock it first, apparently. There she blows. So when you open it, as you can see, she sees us open it, but she doesn't care. Which means we're going to go ahead and give her the little takedown of life. So she obviously patrols down here and she goes upstairs as well. So if you're kind of lucky there, you can just give her the old uh, chokey choke. And there's going to be one or maybe two enemies patrolling the next set of stairs. If, again, you do get caught, literally just run straight up the stairs and jump over to the other side to grab the bear. Or we can go, hello, Mr. Purified. Or Pipfield, whatever the hell your name is. And somebody's going to catch us here. Oh, in fact, actually, I'm going to get a third takedown. And he's like, oh, God, right, I'm going to bat you in the head, mate. But what we're going to do is run past him, jump over to the other. Ah, you douche. There you go, I'll give him a quick... Ah, <laughs> and she fell as well. So that was actually quite lucky on our part there. But there is Peachy. So we've grabbed the bear. Don't know why they needed that for. Grab whatever... Uh, the book and the light bulb. <laughs> Somebody just fell again. Man, you guys are unsteady on your feet. So, all we have to do now is effectively jump down and run back to the treehouse. So what you can do is you can either just drop straight down but you may take a little bit of fall damage or you can jump across and just go down the stairs the normal way of course because i do things awkwardly i'm not going to do it the normal way um and of course since we're going to go back we're going to uh, head back to the treehouse there's a couple of dig spots there as well so we're gonna if there are any dig spots for you um you can just uh there we go jump straight down ah uh, you douche anyway like I said, if there's any dig spots for you, then uh, on your way to the treehouse, go and grab them, my love, my friends, my darlings. Hit me, you hit me in the head. You're mean. Pace yourself, Arthur. We'll laugh about this later. Jesus. Oh my God. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell.
So here we are back at the treehouse. Now you probably wondered why I saved it just before I extracted stuff from the dud German bomb. Just in case I thought it was a prank and I was about to get blown up. Uh, but as it turns out, it wasn't that one. So anyway, there's Peachy the doll. We've given that one. Next up, we are going to be going for another achievement, finally. We haven't... In fact, we haven't had one for a while, have we? We, have, we haven't even had anything for about... Uh, hmm, for about, like, 40 minutes or so. So, we need to get into the mystery house. Now, how we do this is by taking the histoplasma mushroom. So, hopefully, you've got, you know, at the very least, four or five. There are more in the house if you need them. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, four or five should do. Ten should be... It, it is literally plenty. But the achievement is for not being seen at all. So, even if you get seen and you still manage to take them down... The achievement will not unlock because you can't be seen at all. So, remember, we are... Well, what we're going to do first is wait till the night because we have to wait till the night, remember? To have at least, you know, five or six histo histoplasma uh, mushrooms. And also remember to make a manual save before we go in just in case... Case in point, the first enemy that's seen me, I got spotted. So, yeah, definitely worth just making a manual save. Um, there's only about five or six in here, so it's not overly difficult not to get spotted at all. But, uh, obviously, sometimes it can be a bit annoying. So, to open the gate there, you do need to uh, consummate a mushroom. Yes, there was a bit of an edit, because, like I said, I got caught, so I had to reload the save. So, get straight into sneak mode now, open up the door... And what you're going to see then is when we get straight down, normally there is a woman straight in front of us praying. So you should be able to take her down just as she starts getting up. But if you want to be a bit more cautious, obviously just wait until she starts walking around the kitchen. Because uh, that will be her path. She will just walk around the kitchen. Um, now, obviously, we do have a primary goal, which is to get, uh, grab 10 pieces of cloth linen or whatever it's called. It, it, it does say right there, but I'm blind. So there's some more mushrooms as well, if you need them. <clears throat> um, and it's always worth just taking one just as the mushroom starts nipping off. So into this next room. Uh, don't worry about the ones on the left for now. We are going to go into this next room. i sure they're Anglicans. Now, what we are going to see there, it, now, when we turn to the left, uh, basically there's also a closet on the right, uh, which you can get the linen, but we'll come back to that. There should be, as you can see, I got very lucky with that one, but there's going to be two or three people that actually come down here. So if you manage to choke out this guy here, obviously always watch out for the footprints. Um, if you manage to choke this guy out here, make sure to just pop him in the dark, just behind the bookcase, because obviously he will get seen, and he will get mashed up. Be careful here, again, I almost got caught, whoops. I almost got seen, but luckily I didn't. But again, she's just going to do what Broski just done there, and is going to go for the praying of life. There you go, sorry Eve, sorry Beb, but I gotta choke you out, and nothing the good kid. Right, so that's those two taken care of. Again, they will be walking up and down this corridor that we're currently going in now. Uh, interact with the chest there. I don't think Father McCartney would approve. Um, and again, chuck another mushroom down as well. You should be fine. There shouldn't be anyone else now uh, in this corridor. It was just those two. But if we open up this door, what you're going to see, there's going to be one guy praying right in the middle of the room next to the wall. Or he will be eventually. And there's going to be one... Uh, I don't know if it's a if it's a woman every time, but she's going to be walking up and down the right set of stairs, the ones that we were just looking at. These ones, right? Yeah. So as you can see, I was just about to go for it, and yeah. So it might just be worth waiting until she pops down. As soon as she turns around, go out and choke slam, uh, dude ski, the old praying dude ski, right? Yeah. Just wait, just wait, give it a few seconds so she definitely doesn't spot you, and then nip it straight there. Sorry, Tom, but your bomb is not fun. Uh, or something. Right, uh, quickly, obviously while crouching, get up the stairs, 
take a left. And again, if she's going to start coming back, obviously we will just have to go and... Uh, <laughs> We will move, plus we will also get rid of the body as well. So obviously, if you're quick enough, you can just take out the two people in the top room. But if you're like me and quite cautiously slow, uh, quickly pick up Thomas. So obviously, she does not get away. And then it's all good. So wait till she goes up and then obviously just follow her. Up the wooden stairs. Now go to the left. And the other person never turns around, so you should be good as gold. So take out uh, Chickski right here, and then take out the other one. And that's it. Then the importance of not being seen should then... <clears throat> sorry, should then unlock. So it should unlock pretty quickly. Ba-ding! There it is. Look, that's what we want. So the importance of not being seen. So there's no other enemies in here now. So we can just do the main mission-y stuff and get the hell it. And of course, what we're going to do is um, loot everything. So small dresses and chests. Now, obviously, t talking of looting, you don't have to actually, obviously, grab absolutely everything that you come across. Um, as I'm letting you know, we're almost five and a half hours in. Um, but you don't actually have to grab absolutely everything uh, because you will get more than enough of things to craft and sell, etc. Uh, so what we're going to... Oh, getting a bit heavy now. In fact, is this where I... Yeah. So this is where I finally use the inventory expansion, which I told you to do a little while ago. That just helps us out there. And then what we'll do is press the X and then Y and then X button on the piano here. That's going to open up this little secret way. Again, no one else is about, but there is some cloth linen to the... Nope, if we turn around... Ah, just, yeah, there it is, look. The, ep yeah, the epiphernal linen. So it's just by the sort of altar. So make a running jump. Turn, again, do some looting, as is the norm. Head into the bedroom. Make sure to pick up this, uh, it's basically a health file. I'm pretty sure it's always there as well. So once you've picked that one up, uh, you can use that to give yourself a little bit more health. Always comes in handy, you know. And then turn to the left, go into... After we loot the small dresser and everything. Uh, there's some linen on the table as well. And then we can go into the closet. I think there's about six here. So basically, um, we need ten and there's eleven that we can grab. So you should be fine. But grab everything that you can in here. And then we are going to grab the rest, which is downstairs. Um, so we can just drop straight down. And this is the exit. But we're not going through the exit yet, of course. So this is basically where we started, of course. So what we'll do then, come into this area, into the next room, straight in front of us, into this uh, door. And this is where the rest of the linen is. So there we go. That is skedaddled and skedoodled. You can take another one if you want. Not that it serves any purpose. And with that, we can actually just head back now to the treehouse to get this stuff complete. Plus, you'll actually have to use a mushroom here. Now, don't actually run to the uh, treehouse just yet. It's always worth going to the uh, bench and waiting until the daytime. And the only reason is because there's a bunch of galaxy wastrels that are about. And while they're not too hard to kill, there is enough of them that does make it a little more Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Does make it a little bit more difficult. So, see, there was one right there. So, right now we can actually just head back to the treehouse. Finally, again, just making sure of my stats. Just having a quick look at these statistics. There we go: seventy-three takedowns and no kills. I am on fire. I hope you like this sort of thing. Brilliant! So not only do we go and get the stuff for him and uh, sort him out, he actually wants us to make it as well. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. 
So there we go, go over to the inventory of course, go over to suits, head down and you should see the suit of blending. So you should have obviously enough sewing kits, you should have enough sewing kits and of course the linen as well. Then we can give that to Big Johnny here by pressing the Y button. And that'll do plenty, mate. And that is finally done. So now we can go ahead and barter with old John Bags. He doesn't have as much money, but as you can see, uh, for me, I'm on 959. So I'm going to be selling quite a bit until we get to the uh, cheeky 1000. Shouldn't take too much longer. There it is. Um, there you go. So that's over a thousand pounds. So the achievement should unlock for you. Now, for some reason, it decided not to unlock on screen for me. Um, but yes, you will get the achievement for gaining over a thousand pounds, um, loot looting slash bartering. Uh, but while you're here, obviously just get rid of anything that you don't particularly need. I'll be back in a jiff. Right, so I'm just going to show you now that the achievement did unlock. Baby, we're a rich man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, there it is. Gained a grand. I'm tidy. I wish it was that easy in real life. But since it's not, who cares? Okay, so head over to the maps. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually head back to the track access hatch. Because we are going to be going for the main quest now. So back into the access hatch here. <laughs> Don't explore the caves, Archie, mate. You're going to get mashed up, blood. So let us now... I'm just looking for the ladder. Where the hell's that? Oh, yeah, it's just to the right as we came in. <laughs> of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. So up the ladder we go. And we are now going to... Uh, bring the rest of the Faraday stuff. So all the stuff, we are going to go back to the Faraday house, head on upstairs, and finish the main quest. Getting old. happy with that then so what we'll do is just head back down the stairs outside for a little surprise Ow! ah god damn it that? that is not looking too good so head yourself back upstairs uh even james bacon is now out of his seduction pose thank god that was weirdly creepy if not a little kinky. Uh, so head into the room. Don't worry, the electric sparks can't hurt you. And she's disappeared. So have a look. You should have two blueprints there. Uh, there is a used up gas mask as well. So we can pick that one up. Uh, there is the letter that we need. Now, basically, if... Oh, our EA is fuming, which wouldn't we all be, actually, as we grab all the coins and the fine linen and everything that was on there as well. So, yes, like I said, if you if you ever find yourself in a situation, just try turning it back on, uh, back off and back on again. The IT crowd style. 
Have you tried turning it on and off again? Off and on again. See? Always works. Right. Now, of course, we are just bloody disgustingly fuming. Right, so what we're we going to do now, we are going to actually head, I think... Uh, I think it's all the way... To the side, which, yes, it is to the other side. So we're going to go and do Lilies of the Field and Golden Oldies. So we are going to now get those quests out of the way. So back it into the track ex access hatch in the sort of middle of the map there. And I don't know what happened to Artie, but he got a... Got electrocuted from nothing. So, of course, what we're going to do now is uh, we will put our proper suit back on. So make sure that you've got at least a proper suit or at least a sewing kit in order to do that. So we can pop that one back on. And then, of course, just go ahead, um, put the quest down and follow the marker to Old Lady Sackville or whatever her name was. Save a bit for the next minute. <laughs> In fact, she's so happy that she's still crying, even with this weird face. Look at that. Look, let's just take a uh, go. I'm very sorry, we're just going to have to have a little uh, close-up. Let's just have a little close-up here. While she's still crying. Bruh. She is off her bread. Okay. So, anyway. With that almost complete, again, we are just going to follow the waypoint. I'll keep doing this. <sighs> you can take your job. <sighs> Place yourself, Arthur. And we are coming up to the secret garden that she mentioned. Now, uh, it's a little bit of an edit skip because I actually missed it the first time. But it is just behind this metal gate. The padlock can be very easily missed, actually. Uh, so you can get some onions and potatoes and everything. But we're going to go into this little room. We're going to interact with the chest or the crate. 
And you're going to get a couple of delicious goodies, another dig spot, that'll do me. And if you wanted to, you could, uh, like I said, there's some carrots and potatoes and apparently a woman who's been trapped there for a while sitting down. Right, okay. Anyway, with that one done, we are now going to do the next uh, and final quest that we're going to do in Maiden Home. So we need to find the odds and ends shop, give old dude the golden records, and then he will give us another quest specifically for the next achievement of the game. Look like I've done. Oh, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> you can take your joy in me. <laughs> What's your pleasure? Th you got them. <laughs> Aren't you the dog's bollocks? I promised you something good, didn't I? So, next thing we are going to do then, we are actually going to crack on with the main quest called The Two Musketeers, where we basically have to cross the Plassey Bridge in order to get to the parade. Um, so, it could be either in the top left corner of the map, or it could be in the bottom left corner of the map. And that's why I'm getting a little bit confused, because I didn't know where it was. And then I was like, oh yeah, there's some more up. There it is. So that is what we're going to do. Make sure as well, very important, while you buy the hatch, make sure to get or at least have a boiler suit uh, on your possession. So that's where we're going then. So whatever the marker is for the two musketeers, start heading there. But make sure just either go back to your track ac access hatch, which I'm going to do in just a minute, and make sure to get a boiler suit because we actually need that in order to get into the part where we can actually get into the part in order to get the bridge to work. Otherwise, us in our proper suit, he's not going to think we're work common worker scum. <gasps> so yes, I'm looking at this and going, oh god damn it, I left my boiler suit back at the hatch. So that's what we're doing. So if you have, if you have got a boiler suit, just head straight for the waypoint. Um, if not, obviously quickly nip back to the track access hatch you know, hopefully the closest one to whatever the waypoint is, and get your boiler suit there. Ah, fond memories cowering from the bombs with Mum, Dad and Percy. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. You will take your joy in me. I'm getting old.
bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Shit. I didn't think I used to run a hundred meters. Okay, here we are. It, uh, it seemed like a long run, which it damn well was. Um, but we've made it anyway. So this is Plassey Bridge. So make sure that you have your boiler suit on. And then we can go ahead and speak to the police officer on the right. And as you can see, I completely ballsed it up by speaking to the two, which uh, didn't need to be spoken to. Uh, left toe. Yeah, dumb. Anyway, uh, speak to... There he is, look. Ah. Oh. Hello, Mr. Sir. So, after just smashing through the dialogue or skipping the cutscene, it's very easy. He's going to move out the way. We're just going to open up the door. And then we're going to head to the left, interact with the code. Remember, it is 1492. Or you don't have to remember, you can just hold X. Up the switch. Job done. So, that's getting us in to the parade. So, now what I'm actually going to do is just be a douchebag and be like, ah! It was me all along! Arthur! Arthur, uh, Hastings. Hastingsdirect.com. Right. <clears throat> Make sure to take some joy here. You have to do this anyway to get through. And then what's going to happen, this is like a Simon Says kind of game. So, what's going to happen is, the uh, announcer is going to say, Simon Says, stand on one lit platform. So, wherever the lit platform is, you're obviously going to run to it. If you take too long, you will get zapped. So, make sure that you have... Uh, make sure that you've got some kind of um, healing balm or something ready, just in case. So, but this is all it is. So, for the next three turns, Simon says, stand on two platforms, and then three platforms, and then I think it's all platforms. So, just... Uh, just to see everyone, just to see every uh, bit of platform, just stand in one of the corners. And again, make sure you have some healing stuff. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. <laughs> Fabulous, Simon says, Simon! Uh, <laughs> semen. Sorry, I did. <laughs> that was genuinely unintentional. But anyway, uh, see, easy as that. Not a problemo. Right. So, what we're going to do while we are here? Now, when when you're in the parade, and if you are coming down, as in you're in joy withdrawal, people do not like it, and they will try to uh, smash you nothing. So, what we're going to do? We are going to find the hatch. The, uh, so, with the Subterra Rose quest right there. So whatever the closest one is, that is the one we're going to go for. It looked close, but it's still about 700 meters from me. So uh, get some tea, uh, get 
get anything, a bit of food that'll just help your stamina. Uh, get some flash, take some flash if you need it as well. Flash will always come in handy. Because uh, it does just make it a bit easier. Because if we can just get straight to the hatch without, you know, uh, being beaten the crap out of, obviously it'll make things nice and easy. Now, two things here. I actually forgot to take flash. And I do end up getting into joy withdrawal. So people start chasing me. Also, <laughs> there's, another, there's another thing. <clears throat> so I think it depends on the hatch. Obviously, it's randomly placed, as we all know by now. So my hatch was nice and easy. We didn't actually have to do anything. But there could be another hatch where you actually have to put on your gas mask and repair a pipe in order, you know, not to die and stuff. So it depends which one is uh, which one is ever closest. You will get either one of those. So again, you might have to use the gas mask and repair a motoline pipe. Uh, but either way, you just keep on heading to the closest one. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Oh dear, I've forgotten about the headmistress. They get so cross if you... Off about this later. for the next minute. Yeah. Come on. I could get all off to in a tick. Off. Might You're save our life. Pace yourself, Arthur. There's the one that did it. He did it. Oh, I know he did. You won't That's get away with this. Their hands are all bloody. Oh my god, this is the longest place. Right, so for this hatch then, it's on the left. What you have to do is actually un you have to pick the lock. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> so pick the lock quick as you can, or quick as he can. Get yourself inside and close the door. Hopefully you can get away there without hitting anyone or just jump straight into the hatch. And there we go. So you should be good to go. Uh, so like I said, for uh, this hatch, we don't have to do anything. All we got to do is uh, click the track access hatch on. But you might be totally in the dark where you, if it doesn't look like this, you're going to have to put on a gas mask and you will have to, if you don't have a repair kit, you'll actually have to um, craft one from the, your, uh, from the pause menu. <clears throat> so yeah, so there's those two. So job done, yeah. So we're going to just obviously have a little look around. We're going to loot what we can. Um, obviously it's not got as much stuff as other good stuff as it were. Although a good pile of coins, that'll do. And there's a couple of... Uh, there's a blue Molotov as well. Obviously, we're not killing anyone, so it's not going to come in handy for this playthrough. Uh, have a look in the bathroom, and the access hatch is actually in that sort of main corridor there. Uh, but otherwise, we are basically just going to sleep until morning when you're all done here. Ooh, and actually, we're going to buy some stuff too. I'm literally going to buy everything except the Neximide pal, or Neximide pal, Neximide pill. So grabbing all the flashes, that's why I didn't take a flash by the way, because I forgot I didn't have any. Um, so yeah, I mean we should have literally plenty of money by now, so you should be okay. And obviously we can just go ahead and sell a lot of stuff anyway, if you need any more. Uh, so yeah, that'll come in handy.
to sleep, perchance to dream. Right, so we're awake. It's going to uh, come. In, it's going to be coming up to seven in the a.m. And the next quest that we're actually going to do is called the Thomasina House. Now there is an achievement tied to this house as well. Um, remember to get the access hatch going as well, because that will make things a lot easier. So basically, in this house, you can be seen. That's fine, but we do just have to collect five fake cat statues and obviously we're gonna get them together me and you you and me together so pop the quest marker on for the thomasina house get out and don't worry nobody's gonna chase you because you're not on joy it's when you're on joy withdrawal where people are all like ah you son of be anyway follow the more marker to the thomasina house -er. This is where the house is, but of course we're not going through the front door. We are going to go through the garden. Now, ob uh, hey, what are you doing sneaking about? As I say, as I'm the one sneaking about, literally sneaking. Anyway, don't worry about that guy. He's cute. So of course we do still have to be careful. We have to get rid of a bunch of whole uh, old ladies. Yes, that's it. The only nan's dream is dying right here with us. So. Uh, we're going to go through this door. I thought there was another door, but there's not another door. Uh, so when we go through this door, there's actually another door on the right where there is one old lady having a bit of cooking stuff. We actually need to wait for her to go behind the door. You'll see by your footprints, of course. So wait until she's at that position there, then open the door, quickly nip behind, and boosh! Sorry, old lady, get that down your neck, brev. Oh, she smiled. She liked that. She, oh, man, she hasn't seen a dong in years. Okay, so, again, be very careful, because as you can see, straight ahead, there's a whole bunch of old ladies, but there is another mask that we're going to grab here behind the curtains. So make sure to grab this one, and it is called Yellow. It is called Yellow. So once we have that mask, we are going to go to the right-hand side of the door. Obviously, we, not, we can't go in the room with... The bunch of old ladies sitting down because they're going to kick our ass. Plus, there's also a cat in here as well. So, that's what we're doing. So, up high into the statue, there is the first replica, Mrs. Chippy. If somebody says Chippy, I, it's just a, it's a fish and chip shop. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Go in through the grate and come out the other side. Be careful not to go too far, but you can already see the cat there on the desk. So, make sure to pick that one up. For some reason, uh, Arthur decides to stand up and also speak. Luckily, none of the ladies seem to have their hearing aids in or something. So, good on us. So, nip back through the gate. And we're going to go back into the kitchen area. Be careful here then. What we're going to do is, when we sneak out of here, we're going to take an immediate right. There we go. And then we're just going to get up on the stairs. And there is the third Mrs. Chippy. Now, there is one lady up here. Now, normally what she would do in a non-glitchy game is walk up and down these steps in order to go through to each window. But what she's doing in this particular game is flying from side to side, as you're going to see in just a minute. Jesus, that, that crapped me up. <laughs> Sorry, that crapped me up the first time I'd done that, and it just crapped me up then as well. So, yeah, so as you can see, she was going to come down the stairs up the other side. Uh, but she decided to fly over. So there is the fourth. 
a replica <laughs> cat anyway. You stupid old woman. You're making me put my pants. Right, so uh, what we'll do then from the fourth Mrs. Chippy, we're going to go up the other side of the steps. And we're going to go into this room. And immediately to our right, have a look at this painting, open it up. And that is where the fifth and final marble... It's not marble, it's uh, it's fake. So the achievement should unlock for you by here. Again, it didn't for me, which is annoying, because I like seeing stuff pop on screen. But of course, we do still have to get the real one. And that's going to be more upstairs. So there we go. Cat Boigler. So that should definitely unlock for you there. Right. So now we're going to go more up the stairs. And straight ahead, more up the stairs. There is another one more old lady. So look out for the footprints on the floor because she's going to be covering every uh, every door and every piece of this area. So as long as you're behind her, this is... Uh, ooh. So we've literally just smashed her in a... That... Uh, oh my god. She's going to become the devil. Run, boy! Run! And before you run, make sure to have a look at this painting by the bed. And then grab the real one, solid marble, mate. Plus, we don't want to be uh, the devil's little biatch, so let's get the hell out of here. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is it for this area. Nice achievement. Another quest done. So we're going to head down the stairs. And you can actually just walk straight out of the front door now. So straight in front of us, walk out. Beautiful, that's what we want. And uh, yeah, so unlucky old ladies. Right then, since we are back, obviously we'll just do the normal stuff. We'll put any crafting um, items in the old, uh, in the old pneumatic tube. And then what we're actually going to do, now we're going to need to find a specific quest. So yes, we are going to be running about um, and trying to find it. And the one we're after is called Old Soldiers. Plus, you can only get this one after 9pm. That seems to be the uh, way I try, I, I'd actually run about in the day um, absolutely everywhere on this part of the map. And I couldn't find it at all. After 9 p.m. though is when it appears to be. So that's what we are going to do. So to get the old soldier's quest, because we need this for an achievement, specific achievement, it needs to be after 9 p.m. And then, as I said, you're going to have to basically run around um, everywhere until you find it. So now for me, I don't know if it'll be the same for everyone. Of course, it's going to be randomly. So I've obviously had a little run around already. So I've um, managed to get a couple of side quests on the go. Uh, but for me, the old soldiers was in the north part. So basically where I am now, it was in the northern part. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be the same for everyone. But obviously, just make sure that it's after nine. And then you just kind of have to go up and down every street, clearing the map quite a bit. And, um, yeah, so that's what you're going to have to do for the next, I mean, sort of maybe, hopefully, five to ten minutes or so. Uh, but once you have found it, it'll look like this. Well, not specifically like this, but in a minute, it's going to look like this. Ah, uh, get off my case, damn it. Oh, in fact, no. In fact, no. Actually, what we are going to do while we're here, um, while you're running about and you do see the blue house icon, the other blue house icon, make sure to go into that one if you haven't already uh, to get the next track access hat. Now, this is the one I talked about earlier. So you're going to have to put on a gas mask. Obviously, remember the one that specifically I found on this video was the one where we didn't have to do anything and I mentioned about needing a gas mask. This is exactly what we need to do now. So pop on a gas mask, repair the pipe. If you don't have one, of course, you can craft one, which is fine. In just a few weeks, all this yep. should just kind of waft out of here. Yeah, waft out of here, mate. So again, do your bit of looting, etc., etc. But as I said, this uh, next blue house, whatever it'll be, uh, or blue, I uh, blue marked house on the map, uh, will be somewhere in the map. So obviously, we just need to make sure to do this one as well, because of course, remember the achievement for 
Uh, there is an achievement for getting in every track access hatch. So just go into each door, do a little bit of looting, and then we can crack on with finding the old soldier's quest if you haven't already. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Come on, people. Have a sense of humor. Visit back here. So there we go then, once we've looted everything and you've popped everything into your pneumatic stash and everything like that, then, as I said, we can just crack on and go and find the old soldier's quest. Obviously, if you've already found it, just, you know, skip forward by another 30 seconds or minute or so. I'm not going to obviously spend 10 minutes on screen <laughs> running around for it because that's pointless. Plus, we should have quite a few skill points available now, so we're just going to put them all in the buffer. So we're going to get buff. So it's just under combat on the left, so buff, buffier, and bufferer. And there's going to be one more for buffist, but I don't, we, we're not going to go for that anyway. Um, so if you wanted to, you could go for the Arthur ones on the left, but we'll come back to some more skills later on. So now, as I said, like I said, if you, if you found the old soldier's quest, skip forward by about 30 seconds or so. If you're still having to look for it, obviously pause the video and look for that. So, after a good 15 minutes or so of searching, I did eventually find it. Like I said, for me, it was up the northern part of the map there. So, it's going to be in a random location, but there's been a couple of people that have said it's in the northern part. So, uh, there we go. So, what you're going to find is this house, um, ju obviously just behind a gate. It's, and again, if you look, obviously, because we're looking for it in the night, it can be very easy to just walk past. Uh, but there we go, so old soldiers, so let's crack on with it then. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to get your right bumper electric truncheon out. Make sure it is the electric trun truncheon that we have, because obviously we're not killing anyone. Of course, because we're Nez Gears. Now what I try doing is we just skip out to the right. We're going to enter in through the rear end. <laughs> um, we... Now I tried being sneaky with it, because I thought I could get away with it, but I get spotted... Very much immediately, uh, so just whack the crap out of everyone. Do it! Look! You won't get away with this. So yes, there we go. There was, I think, three downstairs. That woman comes from upstairs, so. We've just knocked everyone out. If you do hear a voice, in fact, you will hear a voice, don't worry. It's basically an old man in a wheelchair in the attic surrounded by moldy food. So, delicious stuff. 
So don't worry, nobody's going to come after you now, unless he had like a, you know, electric shotgun or something. Oof, electric shotgun. Damn. Right, so yes, we are going to obviously do all the normal looting stuff, and then we're going to start heading upstairs. So loot what you want. Um, the, the, the bell is kind of creepy. For some reason, it did kind of creep me out. Uh, otherwise, you can just go all the way in here, and this yeah, is the yeah, guy that's going to start us or give us the quest. No, no stones, and he's still alive, but barely. He's like got that. Um, you know that that thing that rabbits have? They get a bit of crink neck before they die in like a couple of days. That's what my last rabbit had, anyway. His neck went a bit, and then he died. So, right, loot what you can, and then what we're going to do is actually find his brother's house. Now, it should already be marked on the map, um, and it should be relatively close anyway. So, you know, you do your looting, and then follow that marker. I believe in you. Oh, and actually, before we leave there, if we go into the downstairs, into this room, make sure to get rid of this trap control box so we can just nip straight at the front door. If you don't, that's fine, because you can just sneak, you can just go out the back door and uh, obviously just walk around it. That's if you just want to go out the front door there. Well, clean it again. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Hello? Hello? Captain Lawrence? God damn it, alarm woke. Hopefully it wasn't as long for you. Right, so we're going to nip in through the left-hand side. You can see that nobody's in, and you can probably tell what's going to happen. Um... Now, somebody may actually follow you into this house. I know there was a doctor that followed me, the, and you can tell the doctor. They're as tall as the policeman, but they look like they... Um, they look like they just uh, hide in bushes and pounce on unsuspecting people. Yeah, weirdos. Anyway, uh, again, just in this little room, you can uh, find some letters and obviously some more things to loot, and then we can just go into that room to the right of us. And you're going to find the incredible, uh, I mean, you know where uh, the, the episode of The Simpsons where Skinner uh, doesn't die? Oh, no, the, the, this is not it. Uh, when he's trapped underneath a bunch of books and he uses a basketball to uh, sort himself out. No, nope, that doesn't work. So he's dead. So we need to, in fact, you don't need to, but we can get rid of the safe and the truncheon as well. And the farm, the, the, the flash, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, so make sure to loot the safe, grab the truncheon, so we should have two or maybe three truncheons now. So, we should be good for that. Um, just, <laughs> just getting a little heavy here, boys. Let me just uh, unload some stuff. Okay, now who's ready for another walk? Yes, we're going to have to go all the way back now. I mean, again, it's not too far, but... Man, Arthur's had enough of running. We've all had enough of running, haven't we? Yes. So, uh, yeah. It's a shame there was no Ubers in this era. Huh? This would have made things a lot easier. If more expensive. 
Anyway, run all the way back and then run all the way upstairs to the old guy, to the old rabbit crickneck guy. I did think I used to run the hundred meters. I wouldn't say that around the Sarge. Now this bit is an unintentionally Brother. funny bit because it's all like, ha, huh, yeah, oh my God, I can't believe he's dead. That's so unlucky. And then he goes dead. And then he's just, he just sort of, yeah. I mean, he's covered in maggots and filthy flies and stuff, so uh, probably better for him, but yeah. Just funny how he just sort of went, oh, I'm too late. Oh, damn it, dead. Right, so now we need to uh, it, uh, loot Thomas's footlocker. Now, we obviously couldn't do this before because he would have seen us and I assume he would have shot us. Um, but now we can. And the main reason we're doing this is to get his antique rifle. Um, there's nothing else really. To, there's, a couple, there's another empty power cell which you can get if you want, but there's nothing else really. Everything's just moldy. And, uh, I mean, that dude's going to rot. Especially with everyone else being unconscious downstairs. Man, that bell. Now that everyone's dead and unconscious in the house, the bell ringing just makes it even more creepy. So, we're going to have to go all the way back now to the other house, which is fine because that is where we are going to finally get the achievement. Supposed to be a footlocker somewhere around here. So, for whatever reason, even though we came out the front door, uh, the last time somebody's gone and locked it again. Even though there's nobody in the house. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't come through the front door. Ignore me. So what we need to do then, we can interact with the fireplace, get some stuff from the ashes if you want, and then place uh, Colonel Lawrence's antique rifle. That'll get a ladder going down so we can now climb up there. Don't go... Don't go running into the room, because you will explode. As you can see, there's a little trap wire, so grab a glass bottle. Remember to press down on the D-pad a couple of times until you get the old glass bottles of life. Left bumper to get it out. Hey, hey. And right trigger to throw it right at the trap. Stay behind the small dress if you can, and that's job done. Now we can interact with the uh, everything in here. So scotch it up. Uh, Thomas's hidden uh, footlocker, a couple of spiky bricks, and some military stuff, a first aid kit, and the main important one here is uh, the power cell, and if we interact with the radio here, this is where we're going to get the achievement for speaking to Johnny Bolton, yes, the same guy from the treehouse, who's, uh, I mean, he's, uh, I mean, slightly off his uh, bonds a little bit. So, the achievement should now unlock, like, now... Perfecto. And there we go. And since we're here, we can have a little uh, cheeky, cheeky, sleepy sleep. Get back to 7 a.m. Nice morning style. So that's all soldiers done. And that is the achievement done as well. So now we're just going to crack on then with the uh, basically the rest of the remaining side quests. So again, as I said earlier, if you don't have one or you have one more than I do or you haven't found one, it don't worry about it, it is literally just effectively for the skill points. So don't worry if you don't have a particular quest or you have one more than I do. They're very, very easy. But the one we're going to go for first is Public Works. So find Public Works if you've got it on your map and then stick in it and it's yan. I 
Hello, officer. Ho okay, what's uh, uh lovely day for it. Did you hear it? Yeah, lovely day for it, mate. Yeah, lovely day for sitting how there. My god, what's going on? We are in a time loop. We are in a crap loop. Anyway, these are the doctors. If you haven't seen a doctor yet, these are the ones that can sniff you out when you're not taking joy. And you can tell what they are. You can actually just run straight past them, giving them a bit of a wide berth. But you can tell which ones they are because they're as tall as the coppers. But they do have that weird, uh, weird prison look about them. That weird, uh, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's not talk to Colonel Stubbs. I was trying to think of something clever, and nothing has entered my mind. They just look pretty darn creepy. Right, so here we are then. So what we're going to do, obviously you need to make sure that you got some scotch with you. Um, hopefully you haven't been getting rid of the scotch. That's why you always kept it on me. So we need to bribe both of the coppers. We can jump over, press the crouch, and lock pick your way in here. Now, they might still actually get quite mad at you and try to chase you. As you can see, they seen me, but they didn't actually do anything. So you can just open, close, and get back. And again, this, as I said, is a very easy one. Um, we are going to put our gas mask on. Forgot to do that one. Make sure to put your gas mask on. Have a little loot of everything that you can in here. Just, just... Hey, shove you, man. And then what we're going to do, I don't have a repair kit. So as we see, we're going to go to uh, tools. And there you see the repair kit at the top. The sort of fourth one down. Um, you should have way more than enough metal bits and duct tape by now. So just, uh, I end up just crafting a couple. Because you never know when they're going to come in handy. As they always do. So once that's done, you can actually repair this. Now we could got to just go ahead and open all the windows. So Y and X to unlock and open. And that's that. That's how easy that one is. Now we get another couple of skill points then as well. So, of course, uh, we'll take the gas mask off now. We're all good. A bit of a uh, splooge on the floor right there. Lovely. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to loot everything that you can. And if you don't have any power cells, but you've got some empty power cells on you, you can actually now use that with the metanium to uh, unlock yourself. Or um, uh, get a power cell. There is a dig spot here as well. Not sure if that's always there or if it's random. Uh, but have a look absolutely everywhere. So again, you should have plenty of power cells. A good couple. But if not, just get one of your empty ones and put it, uh, put it in the... Um, Motiline, metaline, whatever it's called. Dispenser. So with that one done, they're all good. We can just crack on out of here now. And the next, what are we going to do? do is we're going to do ed goes downer again this is a very a very easy one it'll take seconds you'll just have to run for a little bit afterwards only a tiny bit so uh, once that's done find if you've got ed goes downer we're going to go ahead and do that one Getting old. Well, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> right, so to do this one then, all we need is a crash syringe. Now, if you don't have one on you, you can just look in the medical supplies here, take them all, and then give the old heart attack lady, the old Edith, get stabbed to the chest. And she'll stop doing the Michael Jackson dance in on the floor. Apparently, that's a heart attack. That is definitely more Michael J dancing. And uh, you can't skip the cutscenes, so you'll just have to watch this one. I had a heart attack, I think. Oh, goodness. Why is everything so grey? I feel so... sad. Thank God you've recovered. Here, take some joy. But uh, I think the joy is what set me off. The moment I took it this time, I started to shake. Well, you can't just stop taking joy. You want to become a downer? I can't. Something's gone wrong with me. I can't tolerate it anymore. 
Look at her eyes. She's completely off her joy. Miss Minturn, you simply must take your joy. Oh my God, look at the goddamn smile on that doctor. <laughs> right, so uh, what they're going to do is actually beat the crap out of her now. Uh, so, <laughs> so she literally just... <laughs> Sorry, and there's the doctor who can uh, sense that I haven't taken joy, so just run away. Uh, but yeah, what was kind of weirdly funny about that was... Um, she's like, oh, let me just catch my breath a minute and then I'll take one. One second later, they decide to try and bash her head in. That's very unlucky, Edith, Edie. I'm very sorry for you. That was just so silly. Right, anyway, now we're going to crack on with the main quest here called the two... Um, I thought it was mushrooms, but it's not two mushrooms, is it? It's two musketeers. So that is what we're going for. And what we're actually going for, we are going to find... Um, if we have a look over on the left, there's like uh, two wooden boards that we can sneak under. But there is a doctor that is patrolling up and down. Now... I would highly advise waiting for him to come back towards you and then nipping off. And the reason being, there's a copper around the other side who ends up chasing us and he throws like an electric ball at you or something. Uh, so, as a lot of, again, this is obviously providing you've got the skill as well. Once you've taken him out, just quickly run up and quickly jump into the window. So don't do what I done. I thought he, to be honest, I thought he just tried to, uh, would just try to hit me. But he's going to throw something at us now. Oh, yeah, that sounds quite electric -y. So get yourself in the window and then knock on the door. And there's going to be a, a bit of a long cut scene. We can skip it, but it's a long cut scene with White oh, Sally. Just uh, making sure that he's gone and knock the door. Yeah, try not to. Is that it? Get me, get me. So. Once we have done, uh, you can either watch the cutscene or you can go ahead and press B to skip. So that's the two musketeers done. Now, the copper will come inside, but... <laughs> sorry. But providing you have... Um, I mean, if you're in the same situation as me, he won't actually... <laughs> We're trespassing, but, you know... He's, he's not going to care. He's just coming up for a look and uh, thank God for that. Right, so anyway, that that's that. If you were better than me, that didn't even probably just happen for you. So we're all good. Right, so next up then, we are going to go and do the... Uh, now, I didn't even bother with the impatient persons one. Um, <clears throat> so I don't actually know. But next, we're going to do some of the parts side quest. So find it wherever it is on your map and get that one done. And there is also that Angie Jubilism, whichever one that is. That's in like a, a dark, in, in like a back alley, that side quest. But anyway, get some of the parts and get that going. What a douchebag! Why am I going to run 500 meters when I can just go home to my access hatch and make it less meters? Good idea, Cal. Good idea. Eventually.
Yeah, so again, always just like to have a look, make sure I haven't killed anyone. And this is where it is. So this is why we needed a full power cell, at least one, because you can just pop that one in. And job done. Now make sure that, uh, so obviously if you didn't look at the cutscene there with Sally, she has given us uh, Sunshine Pills, which is basically a fake joy. Uh, so it gives the, um, the lasers the sensation that we're on joy, but we're actually not. And you'll find that under drugs, of course. So there we go. She's given you five Sunshine Pills. So take one of them. Strange. How strange, mate. And then press the button. Yeah, boy. Could have done with these a lot earlier, but that's okay. I guess I guess we're fine. Right, so um, a bench is going to threaten me now. Even though it's supposed to be a police officer, but um, it, a wall on a bench decided to threaten me. So, uh, yeah, don't know what happened there, but... Hmm. Because he's supposed to be standing right by the door. So, screw you, bench. I'll kick your ass. Right, what are you going to do? Wait for the copper there to just nip past so you can get the worker's key card. And then turn around and interact with this shutter here. So pop the worker's key card in. And then in we go. Not a lot to loot. Uh, tiny, uh, tiny little bits. But the main thing is uh, what you're doing is the button over there. Now, for me, the door was already open. But it might not be for you. So that's why we do that anyway. A couple of file cabinets to loot, and we're going to get rid of the trap as well. Traps are not so bad, um, but it's worth just, you know, not getting your ass handed to you, huh? Right, so, nip it on through to the other room. And what we need is just in the boot of this car. Now, hopefully, if there is just one cop and he's uh, not, and he's looking the other way, obviously, hopefully, then you can just go ahead, pick it up. No problems for me. Two cops come over, kick the car, and then I end up getting caught anyway. But that is what we need in the suitcase. And then what we need to do, so if you accidentally do get caught like me, um, you need to run up the stairs all the way around and then crawl through the hole. The jig is up! Right! I'm done for me around! <laughs> See? Piece of cake! And since we're not done, we need to go and find somewhere to hide. So if you got caught like me, find somewhere to hide. Otherwise, um, next up I'm going to be doing the An Angie Damji Jubilism quest. I'm getting old. I see you! You're coming with me! Look at him! There they are! He's covered Stop in them. blood! Did you hear something? I think I see the killer! Why aren't you happy? Look, they've got blood on their ass. He did it. I don't need it. Anyone to help you build that camera? Hey! Downer! Let dog! Ah, douchebag! You hit me in the leg! God, thank God for that. Stupid people and they're stupid chasing me and they're stupid stuff. Right, so as I said, uh, if you don't have it, of course, don't worry about it too much. Uh, but we are going to be going for the, uh, yeah, that one, anti-jubilism or whatever it's called. Uh, again, very, very easy one. Um, as long as you've got a Jimmy bar on you. So we're going to head for that quest now. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. You can take your joy in the evening. Oh, I wish I kept in shape. Oof.
Now, I'm not sure if a gas mask is necessary because of all the, the uh, what looks like fog or whatever it is surrounding it. We are just going to pop one on just in case. Angie, uh, yeah, I can't, it's, man, I'm blinder than a blind thing. So there we go, pop on the gas mask, just to be on the safe side, you know, we don't want to die, do we? And all we got to do then is simply, eventually, with there's a little hatch here at the back, so we're going to hold the Y button to force it open with the Jimmy bar, and then, obviously we should already have the extraction device from Dr. Faraday, so... Try and find the prompt on this little button here. It, it may take a little while, so just keep spamming the white button and eventually you'll get it. And once that's done, ta -da! nice and cheesy does it, mate? That's the quest complete, and that's another couple of skill points for basically nothing. So, job done. So now we can carry on again and again and again and again and again. Yeah. And so what we are going to do again then is actually crack on with a bit of the main story quest now. So it should already be, um, well, it should already be there for you. Hayworth Labs, that's where we are off. Obviously, we all know it's going to be random for you. So uh, if it's easier, go into a track access hatch and run there and, well, you know the drill. Um, but we're going to do a couple of missions of the main quest. And then we're actually going to start doing the... Uh, butcher's side quests for an achievement, which we will do in just a few main quest time. But for now, head up here. Whoa, that was, uh, I don't know what happened there. That wasn't an edit. That was something entirely different. But anyway, head up to the intercom. And then we basically, after this one, we have to head back to our old newspaper ting. So it should now... Uh, yeah, well, let's just give it a minute. Wait until uh, Arthur stops Jammering on, yammering on for a minute. And there we go. So we got the quest now. Start spreading the news. And we're obviously going to find that. Again, could be anywhere. But for me, luckily, it's just next to this track access hatch. So, uh, but wherever it is for you, that's where we're going to head next. Clever of them to pave the tracks with good intentions. Doesn't kill you. <sighs> okay, let's spread them. Spread them, everyone. So when we get in, then we've got a little couple of things to do. Now, do close the door there, just in case a receptionist does come back. She shouldn't, but just in case. Now, what we have to do is head into the kitchen here on the left, and we basically got to make some coffee. So you're going to find a whole bunch of coffee beans. We need at least four. Uh, so just uh, loot every cupboard, and there's a nice slice of pie as well. Somebody's going to be real pissed when they realise their delicious homemade pie's gone missing. In my gut! <laughs> anyway, once you've grabbed all the coffee beans, um, we need a power cell. If you need one, if you turn around and have a look here on the left on these filing cabinets, you can grab one if you don't have any. Um, you can have a look through the filing cabinets as well, but there's nothing in the majority of them. So we can just go ahead, press white to place the power cell, and we can hold X there to get the coffee going. Now that is going to make everyone go, oh, <laughs> very happy with that one. And then what we have to do is, now this cop is going to do basically a whole walk around. So as long as everyone's in the kitchen, and he is not, and the, as long as the cop's sort of around the area that we are, uh, we can then just choke him out, and he's getting a bit twitchy there, so that's my bad. Basically, as long as he's not standing by the kitchen where he was the first time. Because obviously everyone will see, and they'll kick her ass. So we can grab that uh, newspaper worker reporter thing, just checking there's no one else here. 
and then we can head to the left and go through this door. If for whatever reason you don't manage to get it, if you go into the other door, there's a vent that you can go into to get up here. Right, so we're going to head straight and go up the stairs. Nice twirly stairs, I'll knock you out after a while. Head all the way to the opposite end, take a left, and ta-da! There is yet more mask. The Germans. Z. Where is it? Is it Z? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, somewhere in Germany. <laughs> right, so once we have that mask, again, you can have a little loot around if you want, have a little look around, but generally there's not much, so uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't bother wasting my time here, so we're just going to head down. Then immediately on the left, knock on the door to speak to Mrs. Maggie Elephant. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you... And there we go. Then once you have spoken to Mrs. Ellie Ollie 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 Oi, Fant, we can just head downstairs. Now we've got to do a little bit of, uh, well, not sneaking here. We should be good here. What we need to do is interact with Gemma's desk, the one with a bunch of papers on it. There we go. Gemma Olsen, investigative reporter. And there we go. A uh, couple, couple of uh, bits of paper there you can have a look at if you want, but uh, not totally important. So now we are going to go ahead and head to the next main quest, which is obviously going to be the Cub Reporter's house. It's Gemma's house. So again, obviously check where it is on the map and get your nut over there, sad. Let me see. Nah, probably didn't need another 14 of those jabs, but eh, you never know. We got money to blow, yo. That's coming from Gemma's house. Right, so here is Gemma's house. The front door is obviously locked, so we're going to go around the side, and we're about to get shoved down. <laughs> Douchebag, you pushed me down. Anyway, um, we can't get in there yet. That will be the exit for us. So there's a lot of things we're going to look at. Plus, we're just going to go ahead and loot a whole bunch of stuff, if you prefer. Again, you know, it's, it's always worth doing a bit of looting now and again, but it's not sort of as important as it was uh, basically the beginning of the game. Um, but of course you can have a look, there's no enemies or anything in here for now, so we're just chilling, killing, smoking some bird. Swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock you all off. So, fortunately for us, and luckily for him, he's gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> Doucheberg. Um, a couple of things you can loot in here if you wish. And that alarm really does get on your tits after a while. Yeah. Anyway, before heading that that door's jammed, but before heading to the right and up, we're going to grab this short spike on the ground. Have a look at the toolbox as well. Hopefully you get some good bits in there. And then what we're going to do is, uh, well, there's the small dresser. And then what we need to do is sprint up the stairs and then disable the trap without hopefully getting shocked. I do get shocked twice. So take an immediate right and right again. And then we need to pick the door. And we are going to get our way in, but I do get... Yes, son of a... Yeah, there we go. So once that's done, close the door, and then we can interact with the trap up here, or the trap controls box. And that'll chill out the friggin' noise. In a few days. Thank God. Right, a couple of things to grab. Obviously, as usual, dresses and bleaches and shovels and stuffles, mechanical bittles and cloth scraps and chisels. So, 
once you've looted everything you want, what we're going to do is go into the door here on the left next to the bed. We'll unlock that, open it up, uh, grab a duct tape and some more things in here. And then another cutscene is going to begin where we are going to see Gemma being taken away by the weird perv doctors. Oh, you're not a reporter anymore, hon. You're in captivity. Um, right, so, yeah, we will smash out the desk. We're actually going to head back downstairs now and go into the room that we couldn't previously access. Some more scotch. Can't beat a good 20 bottles of scotch in your inventory. Um, so, yeah, we are going to head into this room and in through this vent. And there's a couple of things here. In fact, we uh, get to know a secret about Gemma right now. As it turns out, she's quite the kinky devil. Rubber cat suit, the tickler, the reform club. Well, well, well. I'm not sure if I want to know. Well, I kind of do now. So let's go to the reform club. When we rescue her, of course. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's rescue her first. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Right, so once we head downstairs after looting everything that she can, there's going to be the cutscene here, and then we are going to... I don't, think Dr. Like uh, I don't think Dr. V would like that. Oh, the, the British posh. English posh. Right, so they can't get in, so don't worry about that. Um, so loot. Again, loot everything that you want to loot. Definitely have a look in the safe. There's usually some goodies in here. And a dig spot. Now, I don't know why I really want this 45 p.m. record, um, but, yeah, apparently I really wanted it. <laughs> I couldn't grab it. Anyway, once you've grabbed everything that you can, if you have a look to your right, you can obviously see the evidence board. Hold the X button on the evidence board, and that is what will progress the story. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. So once we've done that and we're heading through the vent, we're actually going to have to make a run for it now because uh, doctors and coppers are going to be after us. So uh, we're going to grab uh, just a couple of berries. And then what we need to do is see how far we are away from the closest access hatch. Uh, so for me, it is pretty close, but for some reason I get almost confusing Dilly Lost twice. Um, so, yeah, the track access hatch obviously is going to be just below us, so I'm just planning out my route. But this is where we are going to make a break for it, so no point in stopping and fighting, because this is going to happen every time. So just boot it to your nearest track access hatch. There he is! Get him, man! That's the guilty bugger right there! There he is! Look at him, man! There he is! See, twas just a scratch on the back of my head. Ouch. Okay, right, since we have got here, we're all good. Uh, again, I almost got confused as to where I was going a couple of times, so we're going to stash what we can stash, and then we're going to uh, take a little snoopy snoop until the morning. Thank you. 
Oh. Oh. Your move, Sandman. Ah, delicious. What a nice sleep. Of course, when you have kids, you forget what a nice sleep is. Um, or you forget what a lay-in is, anyway. Unless, of course, you lock them out of your bedroom. But then that's probably not very nice. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do now, we should have the main quest. I sing the body electric. So that is what we're going to go for. Uh, make sure to grab your boiler suit. If you haven't got it in your inventory already, just make sure to grab your boiler suit because we are going to need it um, in order to fool some workers just before we explode them. Spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, so obviously we are going to once again just head for the main quest waypoint. Jesus. Oh my God. Right then, so we did get there eventually. So, yep, just before we go in then, obviously make sure that you have your boiler suit equipped and ready to go. The, the suit that kind of looks like a crop top, so look, kind of looks like Arthur's uh, belly's showing. Who is a belly dancer? Oh, right. Oh. Yes. Of course we do. It's what we do, bro. So anyway, once we have skipped it, just go ahead. In front of you is the valve, which we are going to turn. And then this is where explosions happen. Immediately take a run to your right as soon as the cutscene ends. And then you will automatically just do that. But luckily, we don't get exploded. When Dad was banging on the plumbing. And somehow they are just unconscious as well, so that works out well. Right, normally it's this guy here in the middle that has the worker's key. Uh, the rest of them don't actually have anything on them. So, whichever one has the key in. Oh, he looks happy to be unconscious, doesn't he? Ah, nice, nice bit of sleep. Nice bit of sleep, you know. And then we got some undergroundy stuff to do again. Okay, uh, oh, actually, pop your gas mask on. That's where uh, Arthur Boy's choking, sorry. <laughs> so pop your gas mask on and then we're all happy as Larry. So you can interact with the crate here. There's one crate, uh, a couple of coffee beans once again. And then what we're going to do is head down. And then we're going to take a right through this door. Have a little loot through all of the maintenance lockers again. So once you have filled your boots and you're all good, interact with the vent here. We're going to give it a little crawl through. Now if you go to the right of where we just came out, there's basically at the end, there's a um, some kind of meat. I think it's victory meat. Uh, so you can grab that if you want, but if you don't care, we can just go ahead, interact with this guy's note. And we can interact with the guy as well. I don't think he's got anything on him. No, no, nothing. We're not going through fire, so we're going to go through into this next room here on the right, and there should be three switches to redirect the uh, mo modeline. Uh, so there's two, and the third one's going to be here. Make sure not to, you know, smash yourself up in the fire. Uh, another piece of note there, if you want to grab that. Head to where the wires are going, and then we can just go ahead and push the button after you grab these notes as well. Again, those notes are not entirely necessary, but if you're up for a good story... Uh, then, yeah, it's pretty much worth doing. So once you press the button, um, apprentice... Now, you can tell who's an apprentice and who's not. Who's been there for years are miserable and will tell you that they're going to quit soon and then never actually do, and the apprentices skip merrily, thinking nothing can go wrong until they are in the uh, shoes of the other guy, 20 years later, saying, I hate this job, but then never actually quit. So, once the power has been redirected, you can actually take your uh, gas mask off now if you want. You should be all good. Uh, pull the lever, and we're going to head down. So, what we'll do now is hold the Y button to pick up 
Uh, I mean, he's pretty damn dead. But we're going to pick him up, and we're just going to throw him onto the electrex there to stop it so we can nip through. There is a little note on the floor here to the left, so grab that if you wish. Then just do the same thing. Grab this guy, who is also pretty damn dead. And throw him onto the old lecky lecky as well. And then we can just skip merrily through like the apprentice, knowing that we ain't gonna die. Right, so there's a payphone here. You can get a couple of sovereigns. A um, couple of things to loot on the right. And there's a bathroom actually on the left. So we're just gonna do some loot in there. Poisoned the muffins. They even on joy people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. So always get some good goodies in these bathrooms. Uh, so that's it for everything. Then we can just head straight down the stairs. And we are going to take a left through this door. Uh, again, there's only a couple of sort of lootables in here and everything. So if you want, grab what you want from the room that you want. And then we're going to go sleeping, sleep now in the fire. Yeah, Rage Against the Machine stuff. Yeah, awesome. Right, take a left in this vent. Um, I, do, I do love Rage Against the Machine. Top band, top band. Right, into the other side then. Um, there is one crate on the right. So, again, we might as well snap that open. A canteen, a breaker, and some coffee binds. Nice, nice. Right, so what we're going to do now is basically go to the right here, climb up the platforms. You're going to have to do a bit of running and jumping, um, but it's, yeah, not too bad. Basically, you ain't going to die if you fall. It's just a minor inconvenience. Right, let's open up the vent, crawl our way through. And what do we get the other side? Well, we get quite a couple of good things. Turn around, and what you're going to see on this desk, uh, we're basically looking for three pieces of evidence, and they're effectively all in this room. Uh, so there's the first one, there's a payphone there, which we can just get some more sovereignies. And then if we head to the opposite side of the room, right here, we're going to get another couple of the evidences and have a bit of searching search. Encouraging. And when people sound encouraging and Oh, and to get the third one, you need to ro rotate this wheel, and Arthur's going to be like, Damn, there shouldn't be so many red lights, yo. Um, and this just reminds me of the Simpsons Halloween episode, where, you know, it's Y2K and everything starts falling, and they end up on a spaceship to Mars, where they uh, to the sun when they thought he was going to Mars. Right, so we ain't getting out the way we just came, but we are going to use the Jubilator. Now, of course, we did do a, a side quest with this earlier. Now we're going to do the main quest and pull. So we're going to pull this lever. Try not to electric and cute yourself. Get into the jubilator. And it's it's kind of like a cutscene where you don't do much, but there's basically three buttons that you can press to suck things. <laughs> uh, you can beep your horn, and on the right-hand bottom side, you can go faster. Uh, but it's basically just a minute before we end up stopping. Automatically. Oh no! Noi. Right, so, how do we open it? I'll tell you. So exit the vehicle, uh, turn to your right, and you should see the security checkpoint, so we can head up here. Um, we do not need to do a couple of things, actually, so we can pull the lever and just nip straight back to the jubilator. This time, uh, it's going to go automatically, and we going to crash. Somebody get him some milk. 
Oh shit! Ah! Oh, ech, no, ech. What are we going to do, ech? Right, so we do have quite a bit to do in this area. The Great Stink. No, it's not me this time. It's probably you. Yeah, <laughs> just joking. I love you. Right, anyway, there's that. It's basically a, a tuba pipe. It's very, very future armor-ish. So what we're going to do, when we drop down, we are going to run straight ahead. There's going to be a little bit of a cutscene, but when we regain control of Arthur, we are going to run and just immediately go to the right here. Um, now, for me... He didn't, this jubilator actually didn't come and run us over. Um, but it might just nip through the door for you. So, yeah. Just be aware of that one. But once we get into the door, there is the next mask. The swimming mask. So, we have picked that one up. So, that's again, that's the only reason that we are heading into this room. And, of course, we're going to go up to the right anyway. So, I lied. Right. So, again, do a little bit of looting if you wish. Then what we need to do, so right in front of us, there's a whole sort of line of jubilators that are going past. And there is um, some air shooting out of the vents. So if you go into that if you go into that air vent, it just pushes you out and you've got to come back. So time it well. So wait until a jubilator goes past. Then hold this uh, valve. And then immediately just sprint to the right. Sprint to the right just before the air vents get going again. I did actually just make that. So you don't really have a lot of time. And then here is the first control. So that one is done. And have a little loot again, if so wishings. Right, so this time then we can actually just head to the left and get blown off. How could you let me grow if you don't let me blow? No, wait. Ah, crap it, I said it wrong. Anyway, we are back into the main area. Don't worry about that jubilator. We're going to head to the left where it says lube and suction. It's just making it too easy now. Uh, so once we can lube and suction, what we're actually going to do is put our gas mask back on. We need to get lubed up for this. Um, <laughs> so what we'll do is head straight in front of us. And you can see a whole bunch of stuff to steal. A couple of duct tapes and... Uh, electrified shockers and stuff like that. That'll be all good. More duct tape. Nice. So, what we need to do from here then, if you turn around from where we just were, head straight up and we can interact with the first valve wheel. Once that one is done, we're going to drop down, take a left, uh, don't go through, straight through the exit, take a left here, and then climb over these other pipes. There is one to the right of us, but we'll just uh, continue forward and get this one. And then we can head back and get the third one done. There we go, boys. Daddy. Noisy, slicey. Okay, so what we'll do is head to the right, and then we can actually interact with the second switch. Uh, well, almost second switch, actually, because the second switch is actually in here. But what we'll do when we open the door, head to the right, and we're going to grab a shock grenade. This will come in mega handy for us in just a bit. And then head to the opposite side. And then there is the actual one second more. switch. So, one more to go. Right, nice. So from here, head to the right, down to the exit, basically back the way we came. Again, there should be no jubilators there. It should be already. Um, so we go into the end door. The end-ish door. We're going to take a right up to the communication headquarters. I sort of... Yeah. I sort of recognise this place. Looks like my nan's ass. Or something. So anyway, we can get a workbench upgrade kit to the uh, top left there. And then if we head back, there's going to be a note. And then we can actually just head up this elevator... And somehow I managed to glitch myself out and fall, so let's try that again. Right, pull yourself up, there we go. Now what you can do is head towards the steam and you can actually just crouch under it. Obviously don't get blown off by it, it's not the good blow that we want. Uh, again, just having a cheeky little look, make sure that I have no deaths still. Again, always worth checking.
Okay, that's good. Nitten, natten, nada. Right, so stay crouched. You can pick up a gas mask and you can also... Oh, God. So we're going to loot this guy for his key card, but he is pretty damn dead. There ain't no getting out of that when your legs are stuck in the walls. Uh, so we can actually pull this to go higher uh, once you've grabbed the key card and everything from down there. Uh, crouch under these steam pipes, and this is actually the third uh, lever. So now we can actually just head back down, so we can drop down. And just for, you know, ankles, breaking your ankles sake, we'll pull the lever back down there, the elevator. Right, so from here, we're going to go straight in front of us. And it's going to be like a kind of a mini boss, but it's actually extremely easy. So we'll just head straight in front of us. And after the cutscene, what we're going to need to do is immediately run to the left. Because the jubilator is going to pop through. And, uh, yeah, so immediately run to the left. And you're safe. Aha! What a douchebag! <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> but we'll beat his ass in just a bit. So, ooh, nice power cell there for us. Head up more of these steps and again we're going to do a little bit of looting in this area uh, also what's actually going to be important if you didn't manage to grab that shock grenade earlier there are another two that we can grab here so if we go into the other room the spare parts room right in front of us there is a shock grenade and another one will pop down too so you can grab that one so you should have three the queen or the king, although the, the king's probably going to, he's got the big C, so save the prince? I don't know, just abolish it all, abolish it all. We, we don't need governments and stuff, <laughs> I don't think. Nah, we don't, do we? Or we need someone who actually wants to look after the British people, that'd be nice. Anyway, this isn't a politic argument. So what we are going to do, make sure to press down all the way on the D-pad until it says shock grenade, of course. And then press the left bumper to get it out. Wait until the jubilators are a bit far away. Give it a throw. Right by the side of it should destroy it. And then you're all good. So that's job done. So all you've got to do is actually look at the jubilator in order to talk to Mr. Hangy Hangy guy right there. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was... Yeah, as you can see, I was pretty darn stupid right there. Uh, <laughs> so once you have talked to that guy, we can actually head back up to the room, basically where we got the shock grenades and everything. Or, or just the room before it. So uh, take a left, and we are actually going to head out now and get this main quest done. So, head straight up the ladder, and there we go. Like I said, next we are going to get an achievement for doing the Butcher's side quests uh, for the Apprentice. So, that one will be gooder than good. Uh, and obviously it is in St. George's home. It's actually one of the... Uh, one of the impatient persons. So, as you can see, I've got three impatient people to speak to. One of those impatient persons is going to be the Butcher's Apprentice side quest. So that's what we're going to do. But for now, let's just go ahead and turn in this main quest. We'll laugh about this later. Yeah, look at these bunch of lazy gits now. They're still... Still drinking coffee. That must that coffee must be old as here right now. Terribly busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shut. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Well, I guess we finally got rid of the Great Stink. Bit of air freshener, and we're all done. Great Stink's done. Right. So we are just going to do a... Uh, tell you what. Do you guys ever do any work? Get the hell out! Anyway, as I said, we are now going to do... 
the, in fact, we're not going to do the Hayworth Labs next one. We're actually going to go to one of these three impatient persons. Now, even if you got one, or you got two, or you got three, if you interact with and talk to one of these impatient people, this will start where the side quests, and these are specifically needed for an achievement. Um, for it's uh, the achievement called the Slaughter's Apprentice, uh, Apprentice, and that is for completing the Butcher's side quest. So that is what we're actually going to start doing. So again, we've just nipped into, or I've just nipped into a access hatch. We are going to need to grab a couple of items. Basically, this fight against five guys coming up. Of course, what we need is to not kill them. Uh, so what I do highly recommend is grabbing some caltrops and some vomit bombs as well. Now, basically, when you throw a vomit bomb, it obviously makes all the guys uh, throw up, which and then you can get behind them and kick their ass. Uh, so definitely worth grabbing a couple of them. Um, have a little bit of food or drink on you as well, just for a bit of... Extra stamina boost always comes in handy. And make sure that you've got one or two electric truncheons, which we should have as well. And then that should be all golden. But the main one really to win this fight without being uh, without being beaten up too badly is, like I said, caltrops. They always work, but vomit bombs are the best one. Uh, two or three may only be needed. Um, I brought five just in case. But uh, yeah. And make sure, like I said, you've got a bit of food or drink, because we are going to do... Uh, we are going to take one or two of those things, just for an extra bit of stamina. I think that's all good. I think we're all done. Yep. Everybody happy? Then let's do it. So, like I said, whatever the impatient person is on your map, just head straight there. Doesn't matter which one you speak to first, as the quest will all start the same. Getting old. I don't think the train comes here anymore. The train? Oh, uh, because of the. And that is just a very awesome, uh, awesome little Easter egg there for <laughs> Superb Meat Boy, which is definitely not a play on words for Super Meat Boy. Anyway, uh, pop that on your quest. And then we will go ahead and investigate. So we actually need to go to the other two waypoints now. Again, they're obviously going to be somewhere random on the map for you. So just go to them. And one of these women are going to be called Fanny. And for some reason, that just makes me laugh. Ah, fond memories cowering from the bombs with an and Percy. Are you waiting for someone? The butcher's boy. He's a bit slow, but he's usually right on the dock. <laughs> Shit.
Maybe I should sit down for a bit. There she is, boys, old Fanny. Well, just round the corner. There she is. What's happening, old fan dogs? Now, why, why, why would you call your kid Fanny, knowing that a Fanny is a front, the woman's front butt? And why do Americans call Fanny a bum, or is that just a bum bag, a fanny pack? Either way, everyone knows that a Fanny is a woman's front garden area. Why call it anything else? That's that's just... Uh, da, 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 I don't know. Anyway, don't ever call your daughter Fanny or your son Dick. Uh, or, I mean, uh, for some reason, Willie seems to be fine. Hey, Willie. Only in America, I think. But, uh, yeah, Fanny's just... Fanny's just too funny. Anyway, what we have to do now, then, is obviously head to the next waypoint. So, again, whatever it may appear... You on the map, let's stop talking about fannies and wieners uh, names. And this is so basically when we get to the to the point, obviously that is where we are going to just get ourselves a little bit prepared and get some vomit bombs or caltrops or whatever you've got. You can buy some from shops or some of the shady dealers and stuff that are about, um, but it is definitely worth doing. Uh, vomit bombs or caltrops. Now, this is the area. So what we're going to do, we're also going to make a save. Very important, actually, to make a save here. Because if you do get beaten up, you'll start a long way back. But if you do have to reload for whatever reason, you will just start on uh, a bench, which is directly in front of this alleyway. So that's all good. So make sure then that you've got your vomit bombs on the uh, uh, down on the D-pad. Make sure you've got them ready. Then, of course, you can press the left bumper to get them out. Um, now, I did actually get my ass beat the first time, so I did have to restart it, uh, which is fine. But again, as I said, we're also going to eat some food and drink a nice coffee or a nice cup of tea. The British way, in order to get our stamina raised, you know. Okay, so if you're ready, let's do it. So get your vomit bomb out straight away and then immediately down down by the feet of him, give him a smash. I missed one, but that's fine. Now what I would do again is get up behind and just target sort of one at a time or two if you can get that one. Once they've all stopped again, just chuck another one down. Uh, I accidentally chucked two down, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and kick the rest of the acid. Hey, what the hell? Dude just punched a crap out of me. But yeah, so that's... Hopefully, oh, and I missed this guy apparently as well, uh, but hopefully it is as easy as that. Now, the first time, somehow, I, I don't know how I got my butt beat, uh, he'll run away, so that's fine. And always remember, if you need some stamina, just run away until uh, some appears, and then we're all good. Anyway, what we can do now is you should have a prompt now to talk to Ed, the male boy. Um... Now, in the past, there have been apparently some glitches where it hasn't happened, so you may might have had, you may have to reload if you don't get the prompt to talk to Ed, Arthur. Uh, you may have to just reload, do the fight again, and then hope the prompt appears. But if it appears first time, it's all good. We're gonna grab these meat deliveries, and this little crying wiener man we have to pick up and take to the nearest pub as well. So this once again is going to be a piece of randomness. So we have to drop off the three pieces of meat to Fanny and the fr <laughs> to uh, Fanny and the Ani and the rest of them. Uh, plus, we also have to drop him off at a specific pub, which could be around this area, which luckily it was for me. Or if you're unlucky, it may be in the completely other area. And yeah, you actually have to pick him up and carry him. There's no way you can fast travel. You can't run. So hopefully it won't be such a long journey for you, but it might be. Uh, so like I said, the first delivery for me is just around the corner. So whatever it is for you, hopefully it's quite close. Just deliver that first, Mr. Meat Boy. Care of him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere in Germany or Russia. Is that very far away? Yes. Is it very cold there? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Arthur? Arthur! Well, I think I have a package for you. Arthur! Yeah, this is it. Oh, please! No! 
Daddy Elman, I'm coming back. Jesus said. Oh, God. Chill your balls, dude. My God. Right, so what we can do now is actually go into the quests. And we are going to put down uh, Plowboy's Lunch. Now, this is the one where we basically have to drop him off at a pub. And like I said, for me, luckily, uh, it was in the same area. So, again, if you're unlucky and it goes into the other area, you're just going to have to walk quite a bit longer. Um, but if uh, you, you, you're just as lucky as me, hopefully it'll be around the corner and you can drop him off and at least you can sprint and fast travel. Bloody Ed. Use your arms, mate. You've got two arms, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, oh. It's all boarded up. Oh my God. That's all boarded up. But I was actually trying to look at the man who is sitting on the bench backwards. Man, this joy is really screwing people up. The fucking gain somehow. So here we are then at the Golden Calf. Now, they're obviously not, this obviously wasn't um, named after my calves because I've got the no calves, which is depressing. Um, so once you have dropped them off, there you go, mate, we'll search you out. And there's a guy just taking a whiz in the background because why not? If you got to go, you got to go. Uh, hello, you may. Uh, and that's it for this area. So all we got to do now is uh, simply Fast travel to the other two waypoints and drop off the next bit of meat. So Fanny wants your meat. So if you want to give your meat to Fanny, then uh, <laughs> well, I'm, she, she's open for business. She wants your meat. Uh, you know what I mean. Filthy animals. What interesting things you smell when you barely see. I've got your package. You are a dear. And here's a package for the butcher. Sorry about the weight. Oh, that's a relief. And this is for him. Mushrooms? Oh, no, dear. I supply him with the very freshest meat. Anyone can put a trap where they like to run, you see. So Fanny supplies him with her freshest meat as well, does she? Man, this is getting too... It's just too... Just stop, okay? Just stop. Right, so we <laughs> now need to head to the uh, waypoint again, wherever it is on the map for you, and go ahead and just talk to the butcher. Save a bit for the next minute. You must take your joy immediately. You must take your joy immediately. So remember to press X to talk rather than press the Y button to barter. So we need to talk. And then he's going to give us a another quest. We just, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll just skip it out. There we go. Right. So now we have to find this heinous package. Now, if you have a couple of bottles of scotch on you, this is highly recommended. Because there is two police officers that guard said package. And there's always two or potentially even three walking around. So uh, hopefully you've got a good couple of bottles of scotch on you. If not, you know, you probably put them in your... Um, in your thing. In your... You know, when we get here and into your package thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, go ahead. Find the waypoint.
where Jack Worthing, that's me, answers your letters and questions about our lives. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. <laughs> bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. So once we get around the corner here, this is where the suspicious package is. It is right in the flowers. So any cops that are walking around, like I said, I, I always carry 10 plus scotch bottles on me just in case. And you probably found a whole bunch as well. Uh, so every copper that you see walking around this area, just give them a nice little, uh, nice little present. Because why not get absolutely steaming on duty? But that night, guys. The way I was to do eh? All you need to know, my dear, is that I feel as fond of you. I just want you to know that I appreciate you're a good man, Constable. We'll just go and have a sip of the old medicinal. Okay, let's just have a little look around, make sure everyone is drunk. Yes, they are. Right, so all you gotta do, you don't actually have to crouch, that's fine. All you can do is just stand up and grab the heinous package from the flower bed since everyone's so drunk they can't even tell what you're doing. Uh, oh, look at this son of a d Get the hell away! Drink! And go throw up somewhere, bruh. Whoopsie. Right, so once you've grabbed it, so for some reason, even though we've grabbed it from here, uh, we may be caught, but uh, in the case of uh, carrying an obvious looking dead body in uh, on our shoulder, apparently nobody gives a crap. Now again, unfortunately for me, uh, this was quite a way away, so it's going to take me about four or five minutes to walk here. So what uh, I'm going to do is just quickly go ahead and edit the video so we just get to the point where we need to get to the point. I can't remember what happened next. I think we beat him, but I can't remember if we killed him or not. Do you know who he was and did we kill him? Uh, do you know why we're chasing him? Well. And just like magic, I made it in no time at all. Anyway. Wherever the butchers is for you, he is going to be, the heinous package is going to be around an alleyway. So, I'm just trying to avoid the joy detector person. Eh, eh, give we. There we go. So, we can just go ahead, drop it in the um, wheelbarrow, and then we can go in and speak to the butcher again. What's your pleasure, then? Arthur Hastings! You are an intrepid young... So this is the last of the quests, um, but it is uh, it does take a few minutes to do. So what we need to do then, just go ahead and speak to the butcher again. Now, you can refuse, or because we need the achievement, we are going to accept the uh, morbid, what is it, door of morbid acceptance. And once we do accept, we will get electric electroconocuted. We will faint, and all our stuff is going to be missing. So awesome! That has been geek. Yes. So uh, yeah, basically, what the uh, butcher has done is locked us in this room. But eventually, after he stops talking, we can go ahead and nip through the door. Featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I oh, hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machines on the real material. What the fuck am I myself into? Righto, so let's do it then. So what we need to do, if we go to the left, you can see... Oh, there you go. I'll just pop the Slaughterer's Apprentice on there, just so we can get a couple of waypoints going. So we're going to pick up the um, package. It's just a meat package. It's definitely not a deceased body. Uh, we're going to close this door. And, yeah, so basically we need to... Ex exsanguinator, which is downstairs and to the left. And there it is. So what we need to do the end first is basically drop said package. We need to test the machine first, so give that a little test. I mean, to be fair, it's disgusting, but he's uh, this butcher's created some top machines, bruh. Right, so pick up the package again, and then you should be able to just uh, press X to mount, and then turn the crank, and then that's the first bit done. 
Okay, so let's uh, pick up Lulu again and take him into the next room here. And you can't actually grab this journal just yet, which is fine. So this will be the incinerator. Uh, so what we need to do is just press the button. It's not going to work. So we actually have to nip downstairs and grab another part, which is fine. So we'll just not in the bathroom, but go straight downstairs. And there's going to be a door on our left. There it is. So nip yourself in. There is a trap door as well in here, which we will be coming back to in just a few minutes. So nip back up anyway, go back to the uh, the whatever exacerbator this is, pop it in, go ahead and press the button to test it, and then mount the body again. Good as new! Well, it's actually quite new, so... Oh my god, that looks pretty damn... Oof. That's a painful one. Netflix will be all over this. Done. The package will be dispensed. Ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream. Right, so that's the second machine done. Now what we're gonna do is head uh, upstairs. We're not actually going downstairs, sorry. I just I did go the wrong way here. We need to go upstairs. Just realized where I was going, and I was wrong. So up to the other side. There we go. Exfoliator. Here it is, look. So again, we'll just need to be doing the same thing. Drop the package, test it, and then mount it. There's other purposes. I don't need to be able to do this. Shouldn't you do Now, mount the package on the exfoliator. Superb. The package will be released when it's fully exfoliated. Do you think exfoliator is the right word? Okay, so far so good then. So we're on to the last room. So we're going to go into basically the area where we started. And then what we need to do then is... Um, now we do need to pop Lulu on here, but eventually uh, we'll, we'll be able to once he stops yammering his gut hole off about it. Oh, ho, ho, that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Ho oh, ho! I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. Right, oh, so we're good to go now. So the machine's gonna start on its own, but now we have to be quite quick. And this one comes in a bit of a random order. So you see... So basically, we're going to go out of here, we're going to turn left, and you're going to see a bunch of symbols. There they are. So for me, it was circle, cross, circle, cross. So you need to go back in and remember what you got. So for me, again, it was circle, cross, and circle, and cross. That's how I remembered it anyway. Uh, once that one is done and has been done correctly, pick up the package, run away, go to the left, and pop it in and press the button. Now, you do need to be quicker, so you will be shocked a few times. So again, have a look at the symbols. Again, rectangle, star, star, circle. So I'll go rec, star, star, circle, and then just continue doing the same thing. Again, you will be shocked a few times, so just be as quick as you can. Uh, if you want to, if you find it easier, you can have a look at the symbols, press the start button, write it down somewhere, and then do that if you are struggling, as I get electroconocuted. Anyway, we need to do this about four times, and then it is over. Isn't it an amazing system? I'm quite proud of all the automation. 
I want you focusing. I wish we had more vultures. I could start franchising. Oh God, thank God for that. Uh, so, yeah, that was five times, I think, was it not? I think it was five times, actually. All right, uh, so what we are going to quickly do now, we're going to uh, just head downstairs without the package. Because um, now we need to escape, because we all know what's going to happen. If we stay here, we're going to be next. So just have a look at this book as a bit of evidence. Suction coupling, and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cutoff to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cutoff to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah! If I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right! Are you ready for another day of serving people? And with that done, we're going to head back up to where the body is, and then we will be, when he stops talking, we will be able to sabotage the machine. So once you see it, hold the X button here to sabotage it, and then he's going to start coming up, and then we're going to run all the way downstairs to the trap door where we found the working pipe earlier. So, yeah, that's not going to go well. Something's gone terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. That doesn't sound good. Nah, it doesn't sound good, could it? Nah, come on. Ah, yeah, I bet we do, mate. Oh, the spanker does sound fun. Right, so like I said, go downstairs. He's going to come up. Don't worry about him. We are just going to make a sprint for it downstairs. Again, where we found the trap, trap door and where we found the working pipe. Interact with the trap door. And this is where we are going to need to escape. Now, I think he does this every time. So we'll take a left and then take a right. We're going to crouch here and grab all our stuff back from this freezer locker. Now, he is going to appear, but I'm sure he does this every time. Now, watch out for the electricals there. Just stay here. They should normally be able to see his footprints, but I wasn't able to for some reason this time. So what he does is stand in the middle, and then he starts nipping off to the right, which is then our exit uh, or our time to leave. So give yourself a bit of first aid kit or a bit of health or something if you want. So just... Have a little sneak around the corner, just see if he's there. And for me, he has just started going to the right. There he goes. So we can go straight up into the ladder, and that is going to get him arrested. And that is going to give us the achievement. Grande, soldon. What's going on up there? I heard shouted. Where's Rip? You can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! Perhaps I should give thought to becoming a vegetarian. Ah, oh, bruh, imagine being a pillar of the community by murdering people! Yeah, we see it, douchebag! Anyway, eventually the achievement should unlock. There we go, the slaughterer's apprentice. And that is job done, my son. Okay, right, let's, uh, oh, in fact, actually, yes, I've been meaning to do this one for a while. Thomasina House, the one where we uh, haven't uh, done the quest. This one is in uh, Maidstone or whatever the hell it's called. So, I don't know, sorry, I don't know why it took me so long, I don't know why it took us so long to do this, but anyway, so let's go ahead and just turn this quest in. Now, if you haven't got the achievement for finding all of the five fake cats in the Thomasina house. Um, you can get it, I think, if I remember rightly, you basically just, even if you've got the five cats, but you didn't get the achievement or something like that, if you collect all the five cats again, if you drop them while you're in the house and pick them all up, the achievement should unlock that way as well, if I'm right in remembering. Uh, so while we're here, we can upgrade the workbench to the best workbench, not that we've ever used the workbench just yet. And it gives you a couple of more tools and stuff, which is all good. And once you're happy with everything... Uh, now, there's actually no point in taking a nap 
because what we're going to do is actually uh, we're going to help him in his shop. And for that, you just need to wait 24 hours anyway. So, yeah. So once you've got the pneumatic stash up and going, um, now I actually take a few things to sell as well. There's not pretty much any point. We don't really have a lot of time left on Arthur's playthrough. We are coming to the end. Uh, but again, if you just need a bit more money for whatever particular reason, uh, or you just want to sell some stuff, then by all means, do it. I can't keep doing this. <sighs> Remember what was bothering you yesterday? <laughs> I certainly hope not. But today is going to be even better. <sighs> you'll forget me from time to time. So don't forget the most important thing. There we go then. Come on now, lads. Luckily, he's not going to try and murder us for this. Have you got the statue? Of course we got the statue, you douchebag. So, yeah, so that one should be done. Now what we have to do is protect this guy. Um, there is going to be a copper there, so we actually need to go ahead and find a bench to sit on until the next day. And then we can come back. And all it is, basically, you have to beat up one guy and then three guys, and then that's it. Stupid people sitting on benches when I'm supposed to be sitting on benches. Anyway, let's guard the shop. And like I said, there's going to be one guy that's going to appear first. And, oh, oh, I thought he was running off then. I thought he'd see me and look scared. So get out your zapper and giving him one whack will be... Back with my mates. Can't do it on your own, can you, you fanny? Or your bum bag or whatever you call it. So guard the shop again, and three of them coming this time. So again, if you want to use some caltrops, or if you want to use a vomit bomb or something, uh, you can, but these guys should actually be easy enough just to take down. Keep calm! Ugh. Take your joy! That was incredible. Inspiring. I can't thank you enough. Oh, ho, ho. so this cop was actually going to... But he's like, oh, okay, never mind, screw this. Yeah, but he doesn't actually suspect it's us because why would he? We're just little Arthur Hastings. Hastingsdirect.com uh, So again, if you want to just... Uh, you can search these guys if you want. They've normally got nothing really on them 
Um, and again, if you did take some stuff to sell, now would be the pretty much good time to sell it. If you still somehow don't have the achievement for getting over a thousand pounds in a playthrough, um, obviously we're going to need to be working on this now. So sell what you sell, and then we're going to crack on then with the main quest. Do come again soon. We often have new stock. So, yes, indeedy, Mr. Weedy. That is where we're off. Hayworth Labs. Let's start bashing out a lot of the main stuff now. So, wherever it is for you, of course, just, you know, head there. <laughs> I mean, we're about seven hours in now. You know what to do by near. It's not the rats you see. It's the rats that see you. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. You must take your joy immediately. <laughs> I did think I used to run a hundred meters. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so now that we finally got the press pass, we are going to nip in. So, spank you very much. Right, so we're all good for now. We're just going to go up to the receptionist desk, and he's going to be like, Oi, oh, mate, what the hell are you doing, mate? Where do you think you're going, then? I'm going wherever I want to. My name's HastingsDirect.com. I'm interviewing what sort of crisis yeah so once that one is done we can actually just go ahead press the button and get into elevator okay so even though we've just been given permission to come in here we are actually uh, trespassing so we're gonna do a just sprint straight towards the factory door on the right I know, but that's okay. So here we are. We're all good. Uh, so again, do some looting if you want. We haven't done much looting for a while, have we? Not at least for a good 10 minutes. So once you're done stealing everyone's stuff again, let's go into the actual factory itself now. We need to press a button and get yourself decontaminated. Plus, we're going to crouch because we're going to start doing some takedowns. Contamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Oh, so glad they're concerned about purity. So here's the first guy then, straight in front of us. He shouldn't turn around. Uh, so obviously just be searchy and quiet. Now what, just in case, if you want to take him down, now for some reason his head went straight in the fire. So I decided to just uh, carry him and just put him on another site, just in case he decides to, you know, burn to death. So there we go, we'll just make sure he's unconscious, so thank you Mr. Freddy. Right, on our way, continue, oh in fact actually, yeah, grab a short pike 
and an engineer bucket uh, here as well. So that one is all good. And there's going to be a couple more uh, people down here. So let's just take our time with it. Now this guy on the left, he will start walking from right to left. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. And other times he will turn around, so just be careful. And then go ahead and take down this unsuspecting Lydia. Oh, Miss Dickens. Hello, Miss Dickens. Right, so once they are both unconscious, and that's a very uncomfortable way to be unconscious, what we're going to do is head in this little area here, just up and through some ventilational pipes. Take a right. So obviously then we just need to wait for the steam. So there's going to be one steam, we're just going to wait here, wait for the other one to stop. Oh, and it just pushed us through anyway. Okay, Q. Right, it's going to be three guys here. Now I actually... He runs off to the left. Now what you would normally do is wait until he goes back to his station and then take him down. But for some reason that, dis that just did not happen. Or oh, I was too long because he's all like, Oi, son of a git. So even with these two or three guys here, I am haven't a needed to electrical truncheon them. So if you can't sneak up on them and take them down, it's easy enough to do with the truncheon. Look, I don't even want to be here. inherent in the system. So even with this guy too, that I decided to try and sneak up and then he see me out of the corner of his eye. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's going well. Top secret, well, I will steal that, that sounds secretive. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So obviously again, you may get lucky and he may not see you, but <laughs> he see me again, so before he... Yeah, cheers, buddy. Just take it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean take it like that, bruh. I just meant take a trench into the face. Anyway, let's uh, steal what we can from his uh, areas and grab this first aid kit. And then what we need to do is turn to where we just knocked that guy unconscious, run up the steps, and you should be okay. There should be nobody else up here. Oh, no, there is one guy, but he actually doesn't care about you. Oh, in fact, yes. No, he does care about you. Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah, we'll just knock him out and then interact with the two valves in front of us. Damn. I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Okay, so now we can just head back down, and we can go the way which was blocked off before because of the fire. There it is. So, again, just watch out for the steam. Just nip underneath it. Yeah, let's have a look. Now, of course, uh, some of these characters will be deceased, but we didn't actually decease them. Uh, but again, just in case you're paranoid like me, just have a look at your total kills. Make sure it's still on zero. Right, so now we just got to do some electrical water jumping hopping. So, give yourself a little run, wait till the steam runs out, jump, and then jump to the other side. Do the same thing here. So, just wait until the steam starts and then stops, and then jump to the other side. And then jump to the other side again, so whoop, turn it around. Now, while you're here, make sure to crouch and then go to the right, because we have to interact with a lever, or one button, which basically just opens the door there. And then just do the same thing, wait until the steam stops, and just jump over into the other side, safe as a saved person. Saved. What am I on about? Woofed. Nice. Bit of scotch, bit of lock. Pick. And, uh, yeah, let's crack on there. So what we're actually going to do now is put our gas mask on, uh, drop a couple of items there that we particularly don't need. Such as truncheons that don't work. Now, I thought, after picking them up off these bodies, I thought, whoa, now I can get a lot. But uh, they basically don't work. So, yeah. 
Happy days. Ish. So top your pop your gas mask on. There's another trench in there anyway, if you need it. And we are coming up to an area where again there are going to be some enemies. Now uh, they are going to be on the left hand side. So don't worry about the people on the right. We can't actually get through there just yet. But they are going to be on this right. There is there was another gas mask that's just there if you wanted to steal that. So what we will do then. Now there's always one guy that starts walking towards us. So what we're going to do is just wait until he goes to the right. And then we're going to take this guy down. And then hopefully get back into crouch mode. And hopefully you'll just have enough time there to take out this guy. Now the one guy will see and he will come running towards us. Um, so, again, if you manage to do it like this, just wait until he runs over and then go across, uh, go around the other side and choke him out. Again, if one of them does see you, it's, uh, it should be easy enough to just take them all out. So, nay bother and nay panic. Yeah, so there we go. And this is the reason we got the gas mask on, by the way. So, whack your toolbox in. Go into the security office. And we're going to grab the A329 formula, which looks bloody uh, nice, doesn't it? Looks like it's about to bubble your gut out. Uh, do a bit of loot in here as well if you want. But you can uh, basically have to press the button as well. And once that's done, well, let's continue on forward, shall we? So go through the room with the three guards and into the research room. Right, so when we get here then, what we're going to do, there are two rooms to have a look at. The first one's on the right here. Uh, so have a little look around, do a bit of looting um, if you so wish. There's a ooh, shock grenade there, we'll take that. Maybe a blueprint as well. Uh, but I do just grab a couple of metal tubes and power cells, even though we should have more than enough. And the, the other door, if we go to the right, just before going through to the main door there, into research, take another right. And we can find a note, and we can also find a first aid kit as well. Right, okay then, so what's going to happen? When you go through this door, a cutscene's going to play, and we're basically going to be in a fight against a tall, big bad boy. So what we're going to do is get that shock grenade that we picked up earlier, make sure we got that nice and ready. Uh, tried to manually save the game, that didn't work. So as soon as... Now for some reason, the cutscene didn't actually play for me, it just chucked me straight into the fight here. So get your shock grenade out, throw it, uh, hopefully it doesn't get you like it just did me. Then get your electric truncheon out, and hopefully you should then have enough to easily just whack him out. Uh, if you can, just keep blocking and trying to get behind him, and then eventually he should bagger off. If you need some more stamina, of course, just uh, hold on for a second or two. But yeah, fights generally that fight is generally not too bad, as long as you don't shock yourself first, like I did. Huh. Anyway. We've just got um, Dr. Vortex office. There was a lead pipe and I think a uh, short pipe as well. Yeah, so another short pipe there. That comes in handy. So now you pop the keycard reader here and head up the old wooden pairs. And we're just going to uh, basically just follow the only path for now. Okay, so this is an area we are going to very importantly make a manual save. In this area, we basically have to kill a guy called Ryan, um, yeah, Ryan Andrews. Yes, definitely not a nod to Bioshock at all, since the achievement is called Shocking Biology. Uh, so effectively, what we need to do here then is take out a whole bunch of these guards. Uh, completely done it wrong, so that's why what you're going to see is me edit this in just a little bit. Because it took me ages to beat these guys because I was just stupid. So if you've got like any vomit bombs or caltrops on you or something, just use them to good effect. Um, but once you have, again, make sure that you have saved as well. And then what you need to do then with everyone that is unconscious, have a look around to find a guy named Ryan Andrews. Uh, now for me, he actually didn't hear any of the commotion and was on one of these big machines on the left hand side. And this was actually the one for me. He will always be in this area of some sort. So there he is, Mr. Ryan Andrews. Again, definitely not a hilarious nod to Bioshock. And then you should, if you've been picking a few things up along the way, you should have a weapon capable of killing him. If not, you should be able to craft one anyway. So whatever you've got, give him a couple of slices to the back. As long as it says deceased, 
then the achievement should unlock. Now, for some reason, the, the achievements in this game have... They've been unlocking fine, but sometimes not on screen, as you can see. So, shocking bio logi uh, decided to unlock. So, there we go. So, once that one is done and it's unlocked and you're all good, we are obviously going to restart again to go back to the main menu. We will start just before we started the whole fight. And, again, you will have to fight these guys again. But this time, we ain't going to kill anyone. So just having a quick look there, there is actually another guy that didn't hear the commotion. Um, and now this time, this fight was easier for me since I only needed to fight sort of one, maybe even two at a time rather than like three or four at a time. So we need to open up these doors, so just basically follow the yellow wires. And as you can see, there is another guy again that heard no commotion somehow. So obviously just go ahead, take this guy down. Oof, uh, some, something ripped off his pants right there. I can see your bum bum. Anyway, once you've got that door open, again, if you want to just double check your statistics, make sure you've got no kills, that's all good. Otherwise, we can just now head down, and this is a simple little path to follow. Oh no, it's right in the boxes here, yeah. The fumes are resolved. Just shut up and get the hit out. So when we skip it, basically he's run away, uh, so that's unfortunate for us, but... It's all good. Um, now, there's a couple of things to loot in here. Nothing too major. Um, but there is actually, if we turn to the right side of the room, right on here is the chemist book, which basically gives us... Uh, we Yeah. So that's uh, basically a good thing for us. So there's another note. So what you need to do then is just push the button behind the bar, and that will open up the... I love gold. The old gold member walls behind us. And head all the way down. Plus, we're going to come up to another mask right on the table in front of us. Sally! Don't you want to be my lady? Uh, I.e., um, yeah. So, grab this Sally mask again. Should easily not be able to miss that one because it's right in front of us where we need to go anyway. Head into the next room. Where's the fucking Cod Liver Oil? I'll tell you where the flipping Cod Liver Oil is, Alan. Or whatever your name is, it's right in front of us. There it is. So that one is job done. Uh, now there's pretty much nothing left to do except press this button and get the hell out of Dodge, bruh. So grab these notes if you're so wishing. Doesn't make too much of a difference, really. Um, so we're just going to nip through these conveyor belts. Again, there's no enemies here to worry about or anything. So we could just nip it on through and effectively head to the left. In fact, I am going to try and make a big jump. Uh, uh. Make a big jump for it. Yeah! And I still missed. Okay, awesome. Now, there is a, another reason why we kept the gas mask on, by the way, because we're coming up to an area where a gas mask is needed. So, yeah, that's pretty much why. 
Um, you can loot this guy if you want. Don't think there's anything... Uh, nah, it's all crap, isn't it, really? Anyway, interact with this valve. And there's a note just above it if you want that one, too. I'm pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. So once you pull the lever, we are going to turn to the right and to the right again and get the hell out of this hatch, follow the path, and we're finally out of Hayworth Labs. I can never remember what the tracks look like after. I'll be back in a jiff. Try not to dream about trains. in front of the telly for a rousing round of Simon Says. <laughs> Alright then, so since we're all refreshed and we're ready to go, let's head back into Sally's house. The front door's locked. And for some reason, even though we picked this lock earlier, somebody decided to lock it again, which is just disgusting, really. Selfish. Trying to keep their homes safe and secure. And douchebergs. Anyway, once you have done this, we will actually get a story-related achievement Hello? as well. Sally? Salamander? Salamander! <laughs> uh, basically, there's some revelations about what happened and why Arthur has such a distasteful distaste for Sally. She basically smashed Arthur's dad in their mum's bed. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, the great lubricator as well. <laughs> Oof, yeah, so that's, that's why Arthur's a bit, uh, yeah. Anyway, so... We are just going to be cracking on with the main story. So, follow now the letter of transit again if it's in an area where you just need to fast travel to an access hat do that but we will go to the parade for the first time only eight hours in well, that was ah scenic. Doesn't kill you. <laughs> you can take your joy in me. I'm getting old.
So what we're actually going to need to do here is put your boiler suit on. So make sure the boiler suit is on. Now for some reason, Arthur took his shoes off, so that must have burnt his feet somewhat. Uh, so once we've done that, we can actually now use the trap panel, disarm this one, without anybody getting all pissed off at us. Plus, when we speak to the security guard, we're going to get another mask. So just go ahead, up to this bra. Lovely day for it, is it? Is it really Constable Hogwash, or whatever your name is? But anyway, once you get behind the security, before going straight, grab the train's mask right here. And yeah, slamming through it now, aren't we? Anyway, once we will hold B, skip the cutscene. Welcome to the parade! Now, of course, um, anyone that's uh, homophobic uh, at all will probably hear parade and then think, Oh, I'm a bloody gay parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is such a woke game. They're talking about the parades, all the gays and stuff. You know, because that's what homophobes immediately think of, especially when they see a rainbow. Because, you know, rainbows are so woke now. Uh, <laughs> rainbows. People are scared of rainbows. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, this area, the parade, should be the same in terms of the map and everything for everyone. So it's basically the beginning map and this area should be the exact same. So we're going up to this first building here and eventually we are going to get the last hatch going. Oh, look at that. No admittance unless you're gorgeous. Well, I'm in. And then quickly checked out because they realized my beautiful face was a fake. I look like an elephant man. Anyway, how dare he? Oh, yes. Imagine working in this line of industry where you just get shouted at by a douchebag virgin all day. Anyway, screw this guy, but he is actually going to help us out in just a minute as he taps his foot in, uh, incessantly. So head towards the back. Uh, there is a room you can loot on the right, but there's nothing really much good in it. So we're going to... Hold X to go into the photo studio. We're basically going to help three models out. Now, these are very easy. They just ask for specific things. So this lady here on the left is basically just going to ask for some scotch. Lucky for us, we've got scotch. But if you need scotch, there's actually one in the room to the right of us. Um, so, yeah. So basically, this area, you can't fail. You don't have to go back or anything because there'll be one or two of these things... Um, already available. For instance, there is a flash, piece of flash. We're going to flash the ass when we get up. Go to the next room, the old VIP lounge. The very irritating person. Hello, Hugo. And again, he is going to want some flash. So I want to skip the cutscene here. Just go ahead, press the white button to give him the flash. Or the... 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 Flash. Ugh. So that calms him down. Uh, grab a couple of sewing kits here. I'm always worth grabbing a few of these. Plus, if you did need a bottle of scotch, like I said, it's in this room just on the counter here. Um, but as always, I always keep plenty on me just in case. And that's pretty much about it. Nah, there's nothing else really to grab. Uh, have a look in front of you there. There's another couple of uh, sewing kits. Always worth grabbing as many of them as you can just in case you need to change outfit. And we're going to go into this room. And this guy, what's he going to want? Oh, he's going to want a sewing kit, isn't he? <laughs> Luckily, we just picked up, like, six. Oof. This is for you. Duke. <laughs> Sorry, I love the way Arthur says, This is for you. So, so cute. Anyway, once you're giving him this sewing kit, that's all three of those models done. Ah, grab a bit of fine linen. Who doesn't love a bit of fine linen? Then we are just going to head back upstairs and we basically now have to do a fashion show. Don't worry, it is very easy. You just have to walk up to the cross the and press the Y button. Dairy. Okay, and on your mark. And work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. Okay, here we go. Here we go, dearie. Walk up to the first cross and press the Y button, the old bang bang. Walk up to the second cross and press Y to do the, uh, what is it, the watching you. And then go around the corner to the third mark and press Y again to um, throw the bouquet to no one. Job done. Once that's done, ta-da! We win at modeling. There you go. If you're an inspiring model in real life, um, just do those three. And apparently you are going to be 
have some babies. Right, so thank you, Die Boy, Wavy Davy. All uh, right, so let's uh, go ahead and just get this hatch uh, over and done with. So down into the photo studio, take a left to where the woman was, and through this door. There we go. Now, the access hatch is actually in that room to the right there, and the bed is over here if you need that one. And we'll just do a little bit of looting again, because why the hell not? And what I should say as well, actually, we will get another achievement for finding out, for finding all of the hideouts as well. Um, oh, and there's a couple of blueprints as well here as well. So make sure to grab those, and there should be another two behind us. Or maybe one, one or two, I think it's always two. Anyway, like I said, you will get the achievement, even though there are still two unknown ones um, that we still haven't found. Whether, uh, yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, the achievement should now unlock for you. As you can see, there are still two that we haven't found, but for some reason, the achievement unlocks. So I think, I don't know if they're just a part of the DLC or whatever. Anyway. That's done. So you should now have the achievement. Again, it didn't unlock on screen for me because it's annoying. But once we're done, let's get the hell out of this shop. Oh, there we go. Look. Gimme shelter. Okay then, army man, what to do next? Well, we'll just crack on with the uh, main story. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Right, so the way is going to be blocked. As you can see, the big headmistress there. So we'll take a left, first of all. Uh, in fact, no, we won't take a left, sorry. No, we have to go through the headmistress part. Uh, and there's obviously all the doctors to watch out for as well. So my advice is just run, stick to the left-hand side and run to the other side. Now, this way is actually going to be blocked off, so we need to go into the door That's to the left. About the plague here. So it's just, just here course. then. So, yeah, can be a little bit confusing, but it is just through this door. Into the same room with the headmistress. So what we need to do is actually now take a sunshine pill. Remember Sally Salamander, who smashed our dad on our mum's bed? She does come in handy with a sunshine drug, though. So pop one of them. Glub, glub. Now we can get through the downer detector without being detected. So, give the old constable here a little takedown. And then what we need to do is we're going to head through to the maintenance room. And you don't have to worry about him. He's just, uh, dude's just chilling. We're going to grab the worker's key card and anything in the toolbox. Because why not? And the maintenance locker as well. Yeah. Grab a power cell for your troubles as well. Wow, Jesus. Okay. Yep, now that always happens, and he is pretty dead. Now, in this room is a trapper as we just go up the stairs and down the other side. It's basically uh, a trap, a uh, security trap to disable. Uh, but I'll go back and do that in just a minute. We're going to get rid of this constable as well. Don't worry, nobody else is going to turn around. So, pop. Uh, no other police officer is going to come through. So, there is the first control box to get rid of. And now I'm just like, oh, I just remembered. Let's do the other one as well while we're in here. There we go. Yeah, nobody's going to come, especially now since that one has been mashed up. And that gets rid of the traps, plus that gets rid of the exit doors as well. So the shutters are done. Right, so we're just making sure that we still have zero kills. Again, always worth checking, as I say. So head down to the other side. And we are going to go through this exit door just to grab a stuff in the toolbox and a short spike and whatever else is here. Bobby pins, duct tapes, slicey as nicey. Right. Heading to the left door with the security, with the key card, the key card, which we should have. Uh, if you take a little left here, there's a couple of things to grab. Toolbox, again, duct tape, etc. But if we go to the opposite side of the room, if you don't have one, well, there is the electrified shocker, which we do need. And grab anything else that you want. Otherwise, we'll just head back to the left side of the room. Now, in the top left corner, you will see the police box interface. That is what we need to hack. 
And once that is hacked, that obviously means that, uh, well, it's hacked and it's going to mess it up. Which is exactly what do we want. <laughs> anyway, press the button on to the other side. Probably could have done that in a better order rather than going back and forth. This Bobby's going to pop through. And once he realizes what we've done... <gasps> oh, someone's been playing silly buggers. <laughs> it's me, Arthur Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so now let's go through the maintenance door, and we're going to take a right. We are going to sneak, because there is a police officer that is doing the rounds. So just wait for a moment. He will, I think, I think he does inspect the door. Uh, so just wait until the footprints start nipping off to the right. And get out and take him downtown, Charlie L. Brownios. And that's as uh, good as my Welsh is. Oh, Brownios. Anyway. Have a look for PG Slug, the supervisor. Fantastic name. Pick lock your way inside the door. There is a specific item that we are going to be grabbing. It is just another key card. Uh, it's also a workbench upgrade kit. So grab that. Uh, have a look in the desk. You should grab at least one electro, electro lock shocker. Um, uh, but that is what we needed there. It was just a key card. So once we're done in this room, we'll head out. We'll go to the opposite side with the maintenance and we are going to nip in here uh, someone in the rubbish bin but this is what we need the police box interface so we're gonna hack the interface again that's obviously going to oh, it was a bit naughty Arthur <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a turn on you near know? right now again be careful once you get into this control room right here there are going to be people there's gonna be three guards down or three guys the first one you're going to see is going to start walking towards us. Now, obviously, what you need to do, he's going to start going to the right, and we need to wait until the steam goes so we can head down, follow him down, and hopefully you should nab him just before the other guy is able to see what's going on. If that's the case, then that's good. You can just nip him off as well. And there's another guy that is standing over to the left who is will always be in the same position. Again, if you get caught, it's fine. Just uh, give him the old electric truncheon to the head of life. Oof. Almost got caught there. Oh, Sorry, crazy. mate. Mr. Manjoy. <laughs> he what a... My. He loves the joy of men. Who doesn't? Right, so just interact with the two levers. Uh, grab a bit of bleach as well. Why not? Oh, dear. No, that's a shame. So go through the next door. Uh, you don't have to worry about the trap actually at all. Um, and there is nobody in this room, so we can just get the best first aid kit. Oh, nice. Does that wipe my bum for me as well? Because that would be one of the best first aid kits I've ever done. I've ever grabbed. Uh, grab everything that you can there. Why not? Some tap water. Can't beat it. Uh, another Electrolock shocker. All comes in handy, doesn't it? Anyway, push the button. And we are now going to head to the right because the exit is now free. Push the button and out we go. So that's job done. Cutscene will play here. Basically, first world problems for this lady. The pie shop is under quarantine. Oh, this was basically all of us during the COVID times, wasn't it? Where's my pie, damn it? Right, okay. So, um, we will now... Uh, oh, God, we got like 73 points available here. I forgot about the skill tree, you know. Uh, so um, I'm just going to get the last one there, the tank. Uh, I'm going to get a few more for combat as well. Um, I don't know, really, I don't think there's much point getting the Arthur skill tree. If there was a proper achievement for it, then yes. But uh, it's mainly just to do with sort of a bit of combat and mainly stealth. Uh, so we'll get a bit of Iron Fist going, a bit of wait for it. Block party, yeah, that'll do as well. Uh, chain sweep, yeah, you can do that one as well. Now, you don't actually have to spend all the skill points if you want, but if you want to get the rest in stealth, that's up to you. Uh, do get uh, the last one as well there. So, we, in fact, we got the majority of combats, as well as the majority of stealth. Now, what we need to do is go a specific way in order to get to this next part. So, oh, actually, in fact, we're just going straight here for um, the future perfect. Laugh about this later. Nah, we probably won't laugh about this later, mate. Heading up the old staircase of life. Oh, Jesus. A lot of museum-y stuff, so we're just going to nip through this. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, and we need to put our boiler suit back on as well. Now, this is actually important because there's a lot of guys down here working. So if you don't have your boiler suit on and your normal suit, every whatever you do, they're basically going to start chasing us and beating us up. So if you've got your boiler suit on, this you don't get disturbed at all, which is always nice. Um, right, so again, there was a bit of a cutscene, but for some reason, mine just went straight into the game. So all we'll do here is, to the left, follow the doorways all the way around. Locked, of course. Can't have the staff running in and out. Apparently, Confucius was wrong. The way in is not. Okay, now obviously it would have been easier if we got in there, but, uh, well, maybe not. That's fine. So, like I said, make sure you got your boiler suit on and you should be good to go. We can just now simply walk down and have a little tinker with some machines. So, this green cannon is the one that's going to help us out, but it's not one of the machines that we actually have to interact with. So, if we interact with the machine right next to it, no, no one's seen no in Hargreaves lately. Probably injured somewhere. Uh, football joke for anyone that doesn't know. Oh, in Hargreaves always injured. Anyway, interact with that machine and these three other machines as well. The gas. It's a prototype for some sort of. T This seems to be in operating condition. These machines don't seem to be in tip-top condition, do they? And now, because everyone else is lazy as taquitos, we are going to have to do it all ourselves. So, next to the toilets and showers. First of all, take a left. Now, remember, you can still be caught stealing, so you just have to be careful when we grab these couple of parts. No, <laughs> no peeing in the shower. Uh, so, grab the valve handle. Again, make sure there was no one about. That's all good. You can grab the pipe uh, lead or wrench or whatever it was, but there's really no need. Take a left, and we're going to head up here. Now, there's a few, quite a few more guys that will try and spot you. One does actually spot me, but if you sort of fast enough to sort of grab it and nip off to the left so that he stops looking at you, then we're all good for a good day. So, I thought I was in the clear until Douchebag came up and had a little sit down. Right, so... Just go for it, and again, he will be all like, excuse me, sir, you can't grab that, but if you just nip around to the left side quick enough, you should be already right. So then head into the room on the left, and again, that guy will not turn around, so you can go ahead and grab the electro wave battery, or whatever it is. There we go. And then it's simply a case of going to each part and replacing those. So you don't actually have to do anything, just press the X button on them. Okay, so once you've done that then, the door to our right will open. There we go, right at the sort of uh, front area. Now, what we're going to have to do is a bit of moving about. Now, you may get disturbed in this control room. Uh, close the door as well, just in case, but... You will probably get disturbed once or twice by a worker that tells us we're not supposed to be up here, so you can just knock him out with your electric truncheon, that's fine. But basically, what we need to do there, um, so you can see that it's pink already, that's going to move the pink balloon machine. So what you need to do, so that machine there, we can just press X to push it down once so that it's out of the way, that's good. And then what you need to do now is click the uh, yellow button at the top, which is the sort of round looking thing. So what you can do is move that to the left once and then move it down once and then rotate it 90 degrees. So effectively we need all the weapons pointing to the right. There we go. So once that one is done, that's all good. Now you can interact with the green cannon button and then effectively we need to push it right three times and then down once and then rotate that t two times. So again, just keep your eyes and ears out for anyone that is coming in. You'll obviously see by a little white arrow. Oh, in fact, here he is. Hey, man, what's up? I just kicked your ass. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, that's good. Right, so once we've done that, uh, again, one other person may come in, uh, but for me it was just one. Uh, so all we got to do left now is rotate this big cannon to the 90 degrees twice, so 180, and then make sure that they're all in a line pointing to the right, and you know exactly what's going to happen once you pull the lever. Boom, boom, pow! The epic diarrhea explosion of life. And now we can get away in while all the workers go nuts and scream and cry away. Right, so head out the door the last worker came out of. And then what we're going to do is obviously jump into the room. <laughs> They're obviously running away because... Damn. Uh, head... Uh, we could basically going to climb up onto these sort of canisters and just jump across. If you do get dropped down, you can... Uh, find your way back up there uh, with a little wooden box behind us. Otherwise, you should be able to just jump up and speak to this guy in the room. I suppose you're who I have to thank for the hole in my wall. Oh, did knock. Don't be silly. Do you know how long I've been... All right. <laughs> We're all good. So again, you can have a little bit of a search... Um, not a lot of loot in here, but if you want, you can go into the elevator here. Um, and in this little room, we have a couple of shock grenades and a big weapon, which we're pretty much just going to sell. So to the right there of the painting, a uh, couple of shock grenades and what's called the sand mine, which looks like a badass weapon. But of course, we're not trying to kill anyone still. So, you know, just sell that or put it in your inventory when you get to a access hatch or whatever. Right, so next up then, we are just going to follow the waypoint um, to find uh, or get to the next main questal area. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Blowing up stuff and nobody's... And we're still not arrested. <laughs> How good are we? Ah, nice cup of tea. Right, so what we're going to do is head towards now the uh, waypoint. Now, as you can see, the way straight ahead is blocked, so we needed to go up to the right. And then when we get to the next part, we are going to take a left. Again, just be careful of any doctors, so take a left here. And what we're going to see is a alleyway. Now, as long as you go, oh, sort of archway. So if you're going under this archway as we take another left, you know that you're on the right path. So that is the one. Now the doctor there, Dr. Pervy Douchebag. Now, when we get here, what we're going to do is sort of hug the right-hand side wall, head down this alleyway here on the right, where there is a little Mr. Blobby car. <laughs> And then we're going to actually climb up this bit of platform here. Now, you think, Arthur, that everyone would do that, but no. So, have a look at the platform here on the left. There's basically going to be a few things to grab. Worker's key card, which we need. Toolbox, bit of tap water and stuff as well. Um, and then what we need to do is follow that yellow wire into the building. So, we need to get rid of that joy detector. So, we'll drop down, head to the building here on the right-hand side. Get that in and open it up. Now... The worker doesn't care that you're in here, but he will care when we try and disable the trap. So we're going to take him down, have a look for some loot. Uh, again, not a lot in here, maybe a blueprint or two. For me, it was two. And then we're just going to disable the trap with the trapinator. Now, once you have done that, then we can now come over to this area without any worries. But what we are going to do, you can see the headmistress there. So try and just hug the right-hand side wall as much as we can as we head to the right. She may see you like she sees me here. So if that's the case, just make a sprint for it and nip it over to the other side. And you should be safe. There shouldn't be anyone else about here where we can interact with this trap panel and get this one smashed diddly ashed. Hooray! And that's the other joy detector down and dusted. So, headmistress, you can screw off. If you need an electrolock shocker, there's one over to the left where the policeman is. Um, 
with these sort of electrical bits on the floor. But if not, you can just come straight in, hack the keycard reader. There may be some people on the inside that gets pissed off, or some people on the outside. So, uh, yeah. For me, obviously, there's people on the outside, so just give them a little whack of life. Don't try to beat the Arthenator. So, once you are free and clear, go ahead, get rid of the trap. Then you should have enough short spikes on you. And there will be a copper around the corner, but he's going to basically run off now when he realises there is no coffee. Oh, in fact, actually, that's if there's two of them in there. So if there's two of them in there, one runs away and then you take down the other one. So have a look in this room. First aid kit. Again, a couple of things to loot. Otherwise, what we are going to do is push a big red button at the other side of the room. There we go. So just take a left and go ahead and push this big red button. Ooh, another blueprint. The polarity device. That sounds terrific. Right, so that'll actually get rid of the headmistress now, so... Aha, uh -huh, screw you, headmistress. You suck. And there she goes with her... Uh, Carlo Ancelotti eyebrow, as it were. So now we can just uh, grab things freely, but in fact I do actually get uh, taught a lesson here because while I try and uh, get rid of these bodies, not get rid of, but search these bodies, somebody else sees me and tries to tries to hurt little old me. So once you press the button, that's all good. And uh, now she's all like, excuse me. So again, we'll just uh, wait until she comes round and then three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Give her the shock of a lifetime then, didn't we? Oh, just, <laughs> Get it? Shock of a lifetime? Yeah. Anyway, follow the yellow wires into this area. Uh, we're gonna just loot some chests. Right, once you've grabbed everything that you can, go just straight through the little vent and then we're going to end up in the health district or whatever it's called. We're free of all that crap. Welcome to the health district, man! Right, so, I mean, technically we've got just got two um, missions left for Arthur now. That's it, two! And we're going to be coming up to the first one straight away out of two. Uh, yes, it's been a long eight and a bit hours so far. Or if you've been having fun, it hasn't been that bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, two left. So let's crack on. We're going to this building first. Obviously, there's no side quests or anything. We're just cracking on now with the two final main quests. And first of all, we're going to be doing some sneaky sneaking. I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been doing that a lot through the game. So we can't actually go up the stairs, of course. So what we're going to do is head to the left. We're going to do some climbing. There are going to be guards. Uh, nipping around, so just be careful. So hop over the fence, or the, the fence, yep. There will be a guard on the right, but we we will just be heading straight to the left and going inside this vent. So, you know, uh, this just reminds me of the, uh, you know, the Simpsons episode where groundskeeper Willie just tries to get Santa's little helper. You know, all that, all that stuff. Anyway, we end up on the pipes. You know what, you know what episode I'm talking about. As we just go ahead and follow the pipes around, obviously try not to fall down, would come in handy, and straight up to the vent straight ahead of you. Somehow, nobody sees this man running on top of the pipes and everything, which is all good. Make way for Willy! Ah! I'm sorry, did, did you just call me a liar? No, I said you're fired. Oh, that's much worse. Right, when we drop down, what we're going to do is uh, not drop down there. We're going to continue on and we're going to drop down here. Now, the guard outside will hear us, so we're just going to start crawling away slowly down the steps. I don't think, I don't know if he actually comes and checks, but uh, we ju will just come down the stairs here anyway. We need to anyway, because we can deactivate the lever. Now, there is a guard that is going to be crossing the room that we need to go into here. So, you can open the door, that's fine. Apparently, nobody notices. But be careful, because he will come from the left, like so. Hello. Uh, so, yeah, if he does catch you, just run back downstairs and you won't actually bother. So, uh, as long as you run back downstairs, but just let him go off to the right. We go to the left door. 
We are going to jump through these flowers, but again, there is going to be a guard on your right. So again, just make sure to be careful and that he's heading down that way. Before heading left, pushing the button to go into the stimulator, I mean the elevator, and clicking on number two, the laboratories and classrooms. And when we get here, now there are a couple of doctors that are sort of just standing about. Um, now, in the right hand side room, there is like a book you can grab, uh, but we're not going to bother since we're basically finished with the playthrough more or less. So we're going to head to this room here, where it says some doctor, doctor's name. There is a doctor. Uh, now, I think I do get lucky because he just about turns around as I choke him, and then I end up choking absolutely nothing, and he still falls victim. To the plan. Oh god, I hope he just didn't electrocute himself right there. That would be not very nice. Uh, it still says unconscious, so you know, thank god. So you can go ahead and grab whatever you want from this room. Again, we're not going to be looting much. There is literally, literally no point. But we're going to climb up on the equipment and we're going to continue heading straight through. Now, a lot of the paths are kind of linear for the rest of uh, for the rest of Arthur's playthroughs. They're not so bad. We're just literally getting to a point where we get into the end and that's yeah, that's about it Oh, she was positive. Why do these doctors look like, you know, they hang outside schools in bushes when they actually talk very posh? Or is that what it is? So everyone uh, who's posh and who lives in London, you know, the Chelsea areas and stuff Watch out for them outside bushes outside your home uh, So can just continue around there. Don't worry about the doctors. Again, you can fight them if you want. Very easy to just beat off. Uh, ignore that. Um, but, but they are very easy to beat, is what I meant. But, you know, just easy to sneak around. We can drop down here. Um, you may take a little bit of damage, but again, do not worry. There's no doctors in this area, so we can just go ahead and go straight. Now, before picking up what we need off the main desk, we're actually going to take a little detour to the right of where the statue is and grab the next mask. So here's the mask just uh, just here in front of the waterfall thing. It's chess. And at this point, I did actually realize that I was missing one. I forgot to grab it from the police station a lot earlier on in the guide. So I do apologize. Hopefully you grabbed it. But we'll be grabbing that just after this mission before cracking on with the final main quest mission. Uh, hell of a statue there. Um, it says a naughty word, so I'm not going to say it. But you can grab things on this if you want, a couple of pile of coins, because why not? But the access code is what we need, and we are going to start making a break for it. So, make a run for it straight away. The doctor will be here, uh, but again, you just need to continue. We're just heading for the elevator, so take a left through the doors. Straight through. Again, there's going to be some doctors in this room. Take a right. Luckily, one doctor got knobbed off there. Uh, and then just continue all the way to the end quickly as you can get in the elevator and click number three the executive offices now i do apologize i had to do that quick because there was a doctor who sniffed me out sniffy sniff so now we have the code again and we got that from the access uh, key that we got now we are uh, yeah now we're gonna crack on so let's pick the lock your mother's armed and dangerous bruh with that hurts. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Uh, right, anyway, this part... <coughs> excuse me. This part! We're gonna get punched in the face by the weird bush doctor thing. And, um, yeah, there's nothing else to do except enjoy the weirdness of the cutscene that's about to proceed. We can't skip it or anything, so just take a breather, relax, and enjoy. You won't be a bit bothered. We won't actually see the stimuli. There's a blind between us and you, and a blind between you and the stimuli. It's what we call a double blind experiment. Off you go. Don't forget to write. <laughs> That's my little joke. I know you've forgotten how to write. Strong reaction. I hope the equipment is properly 
made all the necessary observations, I'll unlock the chair. Please take the corridor on the left back to your cell. Odd. The button's on the fritz again. No, 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 no. You have to reroute the power for some reason. Try it now. Nada. Oh, bother. Give me a moment. Oh, it's going to be an unfortunate thing happening right now, but it helps us big time. Try it now. God, that sounds very, uh... Ugh, that sounds rather creepy, doesn't it? Now, one thing that I should say, and that I haven't realised until just now, because I haven't really looked, uh, which I probably should have done, is that you can actually equip some trainers. You can craft and you can equip some trainers. That makes Arthur actually run a little bit further and a little bit faster as well. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. So that's my bad. Um, I mean, we've got enough skill points available. If you wanted to smash them all out, you can. There's really no need. Um, but yeah, so if you go into the crafting menu, you can go ahead and craft some troners. And then you do have to equip them as well. That's another thing i done stupidly. So I crafted these trainers, providing you've got, of course, the right equipment. And then I didn't actually equip them, so I was still running slower and less. So, ah, I stupid. Right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and, well, we're just going to get out of here now. Uh, you can grab the power cells if you want. Again, there is literally no point, so we can unlock the door, get your way in. And bobby pins and duct tape, yeah, why not? Right, now we're going to go into this machine here. This is where we... This is where we get the fanny stat. That, that is what he called it, wasn't it? The fanny stat, yeah. Anyway, we're going to press the button. Now we're definitely going to make a run for it. So, out of the door, we're going to take an immediate left. Through the double doors. Following the carpet down. The red carpet of life. Get into the elevator. Go down to the first floor, which is the lobby. Yeah, it's the lobby. And then we're going to make another break for it. Straight left. Down to the joy detectors. And straight out of the door. And then, ta-da! Everyone is left to their ultimate demise while we sing uh, with some rainbows and eat some pies. Or have some fries. Or maybe it's a good surprise. Right, anyway, like I said, uh, silly, silly me forgot to get the last, uh, or to forgot to get the one mask which is called Children, which was in Maiden Home, which is in the police station. Now, remember, obviously, we've done the main, we did do a main quest, main mission for that one. Um,. And the reason we're getting it now is basically because in this last main mission that we're going to do, there is an actual point of no return. Um, but as long as you've got older saves, you know, make a couple of manual saves now just in case. You obviously need to get something, but I'm just going to grab it now because, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> let's just get it done. But yes, I do apologize. And yes, we did go into the room as well. It's not like it was... Out of the way, I simply just missed it, even though we were in the room. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a quick thing here. So, again, hopefully, you would have grabbed it from the police station earlier. Um, if not, again, I do apologize. I've led you astray, and uh, that's very stupid of me. Anyway, whichever you're doing, obviously, if you've already got the mask children from the police station, you can obviously just skip forward by a, a few minutes or two. Uh, but if not... Obviously, make your way to the police station in Maiden Home, which is in the Maiden middle of the map. Yes, Arthur, we're all getting old, buddy. Me, Jesus, I can't even I can't even go to bed and wake up in the morning without a back spasm and the lower of my back killing. So again, obviously, we would have come this way through the main mission, remember, because we had to go into the archives and do some sneaking and grab some sneakity beakity stuff. And we did go into the first room on the left, um, where there was a couple of items, but there wasn't anything real good to grab into it. But it is the second room on the left, specifically the one with the vent that we went through. And there it is. And I tell you what, right there, just next to it, it can actually be quite easy to miss, purely because of the shine. And I actually didn't see it straight away. So, um, anyway... Hopefully, like I said, whether you've got that earlier, whether you've got that now, it's job done. Now you should be on 18 out of 44 masks. And then uh, then we've just got two left to grab in this main mission. So we will head to the um, parade, obviously. We're going to nip to the track access hatch anyway. 
because obviously that's how we are going to need to get there. Uh, I do get rid of a couple of things in our pneumatic hatch, take a little sleep until 7pm, because as you can see, I'm suffering from dry withdrawal. <laughs> and of course, I do a pretty pointless uh, uh, workbench upgrade, although it does make it look good, so... Hey, what the hell net? So yes, take a snap, take a nap, and uh, get rid of some items if you so wish. Sleep, the poor man's dinner. You know, again, we're not going to be looting anything, uh, so it's not really necessary. Just, you know, just get rid of what you can, just to get a bit more room if you wish. Either way, let's get the hair here. So, head upstairs and through to the exit. Right, so, now what we should have, uh, what we'll do is actually go into the quest menu. And we will go to the Letter of Transit, which will actually put us straight to uh, the main quest point where we need to go. Now, actually, it's not just a case of you can go straight there. You have to take some paths left, right, and up and down or whatever. I do actually try taking a shortcut, and I almost kill myself. Um, so if you don't do it carefully, like I'm about to show you, then uh, you might just kill yourself. But hopefully that's not the case. Uh, so, take a left anyway, that's what we'll do first, take a left. Now, I should say as well, a lot of these places look like they're dead ends, so you should be fine. Um, now, I believe what you're supposed to do is take the next left, but what I end up doing is continuing on straight. And again, make sure you've got your trainers equipped so you can go that little bit faster and that little bit further. So, yes, I end up taking the next right, and I'm looking at right again. Now... You can jump off here, and you can do it carefully. Uh, but what I decided to do is jump straight off and almost uh, end it all. Uh, so that is the shortcut that I was talking about. So as long, as, so yeah, stupid me. But as long as you do it carefully, uh, yeah, you you are, should be all right. You should be right. But from here, it is just one big smashy smash over to the. Main quest line and the final one that we're going to do. Uh, that is a hell of a statue, by the way. We've got big oh, dog eating. That's my old office. Yeah, <laughs> not anymore. It's not. Clive is mashed up. Oh, shut up, Doctor Balls. Uh, so yes, big dog has big eagle in its mouth. So that's uh, that is a decent looking statue. I'd give a tenner for that one. <laughs> right. So let's just head in. Well, it doesn't kill you. I'm sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Right, so now we're going to head down. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, now, there are two police here, so uh, I'd actually just crouch until we get to the other end, because they can actually hear you. Um, but you should have your trusty truncheon anyway, shouldn't you? So if they do come after you, beat them down. Don't beat them off. Now, this is the point of no return. So like I said, hopefully, I'm hoping that you've got either a couple of sort of older saves that if you do need to get either some achievements or maybe you have somehow missed another mask and you're not on 18, um, just make sure that you either do it now or that you've got some older saves that you can just go back to. Again, luckily, that's why I always have about six or seven different saves, because I'm ultimately paranoid. So, once you're all good anyway, we're going to head in, and we are going to grab a sunshine. You can take a joy pill if you want, but you should still have about two or even three sunshiny peels. So, pop yourself in the old downer detector booth. 
And that genuinely looks like something that's going places that it shouldn't be. Still crouch here, though. Uh, as you can see, a lot of earthquakey stuff's going to happen. But there is a policeman. There is a Bobby over on the right-hand side taking a big whiz in the bin. So we're going to choke him out and hopefully we don't get, uh, you know, urinated on either in the eyes or the mouth or something. Um, obviously, we choked him out with his wiener still hanging out as well. So, uh, oof. Well, we'll just uh, leave him to soak in his own pierce. Right, a uh, couple of things you can grab if you want. Shock grenade. We ain't going to need to use a shock grenade, but it's always nice to have because it's pretty badass. And then what we can do is simply just head uh, straight Again, a lot of this area now is only going to be sort of linear pass. Make sure that, you, again, you picked up the fire extinguisher. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, where the bobby was. Because this is why we need the fire extinguisher. So the shock grenade, but the main important one where there was the fire extinguisher, so we can, you know, extinguish our way through the fire. That's what the fire extinguisher is called for. Right, pretty simple. Obviously, try not to electroconicute yourself. And then what we'll do is head up and around, up onto the trains. Uh, I mean, you really think there would possibly be an easier way for Arthur to have just gotten there instead of doing all this stuff. But obviously not. Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a game, I suppose. Right, so jump up. And again, we're just going to jump up. Then what we'll do is make a running jump across. Oh, look at that. King. Turn directly behind you. And then we're going to make a jump up again. And then we are going to need to make a jump to the opposite side because we ain't going to get through the old electricon acoustic, are we? So jump for it. Hopefully you make it as I just about did. And then nip your way through the vent. So once we're into the next room, drop down on your left. Obviously, try not to get electrocuted. And then we can just go ahead and deactivate the power. So now it's a simple case of going back up and going the way we came. And yes, again, there's going to be no enemies. You probably think that maybe for the last bit of Arthur's playthrough, there would have been more enemies to deal with, but it's it's not that kind of game, is it, really? So uh, extinguish the fire straight in front of us, of course. And this time we're actually going to put on the gas mask, plus your trainers, if you haven't already. Not that we're, not, not that we're going to be doing much sprinting now for the rest of the game, but, you know, if you want to make Arthur look super cool... Then, you know, chuck on some white trainers, which are basically the exact same shoes that he's got on, just white. So, apparently, white posh shoes make them trainers. Okay, we'll take it. It's all good. It's all good. Right, so from here, we're going to take a left. And then on the right, there's going to be another uh, way path point vent. Just nip through all the make way for willies. And, ah, oh, no. Who's this? Prudence. It's Prudence. My love. My everything. My darling. I, I assume. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we, we've just looted her dead body. She ain't going nowhere fast, especially with her legs completely stuck under the rock as they are. But that nipped a bit, didn't it? Uh, now, remember, we got the uh, Hot on the Heels achievement for finding all the stuff related to Prudence. We'll get that, um, the rest of those collectibles, in the Sally and Ollie playthrough. So, obviously, we ain't going forward because that would mean an incredibly painful death. So head to the right over the pipes. And we've still got the pink stuff, the motoline just popping out of every orifice. Jump up, just wait for the steam here to nip off. Before we jump up and jump up again. Crouch and we are going to actually take this guy out. Uh, just because, you know... Uh, because it's been fun so far, so why not? Oh, God. Oh, he's having a little back spasm. Alright, sorry, we're good now, we're good. Uh, now, I do actually just make sure to have a little check, make sure we've still got zero kills 
in terms of the statistical zero killness. There we go. That's a lot of takedowns, luckily no kills. So, what we're going to do is uh, effectively turn around now, and you can take your gas mask off if you want, but we're going to turn around and we're going to follow the linear path until we get to the next bra that we're going to uh, bra uh, talk to. I hope I can get back to the tracks through the mine somehow. Obviously, just wait for the steam here again. And away we go. Like I said, this is only a linear path. You can't really get lost here. Um, because you'll just end up looking at a wall if you end up going the wrong way. So there we go. Drop down, push the button. And then again, it's just another linear path until we speak to Mr. Brasky. Oh, it's perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? It's almost the shape of a camel. Oh, God, it does look like a camel. Hello? Do I know you? The, uh... All right, we, thanks, Jim. Much appreciated, Jim Watt. What? Yeah, exactly. Hey, yo, man, who are you? I am you. Hey, anybody know that scene? Hey, you, who are you? I'm me. I know who you are. Anyway, what we're going to do is take another sunshine, either a joy pill or more prefer preferably a sunshine pill, which somehow I managed to uh, get another third one from somewhere just so we can nip through. You can actually jump over. Um... Jump over if you don't have any left, but that's a bit more of a pain in the ass. Uh, key card reader we got from Jim, and this is where the next 19th and next mask is. Eureka! So now we only have one left, and we'll get that in just a bit. So, again, now you should be on 19 masks. Now, what I try to do here, now what it's actually worth doing is we actually need to go across the bridge, but we need to press a button. So, I actually go ahead, lock the door, then I will push the lever... Now, because nobody's seen me do it, nobody actually tries to catch me. And actually locking the door doesn't make a difference because um, <laughs> the, the bobby just pops in and I just crap my pants so I actually run for it. I was actually going to try and wait until the bridge uh, is all the way fully up. Uh, now, as you can see, people do start getting annoyed with me, but then they stop. So, um, it's obviously worth, it's worth getting your truncheon out just in case they start coming up towards you and trying to fight you. Uh, as long as you don't kill them, of course, then it's all good. Um, but it shouldn't take that long anyway. This time, though, what we're actually going to do is just make a break for it now. So, again, it's only a linear path that we need to follow. Don't bother fighting anyone. Uh, you may get a little punch in the back of the head, but that's fine. We've, we've suffered more. Uh, so, just continuing all your way up. Jump onto these rails and then straight to the end, and that is good. Oh, come on! So, this is effectively it. Now, we've just got one more straight to go, and it is the end of Arthur's playthrough. We're actually going to be grabbing the next and last mask of Arthur's uh, collectible playthrough. So, obviously, we'll just follow the path. And in between these two trains here is the 20th and final one. Again, you won't get an achievement until we've got every collectible, which includes the Jack TV shows. Uh, so, don't hold out your breath here if you think you're going to get one, because you ain't. Uh, but that should be 20 out of 44. Again, if not, and you are missing one as we just come up to the end here... Um, Hopefully you've got an old save that you can just go back to to quickly grab that one. Uh, because once you collect a mask, like I says, it completely stays collected. But once you've pressed the button, you can have a look at the cutscene and see the actual sadness that uh, what actually happens to Percy. Because Arthur's a bit of a douchebag. Um, but we're obviously just going to go ahead and skip it. And that is that. So, almost nine hours. Arthur's playthrough is finally complete. And we move on to Act 2. Big Sally Mally!
my darling. Add three CCs. Well, that's just fine. Okay, so what you should expect in this Sally playthrough is a lot of back and forth. So ignore the front door for now. What you're gonna do is have a look on your desk and we are gonna pick up this clientele sheet or clientele note, whatever it is. This is basically for hot on her heels. This is uh, part four out of six there, so make sure to grab that clientele. And now, of course, because this is a completely new playthrough, obviously we're going to be on the epic loot hunt once again. So every house that we go into, we're going to need to search cupboards and just literally grab everything that we can because in the not-too-distant future, we are going to have to buy something that costs £400. Yes. So um, so we're going to have to do a lot of looting, and we're going to have to do a lot of selling. So again, even when we're running outside and doing a bit of running about, uncovering the map and everything, uh, make sure to be looting all the bins and all of the post boxes and stuff as well. It all adds up. Uh, you can have a look at the loose clocks as well for some mechanical bits. Just a minute. Just a minute. Stop it. Jesus, you're going to wake up my... Well, it's, it's not a spoiler alert. We got a baby. My god, Sally. Is it Sa is it Arthur's dad's baby? Oh, good god. Anyway, uh, go ahead and interact with... Well, any small tables in here. Then just go ahead and interact with the door. And it's all going to go from hell because these drug-addled losers are going to break their way in. Um, eventually, so we've told him to go away, but once we head out here, he is basically going to come through and knock our ass to the ground. And to be fair, how weak Where is that is door? It? How crappy and weak is that door? Where's your Blackberry? Uh, gone. Gone. No more Blackberry phones, I'm afraid. Anyway, have a look at the emergency uh, kit for an emergency defense kit. Um, so, Sally, the way you can knock people out is not with takedowns, but with knockout syringes. It's a more modern technique, you know. So, uh, this is going to start looking familiar. Now we're up into Sally's house. Um, and then what we're going to need to do... Uh, just having a quick look around. Oh, pretty and witty, Sally Boyle. It's me! If I was Sally Boyle, which I'm not. Uh, so again, you can just have a look in the kitchen. Now, our baby's upstairs and the maniac's just gone in, but let, let's loot first. Let's just uh, fill up some water, have a nice little drink before we, you know, take the guy on. Uh, we don't actually have to fight him, by the way. This is just all in the cutscene, so just go ahead, pick... Like I said, we're going to pick absolutely everything up, even the crappiest of crap, purely because we are going to need to be... Uh, selling it. Again, we're going to need to make 400 quid skis. Right, so up you go. A cutscene will ensue, which of course we will just go ahead and skip. She broke my brain. It we better get spot out of here. <laughs> ah, there's a little baby. Hello, little baba. Uh, right, so when, when we're in here, again, we're going to do a bit of looting before we uh, chuck Spud in the bin. Yes, in the literal bin. Um, also, if you are quite, you know, if you potentially any uh, women or, or men who've just recently had a baby or anything, as we there's our new Max Stash, we'll chuck in some crafting items for now, because as you can see, we don't have as much as Arthur did. Um, this this playthrough is, is quite neglectful, as in Sally just leaves the... Obviously, only a couple of month old baby there while she while we run about and go ahead and do stuff. So, yes, if you've recently had a baby and you're feeling quite emotional, uh, this will hit you in the feel slightly. Uh, so just chuck everything in the stash for now. Then we can go ahead and it was a, again record that'll come in handy to sell. But we're going to go ahead and pick Spud up. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? That is hilarious because yes, it's true. And, of course, summer's coming up as well. Well, in Britain anyway, soon. And all we're going to see are the crackhead junkies with the top off. Even 
in like yeah. six or seven degrees weather. If the sun's out, you can bet the crackhead nips are out as well. It's, uh, <laughs> yes, it's that's when you know it's time for beer garden weather. So we're just going to nip in here for a minute. We're going to drop Spud on the floor because the blower is going now, which of course is British slang for phone, or in this instance, the blower is the uh, letter scooper, passer upper. That'll do it. Uh, so, you know, some more stuff going on. Blackberry joy. Uh, of course they want Blackberry Joy. Why can't they just have Joy and then get just Blackberry, you know, just pick some Blackberries, bro? God damn it. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is nip straight outside now, so straight out the lab door, and we are going to drop Spud, like I said, literally in the bin. So press X to hide the body, and it's not exactly the best hiding spot. You can clearly see that he is unconscious. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't come back on our ass, so we are good. We're all good. Right. Oh, bruv, man. So next, we've got to go back downstairs because stuff is starting to be on fire. So go ahead and just turn everything off. It's only this and uh, one on the opposite side. It's not going well this for us so far, Sal, is it? Oh, God damn it. Yes, there is someone in here. Go away. Um, right, so we actually need to calm Gwen first, so screw that guy. Now, if you had used the canteen and filled it up with some water, um, we can go ahead and take Gwen in her arms, but eventually she is going to want feeding. Um, but we don't actually have any milk left. We're going to have to do a little quest for Lionel. Uh, but yes, so there we go, Babs. All good. You've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Oh, yeah, we do. Now, uh, there was a nappy on the uh, on the kitchen, so wherever we were going in the kitchen, uh, looting everything, you should have picked up a nappy as well. So, we're going to head downstairs, and we are actually going to open the door next. Again, it's going to be in another cutscene, just with the copper. He's basically going to ask, someone's done your back doors in, mate. Uh, yeah, your front door, not your back doors, sorry. We're going to be like, how very dare you? I just had a baby, you bastool. And then he's going to be like, oh, sorry, ma'am. Donald Trump looking compliment machine there. That's, uh, well, we know we know a Donald Trump compliment, don't we? The grab it right by the pity. That's, that's about as uh, good as Trump can get, really, with the compliments. But anyway, go to the filter. And then you press the X button as long as you've got pure water in a canteen, which of course we have. So we will grab that one. Some pure water. You actually need this as well to change the nappy. Or diaper. Uh, but anyway, go and change Gwenadir. Okay, Time to get clean. You can't be serious. Bloody hell, Gwen, where you been eating, kid? Milk. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Milk and air by the seams of things. Uh, so anyway, get rid of that one, and then we can once again go ahead and interact with the front door. Just leave me alone, damn it! Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were, uh, planning to, to, to drop the, the, uh, Oh, Jesus, God damn it. Right, okay, so next we're going to go back to the upstairs. We're going to go into the fridge to find a non-delightful thing. Somehow, or well, thanks to that douchebag, all the milk has gone away. Oh, this ain't going to go well. Because if anybody knows a few-month-old baby and they're hungry, it's basically... You're going to go deaf in two ears, and you're going to lose your mind, lose your hair, but luckily when babies smile, they're all cute and stuff, so it's all good. Oh, no, no, no. Mummy's stupid, because Mummy looks like Mickey Mouse with her black leathery gimp suit on, uh, which is not, never necessarily a bad thing, by the way, but anyway, off we go. Now we're going to have to go to Lionel's shop. Obviously, just like the last Arthur playthrough, um, your map's going to be completely different and random. Now, it does say that, obviously, if you don't come back now and again to just check the baby as we get the um, Breaking Blackberry achievement for completing the Sally intro, 
that, you know, you're going to be guilty. Not that your baby's probably going to starve or, you know, lose its absolute head. It's more that you just feel guilty. So, um... Right, Sal, you're just talking to yourself now, hon. It's that new mother stuff, isn't it? You just end up going nuts for a few for a few months or so. Okay, so this is what we've got to do then. Just having a little look. Um, now, what one thing I should say is do not run. Now, I know as we're going to sort out a shelter as well for us, another bit of shelter there. Uh, so it's probably worth doing that. Uh, first, just going ahead and get in, if, if they're close enough, get in one or two access hatches on the go before we go to Lionel's shop. But remember to walk this time because we've got new skill points. I know we've been used to walking with Arthur, Arthur and everything, but we have no skill points, which means we... Uh, anything we do will piss people off. So if we jump, that'll piss someone off. If we run, that'll piss someone off. Uh, but again, make sure to be rooting through bins and uh, post boxes as well. Um, because obviously we need to get to gain £400. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so make sure to just be looting everything you can. So you can loot everything you can, but it doesn't matter. But if you jog ever so slightly, oh boy, people are going to be fiamagating. Right, there is a golden mask in here as well, so just have a little look around, loot what we can. But here is the mask, so make sure to be picking this one up then. Now, in Sally's playthrough, we only have 12 masks to get rather than 20, but still, Pick them up and see them as we go. Oh, what a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. So yes, as you just seen then, we're just going to put everything that we can in until we need to sell it later. Um, so again, whatever you've grabbed, pop it, most of what you can um, for. Uh, uh, chuck it in your pneumatic stash, just grab what you can. Again, it doesn't matter what we're grabbing, but we are going to need to grab uh, everything that we can for now. So what we are going to do now... Uh, it's up to you if you want to have just a little run around, you know, clear the map some more, pick up a side quest or two and do a bit of looting now. Or, as we can see, we could just crack on with the, um, <laughs> the main quest, which is exactly what we're going to do. So, whatever the shop is for you, we are going to head to that. So, have a little... Uh, you can have a little barter first if you want, or you can just go ahead and talk to him straight away. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, either way, obviously, we've got no money at the minute, so if you want to, you can go ahead and sell a thing. Uh, we don't need a frying pan, but um, what we... we Now, later on, we may need a weapon. For me, specifically, I had to have a weapon and do things a little bit more complicated, purely because Lionel here didn't have... The non-lethal weapon that you may be able to pick up in some playthroughs. Uh, but again, a little bit more on that later. It's just ba basically saying because we are petite, we're not terrific at fighting or surviving. Which means if we get knocked out, you know, hit a couple of times, it means pretty much death for us. 
So that's why we've got to do things a little bit different. Um, so, but yeah. So eventually, when we come, we're going to have to follow this uh, main marker quest. We are going to go over the Maginu or Megadu Bridge, whatever it's called. Um, so again, I'm not going to edit this part out just as much, um, but it is definitely worth now, probably worth just going up and down every street, going through the bins, going through the post off, uh, post boxes, as I said, um, in order, like I said, in order to just get as much stuff as we possibly can, because we're going to need to cross the Mega New Bridge in just a minute. But once we are back home, we are once again going to just nip in. We're going to get the Garden District Kit. You don't have to get this, but trust me, it just makes life easier. Um, so that is what we'll be heading for next. Uh, basically, it's just got a torn suit in it. So now we can go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> Go for the marker quest, and when we get to that garden district, that is when we'll put the torn suit on. So now, like I said, we're going to go completely up to you, however you want to do this, but if you just want to go up and down, unfog the map uh, map a little bit more and loot what you can, um, then obviously you can do that. Um, otherwise, for the most part, we're just going to head for the main marker quest and go over the Magoo Bridge. Out of there. Come on out there. Right, so once we do have got here at the Megado or Megado Bridge, whatever you want to call it, uh, we're going to nip uh, in. You have to go to the left there, press the button, and nip in. There's going to be a little bit of a cutscene here where we can go squirt, squirt with some perf, perf. Some perfect perfume. Ah, lovely. Right, so the ato the atomizer, of course, we will be doing all that a little bit later on. Um, so, yeah, so don't worry about that for now. What we do have to do, remember, is to now put on our torn suit. Uh, so we don't get, you know, all mashed up and things. And if you're still in the company of other people... Um, you need to be walking, remember, unless you do want to be chased, but of course, Sally, who has some proper shoes on, don't think it goes with the Minnie Mouse Gimp outfit, but that's okay. Uh, but before heading on, go to the right, right again, and right here is the next mask, Brave. And then, you know, the Scottish big redhead girl will be all like, I don't know, let's go and get Brave and do stuff, whatever she did in the film. Etc. Etc. Now, obviously, remember to keep on looting. I didn't um, until for a while, so hopefully you will be able to smash that one out. Now, this is again just another part. Remember, we can go ahead and interact with flowers as well, the Gilead roses and all of those. So, again, it is literally just a case of. Oh, we can also pick these fox gloves as well, which uh, is very nice. So again, you're going to be heading for the main marker. 
Um, but obviously you can go ahead and pick up as many of these flowers as possible. Rowan berries, the roses. Also, what it might be worth doing as well is before heading to the main marker, um, go onto your map and find a track access hatch. Uh, just to make things a little bit easier for you as well. Um, to just fast travel between um, Lud's home and St. George's home. So rather than go for the... Uh, so yeah, rather than go for the main quest, could be worth just uh, looking for a track access hatch first. Otherwise, go ahead and just keep looting, looting, looting. Sort of ironic I became a chemist, considering what Mum did, if you think about it. Hello. Are you right, so once we nip in the door then, this is basically like an Uncle Jack cult. Now, Uncle Jack, I keep thinking of uh, Cactus Jacks, but um, the booze, but never mind. So we need to find two golden records, which we can't... Um, obviously, we're in a trespassing <clears throat> mode, excuse me. So I will just save the game. I always end up saving the game for these bits, just in case, especially now that we can't take as much punishment as Arthur could. Um... Even though we've had a baby, so, you know. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go up these steps first. You can't go through, well, you can go through there, but you will be chased. So wait until he nips off, and then quickly nip up the stairs. Hold Y to open the, uh, open and craft, craft and open the door with a lockpick. And then head inside again, still crouching. Now what you're going to do is stay up on this top area, and there is the first golden record. Now you can go down, because there is a chest to loot if you want. Um, but personally, I just wanted to do this bit without being chased. Um, even though if you do end up pissing someone off and you end up getting chased, you can go outside and hide in the tall yellowy flowers. Um, but I thought at the minute it's just not worth it. So we're going to stay here for a moment, wait until the guy walks back up the stairs, and then wait until he walks back down the stairs. So once he starts heading down, that's what we'll do. We'll just wait until he turns the corner. There he goes. And now we should be good to just nip it out of here. So now we're not trespassing. So from the stage, the old Cactus Jack stage, take a right up to this house with what looks like Shrek. Now there is a woman cleaning. She'll be walking about on the uh, all around. So straight in front of us is the Uncle Jack gold record. Uh, but what you have to basically do is... Uh, she was on the left right there for me and she stays there for a while So if she's walking around and she's taking too long you can either go in grab it and run out Or you can just wait until she was on the left where she was for me and sneak in and grab it and that's job done So again, if you do end up getting caught run out of the front area here Take a left and there's a whole bunch of yellow flowers that we can hide in so there we go, uh, nice and easy then so once that is done again completely up to you here if you just want to do a bit more unfogging of the map, or if you um, want to find a track access hatch in this area, so you can go easily back and forth to it, definitely worth just doing the track access hatch stuff. Um, now, I ended up doing it off camera a little bit later on, uh, but it's definitely worth doing that first. 
But basically, if you've paused the video, you've gone and done that, um, you've done a bit of unfogging of the map, doing a bit more looting, finding another access hatch. What we're going to do is now come back to this access hatch, the one in St. George's home. Uh, get rid of some crafting opponent, op 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 opponents, opponents. Um, and then I'm having a nice spin around for some particular reason. Uh, oh yeah, put your nice, put your nice suit back on, darling. Go on. And then we can head back up. So obviously, what we need to do is bring Lionel his recordings back. So off to the shop we go again. Is this the post box I dared Arthur to blow up? I really should never have posted that letter. Morning! Sally Boyle! I hope you found the Uncle Jack record! Be Phew! So we had to do all that work, abandon our baby, she's probably screaming her absolute nuts off. Uh, her girl nuts. Um, all so he could just give us ten uh, bits of milk. Why he couldn't have just done that now, then I could have fed the baby and then gone and done it for him. Although, then again, we probably wouldn't have done it for him. So, I can see what he means. But anyway, since we're all good now, we can just go ahead and nip home. And feed our beloved little baby. Sorry, for some reason I was just getting lost right there. Uh, no, actually, if you want to... Um, uh, you can actually ask for Lionel. Um, basically, there's a weapon that we do need to buy off him eventually. It is random, which is a bit of a pain, but basically, I think it's called the, the Sledger or something like that. Basically, it's it's it looks like a cricket bat with all, like, padding and stuff around it, um, which you can buy for £24, um, which, of course, will come in handy for when we need to do some combat and knock out some people. Uh, but for me, it didn't appear in this playthrough at all. Um, so... You don't actually have to do that. Oh, in fact, yes, we do. We have to get some pure water, don't we? So, uh, grab the bit of pure water, filter it up. There we go. So, we'll just pick that one up. So, again, that's why I say if we've picked up a weapon like a cricket bat or uh, something like that, keep at least the one weapon. Because um, it's going to... Um, because we can still put people unconscious as we go ahead and make the milk. Then we can go upstairs and feed Gwen. Uh, but yes, so that's why I ended up keeping uh, the cricket bat at least. Because you can hit him a couple of times with the cricket bat until the health is almost gone. And then just punch them. Um, and that will render them unconscious rather than deceased. So there we go. we got big, big old Mickey Mouse hands now. Feed the baby. Baby's all good. And the baby has more hair than me. Damn it! Why does everything want to take the piss out of me? Who's at the bloody door now? Oh, it's a bloody door, mate. So, if you obviously get yourself a little bit of uh, stamina boost as well, you can put Gwen in your arms. And then, of course, go ahead and have a look at the door. I'll take you for a ride in a jeep. <laughs> look, as a poet, it's a very good chemist.
Right, so again, I am just uh, grabbing a few things here so that we can sell as much as we can. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Also, what we can do here is go into our stealth. We can actually go into stealth, and we're going to buy the first three skills in the middle tier there. So, tippy toes, the top one, and the main one is, oh, you. <laughs> Do you come with the car? But they, basically, obviously, that means now you should have enough skill points, but that means we can run, jump, do whatever without people being all like, hey, where are you running from? Et cetera, et cetera. So make sure we grab that. Make sure we've grabbed uh, as much as we can. Now, again, if you want to at this point, um, after this part, we can go ahead, go to Lionel and see if he has what is called the, um, I think it's the Sledger, but, but like I said, it's basically a cricket bat with some stuff padded around it and it'll tell you whether it's a non-lethal lethal thing anyway uh so yep we're gonna end up basically down the police station now and after skipping a couple of cutscenes, we're gonna end up outside the police station i don't understand the worry i guess i can't blame them for being antsy it's not fun going off blackberry Okay, so this is now pretty much the part where we want to be doing even more looting as much as we can and trying to unfog the map just as much as we can. Just having a little smash around um, in order to, yeah, in order to get as much money as we can in order to buy the baby feeder um, for, again, £400. Um, so it's, yeah, like I said, I've done quite a little bit of it um off the camera where I had a little uh, smash around. I didn't do any like uh, side quests or anything like that. It was literally just a case of me running around, unfogging the map, uh, finding, you know, if you want to find another track access hatch as well, definitely will come in handy. Um, and yeah, just looting as much as we can. You, you can also, with the phone boxes, as long as you've got a Jimmy bar right there, um, oh yeah, and we can do some healing, um, not healing, but we can do, as long as you've got those red rose petals, gilales, whatever they're called, uh, you can make some healing bombs, which again, if you have to do the combat my way, they're going to come in handy. Um, but if you've got the non-lethal weapon, definitely extra comes in handy. So definitely worth now going to, um go into Lionel's shop and seeing if he has the weapon. So if you've already got one, like I said, I've got a cricket bat. Hopefully you have as well. Um, if he has the non-lethal weapon, go ahead and buy that and sell the cricket bat. But if he doesn't have it, make sure that you keep the cricket bat. Um, you can just buy it off him for £24 later, but, you know, save yourself 24 quid there, isn't it?
Afternoon. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Now, if Lionel doesn't have anything in store, what I was meant to do was wait for a a day. Um, so yeah, that's what I was meant to do. So if you can, well, you should be able to either go back to your house, sleep until the very next morning, 7 a.m., or try and wait on a bench somewhere until the next 7 a.m. Now, as you can see, I very stupidly um, got rid of my cricket bat. So again, don't get rid of your cricket bat. What we were meant to do was either wait or sleep first, I believe, and then when we come back the next day, he will have his inventory full. Um, but again, if you want to go ahead and sell what you can, this will obviously more than uh, come in handy. Um, now, what I ended up finding was a lot of glass bottles and a lot of metal bits as well, which, uh, again, they give us quite a few quids. Um, so go ahead and do that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so like I said, we can go ahead. We're going to go home anyway. We've got to go home for the main quest. So after we do this main quest bit... We can take a nap and then go back to Lionel's shop and hopefully he will have the uh, the sledger or whatever it was called. Something similar to that. The non-lethal weapon. Oh my god, this stuff's on fire. Oh, and I just got exploded. Eh. Exploded my boobs off. So, just go around and we are going to head uh, here, grab the fire extinguisher and extinguish all the fire out. Okay, first things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. It's all gone. It's all gone. So we need to sort it out. Right, so up we go. And upstairs once again. And we are going to take a little nap. So yeah, now we are going to head for the main quest, but like I said, now you should go back to Lionel's shop and see if he has the non-lethal... I know I've said that a couple of times, but um, because I don't show you on screen, because I've done, thing done things a bit ass backwards here, um, that's why I'm telling you a couple of times. So go to Lionel's shop now, um, see if he's got the non-lethal weapon. If not, make sure that you do have uh, a frying pan, a cricket bat, whatever it is. Um, on you because remember we still need to do this playthrough without any kills which is a bit more of a pain in the ass than it was with Arthur um, but again there's always a way around it um, so when I when I went and of course he didn't have the non-lethal weapon I searched everywhere that's why you're going to see in a little bit an edit skip where I'm on like day 8 or day 9 I thought if I just slept for a week um, he might have new inventory or you know, I tried looking around everywhere for stuff to craft, and it just didn't work. So that's why we got to do things the little bit more complicated way, as it were. Um, but obviously, again, just as we're heading towards the main quest marker, we are going to be um, grabbing quite a few items and looting whatever we can. Remember, we still need that 400 poundy poos.
shot died in the bombings. I can't understand all these downer women. Don't they know how to pretend to be happy? I thought all girls learned that. It's funny, you know. If there hadn't been a war, they weren't all stoned on joy, they'd have never let me be a chemist. Shop girl at a chemist, maybe. Also, I should mention just before we get into it that if you go ahead and see, if you remember an Arthur's playthrough, it was like um, uh, like the underground tube station where we had to beat a couple of waste straws underground in order to get that access hatch. If you see that, go ahead and do that. Uh, again, just makes things a little bit easier for you later on. Um, personally, for me, I didn't find it just yet. So if you do come across it, sort out that track access hatch. Otherwise, as I said, hopefully you've got hopefully you've got the non-lethal weapon to make things even easier for you. But if not, that's also fine. As long as you have a weapon, we can sort this one out. So we're going to crawl in through the door here. There's going to be a bit of a cutscene and a little bit of another scene. You just basically have to walk into the kitchen to find that uh, your mother food poisoned everyone. So, damn son, that is some stressy times going on in the Boyle household. And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Okay, so as long as nobody's uh, watching you, which there shouldn't be, we can go ahead again and do a whole bunch of stealing and looting. Um... And just remember that this area, I say just remember, you haven't been in here before, but this area is quite dark. Now, if you find any lily bulbs, we're going to be keeping lily bulbs, strange meats and honey um, for something a little bit later on. So if you do find any lily bulbs, don't sell them. Honey, don't sell it and strange meat. Make sure you keep those. 
Um, but again, other than that, we can just smash out everything that we can. Like I said, it is dark in this area, and there are three wastrels in here. So once we go into the next room, you're going to see a deceased wastrel. Now, I went through this bit and did not catch the plague. So if you do catch the plague, um, there is what was called a, a, phenis a phenicillin jab, I think. Um, which we, uh, which you can use a little bit later on in order to heal yourself from the plague and get an achievement for it as well. But I do highly recommend, if you're having to do it my way, as in grabbing the, uh, you have to do it with a weapon, heal as ma uh, get as many healing balms as you can. Uh, so as we head up the stairs here, just watch out for the footsteps because there's going to be a wastrel, uh, wastrel and around. We're not going to worry about um, him or her just yet. Um, so when he goes into the next room, we're going to take a left and head up to the next room. <coughs> Excuse me. Where there is a wastrel banging on the door. So what you need to do is get your cricket bat out, or if you're doing it this way, smash her up a couple of times and wait until her health is quite low and then press the right bumper to put your cricket bat away and then just punch her. Um, now remember to block with the left trigger. You can block fine with the cricket bat. You don't get hurt, but you will get hurt if you've got just your fists out. So a couple of times you're going to have to use a, a few of these healing bombs. Another two wastrels will appear though, so you're going to have to fight and get three. And also, it, uh, sorry, it was probably worth making a save, I forgot to mention. Definitely worth making a save, because if you end up dying or you end up accidentally killing someone, you can just go ahead and reload um, a your previous save, and you'll just come back out here. So again, just with this one, wait until the health is quite low and then punch the crap out of it unfortunately for me i do get the other one there as well so again use your weapon until the health is low then punch the rest out of it that'll make him unconscious rather than dead Better you than me. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, definitely have a double check. Again, like I said, hopefully you had the non-lethal weapon, so you could just bash them all in the head, and then job done. But uh, again, me personally anyway, had to do it the complicated way, because I stupid. Uh, so sometimes these bodies will have the histoplasma mushrooms on them, uh, but once they have been taken care of, we can go ahead, lockpick your way in. ka -chow, there we go. And before you go and grab the main quest item, there's quite a few goodies in here. Uh, scotch, there's a vanity table, stop the record, because that record stinks. Uh, feathers and all types of stuff, so grab what you can, loot as you can. Beaker, a thermostat, N7 triode. I think I can fix my lab. Yep, so once you've grabbed all that, um, oh yeah, so also, uh, there is a TV in here with a bed upstairs. So if you want to go for those last two, you, uh, you do know Jack achievements for finding the last, um, uh, uh, for finding all of the TV shows. Of course, you, you might have got it in Arthur's playthrough, so you might not need to worry. Um, but if you're like me and you still had two left, you can try and do this now. Uh, I, I tried it a couple of times and I still wasn't getting the show, so I'm going to be coming back to that achievement specifically a little bit later on. Uh, but you can do that if you want. Otherwise, we will um, basically just start heading back to the house now. 
Unless, of course, you want to do a little bit more looting around the garden district. Completely up to you. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to start heading back towards the main quest soon enough. Ah. Come on, everybody. It's time for everyone to gather in front of the telly. And if you're inside, you're going to find a telly outside. The game is much more fun to play in the crowd. Today, we're going to be playing Simon Says. Well, that was tedious. Time says, jump again. Time says, keep. Clap. Time says, flap. Your hips. <laughs> Simon says, jump. Simon says, you must listen to be very careful, you'll be out. <laughs> Please extinguish all cigarettes. Uh, now, I was going to go ahead and feed Gwen. Remember that you need the condensed milk, or the canned milk, and the pure water, which, of course, you should have one canteen. So, heh, heh. I wish babies cried that quiet. Jesus, that would make life a lot easier for everyone, huh? Um, but for now, we will head back downstairs, back into the lab, in order to change our equipment. There we go, so that's all good. But now we need to replace all the chemicals, because of course we do. <gasps> Ugh. This is so much fun, this she is. She looks good in that gimp outfit, doesn't she? And her little Mickey Mouse hands. Oh! Okay, um, so before we go to Stuart, of course, what we're going to do is go and get some pure water, and then we're going to go ahead, just feed Gwen, you know, be a non-neglectful mother for five minutes, isn't it? for yum yums. So this is where we are actually going to grab all of the items that we could possibly have grabbed and we are now going to try and go for the 400 pounds uh, hopefully we can grab that one if not um in the garden district especially there are ruined houses that you can look in which always have a good 
decent uh, lot of loot. You can have a look at some houses in St. George's home as well and do some loot in. But of course, remember, um, if you've only got the weapon like I have, maybe trickier with the um, combat. So obviously just be aware of that. But they are there. Uh, ruined houses and houses are pretty much the best ones where you can do some a good lot of loot in and good selling too. Uh, but for the majority of the part, I ended up getting rid of a lot of metal bits and a lot of glass bottles because every time you sneak, uh, go through a bin, they are pretty much guaranteed to uh, be some more. Afternoon. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Again, you could have um, mostly anything. I was lucky there to have a couple of extra things. So I could get rid of one or two things. But there we go. That's £400 done. I have now bought the baby milker machine, whatever it is. And yes. So as I said, if you do need some more stuff, you could. there's plenty of houses and ruined houses especially to take a look at. Um, where you will get a lot more stuff. Okay. So with that done, again, if you do need a couple of funds, you know what to do. Just go ahead and do that one. Um, but then basically once you do, or if you think you've had, uh, got enough money, uh, come back buy the baby nipple built, uh, milk machine, whatever it is. And then we can crackle on. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Then. Thanks. Oh, yep. There you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. So, once you do have the baby feeder, we'll obviously just head back to our beloved little house and install it. And Gwen will be happy that, uh, I mean, Sally's kind of rejectioning as a mother is sort of, um, yeah going well. Once upon a time, there was a lady who lived in a lake. A powerful alchemist was in love with her, but she refused to be his, not until he'd taught her all his secrets. The alchemist laughed and laughed and said, what does a pretty girl want with chemistry? Yes, take Gwen in your arms. Take her in your Minnie Mouse arms. Okay, right, since that one is done, um, now a lot of sort of over the next hour with Sally's playthrough, a lot of it is just going to be uh, with the main quest. Um, plus, we're going to be grabbing a few more masks, as it were, as well. So, next up, that's where we're going for, bad chemistry. So, again, wherever it is on the map for you, that is where you are going to need to be heading. You're going to have to cross a bridge anyway. So, just head towards.
Right then, so once we get here, we're gonna go to the right, you can see, and uh, we can go ahead, unlock this, nip your way through, and then immediately on your right, you're gonna see the next mask. The a girl like you. Doesn't need a take a number two and have a dump on you if you ain't Kendrick or Cole or Sean or if you're a joiner. <laughs> anyway, uh, once you got the mask, sorry, uh, once you got the mask, skip it, watch it, whatever you want to do with it, and then head forward. Here though, we are going to, you can you can take a joy pill if you want, uh, but we should have two sunshine pills that we are going to take, so we're going to take at least one of them and nip on through. Bloody revolvers. I've got a sunshine somewhere, haven't I? And of course, every time we get to a new area, what we'll do is have a cheeky look at the map and we'll find the shelter. So head for the nearest shelter so you can get that track access hatch going first before we head for the old breaking bad of chemistryness. Getting lucky. Right, so here there are a couple of bobbies just chilling out, so we're gonna stick to the left hand side so that we can crawl in through the yellow flowers and you shouldn't be caught. Uh, so we can just go ahead, nip on through, stand up and get inside the deliciousness that is this next shelter. So you'll obviously, uh, I mean obviously they're all in the game so the, these will be familiar to you like they were in uh, because we would have obviously seen them in Arthur's playthrough. So again, have a look around, uh, loot what you can, especially um, the medical supplies, which will always come in handy, and search the toilet, stick your hand right in the old pooper bags and do all that stuff and, yep, track access hatchet as we normally do. So, out we come, let's crack on with it then. Again, remember you will have to nip to the right here, just past El Bobby Head, and nip out. And there we go, look at that, you'll never be caught, that's incredible. Huh? Right, so obviously what we will be doing, um, now of, co of course there is another thing that, you, obviously if you really wanted to, you could just go ahead, uh, have a look around all of the map, um, yeah, go go around and uncover a bit more of the map so you can find maybe uh, um, some more shops which hopefully have a non-lethal weapon or, you know, anything. But uh, whatever it is, just head for the bad chemistry sign. Again, looting everything that we can. More than a good enema. I can't begin to explain why. Maybe you'll understand someday. Actually, I hope you don't. 
Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs, tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. So, if you wanted to know what's going on, well, she hates us. She's then. jealous because, you know, with Sally Boyle, bro, we are the Boylists. <laughs> the, not the Royalists, but the Boylists. Ah, funny. Okay, so once... Um, I was going to call her Fiona then, sorry. Once Sally eventually stops talking, we will have a new quest to follow. Yeah, there we go. Drop by his house. Job done. Right, so just follow the new sign to drop by his house. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used. Sally Boyle. Well, haven't. Right, so once we have the quest, we're obviously going to follow the marker to said quest. Now, obviously, if you have the um, non lethal weapon, uh, basically, this house has got about four or five doctors in it, uh, you know, and the, the set, yeah, it is those same doctors that uh, have those big or mini chainsaw things. Whatever it is, they can hurt you pretty much lots. So, you can, like I said, obviously, I still don't and I haven't been able to find a non-lethal um, melee weapon, which is just a genuine big pain in the earth. Uh, but again, obviously, if you've got the non-lethal weapon, you can go in, you can just batter the crap into him, and it's job done. But obviously, if you haven't, and you're in the same boat as me, where you've only got uh, one particular weapon that can kill, and you've got to punch them to get them unconscious. Oh, sorry. Witch! Well, don't... Oof. Well, she really likes us. Huh. Um, so, yeah... So I, I did actually just trying to go in there then to see if I could buy a non-lethal weapon. But again, wherever I looked, whatever shops I went into, nobody had one. So that's awesome. But yes, so we're going to have to do it again as we've been doing with any combat so far. We are going to obviously beat them until they are almost dead. And then obviously beat them with our fists. Now, the other thing is as well, if you want to block, what you'd have to do uh, before he attacks you, you'll have to get your melee weapon back out, then press left trigger to block, and then quickly put your weapon away before beating them once again. So, I would highly recommend saving here. Definitely make a save, because if you accidentally kill one of the doctors, you can just um, obviously restart or re reload that manual save. Um... So here we go then, so we'll just smash this dude. There is another doctor here that does actually see me. Um, and I will get sliced, there we go. But that's what we're going to do first. We're just going to run away from this guy, because, uh, you know, get, let, let's just get our momentum back. But that is the way that we're going to be doing it. Um, again, like I said, unless you've got the non-lethal weapon, you can just nip in, batter them to unconsciousness, and you're all good. But if you're like me and you got kind of unlucky... You are going to have to do it this way. So, uh, yeah. So, obviously, what we'll do now is just head back in. We will beat that second Doctor. If you have... Like, remember, um, if you have been collecting the Rose of Gilead petals, you can make a lot of healing balms. Um, that's why every time I... Wherever I run, I end up collecting a lot of those Rose Gilead petals. Um... Because you only need two to make a healing bomb, and they come in mega handy. So I'm going to be crouching, obviously, just I don't want them to hear me. You can't really sneak up on them anyway, because they'll sniff you out. Um, but again, what you can do is, after you beat this second Doctor with his big duck rubber boots, there he is, um, we're just going to loot all downstairs. What? It's good for you. <laughs> and that's for ditching me for the posh girls in year seven.
And also, if you find any honey or any strange meat like we do here or any lily bulbs, make sure to be keeping them. Do not get rid of those, especially the honey um, a little bit later on. Um, again, I would highly recommend making another manual save here again, because just in case you kill one of these doctors upstairs or they kill you, um, you can reload that manual save and the two doctors downstairs that we've already taken care of will stay um, unconscious. So nip in, this doctor can go for a little jolly and walk around quite a lot, but you know, just try and batter him blue. Oh, this is a lot more satisfying than undermining the other girls' comfort. So there's no one left on this floor. So again, we are just going to nip from room to room um, and uh, obviously loot everything that we possibly can. Hopefully you get some good um, medicinal items as well, or at least a non-lethal weapon if you don't have one yet. And again, just being on the safe side, I am going to make another manual save. This may seem like overkill, but like I said, you know, if you accidentally, and it's so very easy to just keep on swinging and <laughs> keep on swinging until they are deceased, very easy to mess up then the achievement. So we are going to nip into this room here, which was just on the, uh, well, in front of us, just in front of us as we, as we came up the stairs. So... Yep, this guy does get a bit of whistleblowing going. Again, just beat the crap out of him. Yeah, boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the hell did you come from? Okay, I just... I did actually just crap it there. You can obviously always push them as well. If they come in too close, you can give them a bit of a... Um, a bit of a push. But for me, I found it easier to get your weapon out. Beat them till they're almost dead. Block them. Punch them. Weapon out. Block them. And, you know... All the good stuff. But that should be it now in terms of the doctors for the house. So, yeah, five. Five. Nice. Nice. Again, as I always say, I highly recommend just having a look at your statistics. Make sure that your total kills are still on zero. Otherwise, what we're going to do, we're going to take the next set of stairs up. And we will be grabbing the bag which is needed. This must be the bag Harry wanted. So once you think you've looted everything that you possibly can, just go ahead Head back outside and get back to the old doctor with the house where he can't get to the door quickly. Doctor, whatever his name is.
You really bring out the best in us. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe, a source of oxygen, and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Harry? It's Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just, did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Uh... That was nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. Now, as you've seen, it did say, just like all babies, Gwen needs to be changed, but that's okay. Uh, just making sure I got zero kills there. Uh, but that's okay, you don't actually have to go back just yet, which is very neglectful on our part, but you don't actually have to go back yet. Uh, so we can just actually crack on with what we're going to do, and what we are going to do is head for the Odds and Ends shop um, in St. George's Home. So get to the Odds and Ends shop, which should be in the middle, and yeah, track access hatch it and go nuts. Get there. Get there, girl. So glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Of course, a lot of the reasons that we were just picking up any old thing is because we need to sell quite a lot of stuff as well. We need to get some money back for a couple of things we're going to buy a little bit later. So, obviously, make sure that you've just collected everything that you can and you've got most uh, things in your possession. Afternoon. Morning. Again, I was just having a look, seeing if he had any non-lethal weapons for us, but he doesn't. Now, I'm not actually sure if that's just a bad glitch that happened on my part. Um, because I'm sure he is supposed to have one weapon. So I don't know if me selling items to him first um, bugged it out or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm not sure there. But anyway, uh, sell literally what you can again food uh, berserker bombs and stuff we don't really need uh, again make sure if you've got any honey or strange meat or lily bulbs make sure to keep them very important that we keep them um don't get rid of any histoplasmas either uh, i i just got rid of one but uh, no just make sure you keep as many histoplasmas uh, the mushrooms as possible as uh, so we we need them for a whole bunch of knockout syringes later on so yeah any food you don't need any drinks really yeah good mate good right thanks okay so we'll be back shortly sort of lee but we are going to head to a little place called rat home so head back to your nearest whichever it is track access hatch all off And then what you're going to do is turn around, interact with the track access hatch again, and you can see right on the very bottom there, rat home hatch. So that is the one that we need to be going for. I think it's uh, right on the D-pad, I think, to go scroll through each one. Yep, that's the one. So once you have accepted it and traveled there, you will, or we will actually get another achievement. And that is for basically setting foot on every island. The archipel archipelagist? archipelagist whatever it is anyway we are now uh, you should now get that achievement and that is all grande baby right okay so after jumping a few times for no reason let's head 
inside. There is actually a mask. I did just walk past it. It's on the right hand side, but I was just having a look, seeing if there's anything good on this guy or if we can catch the plague. Because again, we do need an achievement for catching the plague and healing ourselves. Uh, grab a couple of these empty syringes. They're going to come in handy later on. Uh, that is just a radio rather than someone singing. Thank God. And make sure to grab the can canteen and it's not a lovely day. Well, that's depressing, huh? Okay, so uh, make sure to grab the mask then. It was just at the beginning of the room. There it is. So make sure to go ahead, grab that one, the old plan. And then we are going to do a tiny little bit of combat to get some goody good stuff. Now, unlike the doctors, you can easily kill this next wastrel with just two hits. So not this one, um, but close to the exit there. There we go. Oh, close to where we came in out of. Nip through the vent. There is going to be the best first aid kit here. And just around the corner is going to be the wastrel. So if you're again in the same situation like me, just hit her once with your weapon and then just uh, punch her until she's unconscious. Her or him. Oh, and until she gets that little bit of weird um, non erection floppy neck. Blech. Yep, that's the one. And then just grab everything that you can a bunch of glass bottles and a uh, couple of weapons and everything again it's always worth picking them up so because if, if you don't use them we can just sell them right so head back the way we came oh and always check the medicinal cabinet always comes in some good handy so uh, go back the way we came and then we're gonna have to do a little bit of sprinting So for this part, what we're doing is heading straight towards the waypoint marker. There are wa uh, wastrels here, and obviously they will attack, but you're not stopping or fighting anyone. We are literally just heading straight for it. Uh, now, if you can, just try and stick with the sort of right-hand side of the path. There's a path you can go down, which is left, which is a bit more complicated. So just kind of stick with this right-hand side path. But again, continue heading towards the waypoint. Don't stop, don't fight, don't fright, and don't shy your pants. So once you see this Big old building, you can see the door, quickly duck under, get through to the other side, uh, and these wastrels won't come anywhere near you, because apparently they lack the ability to think, oh, all I gotta do is just, uh, you know, fall over or something, or bend my neck slightly downwards. Uh, so nobody's gonna fight us now. What we need to do from here, once we uh, interact with the gate there, we get the dialogue, we're gonna head into the, the next room where the waypoint is taking us. And there is actually another wastrel in here, which again, we're going to need to hit once and then punch unconscious or again, non-lethal weaponies, you're going to smash them up. Unlucky, Father Gill. You ain't got no skill, Father Gill. And you don't have anything on you, nor the plague or anything. Okay, 
So again, uh, search everything that you can in this room. There's only a couple of things to grab. A couple of bobby pins, mate. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. So, uh, we need to get through that elevator, but the button is broke, so head into the room on the left. And effectively, after... Uh, again, just looting everything that you can. You're just going to climb up and drop down the other side. It's all chill for now. There are a couple of wastrels, but they are behind uh, locked doors, which again, we need to um, get into those rooms anyway. But once we get through here, there's going to be no one. Ah, oh, spanky hairy crutch. Right, uh, now you can interact with these dead bodies, see what they got. Anything good? Yeah, uh, probably like it. Yeah, probably are doing it. Uh, there's a canteen there. Again, we do actually need two canteens as well, so make sure that you have kept that one and the one we found earlier. And just go ahead and search through all the cupboards. Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. But we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. Let you do the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. What, Dr. Verloc? Johnny King's mill drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead man. Right, so once you have grabbed everything that you possibly can again, once again, just for the sake of just in case we kill them, um, or we die, I'm going to make a manual save. So use the switch and then give him the old whack of life. Funnily enough, he almost kills me, which is hilarious. Damn son, for somebody who's lost their minds, uh, he fight he fight pretty good, yeah. Oh crap, we still haven't beaten him yet. Okay, so um, make sure to heal again. Like I said, if you're running out of the uh, healing balms, or of course you should have a couple of first aid kits anyway, so use that one if you want. But remember to use uh, craft some healing balms using the Rose of Gilead pels. Will you stay down already? God, damn it! Ah, oh, loud and stubborn, yeah, you're telling me, bro. So we've got a couple of bleaches again, which are going to come in handy, uh, which we will definitely need. And then what we can do is now, in fact, I am going to change my weapon to a lead pipe or pipe wrench doesn't work or so. Yep, yeah, which with whatever weapon you've got here, I'm just changing it uh, to a lead pipe or that was the plan because my cricket bat is about to see not the light of day. And again, if you are having to go the, down the same route that I am here with the killable weapons, make sure not to use anything like a cleaver, anything that can cause bleeding and obvious death. Uh, so there you go, just swapped my lead pipe out. Now there's going to be two of these wastrels in the next room. Now my advice is, you know, just keep hitting, swinging, blocking, backing away. But if you can, just try and focus on one. Or if you need to, 
just whittle both of their health down together. Uh, whichever way you look at it, but again, make a manual save too. And then enjoy the good fight, my fighters. Well, it took a while, but we got there eventually. So, ooh, a nice little bit of histoplasma, that's what we want. But the main thing is what we want is that facility key waste card. Um, so instead of just bashing our way through, yeah, we're going to have to grab that. So, uh, once you've done here, looted everything that you can, got rid of the smell from your hair. Because you can already smell what's in that uh, jail cell, don't you? Uh, we can actually just head back the way we came, or oh, getting a bit, getting a bit over uh, tingy majig day. Eh? Again, if that's the case, just get rid of everything, which is basically red. Um, there's not a lot left to loot in this area, if anything. So um, you can actually just go ahead and sell some more items if you need some more cash. So now we've got the key card, we can actually head to the left this time and go in again. You think you should be able to slice your way in, but there we go. So you should now be able to hold the X button to fill and again. So you should have had two canteens, um, which we would have picked up and some bleach as well, which we would have picked up. So now we can go to the inventory and then what we need to grab, there we go. So we've got the toxic wastewater. That is exactly what we needed. So head to the... Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, knockout juice. Uh, no, the mercury amalgam first, of course. So we got bleach. You should have toxic wastewater and bleach. So just go ahead and create. Uh, just one of them should be fine. Um, if you want to create another one, you can. But uh, no, one of them should be fine. Because that is what gets the quest complete. Just by doing two. Now, there is another track access hatch that we can uh, run to in this area, but uh, there's not going to be many times. In fact, we ain't coming back to Rat Home. So, yeah. So, what we could do is actually just um, use the track access hatch in order to get back to St. George's Home. Tractor, wasn't he? Well, that was tedious. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, after we do all this, we're going to sleep till morning. You know, just get a, you know, six o'clock. We're a bit uh, snoopy. We're a bit snacked. And then afterwards, we can go back to the chemist and get ourselves snorted. Hopefully, Fiona's not there to punch a square in between the nostrils. a bit of money, and I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Lovely day for it. Let's spend my money, shall we? Sorry, I'm just so picky these days. Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona... Oh, Cerberus. Uh, Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Oof, that mustard gas of the... Yeah, anyway. Right, so we need to find someone who has been exposed to the mustardest of gas. And that can only mean one thing, Captain Tom. No, not Captain Tom, that's the old guy who's dead now and whose daughter was uh, basically scum. Yes, that's not him. Uh, that's not him. We're talking about the old captain, the one we went in as, the one we went into the house as Arthur's playthrough where we actually knocked everyone out, uh, first of all, yeah. Uh, so for now, we are going to head up And when we get here, no, we should be good. Right, okay, then just go ahead and follow the uh, follow the waypoint. Yeah, that's all we're going to do. Oh, in fact, actually, while we're here, we got 46 skill points available. Jeez, why have I taken so long? Right, okay, what we'll do first then is track star. Um, we can then do... Uh, no, we're not going to... Oh, in fact, we are. We will, yeah. So do hardy, and then we'll do mauler. That says hauler, by the way. Uh, picky picky, uh, plants yield more resources. That is pretty important as well. Uh, don't worry about Hagler or anything like that. Um, next, don't need high tolerance. Uh, craftsman, yeah, nah, not particularly. Uh, so. Ooh, Night Stalker, that is definitely what we need. Um, in fact, it's not Night Stalker, but we do need nothing to see here, so we don't get caught, or we don't get uh, police, uh, the police all pissed off. So make sure to do that one um, as well. Uh, attacks on unaware enemies do double damage. Mm. Mm. Nah, we should be good uh, for stealth. Uh, we'll go over to Super Duper, go to Blender, go to Frenzy, which you can deal double damage when health is critical. Comes in handy if you're using your bare old fists. 
Um, uh, it does, but uh, yeah. So once you've uh, popped those skill points in, the main things that we were going for there was really the uh, picky picky for uh, getting double the plant resources and the nothing to see here. Uh, Hell yeah. Now, I did what I was thinking of as well. Remember, if you got lucky with the You Do Know Jack achievement for watching all of uh, Uncle Jack's shows, then obviously you don't have to worry about it. But I was going to see if I could just nip in, you know, nip in, watch the TV for five, see if we can get something. But uh, nah, nothing be doing. Uh, so we'll come back to that a little bit later. Again, you do have Ollie's playthrough if you don't get it in Sally's playthrough. But, uh, you know, either... Either find somewhere with a house or a radio and just keep on cracking on until you have uh, got the achievement. Um, but again, I'll just show you where I found it easier in just a bit. So we're going to head into our lab, interact with the blower, and then eventually we're going to interact with it again and then head upstairs because someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you want to lock the door. Please don't still be here. So, after a good snooze and a good smash with the governor, um, we have to go back downstairs, interact with the blower. Now, nobody can know about Gwen. Whoever the father is, I'm not sure, but I assume it's the uh, generals, because, you know, disgusting... Stupid grey moustached men always spread their seeds about when they are in a position of power. Right? That's just the norm, isn't it? Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to head upstairs, obviously. We are going to interact with Gwen, make sure she's okay. Um, ah, now, of course, yes. Now, you don't actually have to change a nappy if you don't want. You can just leave her a cry and scream. But being a father to two kids myself... Uh, I felt really bad, so I just made some pure water, crafted a nappy, and chucked it on her. Try not to poop again until I get a new nappy on you, okay? You're tired, aren't you? Now, Gwen has probably crapped so much that her... Uh, that she's probably got the worst bit of nappy rash available. But unfortunately, we haven't got no cream, so you're just going to have to have red baboon ass. Sorry, Gwen. Um, but we've all been there. We've all had that red baboon ass in our life. So um, anyway, whichever way you've done it, if you've just left her screaming in her own poopy filth, or if you've been nice and sorted her out, whichever way you've done, we can now head to the house that we need. So again, once again, head to the waypoint. Lawrence, wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a. Your 
Right, so this is the place we're going in. By the way, that long cutscene um, that we, and yes, we can walk right on in. This will look familiar to you. Um, but yeah, that, that cutscene that I skipped just a few minutes ago, that was actually where we met Sally for the first time on Arthur's playthrough. But anyway, come into the living room here. A couple of sisters here having a fight about some crap. But if you go ahead and stick yourself into this right-hand side corner, just out of sight of the sisters, you can rob everything from there. So grab the water, the bigger banger, grab all the coins, the music box, first aid kit, just grab it all. And nobody will question the stranger coming into your house and everything suddenly being gone from the shelves. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa, or will be. It's Edmund's piss. Right, so once you've robbed everyone and they've stopped arguing, get the, excuse me, rejoiner. Get your rejoiner out of my face. Need a bath, mate. Right, so we're gonna head all the way up the stairs and into this room. There's gonna be a little bit of a cutscene, which, if you need to know what happens, uh, basically, we extract the mustard gas from uh, the old guy, uh, Thomas Lawrence, yeah. So we've extracted it with this big machine, square in his throat, he is unconscious, so he's all good, don't worry about that, but uh, probably best to leave now, just in case anyone decides to come and check on him. Although again, the smell, I probably wouldn't bank on it. Uh, so head out of the front door, again, we've got what we need. A uh, little cutscene is going to happen here. I don't think you can actually skip this one. Sally Boyle. What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush. You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? Witchity witch, witchity witch. So now what's going to start is the Weird Sisters quest. And now we're actually going to get an achievement for doing all four of their uh, quests. The only problem is this part has an extremely long bit of running. And you're going to see exactly what I mean in just a minute. So again, obviously it's going to be somewhere completely random for you on the map. For me, look at that. All the bloody way down the bottom left-hand corner um, of this map. So, yes, it's they are going to be quite the long runs. Depends on whatever your track access hatches are as well. You may get a bit luckier than I did with some of these. But if not, um, yeah, just know that it's going to be a long run. I will obviously edit the run down because you don't need to see me running for a 1,000 metres. Um, but what I will say is... Um, Oh, is this the bit we're going for the night time? I don't think it is actually, no. But anyway, once you are, when you're running there, however far you've got, try and stick with the gardens as much as you can. And of course, try and grab as many flowers as you can. The foxglove seeds, hopefully you've been collecting a lot of them as well, because we're going to need those um, for some uh, crafting later on. The, the galail petals, whatever they are, just make sure wherever you're running to, um, you are collecting all of the plants as much as you can. Um, and again, there was just a bit of an edit there. I just decided to try and unfog the map a bit. In fact, that's what we're going to do. Uh, now, we're actually going to go ahead, before we head to the Weird Sisters, we are going to go ahead and grab the two mask collectibles that we are yet to grab. Now, the first one is in the underground station, and that is the Wastrel Station. Uh, now remember, as Arthur, you had to uh, flash the torch, had to flash the torch on the wastrels, and then hit them until you know they got all smashed out. Um, 
because I'm in a bit of a bit more predicament this time, what we're going to do is just run in, grab the uh, grab the mask, and then get the hell out. So, yep, if you haven't found it already, the underground... Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? You know, the underground with the... It's got a big underground sign on it, and it looks like London Underground. Um, yeah. But anyway, hopefully you've been sort of running around the garden district enough where you should have seen a track access hatch. Obviously, when it's in yellow, it means that we haven't uh, sorted it out yet. So that's why we are heading there now, just to get the two masks these two masks out the way. There's one in here and there's one in Dogberry Park as well. Uh, but this is what I am talking about then. So obviously if you haven't come across this, this underground sign is what I'm trying to say, this access hatch, then this is what we need because this is where one of the, or the Preggers mask is. So there it was on the map for me. So it should be somewhere anyway in the middle of the, uh, uh, the middle of the garden district map. But we can now just head straight inside. Remember bread? So yes, you will remember this one just fine. Uh, now again, I did try to get rid of these uh, waste rolls by doing our normal um, hit with a couple of times with the weapon and then punch them but it just obviously without the torch it just gets ridiculously dark so there is literally no need so what we're going to do is we're going to keep the torch on and we are just going to go ahead grab the mask you'll see where it is now when we get down here um, but it's just uh, as soon as we get down here it's just off to the right there it is so that's what we're going to do as you can see it gets a little bit too dark and there is generally no point so head for the mask, grab it, and then run backwards and get out of there. Unless, of course, you have the non-lethal weapon, then you can just go ahead and smash it all and make this track access hatch yours. Tell if Mrs. Witherington is. Hey, I'm not <laughs> it's a shame, Mr. Wolf, because I would have liked to have stuck my access straight into that track hatch. Right. So next up then, so that is the first of the masks that we're going to grab. Now we're going into St. George's home, where Sally's home is. And we're actually looking for a place called Dogberry Park. Now, I didn't actually uncover it on the map just yet. But literally, as soon as I effectively get up and start running to the right, it appeared for me. So hopefully... Uh, it would have appeared for you if it hasn't appeared, if Dogbury Park hasn't appeared on the map for you by now. Uh, again, you'll just have to have a little nip around and, uh, you know, do some running about, as it were. Uh, get to the morning again, if you so particularly wish. Oh, and remember, because we're back in the posh area, make sure to change your clothes as well back to your proper suit because uh, as you can see or as you're about to see a lot of people are like why am i what are you doing? and then they come chase us and stuff right so again obviously <laughs> as we are fully aware now almost 11 hours in um your, your whole map is random so if you've got dogbury park on your map you can just go ahead and run straight there or if you do need a little bit of uh, running about just to get it to appear on your screen or on your map do that as well now i have just found it somehow it didn't appear for me earlier but now it has so once you have got to dogbury park there we go yes we all know it's dogbury park uh just head straight on through the gate and 
just slightly to the left there is the next mask beastly and people are beastly at me because i've still got my torn suit on so i'm gonna um so after we've got this i'm gonna go ahead take a run and take a little hidey wide <laughs> Remember what was bothering you yesterday? <laughs> I certainly hope not. Well, today is going to be even better. Now, we all forget things from time to time. But don't forget the most important thing. Did you leave the stove on? Did you remember to shave? Did you wash your hands? Did you brush your teeth? Scarlet, you didn't did all you? These things, but they're not the most Aren't you the clever thing. one? And that is, as right. we all know, enough of that then. Your joy today. Time for tea? Get to take your joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Oh, no. Never you weary! Right, so once we've done all that fun, now we are going to head to the Weird Sisters. Um, which, of course, like I said, can be anywhere on the map for you. Um, which, again, is a bit of a pain, but the, uh, like I said, these next four quests are spread out quite not very nice for us um, but hopefully we've got some decent track access hatches going and remember when you are in the sort of big garden area always be on the lookout for a building with a whole pile of smoke coming out of it that will indicate another track access hatch um so yeah like i said earlier <coughs> excuse me uh but like i said earlier oh god my throat <clears> throat> i'll try again once i said earlier once we are heading through all of these, uh, try, try and stick with the sort of grassy areas. And again, make sure that we are grabbing as many berries as we can, especially the foxglove seeds, the tall red ones, and the uh, galail petals, the rows of whatever they are petals. Maybe because of his flaws. And so, through the magic of editing, because it took me about seven minutes to get here. And do you really want to see me running about picking up berries for seven minutes? No, no, no. Uh, so once we get here then, the entrance should be just around the front here. There it is. So get up, get knocking, get talking, and let's get start rubbing. Uh, boots. Uh, wait. Tis time. Tis time. She comes. All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle. Okay, so the first one is obviously Hope Chest. Um, now, this one is not too bad, um, but we will be fixing and doing the knockout syringe. We will actually be using the knockout syringe. Um, Again, hopefully it's a little bit closer to either an access hatch or a little bit closer. What I end up very sillily doing, uh, doing. oh, in fact, actually, no, we're going to have to go back to a track access hatch anyway, um, because we're going to need it to be nighttime. Um, so, yeah, that's what we are going to have to do anyway. So, again, hopefully it is a little bit uh, closer to you. If not, it doesn't matter, uh, but we will need to go back to an access hatch. Oh, my nose needs a bath. So yeah, just having a look, seeing if I could upgrade any more skills, but I can't be asked at the minute. So what we need to get this knockout syringe, we need some knockout juice. And what we need is some non-night blooming suches, whatever they're called. Uh, what are they? Night blooming non-such. So again, hopefully you've got at least three uh, histoplasmas there. You should have histoplasmas and the other ingredient. Um, but it is... Um, it is the night blooming non suches which we need. So we're going to have to sleep till the night. Yes, of course, there will still be wastrels about. So you're obviously you're going to have to be uh, just a little bit careful or just run straight past them or whatever. Um, 
but once we have done this and it is night time um though i i sort of tended to go for about 11 ish but it's probably even better if you just go for you know midnight 1 a.m ish something like that So, obviously, we are going to be heading for the waypoint, the hope chest, and we're going to be grabbing as many flowers as we can on the way, but the most important is we need at least three of those night-blooming non-suches, which, of course, only come out in the night. There they are, shimmering pink like a big old stink, uh, or something or other. Again, uh, I'm not going to be showing you another f six or seven minutes of me grabbing flowers on the way, but... Head to the waypoint, grab as many flowers as you can, and, uh, you know, enjoy the scenery. So, I mean, hopefully you've got more histoplasmas than I have. If you've got at least six, that means you can craft uh, then three knockout juices which would then give you 60 knockout syringes um but again if not you can just craft you can craft one later on when you get some more histoplasmas you can buy some if you need it but there we go knockout syringe get three done and you have 30 knockout syringes so this actually comes in a lot more handy so you know for a lot of these parts we now don't have to just fight the enemies which is good we can obviously use these knockout syringes which make things a lot easier um so when we finally get to said oh. waypoint in the hope chest we basically have to take out these four guards the now one of them i think is a bit uh you know i think he got a bit well a slightly little bit silly and he just sort of stuck with nothing um but there's going to be two that are looking away and not moving and there's going to be two that are moving of course if you do get spotted by one just Keep sprinting until you're out of view, or you can get in some flowers. But once you've hit the knockout screen, it's, ju it's just like we've done with uh, Arthur. So press the Y button when you are at uh, behind an unaware enemy. Who's gonna clean that up? Um, you should, again, 30 should be plenty. Um, we shouldn't need 30 for the rest of Sally's playthrough. But again, like I said, for us, it definitely made things a lot easier instead of going and just trying to batter the crap out of everyone. Um, so again, what we're going to do, we're going to wait for this next guard to walk and then walk away and then we're going to get the other guy on the left and then sneak around for the other two. I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. you tell, so it was your idea. It's your fault for leading me on. This is our little secret. What have you got for us? Hooray! Simple as that. Okay, so once you're done and you've looted everyone if you wanted to, uh, go ahead, hold the Y button to open up the chest, and then the X button to put in the sacrificial bricks, which you should have got from the Word Sisters. And then apparently with that, we can actually carry more, so that comes in handy. Now I just say this prep. That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I guess I should talk to the, the weird sister. 
Again, just checking that I've got still got zero kills. Now, you will see one shelter. Do not go... Well, one of them is basically a military, the military checkpoint. Don't... Basically, don't do what i done. I uh, effectively went all the way to that military checkpoint, couldn't find the track access hatch, and had to keep running away from waste rolls. It wasn't worth it. So just head straight back to the weird sisters, or the word sisters, um, at the... Uh, obviously, the, the whole witch mountain thing. Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. Next up, we need to get one circle and put it in a square. Oh yeah. Uh, right, so what you can do is... We don't actually need it to be nighttime anymore. Um, we've obviously got enough night blooming non suches and stuff. So what you can do, you can sit on the bench, which is just next to the door, and then wait until morning. Uh, but this is where I actually find... So we are just going to start making... Uh, to, again, wherever it is for you, I got no idea, but hopefully it's a little bit close for me. It was still a while away, but I do end it. I did end up finding another track access hatch here. Um, again, this building with the smoke pouring out of it. So, again, if you manage to find one on your travels, that's great. If the uh, waypoint was close to one of your track access hatches, even better. I can come back from any other hatch without anyone ruining my clothes. No, darling. I'm not sure what we do after we get out. We'll cross that bridge once we get across the river. Right, so, cutscene will appear when we get here. If whenever you skip or watch this cutscene, there's going to be another mask directly to the right of us. So, look right now, and there it is. Ru, I Ru Reynolds you. I didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Did he lock you out? Okay, so a few ways you can do this. If you've got a non-lethal uh, melee weapon, you can obviously just go straight in and batter them all with it. But obviously, I don't. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna have to do is. I'm going to wait for this bald guy to just head straight back up. And then I'm going to get behind him and inject him with the um, knockout syringe. Somebody may see you, and if that's the case, that's fine. Just head around. There's plenty of yellow flowers to hide in if they do start coming for you. Uh, but there is another guy that is walking around. So again, we'll just do the same thing here. We're going to actually wait until he starts getting, uh, starts walking back down. And once he does again, you're going to get up behind him and syringe his ass by his neck. Now, somebody did actually see me this time. So what we're going to do is obviously just sprint away and hide in some yellow flowers for five seconds or so. Now, there are four people who are in the middle area. So, again, like I, you know, like I said, if you've got the um, uh, non-melee weapon, uh, not non-melee, the non-killing melee weapon, you can obviously just go in and batter them all, as I said. 
But if you're going to try and do this the sneaky knockout syringe way, what we're going to do, we're going to just sneak up behind this first guy, knock him out with a knockout syringe, run away and hide, and we're going to keep coming back until all four of them are down. And oi! The way you look at me. And enjoy it. We'll never know what that was. More for the rest of it. Oh! You'd enjoy it if you just relax. <laughs> it's like a fun game. Now, uh, tried sneaking up on this guy. Um, and, um, yeah, it didn't work. Purely because he is stuck. So he's trying to chase me, but he's actually stuck in between the rocks. So, uh, obviously, if that happens to you and that's all good and he can't chase you, we can actually just go ahead, press and hold the X button by the poison, and then it's job done. Who's going to clean? Could be worse. Stay out of the fog. It bites. Well... You're not my problem, I guess. There they are! Get them! Oh, yeah. I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. people there. They were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom McKay. Okay, so we are on to the final quest of the witches. Now, what we are going to do, um, now unfortunately, again, this glitched out for me, but luckily, I managed to pick up honey off an enemy earlier on. Um, but what we actually need to do now is go ahead and find the corner pub, which is in St. George's home. So effectively, what we need to do now in order to get the honey... Now, again, couldn't find any shops that sell it. The only way we can get it is in some of these honey um, nests. And for that, you need to be padded up with some equipment. Um... Because as you'll be able to see, if you don't have any equipment on you or 
any padded suits or anything, uh, the bees will sting you and you, you just can't, you cannot grab the honey. So it's a pain. Uh, but first of all, so again, we're going to need this in order to craft the digital axe thing. Um, but again, whatever it is, just head for the corner pab. These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. I'd see to your clothes, Mark. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. So again, uh, unfortunately, this glitched out for me again, and I will tell you why it glitched out for me. Um, so, again, when we get here, you're going to see a stitch in time, the sign, interact with that. And we're going to go, old Mrs. Pancakes has a shop, that's great. And it's literally just at the door here on the left, so open that up. Head all the way up the stairs. And then once we ring the bell, Mrs. Um, Pancakes is basically going to say, look, I need a reform club invitation. I'm a horny old lady, and I need to get my gimp suit on. Um, now, what I would advise is probably not skipping the scene. Uh, because, again, I'm not sure if skipping the cutscene um, didn't make this work. Uh, but basically, uh, we need to he now head to the shop. So she wants a reform invite. Now, the waypoint... Once we just put that in on our quests, it tells us to go to Lionel's shop. Now, Lionel's shop for me in this playthrough has been nothing but a butt snatch, okay? So it's always worth making a manual save just before this, um, before we actually started the quest. So hopefully you got a couple of manual saves before you started the quest, because that appears to be the only way if it's glitched out, you may just need to reload before taking this quest on again, and hopefully that sorts it out. Um, but again, so yeah, it's going to tell us to go to the shop here, and it should be, <clears throat> excuse me, it should be, once we interact with Lionel, it should be, once we barter with him at the very bottom, the, he should have three of the reform invites to sell. Um, but he doesn't. So in my playthrough, he doesn't at all. I then went around different shops to try and find one, tried to find the Reform Club, but it is not actually in Sally's playthrough. So I really, literally have no idea why it's glitched out for me and why it didn't work. But like I said, I'm very lucky because I managed to get the honey off an enemy earlier, and hopefully the this glitch does not happen to you. I hope you're very happy with that. There you are. Have you got my chemical bag? So it's an absolute pain in the butt. Yes. So I thought maybe if um, we speak well, to Lionel, it may you. work. Have you got my um, bag? But yeah, just nothing. And again, I tried. Mind if I uh, I now, I didn't have a manual save before I picked up the quest off Mrs. Pancakes um, for absolutely ages. So I messed myself up there. Uh, bought the carry cot, which we need anyway. So if you do come to this area and you end up speaking to Lionel, remember to buy the um, cot because we need that for another quest anyway, or the, a complete quest. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not sure if it's because he's got too many items in there. I, I couldn't friggin' tell you. But anyway, what will, would happen is when you get the reform invite, you go back to Mrs. Pancakes. She goes, oh, thanks. I can't wait for everyone to feel up my saggy boobs. Uh, and then you're actually able to 
buy things from her, which includes uh, one suit and a padded reinforcement suit for like £70, which comes in mega handy. And that is exactly one of those suits is what you need for getting honey from the honey bees. So, and I repeat one more time, hopefully if it's all good for you and it's all going very nice and smooth, um, buy the Reform Club uh, invitation offline, I'll head back to Mrs. Pancakes. You will then be able to buy a padded suit or a reinforced padded suit for around 60, 70 pounds. Then go ahead and find a honey nest or a honey bees nest Hold the X button and then that is what you need uh, and then that's all good. If for whatever particular reason it doesn't work, um, the only thing that I can think of is just reloading a save before you took the alterations quest. Um, maybe then don't skip the cutscene like I did. Um, maybe buy a couple of things off Lionel so maybe he has space in his inventory. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm genuinely, I have no idea, I'm afraid, I'm not sure, but that, uh, yeah, so this almost messed me up, but it didn't, so onwards we go. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Okay, so you should, like I said, have your padded reinforcement suit on. If you can't, if you do, just go straight up to the bees, hold the X button, and you'll pick up a whole glob load of honey. But as you can see, um, I get about halfway through every single time, and I just get stung to death, which is just annoying. So it, it really seems to just not work, um, and then go ahead and just run away. So without a suit, it just doesn't seem to work. Run away far enough that the bees will stop chasing you. Sorry about that, my loves, my friends. Um, but anyway, hopefully, as I said, it's all gone well for you. So we can go ahead now into our inventory. And we can craft that thing we need. The digital axe. The diarrhea digitax, whatever it's called. I mean, realistically, you think one of them, what, somebody in the shop would sell just a jar of honey anyway. But anyway, whatever it is, it's all good. You've got the Digital Axe Antidote. So we can now head for the Waypoint. Again, hopefully that's nice and close for you. Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better.
Now, if you remember this, this is the Thomasina house, which of course Arthur had to take some histoplasmas and go nuts. Um, this time it's going to be a little bit different. So there's four people on the outside. So make a manual save if you so wish. But again, you still should have enough knockout syringes. Now, the first guy's going to be coming down here. He basically wanders up and around the path. So once he stops there, you can get behind him. Give him the little stabby stab. Now the woman, as we turn around, the woman up there or the man, whoever it is for you, may see you and start coming down. Obviously, you're just going to want to hide and then get up behind him or her. Uh, but if not, she walks to the other side so you can just quickly walk up. And give her the old stabby stab of life too. Okay, so before heading inside, uh, we're going to actually head back down where we knocked out the first broski. And there's going to be another two that we're going to get rid of down here. There's the first one. So, yeah, if you just try and come this way so you don't drop down, you, you don't make a noise. Uh, ooh, whoa, he almost spots us there. So what we'll do, we'll just wait for him to go to the right, and then we'll give him the stab of life. But there is another woman where we are looking at right now. We'll start walking down as well. So you want to be just slightly careful. <clears throat> don't tell. <clears throat> no one likes a tattletale. If you tell, I'll say it was your idea. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. Goodbye, Baldy. Okay, now we are actually going to go into the house. I don't think these people have got anything on them. Um, so now we're going to go into the house. Now, there's a whole bunch of traps laid out in the Thomasine house this time. Now what the game wants you to do is basically throw glass balls at each one so you can avoid the darts. And, you know, do it that way. But unfortunately that way takes ages. So what we're going to do is... We're going to hurt ourselves a lot, which means make sure you've got a lot of healing bombs. So again, collecting those rose petals, going ahead and craft some. Um, uh, go ahead and craft some of those healing bombs with the Sean Galeel petals that you've got. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Actually, some healing bombs. There we go. So we've got 79. So that is plenty. So just give yourself, you know. You know, maybe 10. 10 should be honestly, generally fine. Poifek. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, we're just going to nip through the traps. When you go through the traps, we're actually going to jump as well. Because if you just stand there, um, all of the darts are going to hit you. And that's basically going to almost kill you. And we don't want that every time. So we can just jump over this first one. That should be fine. Good job. Um, we'll duck underneath the piano, head through to the next area. And again, like I said, this is what the game wants us to do. Grab a bunch of glass bottles and disarm each trap. And it's just, nah, it's just too annoying. Ooh, scotch. So what you're going to do is jump through the traps, run through the traps, and then jump up. As you can see, i done the stupid thing. And I almost got myself killed -er, than a deader than a dead thing in Deadland. Again, bunch of traps here, so we'll, again, like I said, walk through it and then make a jump for it. You get the animation that you've hurt yourself, but uh, again, as long as you're sort of moving away or whatever, um, it's not too bad, as you can see, the health doesn't go down too much. So again, you can loot what you can, if you so wish. Ah, what the hell? Hmm, anyway, head through the door, kind of a linear path anyway, this one. Uh, but you can jump over this next trap. Ooh, search the ashes. And then you can just go ahead, jump over this one. Come here, there we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Double bubble, I smash myself up. So again, run through this next trap and then jump. So some of the darts can miss you slightly. And the same with the next one. And... Obviously, just jump over the bathtubs. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to see uh, Let's take a little left through this door here. Now, you can actually... 
in fact, we are going to just run through one of these traps. Uh, oh, let's just get some helium bams down yet. Yeah. There we go. Now, there's another three that we can either just do the same thing or we're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to climb up on the stair banister right here and then drop yourself down. There we go. Should be good in the hood. Now, when we get through here, make sure not to kill any of the rats. Because if you accidentally kill one of the rats, that actually counts towards one of your kills. And obviously, you will void the achievement. So, just make sure if you're doing it the glass bottle way, um, try not to kill any of the rats. People have found that out the absolute hard way. Uh, so, yeah, there's a chest there. There's a book there we can grab as well. Uh, once you've left the rats alone and you're all good, you can actually just jump up over the stairs and job done. Again, as I always say, it's always good to um, just check your statistics. Make sure that you've still got zero total kills. Ooh, a couple of dig spots going on right here. Right, so jump over to the next part. Um, we are almost done, actually. We're almost done. We're going to climb up on these boxes. Uh, take, a, take a left, effectively. Head through this next window. And then you're basically just following the platforms around. Do we hate it in a... Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh park. But then you say to them, well, don't they? And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle... Okay, two ways to go here. Straight through the right, through some more traps, or take a left and just give yourself a little jump of life. Oh, man, this guy's doing my head in. And we are almost done, as I said, with the traps. So you can jump over. Uh, can take a left in here. Again, just a couple more things to loot. Uh, just a low dresser. How low can you go? You can get down low. And we're going to make one last big run and jump for it. Yeah! Job done, mate. Job done. That's it. So when we get down here, we are going to interact with the poison. And then we are going to have a little fight with just one enemy. Uh, so again, remember, we can't use a knockout syringe on him, so we're going to have to do the whole trick of beat him till his health is almost depleted, and then punch the rest of him out of it. So once you've uh, sorted that out, hide, go ahead, oh, well, loot the small dresser first, apparently, then hide under the piano. Once I've skipped the cutscene, or you've watched it, the fight will begin. Uh, basically, he wants them to all suicide. They're like, bruh, nah. And I was like, oh, you ruined my life, mate. Come here. I'm going to gut you like a pig. So again, obviously, we are still going for zero kills. So you need to be very careful when doing this. Suppers! Over! Guardians! <laughs> Who will guard them? Good night! Bruh, you're supposed to let... It's a video game. You're supposed to let me heal up while, uh, you know, while you don't attack me. I'll just go into my inventory then. And just Okay. Here we go. So hopefully you would have had some good practice at doing all this by now um, in terms of, you know, blocking and then punching unconsciously, etc. Unless you've got one of the good non-lethal weapons. Um, but you can basically search him if you want. Um, but there's effectively no need. Again, just making sure of the total kills. Otherwise, we're heading back up the way we came. We're going to head out a window. And we are going to head back to the witch's camp to finish their quests and get the next achievement.
I don't actually like long walks. You stopped them! How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took a... Off I go to the train station. Thank you very much, Hotness oh, of Witches. That is done. And now next, what we're actually going to go ahead and do now is grab the You Do Know Jack achievement. Obviously, if you've already got it, you can just skip ahead a few minutes. So, just before we crack on now with the main mission, if you do have the You Do Know Jack achievement for listening or watching all of his TV slash radio shows, then you can crack on with the main story quest. Um, but in the, in the track access hatch in St. George's home, uh, there is a little radio there, so just to get it out of the way, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to obviously uh, take you through the whole thing. Now, for me, it was the tw a 12 p.m. show and a 4 p.m. show. That's all I had left. And still, even, you know, obviously doing the tricks that we'd done earlier, uh, this still took me about 20 minutes of sleeping and waiting. Um, yeah, so obviously, if you um, if you don't have it... Now's the time to pretty much just get it done so it is out of the way, unless you've already done it, of course, or if you already got it earlier. Either way, this achievement will be done. Thank God. That was a bit of a pain in the old pain or chocolate, wasn't it? So it's a pain or chocolate. Anyway, once that one is done, um, and I will show you. Oh, showing off my uh, pushing skills there with Sally. There you go, I will show you, for some reason, my Xbox seems to do this lately. Unlocks achievements, and sometimes it doesn't show up on screen. But there we go. Naught point... Oh, look at us, we're 007 at the minute. Ah, Q. Right, so, once that is done, now we can sleep, and we'll just go ahead and sleep till morning. You know, why not? It's been a, it's been a rough 18 hours. We'll just sleep while Gwen is starving and uh, pooping a nappy off half to death. Um, but <laughs> let's crack on then with the main story. So again, there, there was just a little bit of an edit there. Um, as I reloaded the game, uh, it just put me here. So, yeah. So, like I said, the next thing we're going to do then is, uh, basically head for home. Uh, that is where the main quest is taking us. So we are going to head home and see if I had that track access hatch available. That would have been grande. But since we don't, we're going to have to do a little bit of access hatching and running. Now, again, if there's anything over, you know, like if it's if it's like five or six hundred meters plus, um, I'm just going to edit it down and just get straight to the point rather than you watching me uh, <laughs> basically run about doing nothing. But again, remember, while you're running through these these garden areas, make sure to be grabbing the fox glove. No love, no glove seeds. And basically any seeds that you can come across. Uh, so we're not actually going home, sorry. We're actually going to be entering the ruins. And we're going to be doing some butterfly hunting. Uh, now that is apparently not the way to go. Um, but you will remember, or you should remember this area. We came here with Arthur in Arthur's playthrough, obviously. It was the train station and yes. So this time we're going to be heading straight on. And we're going to be doing a little bit of... Um, butterfly catching, as I said. Now, if you have a, I think it's called the F 
Velocine jab. Basically the one that uh, cures you of the plague. So uh, you can craft some. You should have plenty enough um, things in your inventory to craft a couple. So if you see any wastrels, um, try and... If you can't get the plague from them, then use the Fenosaline jab or whatever it's called. Then you will be able to get the achievement for contracting and curing the plague. Um, again, like I said, you can craft it. I think it only takes like rotten potatoes, empty syringes and... Rubbing alcohol, I think. But anyway, so we got to catch 10 lots of butterflies. So obviously, this is where the first one is. And again, there is an achievement later on for catching 40 butterflies. But uh, there's a little bit of a trick. Um, we will come to that a little bit later on. But generally, if, even if you don't want to do the trick, there are plenty of butterflies hanging about all over the show. So uh, we are not going to climb up. We're going to head through this little gap in the fence. Uh, there's a mask. Oh, yeah. How could I forget the mask? Delicate flowers. Pick up the delicate flowers mask. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. And then once that's done, then we can continue onwards. And how we continue onwards is just climbing up the bar and continuing on. So we'll jump off. It's a bit of a platforming section, this part. Um, but once you have a look to the left there, you can climb across the beam or jump to the beam. And go ahead, catch the second lot of butterflies. Oh, so butterflies. Uh, so continue climbing upwards. And rest. then turn left. And then turn right. And then you can see this lot of butterflies. And then just in front of us, there is another lot of butterflies. So be careful, just have a little um, walkie walk up the beam. And then head back the way you came. I wonder if they'd choose it. If they could. So hello, yes, this be the way you came. So we can just go ahead, don't drop down, make sure to drop down on this platform, or this plank of wood right here and jump off to the other side. Don't worry, nobody's gonna be chasing us just yet, so nay bother. Um, go ahead and grab these next butterflies. Again, if you're trying to get the plague, uh, if you've got that phenocyline jab, whatever it's called, there's plenty, to, uh, plenty of wastrels here to have a look around at. Hopefully you do get one, otherwise we'll climb up to the wall and jump straight across. Catch another two sets of uh, butterflies. You wouldn't survive the and then, uh, oh yeah, we'll have a little, oh, let's take a little look in the crate. What we got? Uh, coffee beans, yes. They probably don't taste disgusting at all. Uh, so jump up onto the wall. Now, there is a set of butterflies down to the left, but that is where all the galaxy wastrels are. So we're obviously not going to bother. We're going to turn to the right and we're going to make a jump across. Somehow... Even though I uh, got stuck in midair, somehow I made it across to the other side. Anyway, here is uh, number eight and number nine set of butterflies, plus another little crate to have a cheeky little master uh, break into. Oh, it's a dig spot. There we go. Nice. And then the last one, drop down to the left here, and that is the last one. The only problem is... We now need to get out of this train station, but the only... Uh, we basically need a train lock. Now, um, what you can do is you can obviously try and fight all these wastrels if you want, but honestly, the easiest thing to do, they're basically hovering around another dead body. That is the body that has the key, so what we're going to do, we're just going to make a break for it. Now, I do try... Uh, now, I basically try and uh, sneak it out. I don't think they get too angry until you start looting him. So, make sure to hold the X button and then press the X button again. I didn't do that the first time. So, um, yeah, I had them chasing me all over. Um, and then just quickly run back the way you came. All the way to the end. Take a right. And there we go. So, go ahead. Hold the X button to unlock. It'll take a few seconds, but uh, hopefully you should get out just in time under the fence, and we have that one done. So, yes. So, it's not too bad there. Again, you may get hit a couple of times, but hopefully you've got uh, first aid kits or some healing balms and all that, sh all that good, delicious stuff. Okay, so once we have gotten rid of the combat, or we're not in combat mode anymore, um, we are going to head to the track access hatch near our home in St. George's Home. St. George's Holm, should I say. The English language is terribly confusing. 
Any, you know, anyone that doesn't speak English that wants to learn it will be confused with so much in the English language. Ah, that's probably why we're all stupid, huh? Um, but anyway, there we go. We're into St. George's Holm. Now, before we craft the pheromone, we, we need to make sure to just get this achievement out the way. Again, if you've accidentally already done it, do not worry. There's plenty of butterflies about to catch anyway. Uh, but basically, go into your pneumatic stash first. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click in the left stick to sort by most recent. Uh, click right stick to go into your inventory. And then you're going to hold the Y button on the butterflies to move them into your container. Click RS to go into your container. Hold the Y button to put it back into your inventory. And then just keep doing that uh, effectively until the achievement unlocks. So it should only take a few seconds there, but that's a neat little uh, neat little trick. Um, but like I said, honestly, you should be fine because even when we get out of this track access, access hatch, there's like three lots of butterflies. There's loads in parks and there's just tons about. So again, if you haven't got it now, don't worry. But it's nice to get it out of the way, huh? Yes, it is. Right, happy with that one then. So now that we have the 10 butterflies, now we can go into our inventory, go into survival, no, not survival, it's, uh, oh, there you go, that, the phenocycline jab, yes, that's the one. So that is the one that we are, well, i got five of those now, um, which we will get in just a bit. In the not too distant future, we're going to get that achievement if you don't already have it. But anyway, craft two of these pheromones in order to complete the quest. I better finish that batch of Blackberry Joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. And next boy, damn damn boy, we gotta do some home cooking. So yeah, like I said, as you can see, we've already got a whole bunch of butterflies just chilling around. So there's plenty of them. Uh, but yes, we need to go back to Sally's house, go into the lab, and then effectively, you're just pressing the X button when prompted in order to make some Blackberry Joy. Now, if she has to go through all that every time just to get Blackberry Joy, bruh, taint worth it. Taint worth a ting. Neglectfully yours, Sally. Okay, let us go ahead and answer the door. And obviously the policeman's going to be like, Oh, I might have got the black in our door. Uh, and then, uh, again, like I said, you can watch the uh, cutscenes if you want. Obviously, I've skipped them all, so we're going to keep on skipping. And then basically after this, we're going to go down to the station and they're going to give us a little dance number, which is weird. Hilarious, but still weird. Um... <laughs> Oh, the lights of um That was wonderful. Thank you. Fuck fuck fuck. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this? No, it's just a silly feeling. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Thanks guys for not doing anything. Much much prefer that rather than the uh, weird exotic pole dancing. That was originally planned. Okay, so what we'll do now, we are obviously just going to head home. So follow the follow the dots, follow the main, uh, follow the waypoint, and then we are going to go and check on Gwen. A few things are going to happen. 
i.e. we just have to go upstairs and then check out a book and then hold Gwen in our arms and then we can neglect her once again. Naughty, naughty. Die of me. Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is. I think they're just cranky. I'm tired. Well, I mean, Sally, if you would go home like a normal person instead of sleeping in track access hatches, you'd probably know that, uh, you know, babies catch measles if they don't get changed every bloody one hour. Because the diarrhea, the absolute diarrhea on some babies is incredible. Now, remember to grab the carry cot. Now, obviously, you've seen me buy the carry cot um, earlier on uh, as we were, tri because obviously Lionel... For some reason, some of his stuff glitched out on me and it all got a bit weird. Um, but you see me buy it earlier on. But if you haven't bought it yet, you should have plenty of skill points available. Uh, so what we can do, I'm just having a little look around. But the main two that we're going for really is uh, the Hagler. Um, two basically, so it's that one, the Hagler, and then there's one underneath it. You can get Lucky Me as well. Find some fancier food. Uh, herbalist. Uh, but the main ones are basically there's two for oh Hustler, that's the other one, Hagler and Hustler. So once we got those two, basically, uh, I think uh, most things are then half price. So yeah, tidy. So if you haven't got the carry cot, normally it would cost you fifty pounds, um, but now it will cost you twenty five pounds. Now I'm pretty sure I should have shown you this earlier, so I do apologise. But if you don't have it yet. Um, go and grab it now if you don't have any money go and grab um, but I mean if you've been grabbing lots of things to sell and who the hell are you I, 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 hey old lady you just shut the door on my face clear up soon, I imagine. What a yeah she'll clear up soon get the hell out of here what the f god da don't you pose like that sexy old lady no wait never mind uh, uh, you stay there then you son of a yeah Anyway, as I was saying, if you don't have the carry cot and you're in need of some cash, hopefully you have been, you know, looting every bin and post box and everything um, so that you have plenty enough to sell. Uh, picking up weapons and stuff like that, hopefully you should have enough to sell. But anyway, you've got the carry cot, so now we can go ahead and connect the dots, pick up another mask, um, and I don't know what else rhymes with dot. Nuts! Anyway... Uh, head to the waypoint. For me, it was quite lucky. Um, I did get quite lucky with this one. But wherever the next waypoint is, it's basically the Joy Factory. And we are going to get our next mask. And it's going to be right at the end of this bridge. So it still might be easy to miss if you're not really paying attention. But, uh... There you go. You just see it shimmering, glimmering, shinily in the distance. So go ahead, pick this one up. The best and the brightest. Sounds like another Foo Fighters songs. Another Foo Fighters song, sorry. A new Foo Fighters song, that's what I was trying to say. There's someone getting the best and the best and the best now, yeah. Right, so climb up the stairs, interact with the intercom, and then you can skip a couple of cutscenes if you wish. Sally Boyle, can I come in? Fuck 
fuckity fuckity fuck. Now, if you're wondering what happens, uh, what's happening here, no, they're not giving us a salute to our death. Um, they're just basically saying goodbye because the guy, well, Anton, as his name is, absolutely hates us to death, and he basically wants us to get arrested. So. Uh, you're all good there. The achievement there, the Toxic X, X that's obviously a story-related achievement. And eventually, after sh sh uh, Sally stops talking, we can go ahead and connect the dots again. This time, it is quite the while away because obviously I still didn't get that track access hatch. So, whatever the closest one is for you, as always, go there and then just head straight for the waypoint. Now, again, like I said... Um, for me, it's a bit of a long walk, so I'm going to edit it down slightly, but always remember, anytime you see any foxglove seeds and any plants, as I always say, collect them, because it, uh, you will need some. Soon. So then, eventually, when we do get to the waypoint, this mask will be here every time. So basically, Arthur and his big old plane schnoz are sitting on the swing, but before speaking to Arthur, interact with the mask, Gingham, on the slide. Uh, so once you've done this, speak to Arthur, and then we is good to go, yeah. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. I'm... Again, if you didn't watch the cutscene, you know, they have a bit of a I'm sorry, I'm jealous, blah blah blah, and then they kiss and then they get all awkward like little teenagers. <laughs> Grande. Okay, so luckily, uh, oh in fact no, not luckily. So I basically went to the military compound earlier to find the track access hatch, but it's actually not available until this mission. So, wherever the next waypoint is, you head straight for the military base. And don't worry, we're not going to get attacked because everyone loves us as Sally Boyle. Now, like I said, I've been here before, so what you would need to do if you haven't been here is speak to the guards here, the real old guys. The gate will open up. You can loot some stuff in that room if you wish. Otherwise, you're just going to keep on heading straight forward, and then we're basically going to end up in the Ranger Douchebag's room. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of- Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a- Alright. So there were a couple of long cutscenes there, but what we're going to do actually, uh, we're not going to head towards that waypoint, we're going to go to the right, where the bunker is, and of course we've come here uh, once or twice, but all we're going to be doing is just following the bunker all the way around. You can loot some ashes, uh, some campfires if you wish. Um, otherwise, we're just going to basically head all the way around. Right, so once you have followed the waypoint, and I know that little distillery area, distillery area was slightly confusing, but open the door and pull the lever. Now, when we get down here, be prepared for the biggest fight of your life. Eh, no, no, sorry, that's not happening, but there is the next mask is down here. You can just see it right in front of us now. So before speaking to um, Colonel, uh, Colonel Potato Face, take a left here. Take a right, and there is the next mask. I do believe, if I'm being believable, we have one left to grab as Sally. Grande. 
So, once you've grabbed that one, um, now we can go around to the other side of the boat, speak to Captain uh, Starfish Face. I can't move it. Poor cat. Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well. Thank you, Mr. Fishbags. Right, so now we can go back, pull the lever up. Again, there's a few things to loot if you want, and there's a bottle of scotch and some stuff, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not really, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, so yeah, uh, basically I didn't bother. Right, so what we need to do now is just go all the way basically through the distillery and then after, um, not Gwen, uh, Sally, old um, Gimp Mickey Mouse Sally, stops talking, there's going to be a new waypoint that we need to go to and that is actually the track access hatch. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. Alright. <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Attention all personnel. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way. Now it's actually coming up on our right here. Right now, there it is. So luckily, uh, she stopped talking and the waypoint came up just before. So once we get into the track access hatch, um, again, you can uh, loot some things. There's a couple of uh, blueprints on the left-hand side chemistry table. Um, and then, basically, we are just going to go ahead and sleep until the morning. And of course, don't forget to actually turn the track access hatch on. Uh, how easy is it to not turn it on and then you mess up? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be grabbing another couple of achievements oh so soon. Did you like my Australian? Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the fast travel hatch and we are going to go all the way to uh, St. George's. No, we need to go to the... Uh, Apothecary, ap apothe apothecary, sorry. So it's the maiden home hatch that we want to go into because we are looking for the apothecary. So as soon as we get through this track access hatch, gear it out and find the apothecary. We're going to be doing some stuff and buying some stuff and we're going to be needing some stuff. And the apothecary is uh, what we need. Well, that was tedious. Okay, so we're going to look at our skills. We're going to uh, upgrade with a couple of more skills. Again, we will need to be crafting some stuff. But uh, first of all, go all the way to the right to the super duper. Put alchemist, which will now give us the ability to craft uh, the blood toxin and uh, something else, whatever, uh, velvety, whatever. And then double double. Uh, so they're going to come in mega handy in just a bit. Uh, so you should only have a couple of skill points left. You can use them. Oh, also make sure too that you've got Craftsman as well. Craftsman does come in very much handy as well. Uh, so what we need then, we need Blood Toxins, which we should get if you've been collecting a lot of Night Blooming Nonsuches um, and Lily Bulbs and you've kept them and obviously Charcoal as well, which you can get from stoves and stuff like that. So we're just going to grab as many of these Blood Toxins as we can. For me, uh, it's just four, which is fine. But then we also need... The Sleep Tight, which you need the Velvety Emulsion for one. Some Digital Axe, hopefully you should still have at least five Digital Axe. But the Velvety Emulsion needs honey. Whoops, I hear you say. Oh my god, no, I hear you say. Luckily, the Apothecary Man, Mr. Stuart Adams, is going to come to our rescue because he will have some to buy. Plus, he will have some Lily Bulbs as well and some Bleach. So basically, all things that you need for crafting... Broski needs, so head your buns to the Apothecary Hearns. You 
can't go walking around here dressed like Oh, yeah, don't, uh, yeah, of course, don't forget to change into your beautiful suit, of course. Not like one of the common people with the torn suits. Oh, no, 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 no. You gave me quite the fright. I could use a bit of money. Morning. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. Right, so once we're battering with Stuart, as you can see there then, so we've got bleach, we have velvety emulsions. So there's two for me. Uh, one should be enough for you, but um, if there's more than one, just grab it all. If you want a bit more rubbing alcohol, um, uh, some saltpeter might be in handy. The phenocycline jab, if you don't have any of them, now's the time to pick one up because we're going to get the I Got Better achievement. Plus the lily bulbs. Oh, he's got some sunshine there. Grab a couple of sunshines. Um, and if you want, you can grab some flash if you want to do even quicker running. But that should be all good. Again, like I said, make sure you've got a phenocycline jab as well. That is to cure the plague. And we're about to grab that in just a little bit. Oh, uh, grab some bleach as well over there. Why not? Why not grab some bleach? We're on the spending... And I don't actually do that. So if you're still needing some money, hopefully you've got some stuff to sell. The old top shelf. Right, thank you, Stoyet. Okay, let's have a look then at the crafting. We should now be able to craft. I mean, if you want, like I said, if you want to craft another digital axe, it's worth doing because it does give you more of the sleep atomizers as well. Remember, we need an achievement for knocking 50 people out with sleep atomizers. So now we can go down to sleep tight, which should give you um, six every time you craft one. So I've got 12 sleep tights right there, which comes in handy. Now we can go ahead to weapons. No, not weapons, but uh, tools. Sleep tight atomizers. We've got 12 sleep tights and at least six empty atomizers. So hopefully you've been picking up a couple of those and then you can just go ahead and craft as many as you want or as many as you can. Uh, so I think, yeah, I obviously got six right there, which is plenty enough. It's plenty enough to get the achievement with and for helping us uh, for basically the rest of the playthrough because we still got a couple of uh, doctors to beat and a couple of enemies uh, and these sleep tight atomizers just works perfectly well. Right, so once we've gone back into the nearest hatch. Now, what I actually tried doing here, I tried going to Rat Home Hatch because originally, and I will admit mistakenly, with the Sleep Atomizer achievement, I thought you could just um, chuck it on any NPC. But apparently, and this is right, you can only use the Sleep Tight Atomizer on an enemy that doesn't ha that's not angry at you. Um... But uh, anyway, this is where I get the plague achievement. So I loot this body, a couple of histoplasmas, but I get the plague. Um, so obviously, when that happens, we can go to the uh, go to your inventory, grab the venicide clean jab, and then that will get you the I got better achievement. Now, like I said, why I came here um, because I thought, oh, I could knock two. Two out with one there. Um, go around, knock 50 waste out with the sleep atomizer. And hopefully, um, when we do that, you should be able to at least contract the plague um, with one of those bodies. But again, as it turns out, they only count. So the 50 sleep atomizers only count if an NPC is not angry at you. So as long as it doesn't have the red triangle above their head and they're trying to come and kill ye, um, you... Uh, that is what counts. So, yeah, I uh, kind of made a mistake with this one. I thought I could not... Uh, I mean, still, if you wanted to, you could still do this. Uh, come here, knock out a couple of wastrels, and um, just search each body until you get the plague. But in again, in just a little bit, we're going to be doing a main mission where we have to go up a hill that basically has a dead body on it. And apparently a lot of people have contracted the plague from that body. So if you don't get if you don't get the plague from any of these yet, that's 
fine, don't worry about it. Um, I thought I could sneak up on these guys, and yeah, I just thought, well, you bet. Uh, so I didn't bother with this. So, yeah. So we got the I Got Better achievement, and now we are going to go, before we crack on with the main story stuff, we're going to go for the... Uh, I love the smell of chloroform in the morning. Uh, another thing I should say as well, that you can actually use the reload trick. So if you go ahead, go to, I would pretend, I would probably say the garden district's the best place for this. Not as many cops and everything about. Um, but what you can do, if you don't have many of the uh, empty bottles or the sleep after my safe, you've only got two or three. What you can do is use those three up, make a save, use the three up. And then reload that save, and it will still count. So save you manage to get 15, you know, 15 or 20 with the sleep atomizers, and they've all run out. Reload, uh, make a manual save, then reload that save until you get your, th uh, when you get your three bottles back. And apparently that works just fine. Uh, but yeah, so, oh, yep, sorry. Let's uh, just get out of that. So, yeah, in the Garden District, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Obviously... When there, where there's not a lot of people about, and if they're walking away from you, you can actually, if you just walk nice and slowly, and people are walking away from you, you can spray them, go up to the next one and spray them, go up to the next one and spray them. Um, but obviously a lot of the time you will be getting chased, like so. Uh, so what you'll need to do is basically, if you can, get a big group of people, um, bring them somewhere, uh, hide until obviously they all start walking away, and then just go back and try and get as many as you can before they start getting all pissed off and angry with you again. So that's the way you're doing that. Get in a big group, get them to get them to chase you, you hide for a minute. Um, and then just try and spray as many as you can. Go ahead and hide again. And just rinse and repeat until you get 50. So you may be a bit luckier than me. It still took me about 15 minutes, purely because... I think I could only do like maybe two or three in a row before I had to go and hide. It was a bit of a pain in the old behind. Um, but uh, yeah, so that is that. Again, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to be showing you 15 minutes of this. I've already edited the major part. I'm actually, I am actually trying to hide because I think I have already unlocked the achievement. But my Xbox keeps doing that stupid thing where some achievements unlock on screen and some don't. But, yeah, so hopefully you do kind of, I uh, hope that you do have the gist of that. Um, you know, it's simple enough. Like I said, you're spraying a couple of people, hiding, spraying a couple more people, hiding, and then just keep going. Again, if you're lucky, you can knock this one out in five, ten minutes. Again, it took me just over 15 minutes to do, so still not bad, but, you know, ligam. Ah, yeah, there we go then. So, like I said, achievement unlocks. So that is those two out of the way. And now, we can actually go ahead in just a bit. And uh, we're going to... Uh, yeah, so we'll do a couple of these main story missions first. And then we are basically going to do one side quest, which is actually needed um, in order to get the final mask of the Sally playthrough. So for now, head to the nearest track access hatch and go to the waypoint. Oh god, my feet are killing me.
are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Okay, so once you get in here then, we're just going to talk to uh, June Rubin Bobham, whatever her, her name was right there, old alien neck, alien giraffe neck. Uh, thank you, Jane, Rubin Bobin. Right, so we have to find Captain Strawberry up on the hill. Now, this was the hill that I was talking about with the dead body and that, I think, pretty much nine times out of ten, you can contract the plague. You know, I actually didn't hear... But I, what, I'm wondering if that's because I'd already contracted the plague, perhaps. Um, but again, I'll show you in a minute. So, find the waypoint, go to the nearest track access hatch, and then nip it on over. Mind the gap, please. Righty mate, so this is what we need then. So you can pretty much tell this little rocky outcrops right here. Now when we start going up the hill, you are going to see a dead body hanging. Um, now if you interact with the body before the pointy stick, you should be able to contract the plague and then use your phenocycline cycling jab. Uh, again, a lot of people I've seen um, have, gathered, have got the plague from this one. But again, I'm not sure if it didn't... Give me the play because I've already had it, perhaps. Um, but, yeah, so that is the body that you need. So, if you do that, jab yourself up, and then hopefully the I Got Better achievement will unlock for you. Um, right, anyway, once you've talked to Captain Strawbeard, we are just going to head all the way up. Now, there are five guys that we need to take down, and it's they're pretty easy. We're going to basically knock out syringe as many as we can, and then use the sleep atomizer on the rest of them. No, please, no, don't kill me. Right, so we're going to try and take out, like I said, as many as we can. Sometimes they may see you after the first one. Sometimes they should be good after the couple. Now, I ended up taking out the three left ones here before the guy on the right is like, eh, excuse me, bro, what the hell? So get out your sleep atomizer and then smash them the both. Ouch, that hurt. You just cleaved me in the noggin. Oh, I didn't even get that guy, but he ran away anyway. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye now. Right, uh, ooh, um, ugh. look at this guy, look at this guy, he's got a Mangiana right there, oh god, what, what happened? Did you accidentally butcher your own wang? Anyway, let's untie Eddie and then go back down and meet Captain Strawbeard. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh boy, he's not having, he's, he has not had a good time in the two playthroughs so far as the old Ed Magoni. Oh no. Uh, right, so like I said, we're going to uh, speak to Mr. Strawbeard and he's going to be like, Oi, thanks a lot, mate. Erg, have a book. I wish I had. Yeah, I wish I had. Well, why didn't you then? Anyway, so we've got the book of boats, which we need. And then just after all of this dialogue, we can go ahead and basically go into the park to meet our terrific. Ah, damn it! Again, because I wussed out with the middle track access hatch, I now have to go from the military bunker. So expect a little edit right here.
Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious. Okay, so after more arguments with Arthur, he does have a face behind that nose. Um, but after a little bit more and off he knobs with his letter of transit, we are now actually going to be doing the side mission, which is needed for the final mask for Sally. Uh, so again, I just made sure to have a look. I've got no kills. Thank God. Uh, right, so what we're going to need to do is actually head back to the corner pub where Captain Strawbeard and Eddie is going to be. And we are going to go ahead and speak to Eddie. So track your access, get your buns in the pubs. Yes, pints on me, boys and girls. And it took Gwen as far. All off. Recommend an excellent tailor, ma'am. If you'd like to get your clothes stitched up. Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Sally Boyle! Eddie McMillan's looking for you. Uh, he wouldn't tell me what it was, but he seemed pretty, well, pretty distressed. So yeah, this guy should always be here. So the, where, the closer you get to the pub, uh, that guy should be there. He'll speak to you, and then that is how you will get the Framers quest to start, and that is what we need. So after this, we're just going to uh, head in, speak to Eddie, who's going to be on the left, I believe. There he is, yep. And then he is going to... Doctors. Uh, what am I saying? So, yeah. So then we can just go ahead and put the quest marker on. And we're basically, there's a couple of doctors in the house. Now, this has been tried, true, and tested. But these sleep atomizers do work with the doctors. I didn't think they would, but they do. So if you're worried that you haven't got a tidy weapon and you're going to have to do all that weird fighting stuff and save every two seconds, luckily you don't. So, wherever the quest marker is for you, of course, that is where you're heading. You can take your joy Okay, so let's do it. Let's save the game. Uh, I mainly say it's always worth making a save anyway, just in case before. Just, you know, saves the hassle. So there is going to be one doctor here, just on the floor, on the bottom floor. And you can already see where he is. So again, you can't actually use the sleep atomizer when you crouch. So you're going to have to stand up and basically run towards him and then use it. Uh, I think two, as you can see. <laughs> 
But two should... Uh, maybe three. Ah, okay, try again. Ah, there we go. So it, it does work, eventually. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it may just take a little, a little while. Now, sometimes the doctor from upstairs may come running down, so just be careful of that. But if he's all good, you can go ahead and just do some looting, have a little look around, see what we can find. Okay, and obviously the same upstairs. Now the doctor's going to be walking around all over the landing, so just be careful. For me, he's right there. So we're just going to nip straight up. Give a spray. He does give the whistle. Come on, stop. Oh, and yeah, if your atomizer uh, empties and knops off by itself, go to your inventory, go to weapons, and just um, grab another one. There we go. Ah, there we go. So after the whistle, who uh, well, nobody else heard it. <laughs> okay, so the first bit of evidence that we actually have to do is on this desk right there. Plus, this is actually where we're going to get the next mask. Uh, the final one in Sally's playthrough. So this is the first bit of planted evidence. And then if we take a left here into the bathroom, the next mask is going to be behind the shower curtain. What boys want? All boys want is... Uh, uh, well, it depends on the boy, but all I want is food and uh, some a trembolone sandwich. Uh, so, yeah. Do a little bit more looting if you wish, but then we are going to head upstairs and there's actually going to be two doctors we're going to have to deal with. And the second bit of evidence is actually going to be right in front of us now. That big old uh, uh, butt plug looking rocket thing right there. So once we have got that, you've had a little bit of a loot. And had a little look around out here. When we go behind the door, that is where the two doctors are going to be. So get your appetizer, at atomizer ready. Not appetizer. Uh, or, you know, whatever you're going to try and use to beat them both with. But quick squirt, squirt, squirt. Ah... Ah, there we go. Nice, nice. So that is why... Sorry, I, I just yawned. Um, <laughs> so that is why it is worth making as many of these sleep atomizers as you can, because it just makes it a lot easier. So there's the last bit of evidence. So now we can just head all the way downstairs, watch the cutscene, and uh, yeah, then that is done. So then we can crack on with the main mission -y stuff. Now, where is this evidence of which you speak? I have seen no evidence whatsoever linking Miss Boyle with this poor woman. And your evidence... Right, so we're going to sneak out the window, but there are going to be a couple more guys that we are going to... Oh, in fact... No, it's not this bit, sorry. No, it's not this bit, it's the next one. Uh, I thought there was... So basically, after the end of one mission, there's three guys that are going to try and hit us and kill us and take us down, but we're going to atomize them to... Sleep. Um, but since that's all good, what we can do now is just, like I said, head for the main quest. Oh, damn spurt! If I did the synthesis right, I should look just like I'm on my joy.
lovely day for it. See, my bit of sunshine never hurt anyone, did it? Now, I only came back to the shop here just to see if he's got any... Um, anything other than all the things we've sold him. Now, again, I reckon... Not today, I reckon it glitched out of me probably you know, because I like sold him too much. Boots. Perhaps, or I don't know. But anyway, screw you, Lionel, in this playthrough. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to go home. We've got the cod liver oil, so we're just going to go straight upstairs, give it to Gwen, just make sure there's no old lady in here. Get out of it. And there we go. All right. I know a thing or two about the general's boat. Now I can... I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Get to sleep, get to sleep, get to sleep. Oh, the amount of times I've sung that in my lifetime. Go to sleep. You know, what sort of one, two, three, four, every hour under the sun in the morning. Or every hour under the moon, I should say. Okay, so next up, we are just going to go for the next main quest. So foul and Faraday. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. So, uh, now it looks like there's no one home, but you can hear Mr. and Mr. Bacon having a little bit of an argument, so just interact with the shutters, and then we can just head straight upstairs. Now, you can do some looting and some stealing if you want, um, but you have to just be careful that James and Roger don't see you, because they will see you and they will chase you. Um, but I do have a... Damn, Roger, you are... Well, something else, lad. Uh, so you, you can interact with the two chests here. Now, I thought the tickler was a good one, but it basically does no damage. It's it's a weapon that is used for pleasure and not pain, as it were. So you can interact with both chests. Uh, Roger shouldn't see you. Roger and his todger. Uh, but yeah, I was just going to have a little look. I thought, oh, I finally got a non-lethal weapon. And then it does no damage. So, like I said, that's more for pleasure than it is for pain. Right, but since that's the case then, let's just head upstairs and speak to Mrs. Faraday. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Farad. The unicorn song. So, what Dr. Faraday needs is um, the unicorn song. Bruh. Haven't they got Spotify? Oh, no, this is actually a long time ago, haven't they? Uh, no YouTube, no Spotify, so nothing. Okay, so what we're going to have to do then, there are two things that you can do. You can go straight to uh, Nick Lightbearer's house. Um but it gets a little bit more difficult to actually get in. Or the optional bit is we go to the police station or the police garage and grab his key card, which is exactly what we're going to do first. So it's the optional quest we're going to go to first. So enter the police garage and grab the key card. So mark it on your map and then fly, fly away, my pretties. Right, so once we get here then, what we're going to do is uh, just climb up on these uh, platforms. Of course, they weren't here before on Arthur's playthrough, if you remember. 
Um, we are going to sneak and continue to sneak. Again, you should have plenty of knockout syringes um, for the ultimate takedowns. So just crouch your way through and around the corner. This guy's always going to be here. So apparently she can't, uh, the Bobbies here can't hear us just whispering and talking to ourselves, which is good. So get him going. And for some reason, now I believe, I mean, it's obviously a glitch because no self-respecting person would uh, lock themselves under the stairs. Uh, like that, trap themselves. <laughs> but that, I believe, happens every time. So, otherwise, I think he's just having a little walk around. So, just be careful if he is walking around. But uh, I think he's just doing that. So, uh, jump down, crouch down, unlock the boot, open it up, search the suitcase. And that is and the key card. And then what we're going to do, <laughs> somehow, you can't take him down because, you know, he's trapped. So, we're just going to run past and run all the way around. And then we're just going to crouch through, and that is easy squeezy, squeezy my cheesies. The thing is, the thing is even when you don't, even have, when a you don't have a choice, they still blame me for it. Of all, all the rotten things, things I've, I've done, done, the thing the I've thing hated, me the most for, I don't even have a choice even about. Choice about. Uh, sorry, I'm just uh, reading on the screen there. My That was my best Sally voice that I could do. Okay, so obviously head towards the next ne uh, waypoint, which is going to be Mr. Lightbearer's house. And when we do get here, we're going to go around the back, <laughs> around the back, and interact with the, uh, well, there's a letter here if you want to grab that one. But then we could just interact with the keycard reader and nip in. Now, there's no enemies or anything like that in here. You don't have to uh, crouch or anything like that. So we're just going to basically be doing quite a bit of looting. And it is actually after this mission where we need to try and run away from the three guys, but Sleep Atomizer comes in handy once more again. Well, funky as ever. So, if you're not bothered about looting and you just want to crack on with it, uh, effectively all we're going to do, we're going to go upstairs. Um, we're going to go into this room right here, lock pick our way in. Grab the key card and then head up the next flight of stairs um, until we uh, get into Nick's dressing room. But uh, yeah, so nip in here. The code is going to be up on here. So we can go ahead and grab that one. And then, like I said, we're going to get out of here. Climb up the next set of stairs up to the dressing room. Now, we will always loot from the bar because you can't beat another two bottles of scotch. Again, where Sally's putting them, I don't know. Maybe in a Mickey Mouse bag. Uh, but you can interact with and grab all of the items here from Mr. Lightbearers. Mr. Buzz Lightyear's uh, thing. And I'm going to grab some coins. Um, the Oh, San Sanitol will come in handy and the Flash as well if you want it. The Sanitol will give us just a little bit more health. Um... Now, there is a button back here, but we just have to do a tiny little puzzle, which involves the three guitars on the wall. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the Sanitol. Gives us a little bit more health, which comes in handy. But, I mean, we are coming up to the end of Sally's playthrough. Spoiler! Right, so three guitars then. So from left to right, so you're going to press Y on the first one, Y on the second one, and X on the third one. So Y, Y, X, and it'll always be the same. And then you can go ahead, interact with the mirror, and go to Nick's hiding place. What a place it is, too. I mean, if you're going to grab a big hiding place like this, might as well be this. Uh, now, what you can do is duck, dodge, dive, and weave your way through, or you can just completely just keep jumping through. Um, and then heal yourself at the end if you need it. Uh, it's just a lot <laughs> just quicker and easier to do it that way. Now, there are lots to grab in here. This is a... <laughs> I mean, it's a hell of a place. A lot of empty syringes, empty pill bottles. There's rowan berries. Um, ooh, some rubbing alcohol we're going to grab. Some bleach as well about. 
blue currants and foxglove seeds and yeah so just grab pretty much everything that you possibly can why you don't actually have to but why because we want to and why because screw you that's why okay now always take a look at this guy's a night he has a night blooming nonsuch coming out of it so uh damn that is nick liberia must have had some hell of a parties over the times so after you've grabbed most of what you can, we can now go ahead and just grab this. Uh, not the tea leaves or the pure water, uh, but the unicorn song. That is what we are wanting. And we can already tell that the song is probably hot garbage. Um, interact with the key card reader. That's going to turn the lasers off. And then, like I said, we are free to head up and head back to the outside. So again, when we get outside here, there are going to be three guys that are going to try and kill us slash chase us. So it's always making it worth a manual save, but get your sleep atomizer ready. Obviously, if you don't, you're going to have to just make a run for it and try and hide from them. Um, but hopefully you've got enough in order to just go squeeze, squeeze. Ouch. He just literally smashed me on the noggin, you douche. And there we go. So if you've got to run, obviously run and hide somewhere, but... You know, now we're just, ah, we can take our time, we can relax, we can enjoy not being chased. Uh, but anyway, that's what we're going to do now, head back to Dr. Faraday's office. Just keep going back, which is lovely because you can eat them. Did you know that? ready come and get it come and get it ding dong ding dong right thank you oh just glitched out but nah she didn't right so now we're all good we are going to head downstairs and we are going to be coming now we're actually going to be coming up to the end of sally's playthrough so a couple of more things left to do we've got no more la masks left to collect so well there's only one thing to do huh we're going to do it Now then, let us finally crack on and finish this. So, uh, the unsafe house quest will be somewhere, obviously, on your map. So, just go ahead and run to it. Uh, I'm just going to take a little, uh, hey, hey, buddy, want to sit on me? Oh, God, we can see through his bed. Ne never mind. Never mind. Screw that guy. Uh, so, yes, just run to the main quest. Um, I've noticed an odd thing. On the roof across from my bedroom, I've noticed an awful lot of chickens. And once you've hit this obvious looking big massive painted wall about indoor shoppers, uh, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. So it's all, you know, relatively chill for now. Um, we're just going to climb up some platforms. You can loot these toolboxes if you want. Uh, there's pretty much no need though. Like I said, we are coming up to the end of it now. Uh, but we are going to craft some healing 
bombs, only a couple. Basically, in the next room, there's a bunch of lasers, which obviously you may get hurt. But we're just going to go through the big lasers, get hurt a bit, and then heal anyway. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you know, since since we've got stuff to craft, we've got stuff going on, let's just, let's just craft it. Yeah. And, as always, I try and do 10 because that just satisfies me more. Uh, if we can get to a nice round number 10. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So I've just popped it in uh, on up on my D-pad. Then we can head in. And then if we take a look, we're going to, uh, well, again, have a look at the toolbox if you want. But what we're actually going to do is just drop down here, open up the vent and drop down again. Now, like I said, if you sort of go to the left and go around, uh, try and dodge in all the lasers that you can. There's a way that you can, you know, basically get through un unscathed. But as you've just seen, we're gonna we're just gonna jump straight on through. Take a medicated bomb. Everyone's happy, healthy, and all good. Right. Find the little bit of scaffolding here, just to the left of where we were. Again, we're gonna be doing a little bit of platforming. A little bit of platforming. Uh, just sprint it all the way around. And now climb, boy, climb. G girl, I mean. Look to the left, by the way. Okay, there we go. Now, where we need to go is there in that vent. So um, turn all the way around again. Jump up onto the pipes. Go right hand. Be a little bit careful here that, that you don't fall down like I actually did the first time. Drop down and it's job done. Well, some advantages to being so um, now don't just drop straight down because you'll lose a little bit of health. We're just going to go to the left, drop down, then we're going to turn around and drop down onto the next bar, or the next platform, whatever you want, and then we'll just drop down into the settee. Now, once we interact with the desk, again, you can watch the cutscene if you so wish. Um, obviously, I'm going to skip it, but basically, General Bing Bag's uh, going to be popping through, and we need to run away from him because, one, he ta he's taken all our stuff, and two, he does pack quite a wallop, does the old boomer man. Knock on the door. You shove your door up your ain't Right, anyway, run. Just keep on running straight. Oh, Sally! Oh, Sally! Again, turn around. Ah, I think he gets me in the back of the head, or oh, almost. So just continue on running straight. Take the next right, and then head through this door. Quick as you can, so you don't get whacked in the back of the head. Okay, so we can't come in for just a minute. Maybe I um, but we are going to need a couple of items. Like I said, he's taking all our stuff, so grab everything that we can. There's a first aid kit, there's a uh, healing balm or two. Uh, grab that um, potion, whatever it was, Hydro Plupin Uh Didn't mean to actually take Joy, but there we go. Uh, in one of the cupboards should be a healing balm. Um, the next part is... Oh, there we go. The... Quindamon, Benzelane, whatever it is. I can't really see because my eyes are blind. Uh, oh, there you go. There's another nice healing balm for us, just in case. And <laughs> where that pie was just then, it, that was where the last thing that we needed. Um, uh, oh, another healing balm. Healing balms everywhere and some bleach. Nice. I don't know why we couldn't just put bleach in General Bingham's eyes, but there we go. So there it is. Grab the pie if you want as well. But once you have completed that, we can now craft... The item in question, which is the... Yeah. Oh, the morpheline. Yeah, that's it. Right, so we're going to have to do a lot of running around and a lot of uh, sort of messing around here. We can't obviously fight back, so you just got to be quite careful um, not to let him hit you too many times. Obviously, we've got a couple of healing bombs and stuff, but let's not try to do that. So, run straight past him if you can. Now go back into the middle of the room, and on the other side, you can see uh, we need to grab a couple of these power cells. So three power cells we need. Um, so I just managed to grab two there, but he's quick until he screams. Grab the last one on the bottom. As you can see, that went about as well as... Oh, hey, Jesus Christ. How did you just punch me through the friggin' fence? Pick up the bloody power cell! Okay, nice. Right, now we got all those three. Continue running away. And then if we go to the opposite side of where we just were, um, there's like a little motoline container. So we need to pop one power cell in there, turn around, run away, not through that door, uh, but just nip on through. You can, you're can you going to hear beeping, 
and it'll stop after about 10 seconds or so, which means it's full and you can pick it up. Where is he? Ah, Jesus Christ! You stupid... Oh, man, he, he runs like an old man, doesn't he? Uh, anyway, go ahead and grab this one and then quickly press the X button again to place the next power cell in. You know he's behind you when he, when he tries to scream like uh, Christian Bale Batman. Rawr! Um, <laughs> nobody's good, Zed. Next one is done. Pop the third one in. Yeah. All right, Miss Trunchbull from Matilda. Yeah. And after about 10 seconds or so, again, go and grab the third one. And then what you're going to need to do is put the power cells back in the place that we got them there. So pop that one out again. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Run! Run, run. Oh, no, okay. All right, I got a bit too cocky with that one, didn't I? Uh, so we're going to need to walk around, make sure that he's not um, by you, and then quickly flick the switch. Now what you need to do is hold the X button in the middle of the fountain, or what I do here is I give him a little push in first. So push him right in, boom, <laughs> and then hold the X button in the middle of the fountain, and that will end that. I know, it's, it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know... You want to try to take my baby away from me? Screw off! Okay, let's go straight there, not into this room, because uh, that's not where we're going. But it is as uh, easy as that, if you so wish. So use the keycard, nip your way in, uh, grab your stuff from the old Bing Bags office, old Bing Sting Ringaching, and then head all the way over to the ne uh, the opposite side. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, another little cutscene here will ge with uh, ge uh, bleh, General Bingy Bongs. Again, just having a little look. Make sure I've got zero kills. Hopefully you have no kills as well. But basically, after the cutscene, um, we basically... If, if you didn't want to see the cutscene, we basically stab him in the eye, uh, give him a nice slice, and then we shut the shutters on him. Now remember, we've got the only key card, so General Bing Bags is stuck forever. <laughs> We win. Okay, so, um, yeah, really, really not too much left now. So we're going to have to go back to our apartment. And we're going to get Gwen bags and we're getting our bags out of here. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in. Okay, think, Sally. Yeah, don't mess with a woman scorned. Or a woman in general, because women have incredible powers that. <laughs> well, we only wish we could possess. So, uh, nip in with Gwen. Now, I do make a manual save here. This is the point of no return, actually, just like it was in Arthur's playthrough. So, I made a manual save just in case somehow that you've missed something. Oh, we do need to sleep till the night as well, about 9, 10, 11-ish, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I do make a manual save just in case if there was something that you missed or you needed to do a side quest or you wanted to do some more stuff, you've got that manual save to just go back to. Otherwise, we're going to pick up Gwen. We're going to shove her in the bag with barely any breathing space. Fair play, it's a good baby because, uh, you know, look, she's just in this chemical bag, just chilling. Nah, I suppose she's measled up as well. Why not get some chemical burns on as well? Uh, anyway, so all we're going to do now, when we get outside, we are going to fast travel. Not at this point, because it won't let me. Uh, it won't let us, even. Uh, but we need to travel now all the way to the military base to go back to the boat. Feet are killing me. Oh, but let's take a little uh, sleepy sleep till morning, because you know we don't want we don't want no wastrels and stuff trying to kick our ass. Um, but yeah, so this is literally, literally it now. We're off to we're off to see the boatman, the wonderful boatman of Wellington Wells. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be no enemies. There's going to be nobody about anything like that. So you are free to just follow the waypoint.
No one's here. Thank God. Say goodbye to Wellington Wales, everybody. Right, so first things first, we are going to put Gwen into the boat. There we go. A lovely job. And then we're going to press X to install the motor. And then we're going to turn to the right in order Let's to the um, pull the lever in order to lower the boat. And then once you get in the boat, it's going to be the final cutscene of Sally's playthrough. And you know what? It's a very wholesome and happy ending. So if you want to watch that, it is a very wholesome and happy one. Very happy that Sally got out of there. Um, spoiler alert, Sally got out of there. Uh, but uh, otherwise, obviously, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to skip the cutscene. And then when, when we skip the next cutscene, we're going to get the Sally Boyle achievement for completing Sally's playthrough. And then we are going to start... Da -da 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 Ollie's playthrough! The angry Scottish man, yes, here he is. I wonder if little Artie got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? So Ollie's playthrough is the shortest one in the game, thankfully, because, uh, you know, we've already gotten a lot of places. But anyway, first things first, um, in terms of the killing achievement, or the no kills achievement as we uh, pull the lever, you can kill people, you can kill everyone if you want in this uh, playthrough, and you will still get the saint achievement at the end of Ollie's act. So don't worry about trying to take people down. Just whap your cricket bat out and give these guys a whack. Now, remember to uh, block with the left trigger. Um, uh, also, what you can probably see is, Ollie is, while he does pack a punch, he is slower and, his, and he does use a bit more stamina as well. So obviously, just need to be a bit careful and actually block instead of just letting him hit you in the head like I just did. So once you've smashed all of these guys out, you see you've got a timer here. It's plenty of time, so don't worry about that. Uh, but then go ahead and interact with the bomb. And then what we can do, there's a little section there where we can loot some stuff. And we're going to interact with the dead bodies as well, just to see what goodies they have. Ooh, histoplasmia. Now, this guy actually has a Jimmy bar. Now, that is actually what we want because if we look at <laughs> Nick Pickles, <laughs> Nickly Nickle Pickles. Uh, so, this crate here needs a Jimmy bar. So, if one of those has it, uh, go and get yourself that crate. Um, if not, like I said, don't worry, you're probably not missing too much. Now, you can go back up to your little area room at the top um, and do a little bit of looting. But it doesn't matter, we got to come back in just a bit anyway, so don't worry if you don't do that. <clears throat> As you can see there, total kills three. But again, because we've got zero kills in the Arthur and Sally playthrough, um, the Saint achievement will unlock at the end of the game. Now, uh, more bombs are going to go off and more guys are going to attack us. Uh, the guys that are going to attack us are going to come from the right-hand side in just a moment. The way I file your heads, you worthless cocksplash! <laughs> Now, what I accidentally end up doing here is falling all the way back and falling all the way down through the hole. So what you're supposed to do is kill these guys and then take the lever, uh, take the elevator down, which is just behind these guys. But uh, I decide to just fall straight down. And somehow, I don't die. So that worked out well. So, um, yeah, so obviously if you're doing it the proper way, there's going to be these three guys that we also need to beat. If you're doing it the way that I just done, where I, um, you know, fell down and didn't break my legs, we are going to have to use a first aid kit. Um, so once again, beat these three guys to death. It's actually nice being able to just let loose and kill people now.
Right, so now we can defuse the bomb once again. Easiest thing to do. So if you're a bomb def defusal expert, just well, just knock it off. There we go. Job done. Ollie's showing us the way. Right, a few things to loot here. Um, obviously, some of the bodies. There's some victory meat on the table, which is just to the left of us. And there is a locker somewhere, but I didn't actually find the locker for some reason. I decided to be blind at that particular point. But once you've looted everything, um, everyone and everything, just follow the waypoint again. You don't want to leave them behind. Some more good stuff to loot here. Now, obviously, it's a new playthrough, so we don't have many items. That's why we're going to go completely on the loot hunt once again. Um, and in the... No, there is no more loot. So what we're going to do is just climb up the uh, bit of debris right here. And then we can just climb up the beam up to the other side. Ooh, metal tube, I'll grab that one. And then just drop down neatly and nicely. As ye can. Oh, that's neatly noisy there. Uh, oh, yeah, pick up a brick for some reason. Could probably sell it later on. Uh, have a look at the till. A couple of things here. Um, and, oh, yeah, the other side. We've got a first aid kit, a healing balm, and some bandages. Plus another till we can search. Grab a couple more squiddly dids. And then we are just going to nip straight up the platform. Oh, well, we might as well get uh, Ridgewell Honeybun. That is genuinely... He only joined the gang because everyone took the piss out of his name, didn't he? Hello, my name is Ridgewell. Ridgewell Honeybun. No, 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 no. Nobody, I promise, nobody is called Ridgewell Honeybun. Okay? Not in this day and age, anyway. So, uh, once we continue uh, on, we'll just drop down here in order to grab one, some pure water, and two, a first aid kit, and three behind the bar is the Jimmy Bar. Now, what would have been good is if there was an Easter egg with um, <laughs> Shaun of the Dead in there. Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead. That would have been... <laughs> that would have been a cracking Easter egg, but never mind. Uh, so, uh, let's just continue up the barrel now. Uh, grab a glass bottle, why not? It reminds me of my drinking days, which is today. Right, uh, ooh, crate there as well. Make sure to grab the crate, and then when we drop down, there's going to be a cutscene. And there's going to be a couple of enemies round the other side. But what we're going to do first is just turn around. And we're just going to grab these three items here. A cloth scrap and some duct tape and some grapefruit juice. Which will come in handy because uh, Ollie has um, diabetes. Or he has glucose problems, sugar problems, whatever it is. Anyway, knock this guy. And there's going to be another three that are going to attack us. Still, you bastard. So, after you've looted the bodiness of bodiness, um, we are just going to go ahead and follow the waypoint up. There's no loot over here, so don't even think about it. Uh, make your city get a little jump over. There we go. Tidy boys, straight up again. And then just follow the path up. And grab the parachute. There we go. Nice job. But we're not quite done just yet. We've got a little bit more to do. Uh, so we're going to drop down. Now, if you done it the obvious way, which was to bring the elevator down, that is where the elevator will be. And then you'll be able to pull yourself up. But obviously, because I've done it the breaky legs way, um, we've actually got to call the elevator down. There is a lever just on the side here. There we go. So once we've pulled it, it'll start coming down, and then we can go back up. 
funny times. I mean, it could be faster, but... Uh, uh, anyway, hey, while, while we're here, if you want to know what date I'm recording, Luton Town were 3-0 up against Bournemouth, and Bournemouth... Bournemouth incredibly came back to win 4-3. That's only happened five times in the history of the Premier League. Mad. Uh, right, so whack out these two guys. Give them the whack of life. Kiss my behind. Oh, nice. Straight in the leg. And there we go. So once you've smashed those two up, um, we are good to go. No other loot here. Um, just interact with the bodies if you so wish. Now, in this next area, there are going to be uh, quite a few enemies. But what we're going to do is just take the next right. And then we're just going to take the elevator straight up. So skip the scene if you wish. And then from here, just take a right up the steps. Pull the lever. And up we go. Now, you can't move until one of them throws a rock at you. And then you can move. I don't know why that is. But it is what it is. Okay. So now, obviously, what we didn't do earlier was a whole lot of looting. So there is loot stuff everywhere. So make sure to grab everything as much as you possibly can, including the safe in the back. Run away. Now, sometimes, as is random, sometimes there is a short spike behind or just to the left of the picture of Margaret right there. But I don't know if you've got to grab that before you get to this point or not. Um, not too sure, but anyway, grab the two dolls there and uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to head straight for the valve. Give that a little spinny spin spin. And Ollie's intro is almost finito. Uh, so we're going to use the ladder again. A couple of things. We've got plenty of time, don't worry. Uh, but at the top here, we're going to loot a couple of lockers and everything. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. Okay, there wasn't too much up here. So, what you're going to do is just come up here, not down there. Come on, all there, climb up, lad. And then just make a break for it. And that work. is the oh, end of long. Ollie's intro. Margaret, wait for me! Hope those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. Right, okay, so finally, now that his intro is done, we will get the Bon Voyage achievement. Um, and also, uh, what's what? obviously it's a tutorial now, so basically, in the gardens, in the garden district here, you're going to be fine. Um, but it's obviously in the posher areas that, you know, people are going to get all pissed off for you. Plus, you can see the red little blood drop. That is basically Ollie's um, blood sugar. Um, which obviously drops over time now <laughs> Right, so what you don't need to do is put his blood sugar too high or too low So somewhere in the middle is fine But if you go into your inventory and have a look in the drug section You can see the glucose syringe So pop one of those and he gets a nice sort of uh, half extra bit of sugar yum yums Oh and a bit of healing balm as well, best had um, but yeah, so there's going to be an achievement for injecting yourself 10 times with that, uh, which will pr pretty much come naturally. Uh, but also what you're looking at is a whole bunch of, effectively now we need to get three empty syringes and some honey. Because that is uh, what you need in order to make the glucose syringes. Um, but let's just pop to the skills here. So we're going to do track staff first, then we're going to do hardy. And then we're going to do, not picky picky, we're going to do haul up so we can carry some more weight. And then we are also going to do... Uh, oh, buff as well, yeah. Under combat, we're going to get buff so we get a little bit more. And also, quite importantly here, 
well, it's not important, but it's definitely worth doing, is the one called Wait For It. Basically, if you just hold the right trigger slightly, you'll whack them harder than ever. So, like I said, what we're going to do first is turn completely around and head back towards the train station area. Uh, basically, we just need a mask. Uh, there is the next mask, so we're going to crawl under, take a left, and up the steps there is a another mask. The dancing one, the first one in Big Ollie's playthrough. Um, so yeah, so effectively now, like I said, our main quest is to find honey. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of um, markers on screen. They're just um, uh, honey trees and bees. Um, but we're going to be getting honey a different way for now, since we'll get, you know, stung and stuff. Uh, but we can have a look in here and do some looting. As I said, it's a, it's a new playthrough, so what we're going to do, um, effectively, now we are going to uh, walk sort of all around the map. There's basically three things, well, four things that we need to do. Obviously, grab three empty syringes, that's the most important one. And you'll get that by looting bins and looting post boxes as you go, as we've done already with the other two. Um, we're going to need to find a track access hatch, obviously. And then the other two, we are going to need to find at least a ruined house with a shovel in it. And we need to find a side quest called Cash is Cash. Um, so yeah, they're the main four that we're going to be doing. Obviously, I would have edited this down some, um, because it, obviously it's just me running about for like 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but what I am looking for here is a bench. So obviously it's 3 a.m., People are going to be all pissed off and try and chase us and stuff, so let us just wait now until 7 in the morning. As you can see, our glucose uh, glucose levels are down, blood sugar levels are down after we waited. So just go and stick another needle in your skin, make you feel good again. I don't want to put you in that burn. But again, we will craft some more in just a bit. Okay, so... Obviously, nobody's going to attack us now. Uh, you will get attacked. If your blood levels are too low, uh, Ollie will attack things and people uh, or insult them, and they'll come chasing you just to be aware of that. So in this middle area of sort of where we are now, that is where you're going to find ruined houses, a track access hatch, and the cash is cash um, uh, side quest. So it's effectively now, at the minute, it is just looking out for those three. Um, again... Obviously, make sure that you loot in every bin and every pi rubbish pile and uh, rubble pile and everything. Um, you may also come across this quest, which is the mysterious chest. Um, which, if you do, you can leave it for now if you want. Or what you can do is hold to pick lock it, open it up. But you have to wait a day or two anyway. But obviously, people are going to be so fuming. They're going to be like, ah, you son of a get out of it. So, yeah. For one, there's a bunch of bees in it, so we're going to wait for a day or two and come back to that later. So we'll just run away. Um, but yeah, in terms of uh, Ollie's stamina as well, yeah, it's... Uh, oof. He packs a punch, but my god, is he slow. So, yeah, so once we've done this, obviously if you found that, you can go ahead and do that. But like I said, the three things we need, hopefully you'll get uh, some empty syringes. You should get... Quite a few empty syringes in any ruined houses that you come across anyway. Now, they can't be abandoned houses. They've got to be ruined houses because we need a shovel. So that's what we get in. Empty syringes. Find a ruined house. There should be an old shovel outside somewhere. And the cash is cash achievement. So again, few little bit of edit skips here. Just, um, just going to happen. As I said, it's no point you just watching me aimlessly wander around but just stick with the sort of middle of the map where we started and you should come to it eventually Okay, so here's the first ruined house that I have come across. Now, obviously, there's going to be people inside, but because it's a killing playthrough, 
Well, we're just going to go in all guns, well, all cricket bats blazing. So there's going to be three people in this particular house. So you can take them down if you want. Um, but honestly, these guys are just easy enough. So give them the old chunky nuggets of life. You never liked me, did you? We're not a- Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Couple of blueprints here. Um, yeah, just have a little look around. Uh, looting what we can. Oh, there's a couple of empty syringes right there for us. So that's uh, four. Nice. Tidies. That, well, that worked out well for us, didn't it? So once you've got that, loot with everything that you can. And remember, when you get to one of these ruined houses, have a look in the garden area for an old shovel or any type of shovel. Because incredibly, I don't get the shovel yet, but uh, wh what I ended up doing was uh, walking around trying to find the cache's cache. Um, side quest and opening up the map, and then I just come back to it. So, um, But obviously if you want to grab it now, grab it now. Uh, like I said, it's going to be outside. Outside, not the way we came in, but the opposite side. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is going to be the garden area. And obviously, I just walked straight past it. That's that's cute. So once you've got the syringes, um, we still haven't found the track access hatch, but we have found the cash as cash can quest. Cash, cash, can you do the cash can? Can cash, 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 cash can? Can cash, 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 uh, along the lines for you as well um, But what we're gonna do is not nip through the front door, um, but we are going to head around to the back Margaret Which obviously explains a lot Margaret, huh? Ollie's daughter. Damn Damn, damn, damn So, you know, we're obviously gonna be looting like hell. Now there's gonna be a bunch of bees in this room or in this house So obviously we just need to be quite careful get rid of the couple of wood planks Ollie, your head is way too big to get through there. You wouldn't happen to remember okay, exactly so where, take a left and we're going to interact with the stove. Couple of things oh, to wow, grab here if you want. Uh, but as you can see, there is. Ooh, let's have a look in there. A couple of feathers and some charcoal. But as you can see, there's bees in the way. We ain't getting up the stairs that way. So we are going to jump up on the settee, jump up onto the stairs. More bees, so what we're going to do is interact with the small dresser, jump on top of the small dresser, and then if you have a look, there we go. So if you just look there, inch to the left slightly, and then jump over, you should hopefully be able to make that. Interact with both of these, and the chest is what we came in here for. So we got four honey in there, four glucose syringes. Again, it's random, so numbers may vary, uh, but we've got a torch and some money. But obviously it is the honey that we need until we can craft a suit. I am a real charmer, actually. That's what dads do. Uh, grab the letter if you want. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. But then we can just drop down and nip out. So that is cash, 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 can, can, cash, 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 can. Right, and that's also sweet spot uh, quest complete as well. So the last thing uh, that we are going to do now uh, for the time being is just go ahead. Oh, in fact, actually, I ended up going around just unfogging that part of the map, grabbing the old shovel from the ruined house and then finding the next uh, track access hatch. So there is going to be one around here, the one with the smoke, the little house with the smoke pouring out the building. Bite my 
my ball sack, you jobby flaming fart lozenge! What a line! What was that? I wish I died in the bombings. Ah, right, back into the safety. So, hopefully you've got everything that I have. An old shovel. Um, we've done the cash is cash can achievement. Um, side quest, sorry. Uh, so that we got some honey and you've got three empty syringes as well. So, yeah, that's happy days. Now we're just going to grab a couple of crates in here, grab everything that we possibly can, and then once again, we're just going to sleep until... It's probably still early morning, but I just like to sleep until 7 a.m. anyway. Give Ollie a nice little... Ah, a nice little boost. Seems like he's had a rough night. That's me off to bed then. Okay, so once we sleep till morning, what we're going to do is now go with the decamped um, side quest. That's what we're going to go for next. You sure if you've been running around the map uh, trying to find the other, the cash is cash side quest, you probably would have bumped into this one as well. So once you grab that uh, side quest, head up and head for it. <clears throat> Don't want it. I'm coming to get you. Wait, wait. It's Stark, mate. It's Tony Stark. Right? Not Ollie. Anyway, uh, once we have got here, then what we're going to do, we're going to sneak into the house first, because there is going to be an enemy. Um, now, remember, even if you take them down, make sure to hit them with your cricket bat after in order to get the old ultraviolence. Again, the one achievement you need is for getting 100 kills in a single playthrough with a single character. And, uh, yeah, so make sure to be doing that as well. Uh, but once you've taken him down, you've killed him, or whatever, and, and like I said, the stealth achievement still will unlock, even though we've killed a whole bunch of people in Ollie's playthrough, so don't worry about that. Um, but have a little look around here. Uh, a couple of bigger bangers, and some more bangers, and some extra bangers. There's not going to be an enemy on this, on these next set of steps, but there are, uh, uh, sorry, but there is going to be a mask. What we need to do is jump across to the other side, so ready, steady, Geronimo! And, ma'am, ma'am! Oh, thanks, ma'am. Right, so, sm search a small dresser if you wish, and then we'll have to jump across to the other side. And then jump across to the other side, uh, other side. Now, again, there's going to be an enemy up here. He may be watching down at the stairs, or uh, like me, he'll be watching the wall for some reason. So, if that's the case, either way, take him down, may take him out. Later. May I give you a headache later. I'm up, I'm all up for that. <laughs> Good bit of choking. Ho, ho, ho. 
Right, so like I said, just for the um, 100 kills, I, might, I give him a whack to the head. Open up the gate, and you're going to have a little conversation with Private... Oh, what's his name? This guy. To the camp. Oh, I uh, got lost. All right, mate, that'll do, that'll do. Right, so that is that quest complete. Um, obviously, the main reason we've done that there was for the mum mask. Now, we are going to, uh, we're going to grab quite a few. Oh, just give him a little whack to the belly. And you are decreased, decreased. Not creasing anymore, are we? So we're actually going to be going to grab quite a few masks in the next, well, within the next uh, 30 minutes or so. Uh, now, obviously, uh, whichever places we're going to, which we are going to go do, 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 to the shelter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's what we'll do next. We'll go to the other shelter on the other side of the, uh, the other side of the map there. Um, obviously, to get the track access hatch going. In fact, that should actually be the London Underground one. Um, if you remember in Arthur's and Sally's playthrough, the one with the wastrels, but the wastrels are not in this one. So if you've got a shelter you haven't yet got, get there because we will be grabbing a mask from there as well. And as I said, always worth looting on your way as well, especially the um, red rose uh, what are they? Gilead petals. Because obviously they can uh, give you quite a few healing bombs, which comes in handy. I don't have to wear that idiotic mask anymore. The woman gave me. Died in the bombings. And here it is then. Lads home, London Underground. So get yourself down. Uh, like I said, you can pick up the torch here, but there are no galaxy wastrels in the next room, so you don't have to worry. So you can have a little uh, look around and grab some things. Jimmy bars always come in helpful. Uh, always come in help. Always come in handy, I meant to say. Again, it is currently 2.44 in the a.m. while I record this section. So excuse me if my brain's not fully functioning. Uh, right, so, so anyway, like I said, once we get in, we're going to open up the track access hatch immediately just so that it is done. And then when we turn around, you can already see the mask floating in front of us. There may be a blueprint or two on this chemistry set, uh, maybe not, but then just uh, crouch down and then interact with the moving house mask. You could have killed someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Aye, that's true. Nobody should ever work on a Sunday. Right, anyway, um, there's not a lot in all finished to loot here. There's a couple of loose screws and some other tiny little bits and bobs uh, and the uh, uh, the plague cure the what's it called the felicillin jab polystyrene jab whatever it's called the one that cures the plague that's on the bed as well um now i don't go to sleep here either because it is still nine in the a.m so there's no point although as you can see in the top left corner our blood sugar levels are getting a little low and also oh there it is the polystyrene jab that's just easier to see and easier for me to remember. Uh, drop off some stuff as well if you don't need it, like your crafting items and some other poor weapons you've picked up. And next, let's get the hell out of here, man. Now, uh, what we are going to try and find next, or what we are going to find next, is Johnny Bolton's shop. Now, he, it will always be... Oh, in fact, we're going to spend some skill points first. Yes, let's go buff, buffier, buffierist. And then what I would do for the next one is, is get the tank, uh, which basically reduces a bit of damage. Um, 
But again, we're going to get a lot of skill points anyway, so don't worry if you don't have enough yet. But basically, yes, what we're going to get now is Johnny Bolton's shop. Now, he's always going to be in the middle of this area that we've always been in. Uh, but he is going to be in one of these circles dotted around, up on one of those little mound mountain hills. Um, now, you have to get right up close to it. It, it. it won't appear on your map, even if you just walk past it. You've got to get right up close to it, which is why I was walking around for 10 minutes aimlessly. Basically uncovering all of this map area because, uh, yeah, because it just didn't appear. But it will always be in one of those circle bits on the map. Uh, and uh, there we go. So, yeah, as I said, always within a circle is where you will find the shop. Um, obviously, your map's going to look a little different. You know, we're almost four, uh, 13 and a half hours in. You're probably aware of that by now. Uh, I'm not sure about the bees, but the uh, golden mask for Hildegard... Hildegard is just underneath. New doll. This is Hildegard. And with that collected, we can now actually just head straight for the main quest marker, the camp of thine enemies. Basically, the military base where all the old dudes are going. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Oh, wait, this is funny. I tell you, what, I should have put some Benny Hill music over this. Watch now. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Enjoy getting stung. Uh, not us, though. We're solid. Right, so, as I said, as always, uh, loot any bins, loot any plants, etc. And just head straight for the main quest waypoint. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. Let me in, you old fogey. Why are you bloody retired yet? Anyway, uh, what we can do is we're going to actually pick lock this. And we're going to grab a few more items in here. Um, just loot everything that you possibly can. Like I said, you know, it's always better to have too much than too little. So a lot of this we probably won't even use. Uh, but again, better to have too much than too little. Now, uh, there's, there's, the reason I'm just standing here a minute, there's just one old fogey guard that decided to run down there and then he starts sprinting back. So I was wondering if he was going to see me and try and kick my ass. But he doesn't. And he doesn't have a gun either. So, uh, ah. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we're actually going to kill these next three guys. Well, you can take down this one if you want, but uh, the other two are going to... Uh, see him, be careful. Now, I duck around the corner because one of them does have a grenade. Um, and he can, that can do some, quite the damage. So, I run the corner and then batter the crap out of these two. And there is a mask in this area as well, which you're going to get. And mate, you ain't going to get far just by holding your hands up and uh, not actually doing anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, two main things we're going to grab here. One is a jar of honey, which is going to be on the left. Just after we, uh, you know, do the whole rob everyone of all their dignity and their stuff. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Um, you know what I'm talking about, but I've got it on good authority. You don't know what it is. Okay, cool. Right, so grab the honey there from the, the uh, left windowsill, and then we're going to pick lock this door and get in and grab the mask. I have it on good authority that you don't think what you thought it was. That's top reporting. That's proper lad Bible journalism, that is. Man eats 60 Tic Tacs in a row. Uh. 
Man drinks eight pints in an hour. Uh. Oh, man, lad Bible. Lad Bible's journalism is about... It's about as good as piles. Uh, anyway, once you have grabbed the mask... Sorry, enough of the lad Bible bashing. Um, once you have grabbed that, we can actually head towards the metal gate and then follow the waypoint on. The distillery? In God's name, why? Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. I didn't know what I did. Stop talking. Right, no one's trying to fight you, so uh, I don't know why we've got our double fist pump action ready. Uh, but again, what you're going to do then is just follow the waypoint marker around. There will be an enemy or two. Um, again, you can either take him down or just kill him dead. Whichever way you've been enjoying this uh, Ollie playthrough so far. Back for more punishment! Go forth and sin no more. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been. So, bro, let's go find some gung ho mo hoster, gung hoster. Yeah, uh, uh, well, I <laughs> just got away with that one. Right again. So follow the waypoint. Now, what we're actually going to do uh, in this next area, what I would suggest is uh, heal yourself up if you are not healed, because there's three ri three wastrels that we're going to need to take down in the old Bognus Regis of Lifeness. And in fact, we're not even there yet. Sorry, i have uh, getting ahead of myself slightly. Uh, so what we're going to do, crouch down. There is a tripwire right here that we're going to disarm, but the guy on the right is not going to like it. And he will attack us post-width, fourth-width. So once you disarm this banger tripwire, quickly get up and... Oh, you son of a goddammit. There we go. Well, that'll do. And there's going to be the other guy as well, so take him down as well. Brutal, dun ding ding dong, brutal, whatever the hell I'm on about. So there we go, that's uh, both of them taken care of. Uh, you can have a little look around and have a little loot if you want. Uh, not much to grab here, not like it was in Arthur's playthrough. And then go and speak to Magaggy. It's Magaggy's birthday? Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. <laughs> See, they got this whole thing screwed up. Who the hell's Margaret Simpson? Uh, your youngest daughter. Uh, your youngest daughter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, right here it says my mother's still alive. She died when I was a kid. Uh. Well, if you know this, that Simpsons episode, you know exactly what I'm about. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just go going completely nuts. As I do. Uh, right, so now we're coming up to the point with where we have to fight off three wastrels. Now, don't worry about the one guy. They're gonna, no matter how quick you are or slow you are, he's always gonna get knocked unconscious anyway. So just focus on taking these guys down. And there we go. It's a nice happy ending. Uh, I get to, uh, I always keep forgetting about Ollie's stamina, so I'm swinging and swinging, and then he runs out of breath after about three puffs, which is always nice, isn't it? Mm. Uh, so once we have um, what we need off the guy in the middle, you can go ahead, grab a couple of histoplasmas if you wish, and then just head all the way back to the waypoint. Again, there may be an enemy waiting in the trees for you. 
Uh huh. Latin. What's the bloody use of that? Sorry, I had to see that. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. <laughs> now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. Ah, there we are. All's wells that ends wells. Right, so when we get in, don't go running for just yet. There is a banger tripwire again that we need to just take care of. And actually, in this hatch, there is going to be another golden deliciousness mask. Um, ooh, Dick the Naughty Duck. Now, is that the duck's name, or are you telling me to do explicit things to a duck? Either way, it's probably illegal. Apart from in some countries, I reckon. Anyway, when we go into the toilet here, or the lavatory, this is where the quits mask is. So make sure to pick this one up as well. I quit because you're dead. That's, uh, that's what Ollie says here. Um, yeah, sad stuff, sad stuff. And then, of course, we can do our usual looting and then make sure to turn on the track access hatch as well. Don't want some bricks, though. Don't need El Brickios. It's a dangerous business. You step onto the tracks and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing whether you might be swept off to. Right, so once you've dropped off what you want to drop off, go ahead and sleep till the morning. And then we're going to have to use another cheeky g -g -g glucose syringe. Now, what I was meant to get here um, is the tank. So one is called tank. Um, I accidentally went with survival stuff here um, for picky picky and haggler and stuff. What I was meant to get there was tank, which is at the end of combat. And there is one, the one just underneath the shield in the middle combat section there, um, which I think is for uh, doing double damage or something like that. Uh, so they were the ones I meant to get. Um, but I accidentally picked the wrong ones, which is fine, because um, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but, you know, always worth having a little bit of advantage, isn't it? Okay, right, so once we're all ready, I'll get some healing bombs going on. Obviously, like I said, if your glucose level drops too much, you will lose some health as well, which, I'll tell you what, that's going to suck butts. Careful. 
for anyone with blood sugar, lower level blood sugar problems. Right, so now we have to do, you know, potentially a bit of sneaking, but obviously you can just run through uh, and get to the main waypoint if you want, or you can kill off a couple of these guards. Uh, but there's only just one main place that we are going to go off to. Uh, there is going to be a guard around here walking, so make sure to take him down or kill him. But, wait, where the... How the hell did you do that? Come get him here, you son of a... Yeah, damn it. So, yes, uh, before heading to the waypoint, what we're going to do is actually go to the armory, uh, which is close to the training yard, just past the tent section, purely because there is a lot of good golden stuff that we can grab. Uh, but take this guard out on the left, and then we're going to go into the building and pick up a few things as well, just some loot. Supper. Attention all personnel. The Merry Band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet. In fact, no, we're not, because the door was jammed, obviously. But we are going to go into the depot here on the right. That is what I meant, obviously. Yam, yam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, right, there are no enemies in this section, so we're going to have to head through the canteen anyway. Again, there's a book that we can pick up, plus a little couple of more items. And then, like I said, we're going to um, go past the training yard, go left to the uh, tent section, and head into the armory. Obviously, there's still going to be a bunch of enemies about, so just be careful if, if you so wish. This guy is just a cutscene, so don't worry about this. Ollie? Who possessed you to come here? Ah, I don't know. I like a laugh. My house got bombed. Need a laugh. Okay, so what you need to do then is, if you sort of stick with these bushes, don't go left into the training yard. Keep going straight. So as you were heading towards the uh, waypoint, so there was a bit of an edit there. Uh, that's because I got lost, obviously, because that's what I do, apparently. Uh, so just wait for a second, and then what we're going to do, we're actually just going to blast it to the left now. So blast it all the way to the left, and then just follow the path all the way around. Obviously, there's going to be some guards that are going to want to beat your ass. But uh, just keep running, screw these guys, uh, hide if you want, so you don't have to fight, uh, fight too many old guys at the same time. Although a quick, a quick kick to the hip might sort them out. Or a big cricket bat to the head, that'll also sort them out. Also, watch out for the lights as well, because that'll send a uh, light blaring, a, a warning... Sound blaring, like the one that's going on right now. <laughs> and thank you for stabbing me, old guy. Anyway, uh, we are right by the armory now, so well, that was fun. Anyway, once you get into the armory, like I said, there's just a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Um, again, stuff we probably won't even use, probably we won't even need. But just in case you do fancy a bit of the TNT and shock grenade style stuffs, well, here it is. So once everyone's calm and you've looted everything that you possibly can, now we are just going to make it towards the waypoint. Uh, so just go straight there. Obviously hide in bushes if you want, or if you'd rather just sprint there. The cutscene will begin, and I think everyone just chills out anyway. Who's there? Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Oh, 
Sorry. Sorry. Right, okay, we can't get in quite yet, so we need Cheeseman's Keys. So what we're going to do, we're going to head around the back here, and before we go and grab that, we're going to go in through this window in the building directly in front of us. Um, it may be jammed. If it is jammed, you can just open it up with your Jimmy Bar, and then just do a, another whole lot of looting. There's a couple of chests in here, desks and filing cabinets, and there is also a first aid kit under the bed. Not sure if that's there all the time, but, you know, hopefully there is. Because that's nice. Alright, blood skis, once that's done, now we're going to head towards the main quest point again. Um, and it is just Cheeseman taking a whiz. But if you look very carefully, he doesn't actually have his wiener out. He's just spraying some pretty bad orange stuff. He has no wiener, what the hell? Anyway, no weeing here, you naughty man. Get Oh, and he just landed in his own puddle of piss as well. That is unfortunate, but we get General Bingling's office key. Um, yeah, there we go. So he may have to fight uh, another couple of guys if they see you or whatever, obviously. But if not, you can just head to General Bingling's office. And he's going to be like, what the hell? And Bing's going to be our like, I'm so good. Oh yeah, right after I just um, get some glucose syringes. Um, like I said, we need an achievement for crafting or uh, using 10 glucose syringes. So you should have a couple of pots of honey, obviously from that one side quest we did, and the pot that we grabbed, plus a whole bunch of empty syringes if you've been looting around. So I had enough for seven there, so that will get me the achievement a little bit later on. Um, but uh, yeah, always worth just grabbing those, and in we get. But what's gonna happen when we do skip... The tanks were fake! So, when we skip the cutscene, we're going to have to make a break for it, only to Ollie the cook. So, now... Thank you. Uh, thank you, McGaggy. Much appreciated. So, just head towards the waypoint. Take a left. Don't worry about the light. It's all good. Just continue on running. And this is basically going to be the end of the military bit. And this quest will be done. Do you remember my meat pounder? that I lent you two years ago, and you lost it. Sm Crap, all off, carts broke. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's all right then, blighties. Let us see. Know. Right, now we're going to get Quite a few um, of the masks, and we're basically... So yeah, that's what we're going to do first. We're going to get a couple of the masks uh, hiding in and around the old garden district. Um, and then we are going to go to the No Place Like Home, which is basically we're off to Mrs. Bing's house. Not Chandler Bing. Oh, no. Especially not Chandler Bing, no. Poor Matthew Perry. Rest in peace, bruh. Um, again, now I'm just going to go tank, and I'm going to do pack a wallop as well, because uh, it's always handy to do the pack a wallop one, if you can, if you've got the points available. There we go, so do iron fist, and then do pack a wallop.
Okay, so the first one that we're going to go for then is... Now, do you remember the Wednesday's Hill where we had to save um, Eddie from being beaten by cults in, um, up on that sort of... Yeah, that mountain top in Sally's playthrough. Um, now, what I... So, basically, I haven't found it yet. So, what we are going to do is basically we're just going to walk around all of the sort of side on the grass of the map, sort of close to the cliff face. And the reason we're doing that is purely because the Wednesday Hill is... And if you can't remember, it is where the... Um, Plague Wastrel is hanging, and hopefully you man in the last playthrough, in Sally's playthrough, hopefully you got the plague from it, and, you know, we've done that achievement. So basically, just walk all around the side of the map, uh, again, collecting everything as you go, collecting some plants and stuff, because it's obviously, it's going to be around the side of the map, more closer to the cliff edge than it is actually uh, in the towns and stuff. Now, when you finally find it, like I said, this took me about six or seven minutes of finding, and I had to walk. <laughs> As you can see, I had to walk, you know, I could have just gone straight through, but I didn't know where it was. I had to walk all the way around there, and there it is. So, yeah, so hopefully you've already found it. If you have, that's great. If not, then just walk all around the map, uh, especially the outside of it, because like I said, it's going to be on the um, sort of outer skirts on the grassy area, so... Once you found it, uh, you you'll know, especially when you find it, because the quest found ghosts will appear. Now, this this time around, unlike last time, we actually don't have to do anything. There's the old plague wastrel. So nip yourself up all the way up. This is where we're going to get the first mask. I say the first mask. It's the what? Bleh, I don't know. But anyway, once we get it to the top, we go behind the stones, and then just right in front of us now is going to be. The German's mask, and if I take a little schnook, uh, Germans, where are you? Where are you, Germans? Oh, there you are. Right, mask thirty-nine. This one is. So that's tidy. Mask thirty-nine. If you want to, while you're up here, just go ahead and sit in the seat, and that will actually complete the ghost's side quest. Scrambled up in my memory. Some Margaret. Her ghost. She's the real. And if you fancy a little snack, why not pick up some histoplasma mushrooms? Uh, you know, because they, they definitely don't make us go mad or anything, do they? Right, so, next up then, what we are going to do now... Oh, there, in fact, yes, if, if there's a shelter nearby, which there should be, roughly nearby, um, I'm just going to aim towards that. Uh, like I said, there should be one... If you've been going all around the map... Um, I say, if you were unlucky as me and had to go mostly uh, away around the map, there should be another shelter for us to have a look at. So nip yourself in there, somewhere cosy and warm to shelter the storm. Very tired. And as usual, do the same thing that we've done, have a little loot around, uh, pop some stuff in the old pneumatic stash, and then we're just going to take a little snoozy snooze. Now we can come back here from any other hatch, and we don't have to meet any damn English. You're too old to carry around so much stuff. Off to bed with you. Oh yeah, get another cheeky little uh, uh, glucose syringe down ya. 
Now, if you are struggling to make glucose syringes, uh, hopefully you've got enough empty syringes, but if you need to uh, craft a padded suit, the only thing I was missing personally was sewing kits. And there's a crate in Johnny Bolton's shop. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a, a crate in Johnny Bolton's shop where uh, he had, well, it's a, it's a random number, but I, I managed to get three sewing kits from there. So if you're needing to do that, get a padded suit and then go and get some honey from the bees in the trees. But again, hopefully you should have enough anyway. I didn't need to do that at all in the playthrough. Right, so like I said, what we're going to do now, we are going to head towards the no place like home. Uh, now, I did want to try and do this mysterious chest, but for some reason it didn't work because I opened it once. And then it's told me to open it again. Maybe that's the mystery about it. You've got to keep opening it. And it keeps messing you up. Because people want to beat you up. Wit moves on. Nor all your piety nor wit Remember shall right? lure it back to cancel the line. Red. Get your paws off my thing! You did it, didn't you? There's the one who did it! Oh my god, I'm sorry, I didn't see you! Jeez, oh my god! Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, run away and hide. But if you're needing uh, quite a few more kills, because uh, you need to remember, in this playthrough, you are gonna need 100 kills, and you'll still get the safe achievement for not killing anyone, hilariously. Um, so, yeah, just remember to take your baseball bat. If there's only one or two people around trying to kick you in the old scrotum bags, just take a bat to their head. Uh, otherwise, you can go and hide, and then we are just going to head towards the waypoint. At least I don't have to wear that. Observe how the concrete is used for its raw and unpretentious honesty, contrasting with the pretentious ornamentality of the Victorian buildings of. Okay, so what we're going to need to do here, ignoring the blaring signs, uh, there are two Plague Wastrels inside, so we're going to go ahead and kick some ass, is what we're going to do. And then afterwards, they're just, well, in fact, right after, there's going to be a mask for us to grab, so kick these two waste. Ah, you bit me, you son, you clawing to me, you little biznitch, Jesus, sir. Man, you guys suck. Lay still, you beard. Uh, but anyway, once we get through to the other side, we are going to be in another fight again, so make sure that you're just healed up a little bit. Um, because the guy out of here is going to ask us a question, and then he's going to piss us off, and we're going to piss him off, whichever way it was. But again, you need to kick him square in the brawly bags. Cheer up! And once he's down and his arm is hilariously stuck in the wall, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to turn directly around. Don't go down there yet. We're going to take the little right up uh, hand side up and you can see the Martyr's Mask. So pick that one up and that is number 40 out of 44. This is where they hanged Mr. Cranmer, isn't it? And Mr. and Mrs. L Okay, so when that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go, before we go to Miss Bingaling's house, we're going to find the closest shelter. Uh, what are we on? 43 kills. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, but obviously, there's going to be plenty more people to kill, so don't worry about that. We're still, um, still a little while away from finishing the game yet, about an hour or so. Um, have a little look if you want to put up some skill points. But basically, what we need... 
or what the next achievement what we're going to do is lighten up and that's for using 25 lightning rods also the reason i've gone this way is because the villagers don't like you because you're ollie and you're dressed wrong apparently so if you start going straight through the town everyone's going to chase you and remember ollie is about as fast as a used condom whatever the hell that means um so what we're gonna do we're just gonna sneakily go around but again if you can um now you can craft a lightning rod if you haven't already picked one up i've only managed to pick up one so far uh, but you can craft it uh the only thing i was missing was a metal tube so if you can either go to a shop or hopefully you've got enough and then we will get this achievement out the way Halloween. You can't walk around dressed like that. You frightened me half to death wearing that. You think you can wear that? Right, turn the corner. There's going to be some police here, so uh, let's give them the old whack and the old noodle nags. Oh, that was tricky. Uh, you need to kill this guy now. Nah, we're just going to jump straight in just to be on the safe side because everyone's going to start being all like, eh, I don't like you, early," which is kind of racist towards the Scottish, to be honest. There is no wrong with the Scottish. Yeah. I'm telling you. Right, so, yeah, like I said, this is where we're going to get the lightning rod, the lighten up achievement. So, do all the things, have a little loot around, and, you know, pop all your stuff in the pneumatic stash, and then I'll show you a nice easy way to do it. Good. A bit of privacy of travelling won't hurt. So, some good goodies we had there, but right, what we're going to do, uh, now I am going to save the game just in case, because one of your lightning rods, if you've got one, two, or three, one of them might actually get stuck in the wall, um, and obviously if that's the case, we don't want that to happen. Now, like I said, you can go and uh, do one, but you should have enough duct tape and metal bits, but there, I wasn't getting enough metal tubes, so yeah. But again, hopefully you should have one. Um, yeah, so once we do, like I said, I've only got one. If you've got two or three, obviously it'll make you go faster. So what you're going to do then, you're going to pick it up with the X button. If you press down on the D-pad, uh, which, which is your gadgets, find the lightning rod. Now, it's probably worth just getting, a rid, um, just getting rid of a lot of your um, gadgets in the pneumatic stash to make it go a little quicker. Press the right trigger, throw it up against the wall, and it should always bounce up like that. And once you hear a noise... You know, the noise of, like, ch -ch -ch, standing asleep. Standing asleep. I mean, stand, <laughs> standing up. That's when you know you've done it right, and then you just have to do this another 24 times. So just keep on chucking your one or two or seven, however many you've got, at the wall. And then eventually the achievement should unlock. Um, now, again, me doing it with just one, it took about five minutes to do so, so it's not so bad. But, you know, a little bit of, uh, little bit of target practice for, I don't know, for throwing and stuff. But yes, it is as easy as that, and there we go. It didn't <laughs> unlock on screen, again, annoyingly, but it did unlock, so there we go. So yes, let's lighten up, shall we? Yay! 
So once we have lighted up, uh, next what we're going to do is, well, we're, we're going to go to sleep and we are going to make sure that it is night time. Now the reason we're being, we have to get into Miss Bing's estate, so Miss Bing's house, uh, but we need to open up some metal gates. Now the reason we're going to do it in the night is we get some glucose syringes and some first aid going, but the reason we're going to do it in the night is because then you've only got the police to worry about rather than everyone else trying to kick your scrawny little beard ass. So that is why we are doing that. But again, make sure, it, basically, as we're running there, make sure to effectively kill every Bobby that you can because all of it's going to add towards the 100 kills. Um, again, obviously, if you die, it's honestly fine because you just restart back in the bunker and uh, with all your stuff. So if anything you lost, you'll just restart with everything back in tow anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's all we're gonna do for the next sort of few minutes. We're gonna fight our way to Miss Bing's estate. Now, the metal gate won't open until you are basically out of combat. And then you've got another two bobbies to beat. So out we go, beat the crap out of them and run. <laughs> You're coming with me! Look what I found. <laughs> oh. Oh. There! The one with the blood on his hands! Oh, no. Vengeance is mine! Save the Lord! Stand down! Powder! Powder! Night. Let this be a lesson to you then. Just passing through. Our own wee bannock burn. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you can fight the guys if you want. Uh, if you don't want, you can just keep running and hiding and get here. Now, as you can see, the metal gate is not open. Um, and that is because I believe that I just got in combat or something. I'm not sure why it didn't open first. But once I get rid of this nugget head... Uh, then it decides it wants to open. So fight the other two bobbies in here and then go straight up to the door. You never liked me, did you? <laughs> oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. Okay, 55 kills, not bad, not bad so far. Right, so in this house, we are going to be getting two of the Hot Honor Heels. Now remember, the there's only seven in the entirety of the game, and number five and number six are in this house. And we do have to do a lot of back and forth and all around. And uh, Now, there's not much in terms of loot, um, so... Again, we can have a little look around for now, but uh, realistically, really, uh, realistically, I say what we're actually going to do. We are going to head up the stairs, and we're going to get the first of the hot on her heels. Now, if you go into this left room here, there is a typewriter there, which we can pick up. Uh, we can pick up two of these, and then if you turn to your left, you can see a bookshelf where you can pull a book, and you can get the letter of transit, um, which we need to complete this. Uh, mission or whatever you're saying um, But I forget about it now and I actually just come back to it later, but just letting you know that get some scotch That's some de delicious stuff And then we're just gonna go in through to this next room I'm not looking through your panties. Jesus. What do you think I am? Is that all you think of? 
is that what people think that all Scottish people just do is go into each other's bedrooms and look through their underwear? Because apparently I'm half Scottish. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's that's a weird. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. Anyway, once you've looked in uh, what's her name's bedroom, if we take a right, go through the next door, up the steps we go. <clears throat> excuse me, and then on the um, sinky bit right here is the next Prudence thing. Hot on her heels. Number five out of seven. So we get so we can get some Peter. St. Peter Salt. Um, so, yeah, five out of seven done. We're going to get the next one in just a little bit. So, there was the joy. Now, sometimes I'm not sure if that's in random locations. I think sometimes it can be in the kitchen. Sometimes it can be in the bathroom, as you can just see. So, yeah, but that's what we got to do. So, as soon as we've got the pills and you've got the first hot on her heels thing, by the time you read this, head downstairs, give it to her, and she's going to be fuming. Oh, in fact... Made outfit. Sorry, that's what we need as well. I almost forgot, but we do need the made outfit. And we're going to put that on right now because someone's going to come knocking on the door. And Ollie's impression of a uh, Scottish female maid is it's on point. It is on point in a weird, a weird but non-sexy way. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer them. Oh yeah, so this is going to be it for the next sort of seven or eight minutes. Answering the door, answering the blower. So, once you do answer the blower, uh, it's basically Clive Birtwistle who has Birtwistle. If she likes him or not, um, so uh, he's something to do with Arthur's playthrough, isn't he? So up the stairs we go, take a left, and we're going back into the desk and to the uh, 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 typewriter room. So you can either hold X or hold Y, depends whatever you want to do. We're just going to hold Y in order to basically tell Clive to bag her off. Oof, man, the way Ollie types that Here is awesome. Thank you so much. I love Ollie's voice. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. His voice in this is just great. But anyway, uh, once you've answered, whatever you've answered, uh, pop it back in the blower. Whoop, off we go. Job done. Do you think this would be easier or are mobile phones easier? I don't know. It's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them. Right, so once she stops yapping, you, gun you are going to need to gag her mouth. Um, scream if you don't gag her. Yeah, thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Magaggy, for that. So, put a bit of tape on her mouth there. All right, you didn't need to cover her whole face, bruh. Hello? And then answer the door. Dalrymple, from the executive committee. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. All right, coffee, yoga. Okay, let's go and see if Miss Bing is okay. Um, and we now need to... Ooh, rolling pin, we'll grab that. So, for some reason, she wants a coffee yoghurt. Instead of just having a cup of coffee and then a yoghurt, she wants it in one. That, like, coffee just tastes like pure ass ash. Uh, so, yeah, why not spruce it up with some yoghurt? Right, you're going to find it in this pantry-looking section here, uh, just next to the stairs, so grab... Basically everything you can, you'll get everything. Toasted chicory. Yeah, I know. Fuming blood. So once you've done that, you can go into your crafting menu. Uh, where are ye? Where are ye? Oh, there we go. Look, survival. Coffee yogurt. 
Victoria's childhood snack. Well, uh, man, she had a mashed up childhood. Bro. Right, so once you give her the coffee yogurt, um, she's going to hate it. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was... Oh, God! What the hell? Anyway, gag her again and then go and answer the door. So you listen to a sexy French made accent now. Make sure she's out of sight. So, could I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. There are acts of heroism you never. Uh, who is it? And everyone's fooled by it, so <laughs> somehow well, maybe Joy just, you know, clouds their judgment, clouds their vision or something. Anyway, so instead of just keeping her in the closet and talking to her there, he still puts her right in the middle of the room. Now we are going to be coming up to the next. Um, hot on a heel. So once we answer the blower, it's this one's basically about Prudence Holmes. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our st uh, notes, and we're going to just go uh, all the way to the top, or should be on the very top. We're about to Prudence Holmes. As long as you read it, that should count. And that's going to be number six out of number seven. So there we go. Smashing through it. And again, we are going to have to reply, so... Up the wooden well, steps we go again, all. the old uh, wooden really pairs, to get out more, Ollie. and then we can, again, you can answer whichever one. I'm just going to, again, hold the Y button to say, oh, she's gone. She's gone away. <sighs> I'm afraid she's been gone from no the office the for right some direction. time. Good luck. Why do I feel like I... Off oh, you go. I was your friend, the only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? And now for the added fun, hey, Bobby's turned up. So what are you going to do? You're going to talk to him. <laughs> Sorry. And then once you skip the cutscene, uh, go around and take him down. There we go. And goodbye. Again, give him a little kill of life just to add to the kill count. And, you know, search his dead body because why not? So, uh, just go back now to Miss Bing. Sorry, there was a bit of an edit skip there. Um, but go back to Miss Bing, have a little talk to her again. Quite mad. Uh, anyway, yeah, she does that. Now, another two Bobbies are going to come in. She basically uh, was very untrustworthy. We untied her and then she <laughs> stunned me or something. So, just kill these two guys. God, you're a douche. It's not fair. If I'm attacking, and when I attack you, that means stay down. Yeah, jeez, don't you know the rules of the game? The you ain't the main character, you're gonna get your ass beat. Okay, so we can't leave yet because we do have to go back into the typewriter room and grab the letter of transit.
Right, so once we get out of here then, we will also get the achievement. Miss Bing is indisposed. And, uh, yeah, then we are just basically going to crack on. Uh, sorry, sorry, pal, just got to beat your ass. Oh, God damn it! Where are you people coming from? Anyway, now we need to head to the Mount Baron Bridge. So there we go. Miss Bing is indisposed. That one will be done. Yes, you will. So, uh, yeah, once we've done with this then, now we can start heading towards the bridge. Now, I think... Yes. No. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. No. So, it's... Uh, yeah, I thought I edited this bit out just to walk, but not going to do that. So, again, just head towards the bridge. Obviously, if you want to hide from the bobs, do it. If you don't want to hide from the bobs... Uh, <laughs> sorry, then obviously kill him dead. Sorry, I just sound... Um, I, I, I sounded like, you know... You know those messages that some Indian men send to women? I want to see bobs. I Sorry, I just sounded like that. Sorry. Drop that right now! Right, I've had it with you! Down it! Down it! I could do it! Lay still, you bastard! <laughs> well, lad, That's this is one. what we train for. Man, god damn, that took the monkeys. Oh, just one more for the road. Is it okay? Bam. Bam. Right, so hopefully you do have one short spike on you. Um, because we... <laughs> oh, man, what a turnaround. Uh, almost as good a turnaround as Coventry City beating Wolves today in the FA Cup. That was uh, that was an unbelievable game. Clive Tilton and Ali McCoy, by the way, two of the best commentators on the planet. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a short spike, so I do end up crafting one here. Um, but I'm not sure what happens if you just nip on through. So if you don't have a short spike, it might be worth just uh, going to a... Going to a travel hatch, getting back in the day... And either buying one from a shop or just buying something from a shop. Because what was it? Mechanical bits and duct tape. Or maybe have a look in some ruined houses. That's Now that, again, that's a reason why I don't have as many um, things in order to craft as I normally did. Because I didn't bother going through any of the ruined houses in this one in the garden district. But obviously if you want to, if you need some more items and you can't buy them, just have a look at some ruined houses. Ah, no. Okay, right, so after the conversation, we are now once again going to head for the next main quest. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. Okay, so obviously what we're going to do now is wherever it is on the map for you, that's where we're going to follow. So we're going to have to cross a bridge, plus we're going to uh, obviously get the next shelter there. And of course, since it is night time as well, make sure to be killing as many Bob Bobs as you can. Now, I'm going to edit it down some purely just because it's uh, over 700 meters away. Plus, um, I do get in quite the few scraps. And uh, yeah, yeah, so it'll just uh, it'll be just pointless watching me try and beat, you know, beat off six coppers in a row. Oh, wait. No, ignore that last part. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, just head for the bridge and head there. Right, so when we do get here, <laughs> finally. Uh, yeah. 
So, with the joy gas, it does, uh, you know, Maggie, big Maggie here says, uh, uh, use a gas mask. The thing is, you don't, I don't have any gas masks. So it's literally fine, because, oh, for God's sake, will you just, yeah, yet, out of it. Anyway, so yeah, if you, if you got a gas mask, you know, put it on. Uh, if you don't, then literally don't worry. Um, but you do have to take a joy pill in order to get through the old downy downer detection system. So take a joy pill. Now what's going to happen when we get behind the door? You remember that Simon Says game earlier on where we had to go on, yeah, the pads? Simon Says, step on one pad. Simon Says, step on two pads. It's the same sort of thing, but this time Ollie's going to be spewing up chunks. So yeah, just enjoy doing this for five. You will probably get zapped, so just make sure you've got some uh, first aid handy, just in kush. Fuck at the moon! Wait, I didn't say Simon Says. There's no one here but us ravens. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Yeah. Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river. Fantastic, you did it. Here's Holy some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you white sting. Fantastic. You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Uh Your head. You're the first says, sweet dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack. Be sure to enjoy your day. <laughs> yeah, thanks a goddamn bunch. Jesus Christ. Right, so, uh, well, I guess here we are in St. George's home. And uh, luckily for us, the uh, waypoint with the shelter is not too far away. So get there. And again, well, it's coming up 10 past 5. So still, there's only going to be Bobby's about. So, you know. Get on the rampage and kill. Get your kill count up, boys and girls. Get what's coming to ya. I won't have it. I'll fix you. I won't have it! Join the invisible boy. Let this be a lesson to you. Man. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Like, yes, 
this is where I'm going to get the sugar daddy achievement for injecting myself 10 times with glucose syringes. So again, if you don't have it yet, don't worry, you'll get that probably uh, quite close. You will, you should get it eventually anyway. Um, so don't worry about that. But God damn it, these coppers pack a wa wallop with their bloody electric tranchants. We all get what's coming to us in the end. Go forth and sin no more. <laughs> Smells like someone cleaned every surface with mortaline. Good thing I didn't smoke anymore. Good. A bit of privacy you're travelling won't hurt. Now, it might actually be better to sleep till the morning or sleep till 7 a.m. Um, purely because all we're going to do is go straight for the waypoint now. But obviously, because we're still in, under curfew, uh, we're still going to get Bobby's attacking us. So, if you'd rather just get it at 7 a.m., get to the waypoint and job done. Obviously, you can do that. If not, take out some more Bobby's and enjoy the, uh, <laughs> enjoy the death. Well, lad, this is what we train for. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Right. I'm fooling around. Hold 
absolutely <laughs> crap on a stick bag. Uh, I only thought two or three, maybe four were going to attack me then, but uh, there was like a million. Just enough to get me up to 97 total kills there. Uh, so, yeah, that was entertaining. Oh, look at that. Just as everyone's starting to come outside, it's 7 a.m. Yeah, job done. But, uh, oh, man, that fight did, did do my uh, uh, boobies in just a little bit. So, welcome for the third time to Doc Faraday's. Now, this time, there is going to be a Bobby inside guarding the house. So, obviously, what we need to do is give him the old snack a smack a doodle Right in the nugget. Oh, boy. Oh. Hey, stop. God. Ah. Will you just die already? Stay down. Oh, I swear. Right, thank you. And in fact, you pissed me off so much. Stick your head through the door, bruh. Yeah, damn it. Anyway, uh, right, we should be all good. Now we can just, uh, well, heal, as it turns out, and then we'll just be able to go into the house. Yo. But be aware there is another Bobby inside, so again, give him the old snack a doodle do. Thankfully, it was a lot easier. Now, I don't have any um, short spikes in order to get rid of the traps, which is fine. Uh, you don't actually really need to unless you just want to do a bit of looting. But like I said, we're effectively about 25 minutes from the end of the game now, so eh, you don't need to bother. We can just go straight and go straight upstairs. Remember, there is going to be a another trap up here, but obviously, again, we can just nip straight through, open the button to open the door, and then speak to the broskies. Thank God! Right, obviously, they can't just give us the things so we can get this finished. No, we've got to do something for them. So, first of all, we'll head straight down stairs, and then when we get out here, we are going to... Turn to the right, there we go, and then just interact with the valve. That'll get the water uh, water going, and the flowers will be all like, nice. So, get back up to the broskies, and uh, we're going to get another task. You can take your joy immediately. I think we found your blueprints. Brilliant. Okay, so now we need some bees. Now, obviously, what this requires is going to be a padded suit. So, if you've already got a padded suit, just head to the garden district, uh, go to any tree, and job done. You can get some bees that way. Now, as you can see there, I need one more sewing kit. Now, if you ended up doing a little bit of looting in the ruined houses in the garden district, chances are, more than likely, you would have picked up a couple of sewing kits by now. If you've gone to the shop, you might have been able to pick one up as well. Um, but if you are stuck and you really don't know where to get one from, what we're going to do, we are going to head back to the Garden District, for obviously. Ooh, 99 kills. I got 99 kills and I just need one. Uh, but what we're going to do is head back to Johnny Bolton's shop. Uh, now he has, like I mentioned earlier, he has a nice chest we can pick lock. And for me, there were three sewing kits in there. So hopefully it'll be the same for you. Again, if not... Go to the nearest shop or loot some ruined houses and you should be able to pick one up somewhere. But for now, like I said, we're going to head to Johnny Bolton's shop because he's got some goodies. Don't think I won't sniff you out. Oops! Oh yeah, I forgot uh, we were dressed up in that beautiful maid outfit. 
Right, just be careful. When you go inside, there is going to be a, a trip wire that can just explode your nuggets off. So when we get inside, there you go, jump up. And be sure to look at the floor, because I just got mashed up. There we go. But that's all good. Oh, in fact, actually, we can't do anything just yet, because we have to wait until everyone stops being angry at us. But there you go. In here, then. There we go. Three sewing kits I got. And a gas mask. Um, and quite a few different bits of goodies. 19 flash as well. Um, so, yep. Yeah, hopefully, you would have got the sewing kits as well. And then, if that's the case... Uh, we're going to have to wait again until everyone stops being angry. Ah, chill your beanbags. There we go. We're all chilled out now. So now we can finally get the padded suit going. You... Probably, I didn't test it, but you probably don't even need maybe the padded suit to get the bees. Um, it's probably just the honey, but uh, I didn't test that, so don't, I, I, they probably still will attack you, so just think of it like that. Uh, anyway, what you're going to do, drop down obviously, and you're just going to suck those bad boys up with the Y button. Oh, in fact, yeah, you still will, yeah, you will need a padded suit. Because they do still attack you, and that will interrupt the flow, and you won't be able to do it. Right, so there we go. Yes, I am Father Nature. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're obviously going to head all the way back to the Dr. Faraday's house, and release the bees, Smithers. And sick a night he takes the road in, as their poor sinner was abroad in. Oh, I know it was you! You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Mercy! Mercy on the elderly! Too many people get too easily peed off in this game. Just chill, man. Just enjoy your loneliness and, you know, barely any foodness. Anyway, uh, when we get here and everyone's chilled out, just hold the right trigger for an incredible amount of time. You know, about 20 seconds or something, and then boosh. Bees are good. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Anyway, once that's done, get upstairs and it's finally finished. Blueprints by now. Take your joy immediately. Well, look at that. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. All right. I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. So, you heard the man. Time to go to the Jacobino Club. Uh, which is just, just terrible. Um, so, obviously, all we're going to do now is just follow the waypoint until we get there. Uh, where is it for me? It's a little... Still one kill left to get, and I'm going to get that in the next part. So, oh, that's not so bad. Just next to the track access hatch. Worked out well. Do you ever wonder if those eyes in the dark are rats? Or something worse?
What are you wearing? Is this like a gun? Don't you even think about coming back! Yeah, so what you're looking for then is like this brightly coloured thing on the right. Um, so head down and then this is where the bit is. So what we're going to do is go around the back. Now, the chef is going to be here. She's not going to get angry, but we're going to kill her anyway. Sorry. Toffs and wankers only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just did better. Anyway, because she spoke to you like crap, give her the baseball snap straight to the back of the neck. Bam. Oh, oh, she's standing strong, but there we go. So, with the 100th kill, that is me getting a bit of the old ultra violence. So, hopefully, you've already had it, you've got it now, or you will get it in just a bit. Um, so, yeah, don't worry if you still don't have it yet, you will get it soon. Now, there are a couple of toffs and wankers in here, so obviously, what we need to do is kick them down. Plus, a bobby's going to appear from somewhere, so just kill them all. There he is. Keep calm! That is the one what done it! Clear! The one with the blood on his hand! We got a down here! Get That's the one what done it! Blake! Down up! Down up! Put that- Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're spreading your legs like that, love? At least buy me breakfast first. Anyway, thank you, Mary. Uh, but nobody's got anything good on them, so we don't really care. But if you want to have a little loot around, that's fine. But there is a mask in the upstairs bathroom, which we are obviously going to get. Because, you know, achievements and stuff. And use a glucose syringe as well, because, you know, it's got to be done. Right, so... Where is it? I think it's... Ah, there it is, directly in front of us in this room. What Jack did. Now it's going to start getting even intradesting -er. And now it's time for famous Britons. How on earth ready. did he get to be uncle? Patience, Ollie. I bet it's all up there. So when we get up the ladder then, this bit's easy. You just gotta follow the path around until we get the colorful box. And uh, oh yeah, let's uh, glucose ourselves up. They need a maid. Where's the bloody parade balloon? You could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here and no one's the wiser. Time to get the float out of here. Right, bye. That is nice. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we are going to head downstairs. Uh, again, it's literally just following the waypoint. But what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the fire. And Ollie's going to be like, oh, no. And then we are going to uh, go to the kitchen, get the fire extinguisher. And we can head down, down underground. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must... I knew there was a hatch here! 
I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. And with that, we're going to get the Get the Float Out of Here achievement as well. So, uh, that's all good. And now, we've basically ended up in the Parade District. Obviously, that's where we needed to go. But we've gone into the, you remember the uh, like model studio type thing? Yeah, this is where we've ended up. So, once we get in here, again, do all the normal things. A couple of blueprints about. Let's open up this uh, vent. There's a couple of goodies here. Now, short spikes. For, the, for, uh, for getting into the very last building in the game, we do need two short spikes. Um, so, if you can either uh, um, get enough items in order to make one now, or if you can buy one from the shop... Now, there, there will be two in the actual building as well, um, but it's obviously, it'll, it'll be a lot quicker if you can just have two on you at the same time. So, again, I'll fire another warning about the short, sp short spikes in just a bit. Um, so, we'll grab everything from the suitcase and then we'll take a cheeky little nap. Remember... We're always safe in the dark. But it's not going to be all plain sailing here. There are going to be two plague wastrels just around the corner. So whip out the old uh, cricket bat or the axe. I don't know why I never bothered with the axe. I just stuck with the cricket bat. So give him a whack and someone else is going to hear it. There he is. Yeah! Oh, that looked... Hilariously unpleasant. Ah, oh, you're telling me, oh, Jesus. All I'm doing is pushing buttons on my shoulders are killing. So what we're going to do, we're going to head up the stairs, and there's going to be another mask. So if you turn directly to your left, you should see the dressing room. Um, but I decided to go the long way around because, uh, yeah, why not? So head inside the dressing room, and to the right, there it is. Playhouse. Roadhouse. What are you doing in my playhouse? Okay, so that's that for this bit. There's nothing else to do in here, so... Very pretty. I wouldn't look good in them, though. So, uh, what we're going to do now, I am going to make a manual save here. Just in case, because obviously people are going to chase us and stuff. But what we're going to do, we're going to head up past the bus and past all these sections. We are going to go towards the headmistress, the big massive computer fallout thing, but try and give her a wider berth as you can. So stick to the left hand edge as much as you can, sort of heading past the bus, run past everyone fighting and posting stuff. And then directly in front of us, you could just see the golden shimmer of the next golden mask. Uh, for some reason I decided to jump right there, don't know why. Uh, but get that mask, that is a simple plan. Yeah, oh, whatever happened to Simple Plan? Oh, God. I'm, uh, yeah. Thinking about all the uh, early 2000 emo bands now. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to make a break for it. Don't stop and fight unless you want to for the 100 kills. Um, otherwise, you can just keep heading towards the waypoint. Which is going to be directly in front of us. And then... Ah, what the hell? You can't hit a bald Scottish man. It's against the law. Anyway... Uh, what we're going to do is climb up the twirly st staircase, and everyone should then finally piss off and leave us alone. Ah, the Department of Senseless Idiotic Research. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive. Now, I think if you do have a boiler suit in this section, um, I think the... I think everyone leaves you alone. Uh, don't quote me on it, because I didn't have a boiler suit for this section, obviously. But I think if you do have a boiler suit, uh, the bobbies and the workers leave you alone. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if you've got a boiler suit, go nuts. Uh, tell me how it goes. Otherwise, what we're going to do, we are going to head down, because the waypoint is going to the hydrogen tank. So we're going to head down... And then be prepared for a good couple of fights with a couple of bobbies. And then the workers get all pissed off too.
Like, bruh, why? Why? Just let me kill people in peace. Hydrogen, do you think? Right. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Sorry, you had to see that. Right, okay, so once we get all of the hydrogen, after I just heal up, so once we get the hydrogen, there's going to be another five, uh, five or six, <clears throat> excuse me, workers that are going to uh, come and try and kick us while we're up. But what you can do if you wanted to, you can go and hide in the bathroom, which is on the right-hand side, I believe, the opposite side. Um, so you can hide in there, that's, I tried this time, but, um, yeah, everyone decided to follow me into the bathroom, which is quite pervish, to be honest. I'm just a Scotsman, trying to take a whiz. Um, yeah. Jesus, creaminy. Ah, move! I'm trying to hide from you. Uh, but since that doesn't work, kill them all dead, and then interact with the cannon in the middle of the room. Facing the tower, and why Really takes it out of your shoulders. And now, I just get in. Who needs trains and planes? We ought to. And once again, there's going to be a Bobby on the outside of the door. To the left, he's going to come barging in, so... Jesus, mate, that's a good bit of fire. <laughs> it's a shame he didn't get to use it. <laughs> that's a bit of an overdramatic death right there, isn't it? But there we go. Uh, so you can get the fire weapon or whatever if you want. Otherwise, what we're going to do, we're going to head just down here. And then we're going to make a break for it to the waypoint. Get out of here, man. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. Okay, so I think we've got roughly about 10 minutes now. 10 minutes left of gameplay. So, once again, make a break for it and just head to the waypoint. Now, we're, we are obviously going to be coming up to the final building. So, like I said, if you have got two short spikes, that's awesome. That's what you need. Um, if not, now, there was one short spike for me just before we enter the last building. Now, if you go off to the right, there's a couple of... Um, boxes on the floor. There was a short spike behind that, but I don't know if it's totally random or if it's always going to be there. Uh, so just continue onwards. Like I said, just before you go up the stairs, if you take a right uh, sort of now past the bus, you should see some boxes and a short spike behind them. Um, but if you're all good, we can just crack on, head straight through, you can lick my tits, everyone, because you ain't killing me. 
Not today. Right, so we're going to get the final mask and everything in this section. So, what we're going to do, again, providing you've got the two short spikes and we're all good. Uh, there is a headmistress, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to beat her at our own game. So, climb into this lovely little waterfall section, and then what we're going to do is basically... Uh, climb up all of these um, grassy things. I'm trying to step away, but god damn it, you won't let me. So just continue climbing up until we get to the top. <coughs> now, there will be a Bobby up here as well. He'll be patrolling, which is fine. But again, this is why we've got the two short spikes. If you do need two short spikes, if you go into the middle sort of section uh, here, just between the two uh, trap control boxes, you can actually jump down and there's going to be a short spike uh, on top of the roof. And then if you actually go into the vent, there is going to be a another short spike as well. So if you need the two, there is two to be had in this section. So what we're going to do then like I said, we'll uh, smash open this next one. Boop. That's going to shut the headmistress down. And that's job done. And then what we're going to do now is go ahead and grab the final mask, which is, well, it will be directly underneath us. But once you do, th uh, so once you shut the headmistress down, there she goes. You're going to get two bobbies coming at you anyway. So give them the old whack dack deck dick of life. And then, like I said, if you turn around, and then head to where you fought the first Bobby. You can already see the golden mask. This is going to be the Sally Boyle one. And yep, turn to the left. Take it back now, y'all. Now, my problem was here was that I could not find a short spike. I was one short spike short. Uh, oh, there it is. So, yeah, pick up the Sally Boyle. Yeah, I was one short spike short. And I was wandering around for absolute ages trying to find one. Uh, but I know where they all are now. So, anyway... Providing that you collected all the masks and watched all the Uncle Jack shows, you should now have the Remember, Remember achievement. Remember the member, the 19th of December. It's my son's birthday. Because it actually is as well. Okay, so once you've got that, Headmistress is shut down. Like I said, now you can just drop down here. Uh, you will take a little bit of fall damage, but yes, yeah, sorry. And as I said, there's some tap water, and there's uh, one of these short spikes are going to be... There it is. So that's the first one, and then when we enter the vent, we'll drop down, and there's going to be another short spike in here. So obviously that is if you were needing the two. Uh, but otherwise, what you're going to do is just turn the lever on. And this is now the point of no return. So if you need the uh, achievement for killing 100 people, if you want to get a couple more things done, um, obviously save your game here manual save if you are missing a mask somehow obviously you've made the manual save so after the game you can just reload that manual save and go back and do the things that you need to do uh, but hopefully if you've been following along you got everything all good uh, now once we get through this glass door take an immediate right you're going to see the paper here double play double plan unhappy articles this is the final prudence homes article and again, that should be the seventh one out of seventh done, and the hot on her heels achievement should be done, what baby. The hell happened here? Did you what the hell happened here? Anyway, knock the door. You don't have to talk like that. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We have to tell people. They need to make a new exam. Okay, so go back the way you came. Obviously, following the waypoint again, we're going to head all the way downstairs now. And this is well, this is this is going to be it. This is going to be the the uh, last area of the game before we finish. So it's not so bad, but there will be a bunch of bobbies that will try and hit the place. So what we're going to do? We're going to uh, press X here first. It's not going to work. So then we're going to go to the right-hand side room in order to get the tape going. Boo! 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 Just sounds like Bender from Futurama, that one. Boo! Boo! And once we've uh, held this one in, uh, you just got to go ahead, broadcast the tape, and then what we need to do about... Uh, what we need to do then is a little bit of running back and forth, um, killing the bobbies, because they're going to try and stop the broadcast, and we need to keep the... 
Motors running, if you wish. You know. And obviously, if you watch the cutscene, it's a pretty big thing oh, of what's, uh, yeah, what's I'm just sorry. happened there. Well, you thought Margaret was our daughter? Ah! No, that's Jack's daughter. And we apparently sent her off to the German camp. So, yeah. So all the guilt we're feeling is all us. Right, so, what's going to happen now? Some bobbies are going to start appearing ever so soon. And Jack's going off his nut now, going off his joy as nuts. They cut the power. Emergency... One of those wheel pee thingamabobs. You can't beat a good thingamabob. So, uh, obviously, when we go over there, you need to be nice and quick now. So, what you can do, actually, if you picked up the flash earlier, if you've got any flash on you, use one of them, eat a bit of food as well, so that gets your stamina going and lasting a bit longer. Uh, like I said, because we're going to have to be running to the wheel and then coming back in to try and kill the bobbies who are trying to stop said broadcast oh yeah and heal yourself up as well yeah best do that best do yeah there we go what are we fancying a bit of pie now nah, bit of meat bit of victory meat right so let's do it get your cricket back out get your weapon out hold the x button and then as soon as it's done two bobbies are going to come through so you're going to need to go straight back to the room you basically got to do this for the tight until the timer uh, counts down um hey Son of a... Get, get in! Right, there we go. So once that one's done. Now what I like to do here is once I kill uh, the bobbies here, I'll just go back to the wheel, interact with the wheel, and then another one will come down. Oh, okay. Well, apart from this guy. There we go. So nip back to the wheel. Hold it again. And there's going to be another one that's going to appear. So again... Hey, what the hell? Give me my weapon back. Now, what's funny here is he's going to blow me up. Yeah, that was uh, annoyingly stupid. <laughs> so just go and kill him. So again, that's the plan. Every time you kill the bobby, go and interact with the wheel again. Kill the bobby and just keep going until your minute and a half or so is up. Well, I guess we'll Stop. meet in hell. We're running out of Stop power. It. Someone's coming through the popper. That cuts it. You won't. Oh. Oh. I'm afraid we've come to the end we of our time. We all get what's coming to us in the end. Watch out, someone's coming. We've come to the end of our time. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Now, I thought this was going to be a lot trickier, to be honest, but uh, no, nice and well, that went. Uh, so once it's done, and goodbye, Jack said goodbye. This is it, this is what we're going to do, we're going to head out of the door. We're going to get the achievement there called A Heavy Burden. And that is for spreading the disease. The message. Sorry. Don't spread the disease. You go to prison. Um, but yeah, this this is it. Once you've done this, then you are going to watch. This is the final cutscene now of the game. So uh, you can either watch it or I'll just tell you what happens. Ollie escapes. Everyone's happy. So once this one is done, then you will now finally get the two final achievements of the main game which is obviously for completing Ollie's playthrough and this saint for not killing anyone directly even though we killed over a hundred people with Ollie but still you will get those last two achievements so there we go that is We Happy Few now this was a <laughs> hell of a guide to put together uh, I can't even explain it um, so yeah very enjoyable, but uh, nonetheless, all good. Now, I should say as well that the DLCs will be following shortly. There's a couple of DLCs to get through, so I, I will get them up for you as quick as I can. But uh, yes, so like I said, DLCs coming up, and if I've already got them up, then go check out the DLCs if you want the DLC guides. And that's it, guys and gals. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, uh, if it if it uh, if it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. 
A big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always and everyone who interacts with me on the daily. Uh, so there you go, you should be on 40 right now, and like I said, we've got another 30 to go, DLCs to follow. So thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I will see you in the next Game Pass game. Mm, big love!